This is Don King. Brett King's wife. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from Games You Love. I wanted to point out something to everyone out there who has ever used my content or my videos. It's important because I don't want you to have any kind of trouble with your YouTube channels or get any kind of strikes. This is a warning for you right now. When you get knocked down, it's not me doing it. It's the companies that I'm licensed through. I want to thank Fine Brothers. I was very small starting out. <laughs> there was a lot of kids there. From the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> what the you talking about, atheist? <laughs> it's okay. You're nothing, okay. TJ. You're garbage. Okay. I just want to no, no, be no, light. No, You're no, garbage. No, 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 no. <laughs> Now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Do it live! And things suck! Hey, uh, welcome to the Drunken Peasants. Uh, it's episode 260. Uh, <laughs> uh, ben is going through a second puberty. Smoke yeah. Every day. Damn. I've killed uh, the Drunken Peasants through biological warfare. You have. Once you did. You did. Yep. You didn't get me. Just wait. <coughs> oh. I cough in your general direction. You guys have got some kind of plague that you're just passing around back and forth between you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm bringing it to Texas. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, so. Let me just, uh, uh, adjust that mic for you a little bit, though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. What do you want to do the story? Um. Why can't I hear him anymore? Oh, I, I just helped his mic. Oh, you helped the mic? Uh oh. I'm going to help your mic. <laughs> there you go. I'll help you out there, buddy. Don't worry about it. Um, That's rude, Scotty. I so the, the, the DP investigative team, TJ, uh, did some research into you. And you know, this whole rape thing, it's kind of interesting because uh, a certain individual, a particular individual, in yeah. fact, yeah. made some allegations. Yeah. Well, not him, but someone who uh, called into his show when they wanted to discuss Pokemon. Yeah. Earlier this week, TJ. We had a stunning allegation come forth that somebody knew somebody who knew somebody who raped you or you raped them in high school. <coughs> Already attaching your name. Shut the fuck up, egghead. Paul's camera is frozen. It is, I know. I'm working on <laughs> ben it. Ben is aware. Shut the fuck up. Ben is aware of the situation, egghead. This isn't Paul anyway. This is... <laughs> this is <a> situation. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> So anyway, some stunning allegations last week, and now a new allegation has been laid at your feet that you hired somebody to rape Egghead in real life, TJ. Yeah. How do you answer that allegation? I mean, coincidence? I, have already, I, think, I feel I've already answered all the questions put into that uh, investigation. I don't think you have, TJ. Well, let's hear, let's hear the, the manatee himself. Let's hear what he has to say. Okay. Well, um... No, no. I mean the real one. The who? Where's he at? Individual situation. Oh, Check God. out that beautiful castle. The manatee. The this video. Oh, sorry. Segment situation. sorry, intro. Didn't mean to interrupt you there. The amazing atheist and Paul's ego caught lying. Yeah, I, I have three Brett videos, and I like actually watching just little snippets of each one. That's fine. Let's All do right. it. Why the fuck not? Since Paul's actually here, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I'll turn this down. Um, da -da -da -da. Brett King's fucking lame. 
Da 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 da. Brett King this intro superstar. fucking sucks. <laughs> do, 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 There's do. been quite a bit of confusion in the atheist community as of late. Apparently, the amazing atheist can't seem to keep this. <laughs> I find it interesting that your Patreon uh, fucking thing is larger than anything else yes. on the screen. Larger than even his can. <laughs> his, fu I mean, his fucking goal is one million. Not, not to mention though, like Brett, we're not. You're not talking about the entire YouTube atheist community, which doesn't really even exist in the form that you think it does anymore. Like you're just talking about shit about TJ and Paul. Let's just be honest here. Yeah. Story straight. You know how TJ and Paul Ziegel's situation likes to tell all kinds <laughs> of stories. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, Paul, do you remember when Brett Keenum made all that shit up and then you just stole it? Yeah. Like. And the Virgil said yep, the word. Yep. That's always been my thing. Yep. The honest Brett never tells any fucking tall tales. Apparently, TJ told his audience recently on the Drunken Peasants that he did, in fact, work for his father. <laughs> he did, in fact, know that his father was a scammer. <laughs> he did, in fact, realize that his father went to prison for five years. Yeah, I. I what do you it think was kind of hard to escape my notice when my dad went to prison when I was <laughs> fucking 12 years <laughs> old. But does no, Brett think he's fucking no. Matlock? TJ, I did, in fact, know. He did, in fact, know he was a scammer. So I, bet, do, I right? bet you didn't even notice the first year. You were just like, oh, haven't seen dad in a while. Yeah, just like, hey, mom, where's dad? Yeah. I, I, you, hey, guys, I, I knew a dude in high school that killed his, killed his girlfriend. I knew him, like, pretty good. Yeah. Wow. So. You're a murderer. <sighs> Holy shit. What is Paul's committed murder. murder? Like, what is this, Brett? He's already told you in person to your face that he knew. <coughs> hold on, hold on. Let's, let's hear what he has to say. But what's back. really unusual is not too long ago, whenever I asked him the question of, remember that whole like father, like son thing. And he told everybody that he was too young to have known what was happening. He, said he, he knows was now. Child <laughs> he knows now. Every child is not all brought up to speed on every bad thing their parents do. Yeah, I mean, I was, uh, when I was like, I mean, my dad got busted when I was 12. So, I mean, you really think like, as a fucking 10, 11 year old, I had intimate wor knowledge yes. of the workings of my dad's companies. You did. Uh. Yeah, and he mentions that you worked for his dad, but he doesn't mention when that was. Yeah, I worked yeah, for my years, dad years, years later. He never does. When he was doing something, when he was doing a totally different business venture. Yeah, and even even if you did find out at 12, do you think, like, suddenly a 12-year-old goes, Oh, okay, I understand how my father uh, manipulated a complex set of tax rules to his benefit in a way that didn't fucking treat, toot the fucking IRS's horn. You think you have any understanding of what he did or have any complicity in it at that age? For all this was happening, he wasn't <laughs> aware. He couldn't acknowledge any of it. He wasn't. It's even more fast. He, was he wasn't aware. He you can't, you can't acknowledge. Right. <clears throat> Brett, could you acknowledge something you're not aware of? <clears throat> Linear yes. time. I'll wait. He's <clears throat> inside of the business with his father. No, he wasn't. You yeah. fucking moron. That's God, no. Stupid. That's right. When I was uh, when I was 11 years old, yeah. I was basically I was the accountant for LaSalle University. Oh wait, you know what? Uh, you know I what? I fucking though? came up with all the tax schemes and shit. I was just a master scammer, even at that young you age. Know, you know what, TJ? Though you know we what? actually we actually did work for him, though. You know what? I actually do remember this. We worked in the mailroom. You're right, dude. Yep. Shit, we're fraudsters. Sometimes Dad made us work in the mailroom, so I guess we were complicit. Yeah. Surprised the FBI didn't charge us, dude. They probably wanted to. And the information, of course, is public knowledge that his father was sued for over $35 million, as well as his mother for a couple million dollars, because even... Okay, well, I mean, they might have been sued. Nothing ever came of that lawsuit, because my dad never fucking mentioned some $35 million lawsuit he lost. <laughs> I think he would have fucking. I think that would have put a, uh, a, a a crimp in his fucking style if he'd had a thirty five million dollar judgment against him. I notice you say the lawsuit was filed. I notice you don't say that it was actually successful. Right. So yeah, I mean anyone could file a lawsuit. I could file a lawsuit tomorrow against you for twenty million dollars. <laughs> I mean, furthermore, all this could. all this speaks to his character assassination 
of not even really you. It's just like your dad was a bad person, so therefore you are too. Here go, you are. And after the father went to prison, the mother continued up the heist. Yeah, a regular Bonnie and Clyde, but. Our, uh, wait, 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 play the next thing. Oh my okay. god. Right. Play it. Hold on. And, uh, yeah. He said, but not as cool. Yeah, yeah. A regular Bonnie and Clyde, but yeah. not as cool. Like, what? Um, um, go ahead, Scott. Um, Brett, okay, you, you don't know anything about our family's history. Like, I don't know why you're pretending to. I mean, obviously, you like to lie, so it doesn't really matter to begin with. Um, our parents at that time were divorced. Our mom did not continue the heist. Um... <laughs> That, she, she was not involved at that point. Yeah, she she spent six months in a halfway house, and then she had no part in the company from that point forward. <coughs> so our mom did not continue the heist. And she wasn't behind any of the decision-making shit there anyways. Yeah, I mean, if anything, uh, she was counseling my father at the time to pay his taxes. You remember, you remember earlier on the way over here when I was talking about how Brett Keen makes you talk about shit that, like, it's whatever... But you just rather not have to do it. Yeah, right. here you're you're doing it. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Of course, it's the stupidest fucking shit. <laughs> because Brett Keen had to like, Mister. My everybody's always attacking my family. His next fucking move is let me drag TJ's mom into it and make yeah. TJ talk about his mom, yep. who's never done a fucking thing to anybody. Yeah, she, she really has. Told. What no. a waste of fucking space yep. you are, bro. Yeah, he's sinking, like, to the lowest point. <laughs> See, every time, and people have said this, too, every time there's a bottom, I think, oh, yeah, it's the manatee's gone as low in there the river no as it can. Yeah. You know, he finds hilarious. another fucking crevice. There's no bottom. Mama. Let Egghead talk, Paul. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry. That's hilarious. Um, Brett, I, you fucking blocked me on Twitter, and then you fucking keep messaging me saying, Oh, look at this video. I, I TJ actually admitted to raping a person in high school. Brett, if you want to fucking talk to me, you might as well fucking unblock me, you fucking stupid, idiotic, myopic manatee. Strike 28. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was going. It was going okay until that little weird tirade at the end there. But yeah, yeah whatever. So, so he was don't unblock kid, egghead, Brett. Unblock egghead, face egghead. All the different court moments. Dude, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm gonna make a challenge right now. Egghead versus Brett Keen debate. Yeah, dude, Brett Keen. Oh Go on the egghead show. <laughs> oh shit, I made a fucking video about him. Let's see if he fucking comes at me. Yeah, I want to see a Brett versus Egghead debate. <laughs> that Go would be on the Egghead show and and <laughs> face your your accuser, dude. You came on our show. You haven't been on Egghead's show yet, though. Yeah, Damn. I mean, just look at the intro. When you see the intro, you oh, know it's the it. show you have to be on. Fuck yeah! He's jackass. I'm gonna be on Egghead's show. Nah, <laughs> Are you? Primely like yep. a glob, right into all that fucking mess. Uh, you know, before we continue on with TJ, too, you fucking ugly all of ego piece of shit. spend a great deal of shit. time talking massive shit about my beautiful wife, whom I've been married to for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> long ago, that. his wife left him due to the fact he wouldn't get employed. She did not support him or give a fuck about the stupid shit he does on YouTube. <laughs> Brett, I like to, like, think of myself as an honest dude. If we made a checklist of everything that you just said, and we put a check mark next to it, if it's true, there would not be a check mark on the page. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Like, everything you said, starting with Paul's ego and ending with blah, 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 or whatever you stopped on, whatever glottal stop, your little. <laughs> it was wrong. So I wonder to myself, is Paul ego <laughs> jealous of me? Mr. Mac and Cheese situation? No. <laughs> no. Were you jealous, Paul? Me here, absolutely Me no one is when I jealous of you. Brett, I can honestly exactly. tell you that, that when I got a divorce, I never once thought, man, I wish I was Brett Keen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so much better. I went pretty low, man. I had some low moments. Divorce is a tough thing, but you know what? Like, I never got there. I was never like, yeah, I wish up Dorn was my fucking wife. Oh, man. 
I pine for the swamps of Missouri. Take me home, Missouri Road. Oh, yes. I wish I was fucking Brett Keane. I don't ever, ever, ever in my life, never will I sink to the point where I look at you and go, oh, man, I wish I could be him. Ever. I might be homeless in six months. I don't know. I'll still be able to go like, oh, I'm picking through a trash can. Paul, uh, I think if I literally saw you strangle a kitten, I would still be like, you're still better than yeah, Brett. Yeah, I could. I mean, honestly, I, I would still think you're better than Brett. Well, he did strangle that kitten, but normally he's an okay guy. Yeah, like, yeah. Paul almost had a real off day. You know, I mean, that's fucked up what he teeth. did. And I'll pay for his therapy bill. <laughs> Poor Paul. He must be saying, a lot of pain. No, Brett, during, during my divorce and all of the acrimony that comes with that, never once did I think, I wish I was you. I wish I had your life. I never once did that thought. Uh, you did, You were the furthest thing from my mind <laughs> because when, the, when that happened. I've got a beautiful wife. I've got two fantastic children. And He's sterile. He has no potential. <laughs> he keeps bringing up that point he, like it means anything. That, that, well, that's well, that's the thing I don't get. Just Brett, Brett like he are you just say like, anything? Uh, so Brett, Brett is on the record as a dude that thinks like a dude that like I'm medically sterile. I don't know why. Like, yep, shame him. Like, even like, isn't that even lower than like you're fat? Yeah. Oh yeah. It is. I mean, if you legitimately wanted to reproduce, it's kind of it's definitely a jab. Right. But that's know? the thing. Here I am in that territory again, because to talk about like yeah, at one point I kind of wanted to have kids. Yeah. But couldn't. And not the because it organically came up on the show, on but because we're listening to this. Damn show talking shit about people all day, making him no different. That's all this than video has been, Brett. That he's admitted to being on his own damn channel. You're a bully. You admitted, you admitted to being bullied, dude. I did? You admitted to be a bully. <laughs> I remember I'm that episode. Bully. Paul's Paul, ego. Yep. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Like, <laughs> when, where? Like, maybe I did. I don't know, but, like... You're a bully, The young people all throughout his life growing up. Oh, you know what? I, here, here's what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. The, uh, I told a story really, like, early on in my channel. It's a true story, too, of a kid that I picked on. In like middle school or like or it was earlier than that, it was like sixth grade. Seventh grade, maybe. Named Patrick. And the whole video was about how like I feel remorse for that. <laughs> oh. Because I've also been picked on and man it's fucked up I made somebody feel that way. Like that's the whole That's the whole point. So yeah, at one point I bullied somebody. You like to bully Egghead, too. <laughs> He's putting out a lot of background you, noise. He really is. Yeah, so Paul basically makes a video saying, you, so you're, what you said is, you're like, I totally regret this, it was totally wrong, and right. I totally repudiate it. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, of course. And then, I wasn't like, man, <laughs> <laughs> the best thing you picked on this kid. Oh, shit, we ruined his life. He wanted to kill himself. <laughs> I remember Brett. No, fucking, then you be TJ. Then you be TJ, come fucking, on. Brett fucking, um... Brett, even in the video, said, and Patrick went on to kill himself. He literally actually said that. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. And he didn't. It's just a total lie. Yeah, it's a, it, that's, that's, a, that's a total fabrication. Uh, yeah, I don't does even Brett think understand that in order for people to believe him, he needs to actually, like, say something true every now and then? No. No. He does not realize that. No, he'll just It should going. be obvious by now that he does not realize that. No. But it's amazing. Okay, he so fails at it every single time. It is amazing. All he has to do is, like, watch the truth. All right, I'll say Dude, the opposite. We were just fucking reading Brett Keane's book. Like, the way Brett Keane's mind works, oh he, he, he doesn't make associations with things. He just, whatever his narrative is, whatever he needs to say at that moment is what he's going to say. All right, let's watch, uh, let's watch Amazing Atheist wins Brett Keane's love. <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, or Amazing Atheist wins Brett Keane loses. Wow, Sorry. TJ, what are you hoping for? I'm, I just can't read it. It's so oh, small. Oh, wow. Though. I thought he was gonna. I thought it was gonna that's, be a sarcastic that's video. The title about, I love the American. Another Freudian oh, slip. That's the title. Th that's the title of the erotic novel TJ is currently writing. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. This one's good. Punish me, Daddy Brett. Punish me. I almost. I, I was gonna play the one where he supports Jenny McDermott, but you know. Oh, Go ahead. I, by the way, uh, 
a few days ago, I went into Pimp Monk's uh, hangout, and Jenny McDermott was in there, and you destroyed her. I, I destroyed her, and she oh, left. Did. I called her uh, Jenny McHerp Clit. That was uh, hilarious. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, Jenny McSquirt shit. <laughs> Ben's a bully too, picking on poor Jenny McDermott. Never we, heard a fly. <laughs> Never heard a fly. So, do you want to do that one? Yeah, let's let's hear about uh, let's hear about how vic how, how what a victim Jenny is. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. My name is oh, Brett good Lord. from the God. Oh. oh my fucking oh, God, Brett. dude. Man? Brett, why are you shirtless, man? What is going? What is yeah. going on here, dude? I, I, you have like dipping sauce in front of you. What is that? In this video, I'm not even gonna. Exist. Paul, your mic is, is like. It, is it dead? It's dead. Like, how long has it been? Fucking <laughs> wiggle know. it. Like I couldn't hear myself, but I figured you guys could hear me. Nah, I was hearing you until it's now. Dead. Oh my God, Paul. Your mic is dead as dead. Hello? Yeah. I heard you for a second. <laughs> Paul just gives up on life. Dead as dead can be. So the microphone tells me. Radio. Did yeah. you buy the new fucking mic, dude? You destroyed sure that, that fucking mic. I got all my YouTube channels. Check, 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 check. Brad, no one's going to do that. Come and on. When you get check, an check, check. You're wasting your check breath. Check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Your website? Website. Your website. Check out my website. I have a website, guys. This one, this one right here. I'm gonna sit here and wub my fucking dick. But why can't you pronounce fucking basic Patreon. words that everyone knows how to say? This Brett a, has a weird speech impediment that I've never heard. It's another one of Brett's weird alum, alum. Yeah, you can, uh, you got it too, buddy. Yeah, you, you understand. Brett's infected you. Anomanomans. His anomanomadubili. You can always donate to PayPal or. Pledge some awesome tivity to my Patreon. Awesome tivity? Awesome tivity. Did you say awesome tivity, <laughs> dude? All right. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, Way that better. works. That works. Hopefully. Brett just got another cringe point. Yeah. I mean, like, does Brett look like he just masturbated in this video? Because I keep thinking about that. Yes. He really. Yeah. He, he looks like he fucking. Yeah. So no, I, looks like no, he was no, sitting no, on his back. Joking aside. He no, really I does. Know. <laughs> he looks like he was on his back. <laughs> He fucking squirted out a load, then he rolled over in his own fucking mess and turned on his recording. I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact that, like, for the last 20 minutes, probably nobody heard what I said but you guys. Nah, they heard. No, no, no. they heard. It, was, it wasn't until just, like... Oh, okay. It wasn't until we noticed. I mean, right. we were hearing you until then. Okay, cool. So something happened it's all good. between then and then. We're good, then. Everything's good. I was just worried, like, <laughs> that whole thing. No, no, it's all good. Okay. All right, so fucking listen. Hey, Jenny McDermott, how are you doing today? Uh, I've noticed that you've had a very unsuccessful time of continuing a YouTube channel. You have lost, what, two or three YouTube channels now? And Atheist referred to you as Horseface and all kinds of other derogatory names. And, of course, they have their justifications and their... Brett, you're the biggest scum fuck on the internet. <laughs> and all, I mean, like, this fucking shit where you're trying to do an alliance with Jenny McDermott is just like, you know what? I'm going to find, like, the only person whose scum fuckery even rivals my own and start an association with them. Like, this, it, it, there's nothing helping your reputation here. <laughs> Like, like, what are you even? Who, who are you trying to appeal to? Jenny McDermott doesn't have anyone that likes her except for fucking monsters. Like, she's fucking pure evil. She laughs when people's dads die of cancer. She fucking defrauds people. <laughs> I mean, like, what the fuck are? What are you doing? Like, even you should be able to see, like, <clears throat> well, this isn't someone I want to. Like, even just for self-interest <clears throat> reasons. Yeah. Like, why are you incapable of even, like, looking out for your own self-interest? I mean, like, I understand being a fucking, like, fucking crazy piece of shit who just wants to tear everyone down, but still wants to be thought of as this great guy and shit, but, like, why are you so inept at it? Okay, well, maybe Brett wants, like, a three-way situation, dude. I, wa I, I want to point he something out. Lauren and Jenny. Gross. And this, and this has a point. The mic that Brett is using is a Yeti mic. Yeah. And somebody else pointed this out to me. This wasn't my original thought, but there is a okay. point. The, it comes with an instruction book. And in that instruction book, there's a little cartoon. 
and the cartoon is basically like monkey no talking to Mike like this monkey talking to this part of Mike it's literally like a monkey going uh -uh. and then showing the way you're supposed to use the mic you're you're supposed to talk into that mic like straight up you're not you're never supposed to speak into the head of it and he always has it pointed like right at his face so thanks, Brett Keen patrons, for buying him that new mic. That he doesn't know how to use correctly. <laughs> that when he opened the instruction book it, <laughs> booklet, he didn't get the monkey no talk like this cartoon. That's awesome. I really like that. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> He's fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> Mentally ill reasoning behind why it is they dog and treat you like absolute shit. She's done a million reprehensible, horrible things. No, nope. we're just mean to her because let, we're bad people. Yeah, like, she put her let, company's insurance in that. danger. No, we're all just bad people. What can we say? We just no, hate people. No, she's the bad that. person. No, it's us. She's she quit, monsters. Quit harassing Miss Jannie McDermott. She constantly DMCA's people. She <laughs> constantly threatens people to dox people. Yep. She has doxed people. She has DMCA'd people. Yes. She fucking has uh, been caught trying to defraud people by getting them to give her money for a fire that happened at her work when it was already covered by the insurance and actually put that insurance coverage of that company in jeopardy by doing so. Maybe Brett just stands back in awe. He's like, wow, this is what I, this is what I aspire to be. Okay, he shouldn't aspire to be her because she's also 100% transparent. Why doesn't he aspire to be, like, a successful fucking he's, Dude, he's too shit. dumb to even know what a successful scam is. It's Brett Keen. Oh my god. Like every everybody that's bad on the internet, there's a video somewhere out there of Brett Keen praising that person. And it's yep. true. Like Brett Keen will be like, Yeah, Von Helton, he's awesome. Oh, Adolf Hitler, <laughs> he was a cool guy. You know, just like the like oh there there are videos out there of him going, Oh, Nishion is the funniest fucking thing that this manatee's ever seen was you know, like sucking the Onision dick and now he hates him. Like, he's just taking another stab at it. He was like, oh, Jenny McDermott kind of doesn't like the drunken presence. I like her. <laughs> hey, girl, <laughs> hope you're doing okay <laughs> over here in Bretland. I could have sworn this happened before, too. Like, when she was going after you guys bef the first time, and now this is the second time, and Brett Keen's doing this all over again. Is he shirtless to, like, seduce Jenny McDermott? I think so. <laughs> it's like, I... some shirtless guy walks up to her fucking, Hey, Jenny. How are you doing, huh? <laughs> it's like, he does think of himself as like, the perfect physical specimen. To Brett, you. um, I know, uh, as a fat guy, sometimes <laughs> taking your shirt off can be funny. But, like, generally speaking, it's good to keep our shirts on. Yeah, I mean, I know you're not fat. I know you have this delusion that you're somehow, like, physically fit and capable of, like, fighting ten atheists in a row and all this bullshit you talk. But, um, I hate to break it to you, you you're a fat fuck. <laughs> like, not even the effort it took to, like, get a shirt. <coughs> I'm just gonna sit here with my farmer's tan for this video. Hey, Jenny! Woohoo! <laughs> Happy to meet you. I'm shirtless weird guy on the internet. <laughs> I thought the vacant expression on his fucking face. Will you, you know, take I think, my support? Uh, mm, I don't know. Are you reprehensible? Yeah. Okay, cool. We're buddies now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that the uh, thing about Brett Keen spending all his time in that room might, must be inaccurate because it looks like he does have uh, like kind of a wife beatery tan going on. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he, yeah maybe. It kind of looks like there's uh, like a. Dude, little... maybe it was just put there by the glow of the monitor, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, that could be. It's just a 24-hour-a-day, seven days a week, he's baking in the fucking x-rays <laughs> flying out of that monitor with no light. And it scorched the skin that the wife know, beater does You ever notice that every room he's in is just, like, so barren and dismal? Like, there's never any decoration. There's never any, like... You know, flourish like I'm gonna show dude, off my personality. He's like fucking Gollum from Lord of the Rings. He's in a dark, dank fucking cavern, and just like sitting there, just on the internet. Oh, what can I say? What can I? You know, what shit can I talk now? How can I insult the amazing atheist today? Like, there's no posters on his wall. There's no adornments of anything. It's well, just there's no one that looks like, like there is like a pattern of just some. It looks like flowers or just random dots on his fucking wall. I don't know, dude. Like anybody else, I'd feel bad about. Like, man, like, 
dissing on like, man, their digs are fucked up. Man, where you have to stay right now is ugly. No, I'm just saying he makes no effort to like, but like it's bread. infuse it with his personality or anything. Well, no, because he he'd have rather one? have, he'd rather, like, the dude has, like, look, that microphone sitting on there is, like, that's an expensive microphone. I mean, it's not, like, prohibitive, exactly. but it's, like, if I lived in a place like that, I probably wouldn't have a microphone like that. Or he's a video game system. Right. Like, he's got all this shit. That, like, there's, he's, he edits his fucking videos, and he's bad at it, but clearly he's got, like, software and a computer, com like, capable of churning out 90 million videos a day. I don't even think he's using that microphone right. People that live in a place we that had like a giant discussion about that. Like people, yeah. people that I know that have lived in like places that look like that, <coughs> they don't have microphones. You know, they're just like, oh shit, man! <laughs> like they got a TV that's twenty years old. He has to be living off welfare. So Brett Keen's got like a plasma TV and a new PC and every fucking console that's under the sun. Yeah, right tons now. of games. <clears throat> Remember that joke video broke. that said that he does everything but take care of himself? It might actually be true. I didn't know that he said that, but that sounds pretty <laughs> no, fucking no, no, accurate. It, 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 was a, it was a joke video where you watched it on the show like a... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, so memorable. Well, I wanted to tell you about something, and this may not make you feel any better, but... Uh, An atheist it? almost made me cry recently. <laughs> almost brought no, me. no, they didn't, Brett. No, they didn't. This atheist, oh my God! I He's have feelings. The crocodile tears phase. He couldn't even summon them <laughs> this time, so he has to just talk about a time where he almost did. I almost cried. Sometimes guys. he'll actually cry on the camera, Dude. like this is what you've done. <laughs> For That's a second, he'll show you a little like. How could that ever be real? Coming out of somebody like you. He gets a hold of me on Skype and we're talking. And, um. We're talking. Okay. He tells me basically about how fucking shitty and horrible his life is. I'm not going to oh, mention his name. Oh, come on, Brad. No, folks no. Who will come talk to me and everything. And I feel for them and I sympathize with no, them. No, you don't. And you fabricated I this. care very deeply about he, the he, he's no, trying to do. Don't. He's trying to do like that folksy speech where people go, like, you know, I met, I met a young man in Wisconsin, you know, <clears> struggling <throat> to pay the bills kind of story. It's like, Brett, you're not in order. Your rhetoric sucks. No one believes anyone was talking to you about all their fucking problems. Because who the fuck would come to you with their problems? Yeah, the dude that just had the fucking infamous, like... I'm here, and I went to high school with TJ, and I'm from Louisiana. And, uh, yeah, I grew up with TJ, and he raped somebody. Oh, <laughs> really? That happened. That guy is talking about, like, how he came to tears because somebody was like, Man, man my life fucked up. Help me. No. That, that conversation never took place. You completely made it up in your fucking giant water head. I want to hear what he, what he, where he goes with it. <laughs> okay. People go through and the pain. But the guy, as he tells me about the fucking miserableness of his life and existence. What's his name, bro? He almost brings me to tears. Yeah. Okay. He says, Brad, I wish that I, uh, I had the kind of views that you do. No. 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 <laughs> what? Wrong. Bullshit. No. Certified no bullshit. Ever. I find a way to make no it about ever. me. Hmm. What did I he wish say? I was you. He ends up. He ends up talking about TJ in this video too, even though TJ has nothing to do with this oh shit. My at Every all. fucking like time. In, yep. in religious views, not views like in belief in God or having hope and meaning and purpose, but the kind of views that I get on YouTube. Which, humbly, I will say, you have I'm definitely views. nowhere close to some of the big guys out there and ladies that are featured on YouTube. You're not even in that category. Yeah, you're not even at the medium that group. You're not even on the map. Yeah. There are, nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, there are videos of, like, kittens that get way more views than you could ever. And rightfully yeah. so. Yep. Compared to Brett. Yep. I bet there's a video on kittens on YouTube that will get more views than everything Brett Keen's ever done put together. Combined. Yeah, yeah. it's oh, true. Yeah. It's true. People love that shit. People do not love Brett Keen. They only like they to watch it. us laugh at Brett Keen. No. <laughs> it isn't what it is on YouTube anymore. It seems like Whatever. in order to have any Brett, kind of views... nobody called you and asked either. for fucking, like, advice on how to get views on YouTube, and no. Nobody did that. That would be like... That would be like going to the homeless guy and going, Hey, man, 
I need you. I need some financial advice, man. I got a big conundrum with my taxes, and I need a, an expert opinion. Could you? He's just like, huh? Why would anybody come to you for that? That'd be like somebody calling you and going, Brett, I want to keep my teeth. You have any fucking advice? Now, what channel is Brett using most right now? Is it I God, don't know. God TV radio. Is it God TV radio? He keeps yeah. changing kind of like... Are you going like, to join his hangout? He has, uh, no, he has 70 subscribers. Wow. 70. Um, he had 70 on Wednesday. Uh, I mean, he's had 70 for days now. 70. There hasn't been... He's gained zero subscribers How in the last years? 30 days. Uh, on which channel is this? God TV Radio. God TV Radio. And then there's Brett Keen Superstar. Brett Keen Superstar. Uh, I haven't looked at that one. It looks like he gets about 2,000, 3,000 views a day on this channel. Okay. So, I mean, like, that's something, <laughs> but it's mostly just people like, I'm going to go fucking look at this Brett Keen fuck that the drunken peasants are always talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, let's see Brett Keen it, Superstar. I think he's trying to pull out Joseph Martella because I see one right here that says... That's called God is Great and Loves Brett Keen. What? I don't know, man. All right, so Brett Keen Superstar. It, it's a little more popular. It has uh, 564,000 subscribe. Uh, not not 5,000. What? 564 <laughs> subscribers. No. Sorry. Okay, I was, like, I was like, what? I started looking There's at the, no way. I started looking at the uh, other column, and it looks like... On average, he's got like a thousand. I mean, it says the average is three thousand nine hundred ninety-four, but views. That's because like one day he had eight, eighty-eight thousand views. Oh, he actually got eighty-eight thousand views one day. Yeah, You're but lucky. like on average, it's like a thousand views. Some days it's only like nine hundred something. Brett Keen's doing a stream right now. Is I see it. Yeah, I see it. Wow. There's fourteen people watching. Watch, a bunch of people are gonna like flood in now. His chat room is going to become uh, unbearable. Oh, oh hold on, everybody. We have a situation. Yeah. I, I know this drill. <laughs> Do you want to hear it? I mean, kind of no, but okay. kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's check it out. All right. <laughs> no, I think pro it's, no problem looking at the poop. I think it's him uh, like playing a game, though. It might be boring. Let's see. Oh, is he playing a game? Yeah, I don't even hear him talk yet. Is he talking? No, but you know, you know there's a delay, so like... Where you at, Brett? Yeah, wow, this is riveting. This is fucking riveting. There's literally nothing happening in the stream, dude. He's just sitting there? Yeah. Just show this. I'm just sitting there and sitting here and sitting there and I'm sitting here. He's taking a mac and cheese break. There's nothing going on. French for now. I just commented guys. in the chat room. Yeah, he said riveting. I see ALTJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're Poop balls. Howdy, Brett. Individual. Yeah, they're showing up now. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Actual activity has happened in the stream now. Where is he? Look, this is all that's going on. There's no, there's no, there's nothing happening. The fascinating and the all that's Can you at least have the decency to like stream in your streams? Are we not like? Oh, what's fucking, going on here? That, that's the antithesis of Brett. Brett never fucking shows up to his streams. He he'll fucking be there for a second. Uh, someone else, you take over and talk. Are we just not? If he's gonna the be volume? gone for six no, hours, no, why up. have the stream? Jesus, Brett, get to your fucking do your stream, bitch. Why are you doing? Yeah. Why are you maybe, streaming maybe this? Maybe he's fucking... watching us, watching him. <laughs> Brettception. Brettception. Yeah, Brettception. Number two, Older Skulls Online Bleak Rock Championship Morrow Wind by Brett Keen. Well, yeah, yeah. Way to way to rake in the views, Brett. I'm sure everyone's gonna be clicking that. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Where are you, Brett? <laughs> I mean, you're usually present for your content, so this is substandard even for you. Yeah. Well, I guess that's not true. When you do live streams, you are gone for most of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, but like usually he fucking tricks someone else into talking or tries to. Uh, you guys discuss whatever. I'll be back this in about time. He's just minutes. gone. There's nothing happening on the screen. <gasps> oh. oh, there's a situation here I gotta handle. Going 143 people, and they're saying, okay. "Okay, is he back?" They're saying poop balls. Poop, poop balls, poop balls, poop balls, poop balls. Poop balls. Poop I don't hear balls. anything. He's not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the game isn't moving. He just, like, walked through the room that the console is on and said, ar, 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 and we just heard that in yeah. passing. He didn't actually come back. Does he even know that he's streaming? Or did he just forget he about it? Did he just walk up and forget about it? He had a French vanilla situation. 
French vanilla situational. <laughs> Someone said he's having a bonus bucket break. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't take a break for that. He would just fucking scoop it in his hand in one fucking thing. Don't oh, feed me! I want to be able to look at the elapsed time up at the top. <laughs> Four minutes. Like, why is he? Why is he? Like, how long has well, that been there? Well, Paul, that's why he gets fan mailed asking how to get the big views. Is it forty-four minutes of just this screen? <laughs> it must have been. No, I'm, I'm actually no. It's apparently him playing some game. But where the yeah. fuck did he go? I went back a little bit. Yeah, I see him playing here. Is he even talking though? No. A little bit, but what what happened to oh games you God. love? If Oh, yeah. he's back. Oh, is no. he? Is he back now? I heard him say all wrong. No, no, no. no, no that, that was us scrolling back yeah, in the fucking yeah. stream oh. to see if it was even really a stream. Yeah, no, he's yeah. still <laughs> he's still completely absent from his stream. Huh. Wow, Brett. <laughs> Why does no one watch you, Brett? It's so, so fucking, fucking hard to figure out. <laughs> Here, Jay, for, for this atheist kid out there who wants not to get the big views, yeah. what you gotta do is start playing, streaming a game, and then just stop playing and just walk away and just let it sit there on some boring <laughs> fucking screen for ten minutes. Yeah, don't even get a fucking, like, be right back screen. We just, yeah, it, it, we took his view count from, like, 14 to, like, almost 300. The negatives are, like, negatives are just keep piling on. Yeah, of course they do. Poor Brett. <laughs> well, uh, why would right now. why would anyone rate this positively? He's not doing anything. Yep. Anyone who lands on this stream is gonna be like, "Well, I dismiss this channel forever." I think we're gonna. Uh, do you do you want to keep going for a little bit? For with Brett or, or whatever. Just in general. I mean, uh, yeah, because we we're we're well over our our normal time. Uh, right? are, we, are we really? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Um, um, yeah, we could we can uh, we can call a night or we can do one more. I don't give a shit. I'm good either way. Yeah, I'm down I do want to. I, I do want to go to Waffle House tonight, though. Well, that's happening either way. Shit. Though. Yeah, man. I'm. I, I, I'll come along. Yeah, too. come along, Ben. Yeah, I got to do it before Paul leaves. Yeah, oh, yeah. Paul's before. never had Waffle House. I shat in a Waffle. Is, is my mic on? Yes, yeah. it is. Okay, yeah, it's good. On. Sorry, I just can't hear my fucking self. I can no. hear you. Okay, I, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just paranoid. Anyway, um, yeah. No, I've never been to. I shat in a Waffle House though, and it was actually a pretty pleasant dump. Like, I expected the toilets oh, in there he's to be back. like, I was like, there's a fucking... He's thing. back, he's back. All right. Oh. Was, hold on, hold on. By the, way, by the way, it was a chili dog dump, wasn't it? It was. It was, it was dude. <laughs> dude, I have no desire to eat a chili dog for a little while. while. Yeah. I don't Yikes. blame you. They say Brett's back. Let's take a look. Do you want to do that? Yeah, right. I mean... Brett's back. Okay, hold they on. They say he's back. Egghead sounded the alarm. One if by land, two if by sea. Here it is. The, the channel is now called God is Great and Loves Brett Keen. Yeah. It's like, what? Wonderful. If God was great, he would not love Brett Keen. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone go and tell Brett to eat shit. Go. Don't, don't tell him to eat shit. Eat, well, yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Eat shit, Brett. <laughs> You're amazing, Brett. You're cyber of bullying. Of course I'm amazing. <laughs> the lizards and Argonians agree. Wow. Just, flood it. Just flood it with eat shit, shit. eat shit, Brett. Eat shit, Brett. Eat shit, Brett. Like that. Oh we'll wait. We should see it in a few moments here. Oh, yeah, we're going to see it. Ben's just it's high on his happen. power. He's like, yeah, eat it's shit. Candy. Eat that shit. There we go. People send Brett Eat pictures shit, of him Brett. eating a big bowl of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Brett's not a cannibal. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What do you, I, I don't. Maybe he's oh, not even aware. Do me a favor. Blindfold yourself, and then do ballet in the highway. <laughs> Whoa! Terrible shots comeback. fired, dude. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah, you, you could cyber bully your own little fucking miniature Twitter. So you get the fuck what? out of here with that nonsense, chump. Chump. <laughs> Listen here, chump. Is this nine, early 90s trash talk? Chump. Chump. <laughs> I want a, sh I want a oh Brett Keen God, shirt Brett. that just says chump. Chump. My changes. <laughs> chump. Got a good look. Dorn hub. Eat br eat shit, Brett. <laughs> There's just like <laughs> <a> <laughs> <station>. duty. 
What right. game is he playing? <laughs> eat the poo poo. Brett, eat, eat the, the poo poo. Oh, wait. <coughs> is he listening to us? Let's try this. No. Let's make some poison. He's trying to play his game. Yay. I wonder if he Yay. can see the chat. Man. Paul is Pennywise. I see a hashtag Paul no, is Pennywise dude. in there, dude. Guys, <laughs> it was so fucking unanimous, dude. It was unanimous between you fucking people. The right, audience feels go. that Paul is Pennywise. That's the audience's choice. Whatever, just because one oh, dude put Paul as Pennywise. On. That guy speaks for the masses, dude. He's got his finger on the pulse. He knows the zeitgeist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something still being Well, this built. this is fucking riveting, Brett. That's what I said. <laughs> this is <laughs> amazing. So what's no going on? You get those some you know what? Tell, you know okay. what? I okay, thought, hold on, but, uh, hold on. You can't pause it. D I don't thought, pause. Yeah, you you're right. Like I'm sorry. About. Uh, yeah, yeah. Qu tell him to eat <laughs> shit he's now. Paying attention to the text. Okay, now he's paying attention. Tell him to eat shit. <laughs> eat shit. Eat shit. Eat the poopoo. <laughs> Eat the poo poo, Brad. Do it. Just like literally, just flood it. You eat the poo poo. Hey, they're all fifteen-year-olds. Paul is Pennywise. And fuck you. <laughs> Quit. Just whoever you are, stop. Paul is Pennywise. I see you again. <laughs> we <We've laughs> said it again. Paul is Pennywise. Paul is Pennywise. TJ is Pennywise. Yeah. Boom, oh, yeah. bitch. I see way more Paul is Pennywise. Yeah, but dude. there was a fucking TJ in there, people. Paul is Pennywise. Paul is Pennywise. I see it twice. Oh shit, oh, there's no, it's in there all no. fucking all over the place, Paul is Paul Pennywise. Paul is John Goodman. Go. Bread is Pennywise. That's, that's <laughs> actually... Yeah, maybe that's... Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's I think we actually have said that before, that he's like the Pennywise of Festus, Missouri. <laughs> 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 he's been haunting that place for years. They right, all that fucked up text. It's oh. fucked up. Eat the poo poo. Eat the poo poo, Brett. Eat the poo poo. Dude, I thought this was boring when he wasn't talking, and then he started talking. I realized, like, holy shit, it's actually more boring when this, he's playing. This this text is fucked up, Trump. Brett, you're fucking somehow you're more entertaining when you're just quiet. All right. You should go. upload videos Run of just away. your silence to your channel. <laughs> TJ is Pennywise. The sound of you not talking is actually oh, kind of pleasant. Yes. It's time. Yeah? What is it time it's for? It's time, guys! <laughs> it's all been leading up to this. Badass. Dude, this is fucking... This Brett is King, the ultimate badass. I'm really getting into Do this fucking playthrough. Any presence it's at time. all, Brett? Any at all? Yeah, at least uh, Egghead has a cringy presence. Yeah, seriously. You just don't have any. Brett's fucking comatose. You're like a fucking... <laughs> I don't know, man. I think someone who was comatose would look at Brett and be like, God damn. Brett is... Put some so, in that step. Anybody do you actually think have if he went into porn, he would watch it? <laughs> intellectual discussion. Huh? Wait, Wait a minute. Poo -poo. Poo -poo. Fucking Wait a minute. Poo -poo hold on. Now. Hold on. Hold on. Say again. Oh, goodness. He wants intellectual discussion, dude. Really? Not poo-poo. Okay, <clears throat> Yeah. Like remember that intellectual vi remember those intellectual videos we watched from earlier? Yeah. The showcase his yeah. where he made horrible allegations about our fucking family members that have nothing to do with anything. <laughs> yeah. That, that was one? everybody That was the intellectual content now, that Brett loves. Now everyone ask Brett for a gum job. Say Brett, give me a gum job. Your mama looks like Pennywise. <laughs> Your mama Twice looks like Pennywise. Everyone, anymore. please, please do it. Do it for us. Everyone <laughs> go there. <laughs> You don't even have to turn it up or listen Neb to him. Neb is them. Pennywise. I just saw it, dude. Somebody's fucking put you oh, in the ring. Uh, they, they, they also put Bennywise, too. Ah! Bennywise? I saw yeah. Pollywise go by. But, but anyway, yeah, say, say, Brett, give me a gum so job. What you guys doing hey, over here? Don't Pennywise. you got some t-shirts to buy? If you guys, uh, if The anyone, dude does have a point. If anyone actually gets a gum job from Brett, I will pay him 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> gum job. <laughs> oh, Christ. I want intellectual discussion only. I want jizz where my teeth uh, used to be. If he wants intellectual discussion only, he better just close his fucking channel. Dude, if, oh Brett was actually, if Brett was faced with intellectual discussion, he would just like... Jim, I tell you what. Retreat within himself. Your mama gum job. Oh, yeah, good. Brett. Your mom. Your mom, dude. Your mom. Did he say he would bend his daddy over? Yes. 
After I give your mom a gum job, I'm going to bend your daddy over and make him my bitch. How can, how can you give a woman a gum job? I don't get that at all. Yeah, Who knows? I don't know, dude. Maybe if she has, like, a really big clit. <laughs> God damn, the fucking chest. Oh, my God. Maybe, maybe Dorn's clit is huge. What the hell did short oh, no, come dude, through? don't plant that, that in my fucking head. My <laughs> oh, he's getting mad. Yeah, he's it's actually bigger than my dick. Paid. Would he even be talking if the chat wasn't like this? No. Oh, goodness. God knows oh, gracious. Shit. Something over here. Oh. Look at that, it's the particular individual. Do you see what I mean? He has no presence. <laughs> God, he's bad. Thumbs down, thumbs down. Yeah, thumbs <laughs> down this shit. I want, I want to remind everybody that this is like, what, a few minutes after Brett oh, said, okay, goodness. guys, so, this is it. I Brett Keen, the ultimate badass. And what has he done? Type one if you made it through high school. Type two if you failed from the get-go. Uh, what? Come on, be honest with come me. Come on, come be on, come on. Come on. Be honest with me. Type type three if Brett's a manatee. Type three for the manatee. Type three for the manatee. Yes, <laughs> type put, three. Type, no, type no, one if you have changed. Type two if you don't. Type three for the manatee. <laughs> so someone in our chat said uh, hashtag Dorn's a tranny. Dorn's oh a shit. Tranny. Maybe so. Oh, God. I was thinking oh, that. Yeah. That's why he thinks you can give women gum jobs. <laughs> gum jobs, dude. Because oh, Dorn's got a big old yeah, dick hanging between her legs. <laughs> Brett's never cracked open a biology there textbook to know that ain't supposed to be there, you know? <laughs> Brett's like, uh, Dorn, is this normal for a, a lady? <laughs> yes, Brett. <laughs> give me one with gum jobs. That's actually the most hideous <laughs> thing I've ever been threatened with. <laughs> I just tried to think of something worse than Brett Keen gumming my mother's oh, pussy. Sad, and sad that's it. Bastard. That's it. That's the final frontier. <laughs> there is no more. There's no horror more profound than that, dude. Okay. okay. Dude, there's a lot of threes in the chat, dude. There's a lot of threes. Time three for the manatee, dude. Oh my god, something's happening. Oh, okay, he's fighting. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Oh, the thing I just lazily swung <laughs> at right away. He just sent my enemy. <laughs> Over here. Well, I had a cave. I was trying to work it. Uh -oh, like, you're even this? Brett Keen in video games. <laughs> <laughs> hide. Like, they could make an action video game like Morrowind where you got spells and cool shit. And literally all you do is wander around town and, like, lazily hit something with a sword and then run away. <laughs> Brett Keen, ultimate Brad. Dude, he's the best Worst role player ever. ever. <laughs> He's the best oh, role player ever, dude. He's just himself in every game, just like haphazardly wandering. Uh -oh. Treasure chest. Oh shit! I'm probably gonna lose it if I get attacked by a single thing, though. <laughs> Come on, Brett, solve the fucking puzzle. What a hapless retard! You can't go. open it. Wait, what? You see that, oh, that motherfucker? That's pro skill right there, son. Neat. <laughs> That's pro skill. <laughs> pro, pro, skill. <laughs> pro skill. Oh my god. Brady it's like a, a 90s wigger at this point. <laughs> That's skill, bro. Bro, I got, got some skill. skill. Got some skills, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's attacking me. I'm gonna <laughs> win. Fuck the mart in the face. Okay. Okay. Fuck him right in the face! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Brett, fight! Do something! Oh, oh my god. god! You fat, worthless tub of shit. Okay, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Little god, fights and runs away, lives to fight another day. <laughs> hey, it's Hillary Clinton's situation. <laughs> What's she doing here? See what um, around her. Man, I'm a Trump man myself. If we weren't here commentating over this, I can imagine the yeah. droves of people that would be watching this. Dude, I mean, like, what? You fucking poopy head. 
It started with 14 viewers. What is the <laughs> what is the purpose of this shit? I have no like fucking clue. Says that his mother is worthless. Hey. No, he said Brett is worthless. For that ugly pig bitch, you wouldn't exist. You shouldn't talk about your mother that way. He said Brett Keen is worthless. What are you talking about? What? Well, Brett, you fuck a tranny named Dorn, so you don't have much room to talk. Whoa, Scotty. Oh well, Hammy, if you don't it's like about as true as everything he said about us. Go play Pokemon, you little fucking dum dum. You little dum dum. Yeah. <laughs> and you know it's not an insult to call someone Pennywise. You're a, you're, you're a dum dum, dumb, Paul. Probably one of the most classical badass movies ever. So try harder. You badass movies. Hard. Well, it's one of the most classical badass movies ever. <laughs> Freddy oh my That's right. God. I heard Freddy Wise the Cloud. I heard they're gonna make a book soon. <laughs> the book's gonna be out any day. <laughs> Maybe it'll be as good as Eternal Undying Love. Oh, <laughs> a scintillating Jared, masterpiece. Poop, however, I have shit in your father's mouth a couple times. Oh <laughs> shit! But he begged for wow, it. Brett, these but people he begged begged are so bad. People, he begged for me to shower him with my shit. <laughs> That's about as plausible as somebody calling you for fucking video advice, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Brett, I just gotta tell you something, yeah. man. My life real fucked up, Brett. Like hey, dude, there's a fucking Brett Keen poem in this book. Oh, okay. read it. Oh All right, we're, we're, gonna, read it. we're gonna get rid of this stream. Fuck this stream. Yeah. That sucks. Okay, so to recap, Brett can't stream video games for shit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna close on a Brett Keen poem. Let's do it. God of oh death. My God. God of death is the name of the poem. Yes. Okay. I am sorrow without tears, a torture without pain. Are you sure this wasn't written by uh, nineteen year old TJ? Yeah, maybe it was. <laughs> I am a god without redemption, existing in a paradox plane. <laughs> I'm a merciless killer, a victim without shame. I am a nightmare carved in ice, a place off limits to your mind. I am reason oh without rhyme. God. I am sin without consciousness. I am death. I am the apocalypse. Deaf ears seen by blind eyes. I don't mourn the dead. I don't care if you are hurt inside. I don't <laughs> repent for what has been because I don't forgive. I'm false religion. I am conceived of false faith. I am misery. Brought on by a man's... It's actually, this poem actually seems very self-aware for Brett. Yeah. <laughs> Brought on by man's dreams, demons of hate. <laughs> Come follow me, fall from grace. I am the director of your dreams. I'll take cr credit due at the end of your life. You'll become part of my collective. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many souls that I own. <laughs> Black curtain, call. I write the script. <clears throat> you play the role. You just can't oh understand. Dude! What? Is this fucking? Is this fucking with anybody? That, that that he, he's telling us what he's done. Yeah, I know. Yeah, is he but this is Brett from this like is, thirty this, years ago. This is Brett's confession. Yes. That all was promised has no bearing. I don't think it was thirty. Isn't that years beautiful? Ago. All that was promised has no bearing. Yeah, he would have been like nine. What does Dude. heaven have to <laughs> offer compared to a world where we can suffer? What does God Himself have that I myself can't acquire? Do I owe him for the life he gave me? Do I think of him when I breathe? Will I bow down to him after he took my legs away? We all or born to follow. It does say or, by the way. We all or born to follow. That is our purpose. Yet to follow, we must lead blindly. I wonder what it is you're trying to hide. One thing is evident. To see the light, I must die. <laughs> wow. The funny thing is, Jesus when Christ. I close my eyes, even for one moment, can you guess what I see? Darkness. And I only hear silence, dead silence. It used to scare me, the void of nothingness. How can this be free will when you know me, the choices I'll make? My beginning as well as my demise. How long is this? Wow, this goes on. So this, this is like a long-ass poem. I'll read the end. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the last stanza or two. I'll read you the last bit. I miss you. It's been a long time. I have thought about you and the life you led. Tried so hard to be the world's friend. Always walked a straight arrow. Every time, never making one mistake. Forever trying to do what's right, but now you're dead. That's the wrong form of your, by the way. Of course. The world was too much for you to handle. Too much pain to bear. No place for nice guys, because no one cares. 
Then a cold chill sweeps down my body, and I begin to laugh. Suddenly silence as my reflection disappears from the mirror. Then I realize, ooh, after all this, yeah. I will always be my only true friend. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Jesus Christ, what's worse, feminist slam poetry what or a, that what piece a, of shit? What a, what a spooky, confessional of... What a spooky yeah. ending. What a spooky poem in general. I'm only my, Brett. my only real friend is me. The poetry of Brett Keane is really the only place where he's self-aware at all. Uh, I'm ch yeah, except for chances are he stole that from a message board. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good point. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> We're just reading too much into it. That yeah. poem was almost certainly stolen from a message board like all his other poems. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, so you're right. <laughs> I think I actually recognize some of those as modified tool lyrics, but maybe I'm just being hyper aware maybe. of plagiaristic who, who knows? shit. With Brett, I mean. it's Brett. Also, I love how pixely the fuck you can't really see. Yeah, it's very pixely. But it's like it, it looks like it's so shitty quality. Like you could see all the fucking pixel edging around his hair. Well, and shit. he hasn't changed his Lulu account probably since like whenever he was selling that shit initially, like 2006. Yeah, Brett. When are you gonna write another fucking book, Brett? Yeah, dude. We need another book. We want to hear what's inside. It's time for you to bury your author's soul once more, dude. A book of poetry. Oh, oh uh, everyone's saying that uh, Brett's talking shit about TJ right now. Oh, really? Oh, yep. God. Gotta go back. Cool. Let's go, <laughs> go back. back. Live no. to the scene. You know, another thing we could do is uh, maybe I'll be Brett's patron once again. Maybe I could commission a new fucking work of fiction from Brett Dude, Keith. Oh, wow. Brett owes you an interview still. Oh. Yeah, doesn't he? That's true. He, he, said, do, he, he does said he owe you an interview. Me an interview. Yeah, yeah, as long it's as... It's intellectual. Church. Intellectual discussion, TJ. Yeah, we'll have an intellectual discussion. Yeah. It'll yes, be awesome. Yay, I'm yes. Brett. Yay, I am excitable. We'll do Brett. something interesting. Where's the Brett? shit he was talking? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't hear any shit. Can we go back a little? Uh, How long has the stream been? I don't know. Uh, like near an hour, I think. Just go back a smidge. Like a minute? <laughs> I don't know, a couple minutes. Two minutes? Like three minutes. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. All right. Right about there. So many ball washers, so little time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah, Brett can wash today's fucking balls. I'm still wandering around the same fucking place. Yep. So what did you guys think of that uh, video where uh, TJ live in a broadcast actually admits to uh, doing things with a 14-year-old? That's kind of icky, isn't it? Yeah, dude. Shit. <laughs> what? what? More guys, Brett huh? Keen honesty. Remember that yeah. stream where I was and like, man, remember that 14-year-old huh? I fucked? Yeah. Yeah, that stream. That was the last episode. I remember the stream where you admit you admitted the triple homicide. You're like, you know, I murdered three people. I just had to so get off what? my chest. You so know what, what, dude? I murder people all the time. I don't give a shit. Well, you have no morals. You're an atheist, of course. Yeah. Scott, you remember the stream where you admitted to being responsible for 9 11? Well, that was yeah. true. It I mean, true. yeah, well, credit where credit's due. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Is that all? Wow. I thought there was going to be a little bit more shit talking than that. Kid. Never had a yeah. chance. Poor curl. Failed from birth. Failed from birth. What? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, unlike really you, here. Brett, uh, swimming in an ocean of fucking success. All right. So, yeah. any uh, anything you want to say to the the guests before we go off the air? <clears throat> um, uh, well, two of them didn't say shit, and Egghead said things, but you wish he didn't. So. <laughs> I would just say, love you guys. All right, Egghead. I would say, Egghead when can I be broken. on your show, Egghead? When can I be on your Buy show? Buy this book, Everybody Eternal Undying it. Love, All right. Part One. Write me, Egghead. I want to be on the Egghead show. Oh shit! All right. I'm gonna be super nice to you too. It would be funny if people yeah. used our Amazon link to get in Eternal Undying. What's next, Ben? All right, uh, let's move on to this wonderful segment of the show. Individual situation. Check out that beautiful asshole. <laughs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right, this there one, <laughs> this one is polite, loving response to drunken peasants by Brett Keen. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> My brother's music. 
Who cares? Maybe I'll just skip this shit. Ugh. Yeah, the Jesus. Of okay, <laughs> Jesus. Mm. This this mm. ponderous fucking whoa, intro. Whoa, okay, guys, there did, we go. Did, didn't you see those warnings? Didn't you see those warnings? I mean, I should you be playing this? We shouldn't, but we will, because we're stupid. It's gotta be friendly. So be nice, and you'll be approved. God bless, and have a wonderful day. Oh, uh, but by the way, no, the comments are totally disabled. It, it, they're not on, uh, they're not up for review. You have all the comments disabled. Oh, look, look, yeah. he, he noticed, and he made his cam area bigger than the Patreon one, because we- Only we, slightly, though. Yeah. Only slightly. Fucking hot Slowly but here, surely we're gentlemen. molding bread into a competent video maker. <laughs> is, he a, is, is he a Christian now or an atheist? I don't know. Uh, no well, he's doing the Jesus thing and they said God bless, so I guess he's a Christian right now. Again. It's hard to tell, though. But, but that's a tobacco pipe, guys. That's yeah. tobacco. Yeah, sure. Let's see, let's see how he hits it. Let's see how many times he has to light it. Jeez. Tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> I like how he, he he tells you right away this is tobacco, okay? Tobacco. <laughs> mm. Like Brett needs to make like one of these at the beginning of every video, like where he's just like chugging a gallon of vodka and he'll be like Tap water, <laughs> tobacco, <laughs> insulin, insulin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just fucking every drug in the on the planet. Chill, chill the fuck out. It's just tobacco pipe. Smoking, Light, lighting it pipe. again. Yeah, like a tobacco pipe that you hit, like like it's a weed pipe. DJ, you um did a stream not too long ago where you said. Did I accuse you of rape allegations? No, you didn't accuse me of rape allegations. You accused me of rape. Yeah, you made allegations. Yeah. yeah. You had someone <laughs> come on your show to make allegations and sat there and, and sat there and sat there and let them do it. And That's what he led, accused you of. You also made leading statements, too. <laughs> So what you're saying is, TJ raped someone in high school situation. <laughs> Now, you know damn well I'd never do some shit like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know damn well. I know damn well that that's just, that would cross the line for Brett Keen. Brett Keen would never do some shit like that, y'all. Let me tell you why. Why is, it's true. Why is Brett Keen so knowledgeable about where TJ's penis has been and, you know, what it's doing? And I think you know the answer to that. I don't like you. It's true. I think that you're a reeking pile of fucking cow manure. Except for a month but ago when you liked me. You're trying to have your fans believe, I guess, your drunken piss hands out there. Your bananas that you enlodge in your asshole. That's a good one, Brett. That I would accuse you of raping anybody? Are you serious? Okay, so um, we actually just watched the we actually watched the clip on our our show where you are sitting there and you get this call from someone who's from Louisiana. Yeah. Yet he has a Grew thick northern accent where he fucking he he pronounces the word each other each other. It's not a that's not a Louisiana pronunciation each other, Louisiana. No one from fucking Louisiana talks that way, all right? Unless they're not even originally from there. Um, then they fucking deliver, like, line by line. They say something, and then you reiterate it, and then they say something, and then you reiterate it, and then they say something, and then you reiterate it. And the whole thing just comes across as, like, this really clumsily scripted moment. And every single person who watched it had that exact same fucking impression. Because it's just obvious watching it that it's so fucking fake, that it's so fucking staged. It's not even slightly convincing. You know, two wrestlers fucking dissing each other in the WWE are more believable than the shit you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. 
You got a dick the size of a doorbell, you couldn't penetrate a fucking mouse. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay? My dick's too small to have raped anything. Yeah. How the fuck are you going to rape anybody? You couldn't rape your own fucking hand. I do, often. How about the worst sexual assault you could ever do to anything is a fucking fruit or a vegetable? And from what I seen in the video, it got the best of you. <laughs> Why the fuck did you watch the video? Because he, uh -huh. yeah, I mean, I think once again, the answer is obvious, it. dude. Dude, mm. Brett Keen watches that banana, Brett Keen's watched it several times. I've known right? TJ for years now, and it, I've never wanted to watch the video. Like, there's no, the, I know I don't want to see it. So like Brett wanted to if see it's it. so fucking disgusting and reprehensible, why did you fucking watch it, Brett? You knew it existed. That's I mean, a good question. Yeah. He wanted to see it. He had to see it. Or at least the fattest part of you. Take off your fucking shirt. Let's see let's see if you're fat or not, bitch. I don't think he needs to take off his shirt for us to see that. You and Paul's ego. Oh. Micromanagement. Micromanagement. What? When did you know. ever see Paul's dick, dude? Did you show Brett yeah. Keen your dick, Paul? No, no, I can't remember ever pulling my dick out for Brett Keen. Are you sure? I'm, I'm positive. Okay. I mean, it's okay if you did, Paul. No judgment coming from us. All right, I did. We jerked <laughs> off together one time. It was just a, it was it was totally not a gay thing. It was just did guys, you, guys, you know. Did you guys hold hands while you jerked off? I mean, at the end, because I just like <laughs> like after I come, I like to cuddle. You know what I mean? That's not that's nothing. That's no big deal. I know? agree. That's not a big thing. You know, they were experimenting. They were young, wanted to see what it was like, trusted each other, and now Brett turns around and does this. I wouldn't be surprised if your brother Scotty was just as tiny. I bet if you all pulled down your pants, this on is a really creepy. Hill. Yeah, he's really it obsessed really with. Like, I thought, you know, like d doing the whole small dick jab, whatever. I mean, but like lingering on it the way you are, and like speculating about other people's dick sizes, and then talking about us all whipping out our yeah, dicks. Yeah, I mean, and, like what? And like, yeah, but Scotty ain't got much worth either you know i bet you all if you all pull down your pants you all have a bunch of tiny little dicks it's like what? Thing, did we, he has the jesus intro and everything right i mean yeah and jesus, he's jesus going on. oh yeah this is the kind of content jesus would uh would watch if he were alive today dude if jesus was watching youtube or making youtube videos it'd pretty much be this yeah people wouldn't even be able to tell the difference Look like this. Pontius Pilate, tell you one thing about him, <laughs> tiny little dick. Tiny. <laughs> Itty bitty. <laughs> tiny little micro dick. Me, I'm hung like this. Him, he's hung like this. Jesus, bitch. Three tiny little fucking miniature stooges. Okay. Whew, it is fucking hot out here. Notice how he notice did No, you you're hot because of what you, you're talking about. If you notice, <laughs> if you notice, he did not say that he thinks I have a little dick. Yeah, I, just I was, gonna say, I was that just out. about to say that. <laughs> he, he's, not, clearly, he's clearly a Ben fan, dude. He's trying to work the Ben angle here. Now, Ben, on the other hand, I mean, that's he's got a, a fucking... Nice, he's got a nice... He's got that's a, nice a respectable, cock. thick, veiny, bulgy cock. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can feel the heat right now, right? Um, no. Not really. Do no, you think no. I? You think I'm feeling the heat from this? I mean, jeez. Uh -huh. face, face it, man. TJ, you've been pawned. You've been <laughs> pawned. I've been hardcore pawned. It's true. What happened, TJ, is that some prick by the name of Dean came into my hangout. I don't know. Yeah, he's a prick. Uh, you were being pretty nice to him. I mean, uh, no. Uh, Dean came in your hangout, and uh, Dean is your fucking buddy that you planted, and everyone fucking knows it. I mean, I can't prove it 100%. So, I mean, you can have your little plausible deniability, but I mean, just go watch. And anybody who fucking d doubts the story, go watch the episode we covered it in. It was only like three or four episodes back. And judge for your fucking self, because I think it's pretty fucking evident what's going on. 
I mean, you, you even, in the middle of the conversation, you make sure to specify, now it ain't me saying this. Yeah. Well, everyone to rec realize it's not me saying this. It's this guy I'm talking to, this Dean character. But he seems credible to me. After a five-minute dissertation on your penises, I would think that he would <laughs> be okay with admitting who's saying it. Fucking guy. I publicly put my link out for people to come in and chat with me. You know this. I don't make people pay to come into my shit. Yeah, okay, so this Dean character, your, your version of events says there's this guy named Dean who um, found your channel and just said to himself, man, uh, this guy, uh, the Amazing Atheist, is Treason Preet and Brett Keen so bad. And uh, I went to high school with this Amazing Atheist guy. So I'm going to call up Brett Keen. And tell him <laughs> all about TJ's dirt. I'm not going to mention the school we went to. Not going to mention any sort of, um, you know, classes we shared together. Not going to mention what teachers we shared together. Not going to mention, um, you know, any sort of specific details in this story. And Brett Keen, of course, it doesn't ask him for any of these specific details. Brett Keen just goes along with the story. And uh, it's totally fucking stage. It's totally fucking fake. And I mean, I don't know. That's that pretty much just. I don't know. know what else to fucking say about it. I put the link out. People come in. Yeah. I don't know who the fucking majority of them are. As far as I'm concerned, it could have been some angry drunken peasants fan that you fucking scammed. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, that probably was it, dude. It was an angry drunken peasants how, fan. How, how did we scam them? How did the drunken peasants, how did we scam people? We charged, We probably charged them for a shirt, and then uh, we sent them a shirt. And, and, that, uh, and that was a scam? That's a scam, dude. It's bullshit what we did. Also, buy our shirts. But his name is Dean, and he repeatedly said in the Hangout he wanted to be on the Drunken Peasants show and deal with you on the allegations. I didn't fucking make up the allegations. I didn't write a script or a story. Mm, see, the drugs uh, are affecting me. Uh, see, that debunks you guys right there. He didn't yeah. write a script or story. So yeah. It's the drugs I that mean, are affecting us. Like I've said, I can't prove it. I can't prove this is what happened. It just seems pretty clear to me it is. It's my gut instinct. I don't have any fucking solid, concrete evidence, and I would never claim I did, but... Eh, just seems like it to me, based on the way that conversation went, based on the unnatural stiltedness of it, based on just the fact that it seemed like a scripted conversation. And most importantly, based on the fact that it's Brett Keen that we're talking about, who has shown time and time again that there is no bottom, there is no low he will not sink to in order to try and gain internet points over somebody he dislikes. So you put all that together, Brett, and it's a pretty con compelling... Uh, a uh, collection of circumstantial evidence. I actually think I'm planting people in my hangouts or pulling people in and shit. What am I? I'm the poorest motherfucker out there. You're the one with all the money. If you're the poorest motherfucker out there, why do you have a gaming channel where you have all the latest games and a PC capable of playing them and a top tier mic and a computer that can sit there and edit a billion fucking videos a day? Um, you know, I've seen the kitchen in your house. It doesn't look like you're living in fucking poverty. I mean, maybe no. you're not fucking sitting there rich or something, but it seems like, you know, you ain't doing too bad, Brett. Seems like you're making ends meet. Uh, probably not you personally, but somehow your <laughs> household is somehow your household is fucking making money. Also, you don't really need money people. to get someone to talk shit about TJ. <laughs> no, there's plenty of people that will volunteer. Yeah, to that's that. true. <laughs> it's not like that's an expensive proposition, you know. Uh, I, you know, no one would ever fucking come forth and say this unless I paid him two hundred thousand dollars first. Apparently white guys who shove bananas up in their ass. I don't know this guy. He comes in, he says he went to high school with you. Said that you got in trouble for some shit. Alright, 
right, whatever. It's just reiterating the same bullshit over and over again. Brett, you know what you when did. I was, Fuck you. When I was having that brief time where Brett and I talked on Skype, um, fucking, I was I was afraid of being set up with something like this because J Dubs, his little toady, was contacting me going. Oh yeah, Brett did this. I really need like as soon as Brett starts talking to me, all of a sudden I get J Dubs yeah. too. You know what I mean? It just smelled like Brett trying to set me up in some way. So I told J Dubs to go fuck himself and blocked him. But you know, the idea that Brett would do something something like this is not far fetched in the least, if yeah. you know anything about Brett Keen. Yeah, I agree. Now if you would have actually taken the time to look through the entire hangout, you would have seen that I challenged him, uh, asked him to uh. provide evidence for his claims, and he did. I think what he, was the he named off. Yeah, the yeah. What? I didn't. He said, he said he didn't. So this oh, is him okay. now disavowing oh, what was okay. said after. Of course, you know, spending the first fucking 13 minutes of the video calling TJ a micro dick. This is how T this is how Brett Keen backs away from something that's potentially damaging to him. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I thought um, maybe he was going to produce a mono, like a mono, Monica Lewinsky style dress, you know, with the stain yeah. and everything. This is TJ's jizz. <laughs> this is enough. I mean, he's saying the same shit over and over. Okay. There's only so many times I can say that he's lying. All right. What uh, army, motherfucker? We, we I'll need an army, bitch. We played this video on uh, the episode where we had Sargon on, but we we didn't watch all of it because uh, you know Sargon. Yeah, Sargon. Like he doesn't we give a shit about Brett Keen and stuff. But uh, we're gonna play it now because we only watched a few seconds of it, and I wanted to hear what Brett says because honestly, we laughed our asses off watching it. Not because Brett is funny, but, well, I guess Brett is unintentionally funny. Let's say that. We're laughing at Brett. Oh, my God. A million people have sent us his new video, too, which is, like, just him going back to his old style of just sitting around. Just We'll watch that on the next yeah, actual the next live show. Yeah. show. Yeah. Here it is, though. It's uh, Paul's ego prediction powers of the future situation. I'll turn this down because they'll be like, you use my brother's music without our permission, amazing atheist. You're going to have a lawsuit that situation. So me. epic seeing him pet that cat, dude. I yeah. know. <laughs> buy, buy that poor cat some kitty litter, you f fucking degenerate piece of shit. <laughs> and this pose. About the like, what is Paul that pose? Paul, the best thing about that was like, just like, you know, Brett sucks so much. Paul's like, oh, <laughs> support my you're, work. You're degenerate. You suck. Get <laughs> right this quick. Paul situation. Today, I'm going to do some predictions on my crystal ball about individuals. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Paul, because you struggle to breathe constantly. <laughs> I do. I like, yeah. I like how he added that part into the impersonation. Also, we know Paul has almost no, none of his teeth left. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. Even though we can always clearly see he's got a full set of teeth, not, not missing he, any, you know, but... Even if my teeth looked like that, once again, it'd be more teeth than Brett's got in his <laughs> fucking mouth. Way I more. I see... Oh. I see that Brett King... Sometime within a month, he's going to upload a video, and it's going to say God TV radio on that situation. You know, he doesn't even use situation in the correct context. No. It's like, uh... <laughs> He uses it like, like punctuation. Like yeah. at the end of every sentence, you say situation. <laughs> It's his, it's his thing. We stole it from him. Hey, hey guys, I have a prediction that Brett Keen's not going to make any videos about any like substantive issues and just going to focus on YouTube drama. That's my prediction. Wow. Not, no, Scott Adamas, dude. Yeah, I know. I predict that he's going to have silver gray like hair in his video. <sighs> They call me the king I of the manatees. Dude, Brett, you lie so much. The, the spirit. Does anyone really believe this? this? I just love like the, the premise of this video. Like, Paul makes all these predictions, but they're all real lame, easy to yeah. get things. 
It's but, like, but uh, why does he have to lie so much? Like, he, like he, look, he's lying about Paul. He's he's, he's taking some image that looks nothing like Paul. Look how it looks now. He's making Paul toothless. He make, he's making Paul basically just like an impotent moron that has no idea what he's talking about. Like his predictions are just very vague. Like Brett Keen likes fast food. You know, it's it's so fucking stupid. He just lies. And it's like this guy doesn't make any fucking like like. If you look at his channel. He makes no videos of fucking substance. He literally just has, his channel now is just might as, well, might as well be called like me fucking with DP the channel because it's all he fucking does. He has nothing. Brett, you have fucking nothing besides us, dude. You should fucking kiss on the fucking ground we walk on, you fucking fat, festering pile of shit. I mean, like, another thing is, like, I don't get why he feels the need to reiterate the same shit over and I know, over. he's got nothing fucking new. It's, it's like, just the same shit. It's like, I, I mean, my, once, you, once you said it, you said it. I mean, it doesn't need to be said over and over again until the end of time. My favorite thing about the existence of this video is that I know that when you know we had him on and talked to him about how i can call basically anything that he's going to do within you know one or two days uh, yeah. margin of error i know that that got to him like because here he is months later this is his masterpiece that comes out like no brett i'm not i'm not predicting silly shit like brett's going to upload a video i'm predicting shit like okay brett left youtube today he's going to be back within 48 hours and you do or Brett, uh, Brett is due for a, an ideological switch in the next couple of months, and you do. Or Brett's going to make a video using this private conversation that I had with him, and you do. That's or Brett's going to Brett's alliance with this person is going to be over in three weeks, and then it yeah. is. You know, it's like. Because it's the same fucking song and dance with Brett. I mean, it's not that Paul just is like, oh, he can just amazingly predict it. He's just seen the cycle of fucking Brett. He knows what you are as a person. Brett, you're a fucking despicable piece of shit. You're not loyal to anyone. You're not even loyal to your fucking self. That's the, that's the worst thing about you, Brett, is that, you know what? You can be dishonest to everyone else, but you're fucking you're dishonest most of all to you. Like, you're, you have no real true personality that you'll ever really expose to anyone. You're just so afraid of anyone actually knowing the real Brett Keen. You have to hide behind all this bullshit and make these total drama videos. And you know what? Most people that fucking engage in YouTube drama at least get somewhat of an audience, but you don't. That's how bad you are. You're not even good at being a YouTube drama whore, Brett. You have nothing in your fucking pathetic life. That's why Paul knows you're going to come back, because what the fuck else do you have, you fucking worthless sack of shit? Don't be mean, Scotty. I just know. I... Oh, wait a second. I predict that Brett Keen is going to have some kind of rock and roll music playing. Perhaps oh my in an God. intro. That's what my... I love how he says... The way he says rock and roll music playing, it sounds like playing. And then I imagine... <laughs> Paul, I imagine Brett like with his rock and roll playing. His know? rock and roll <laughs> music playing. Yeah. Yeah. Supernatural senses are telling me. Got yeah, like see, Aerosmith I'm a on it or something. Historian. I know all of his yeah. situations. You know what? You know what? The funny thing is, Brett. He's there's nothing supernatural. Gonna... There's nothing. There, uh, nothing supernatural. It's it's like me observing a stray dog outside my apartment eat its own shit every day <laughs> and going, you know what? I predict uh, today. A dog is going to walk over there and eat his own <laughs> shit. Oh, there he is. That's, that's what it is. It's just observation. There's nothing. I'm not, I'm not psychic. I've just watched you for way too long. Wasted too many minutes of my life watching your shitty shit. To, continuing to do yeah. so. And continuing to do so. making a video where he disagrees with somebody, too. See, I'm a prophet. I know everything. Such a oh, you're, you're the prophet, Paul. I... I'm gonna try to. Dude, I love how he's trying up. to like put the situation shit onto you. Yeah, like that's like your thing, Brett. That's us making fun of you because you use the word situation. He's just trying to much. claim it back, dude. He doesn't even. He doesn't even get the, when he tries to do it intentionally. He does it wrong. He does. It, I don't know. I don't know what it is about Brett. He's just so fucking stupid. He can't even fucking when he tries to take a joke back. He doesn't even know how to take it back properly. But it's like he's not even trying to take it back at this point. Like, he's almost trying to make it like seem like Paul is the one who's always saying situation. Yeah, yeah. Much. Have we ever talked about his sit there thing on the show? You sit there and you do that. Yeah, yeah. You've talked oh, about yeah, that. Talked about That's one of my there, favorites yeah. that doesn't but get enough you play. Sit there. 
you can sit there and sit there and say I'm gonna sit there and make a video, and then you sit there and you 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 make you make fun of me, and you sit there and you attack my wife, and I sit here like what's going on, and you sit there keeping on attack. Uh, it's it, like. <laughs> He likes to sit. I'm gonna make a video of me attacking Brecky when I'm walking around. Like I'm not sitting anywhere, Brett. <laughs> Other things there, too. There's actually a video um, out there that I saw that it'd be cool if we could find it uh, of somebody who took his appearance, the big one, where he came on and we destroyed him. Um, where they took and just cut out all the sit there's, and there's like a hundred of them over the course of his appearance. It's just sit there, sat there, sit there. <laughs> he sits there. We sat there, sit there, sat uh. there. It's the best, dude. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, that'd be great. Here, I'll try. It, oh, so, we, so yeah, you, I found, found, it. I found, found it. one. Brett Keen sit there compilation. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. It's the best, dude. Oh, that's it. It doesn't look like it's just from our show, though. At least, it, it I might mean, be, there's... It, yeah, it might be from multiple sources. There's a there's a couple of them out there, but e any of them will be good. Yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> I'll play more of this. Hold on, I can't click around here and play. Okay. All right, go ahead. Predict that the TJ the might TJ. end up wanting to fist me on his drunken <laughs> cousin's show situation. I, I actually God, did Brad. not predict that one. You I didn't see that one coming. You can't predict the past, dude. You can't uh, predict the past. God, he's so dumb. Hold on. It's like arguing with the child. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. He's probably gonna call me a bitch. And in sight that he might want to kick my ass situation. When have I ever said I was going to kick Paul's ass? I, I don't. I don't remember. I mean, maybe in jest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, like seriously. Like, I don't think I've ever. I mean, Scotty's threatened to kick your ass before. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but Scotty's pretty much threatened to kick everyone's ass. Yeah. Right. It's fucking true. Scotty. Um. I never threatened to kick Paul's ass, though. I think you'd. I think. I mean, I think you might have done it in jest, but well, that's yeah, like, that's it, it. Yeah. I mean, I'll kick your fucking ass. Okay, this is Brett Keen. Do you think Brett's not willing to twist the fucking truth? Well, I'm just trying to figure out what he's even talking about with that. Who knows? I know what some of you are thinking out there, but he's already done that already, Paul. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's the pattern. You see, <coughs> that's the. Pattern of Did you just the lose the plot and refer to Paul as huh. himself? Let me see what my future <laughs> yeah, he holds. He's situation. so dumb. I'm gonna look into my crystal ball <laughs> and find out what it is that oh, my this life is the best holds part. for me. This is the best part. Okay. Here, here's Paul's oh, life in the future. It says that I've been unemployed for a very long time. <laughs> You're unemployed. Untrue. You're unemployed, Untrue. Paul. That's, new, that's news to us, Paul. Yeah, Since that's, I was. As your employers, it's strange to know. So let's just fact check this real quick. Since I was 16 years old, I've been unemployed maybe a grand total of two months. Since I was 16, I'm 36. So Paul's a hard-working motherfucker. There you go. And in the future, it won't be any different situation. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, uh, Brett, um, huh. have you ever had a job in your life? Yeah, oh. Brett, you've been asked so many times. We asked you, like, I think the last show or, or whatever, but, like, Brett, what is your job? Like, you know, if you're, if you're going to teach us about the, uh, the fucking what it's like to be a working man, uh, how many jobs have you held like, recently, Brett? What do you do for Brett really money? doesn't get the whole don't throw stones in glass houses thing, does he? Like... No, not at all. Paul's ego barely got any teeth, even though he has all his teeth, and I don't. <laughs> Paul ain't got a job. Unemployed bum. It's like Paul's ego's unemployed, what? even though he actually is employed, and I'm not. It's like I, what? I do like, I do like where this freeze frame ended up, though. That's, that's <laughs> that is a pretty funny freeze frame. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, a minute. What's this? My entire family situation won't want to have nothing to do with me, <laughs> and my wife. She leaves. Whoa! <laughs> oh, your wife. She that leaves. Must be her pattern situation. The pattern says that she's gonna be mad at me because I won't get employed or do anything with my life, <laughs> and I'm gonna end up getting Where drunk the self and doing awareness? drugs off of her. Uh, it's it's it's. I think Brett Keen is like. I mean, this is Brett's life. I'm 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 really assuming when he's talking this shit. I mean, look 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 at the teeth. Look at everything. This is just Brett projecting yeah. his life onto you, Paul. It's true. How pathetic. And like, I don't get it. 
Like, how does how does Brett think these are good attacks when this is like totally applicable to him more than anyone else practically on Earth? Paul's <laughs> Rico never gets laid. It's like what? Brett, well, back when <laughs> this is this Brett has been doing this for a long time. Back when Brett used to have credibility, he used to do this to people. Like he just makes up uh, a narrative and presents it as if it's true. And back when he had credibility, people would go, wow, I guess so-and-so is a fucking pedophile. I guess so-and-so did fucking get arrested for stalking or whatever. And he just pulls it completely out of his ass. Like, what is he talking about? Like, first of all, I've, I've been divorced now for months. So it's not exactly like you're looking into your crystal ball and it's showing you <laughs> shit that already happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, uh, no, what's going on? Uh, paycheck situation. I'm going to end up alone. <laughs> I'm going to end up where nobody actually likes me situation. Uh, well, Brett, yet me. again, this the is you. The only one that's ever going to like me is TJ, the amazing atheist individual. Okay, whatever. Well, and the future shows that even if I guess I guess Brett's right there though. Yeah. <laughs> my, my only my only friend in this world is TJ the amazing yep. atheist. And he only likes Individual. you because he only likes you because you make him feel better about himself. Yep. Right. Yep. He won't like me after <laughs> it's all said and done. Well where am I gonna get my money situation? Oh, no. Well, let, let, oh, let's, no. let's, let's, let's see, Brett. I know you need the answer to this. So uh, the, the question is, if I lose my job, how am I going to get my money situation? Let me let me give you a, a pro tip about life. I'm going to go get another job. <laughs> see, that's that's what, what? That's, what mo that's what most people who lose <laughs> their jobs and need money to continue living do. It's what I've done my entire life and it's what I'll continue to do. I uh, just so, more minds. Fuck that shit, dude. You just sling a rock. Yeah, I, either that or I'll pretend I've got agoraphobia and I'll and I'll I'll milk the fucking state for my paycheck while my wife goes out and is a sole breadwinner. I'm watching the kids. I'm a whole. By the way, this is the Paul's Ego Amazon wish list. God. Sometimes predicting the future and people's reading isn't so smart after all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, Brett, actually... Sometime, wait, wait, wait. He said predicting the future and some people's reading isn't so smart after all. What does that mean? I don't know. That's don't fucking know. gibberish, Brett. <laughs> That's not even a sentence. <laughs> he does that sometimes. Uh, he says shit that you're just like, what is he saying? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh. I can't oh. see my life anymore. I don't think I have a future situation. <laughs> what? Damn, Paul. Pwn, oh, bitch. Dude, Brett is Roasted. saying you're going to like, oh, off yourself, Paul. Just kill yourself. You might yep. as well just kill yourself <laughs> now, Paul. Open a vein. I can't, I can't You've been see destroyed. my and my crystal ball anymore. Time to end it all. <laughs> Brett. Uh, yeah, Brett, that doesn't sound like crying. That was a masterpiece. Support my work Support at Paul. Support my work. Support, support this great fucking content on Patreon, folks. Get on over see, there. I want to see what he's I up do. to now. I do. I, I support to, him on Patreon. Let's see what he's up to now. Let's see. I'm, I'm one of Brett's, like, three Patreon supporters, dude. All right. Do you want to see the... Uh, I partially funded this. Do you want to see the sit there compilation? Yes. yes. All right. Sitting there. Sat there. Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. He's sitting there. I'm sitting there. I sat there. I'm sitting there. Sit here. I sit here and jump. Huh? He sits there and sit there. Sit in the I sat to sit there. Sit there. I am sitting there. Sit here. Sit there. 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 Here. Um, sit here and sit here. Sit here. Sit here. Me to sit here like a circus. Hey, I'll sit here like. <laughs> what the fuck? She's sitting in here. I'm just sitting there having a conversation. Gonna sit there and try to do some. Jeez. Yeah. Dude, this is bizarre. But according to this, Brett King gets 811 bucks a month. What? Yeah. On I, Patreon? Yeah. Holy shit. He, he, has, he has seven patrons and he's at 812 per month. He used to get nothing. I think T. I, it's TJ's fault. TJ's fault. Maybe. I only give him six dollars and sixty six cents. I don't know who's giving him real money. You, you led the charge. Well, they only have seven, so you, you might have some charge. bullshit patron that's not, you know, planning on giving him anything. Maybe he just puts his own welfare check in there to make it seem like he's getting huh. more. <laughs> he, I said he only has himself. seven people.
Nice. He's like, if I make it look like other people are donating, people really will donate situation. <laughs> individual. Individual. Or sit there in this individual particular you situation. There. You just sit there. You just sit there. You sat there. You sat there. You sat there. You sat there. Everyone's sitting somewhere. We're all sitting here right now, Red. I am. We are sitting here. Uh, Paul's sitting there. I'm sitting here. Yeah. I'm sitting here and I'm sweating here. It's fucking hot, man. Ben can't afford to pay for our shirt. Yep, yeah. yep. That's what happened. They can't even afford to pay yeah. their AC bill. Drunken Presence claims to be a successful podcast, but they can't even <laughs> afford air conditioning. <laughs> it's, it's true. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful oh, asshole. Shit. The individual Brett Keen segment situation. <laughs> oh shit, man! Fucking the manatee. We have the some. We have some videos that were deleted, <laughs> but they're recent videos. Oh, <laughs> shocking! Shocking. <clears throat> Here's the first one. We'll, we we probably won't watch bo all of both, but okay. Cool. <laughs> so so there's a monkey now that's cool um shit dude i don't know if i can even i'm so fucking baked i don't know if i can even handle the you don't even know what's going on Hattie. i don't even know dude i don't even fucking know why should i know why does anyone know anything? <clears throat> you've never been able to follow the show scott i don't I'm, know what's going on you're a fucking that's true shit. yeah i was I gonna know say what... scotty at least you don't know what's going on right now like all the rest of us are burdened look with at, the... look what the oh, fuck? Sh oh shit, dude! Farmer Keen, dude, look at him. <laughs> Have you guys heard about the uh, the Olympics, man? Paul, don't don't go to Rio, man. You're gonna get Zika. You're gonna get Zika. Dude, don't Paul. put that shit in my head, Scotty. Dude, Paul, you might get Zika anyways in the U.S. Dude, you live in Texas. It could happen, man. You're gonna get fucking Zika, dude. I'm sorry. Fuck, man. Well, fuck you. Now, now I've got to take a fat shit. So fuck you. I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> You guys leave all the time to shit, so don't give me shit oh, about man, it. Come I'm on, Paul. What the fuck? No, Jeez, no, Paul. fuck you. Unprofessional. Unprofessional, Paul. Whatever, man. Well, I guess he really has to shit, so... <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's that uh, new Drunken Peasants Pokemon hotline we installed, dude. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Shit. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? On? Hello? <laughs> hello? Is this, is this a drunk peasant? Some... Yeah, it is. Oh, got... shit. I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so nervous to welcome meet you Welcome to our new Pokemon hotline, What's up? dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. So, uh, hey. what Pokemon Go information do you have for us? Hey, uh, well, I'm a truck driver, and uh, I listen to y'all as I'm driving truck. And uh, yeah. I was cruising through uh, the, the great state of Missouri uh, the other day. So, you're and, a truck uh, driver, and you were going through Missouri. Yes, I was okay. going through Missouri, um, yeah. and I was in some shitty little town in Missouri. I don't, I don't quite remember the name of it, but uh, you know, some shit little town in in Missouri. I got lost. I took the wrong exit, and I got lost in some shit neighborhood. Right, so I'm rolling around, driving a truck through Missouri. Yep. Got lost. Yep, got lost. Yeah, and uh, there's a there's there's a there's a man by the side of the road in this neighborhood. Right, and I can see him up in the head. It looks like he's doing something. He's not wearing a shirt. Just a big old fat dude with uh, gray hair, wearing a pair of, like, Oakley sunglasses and shit. And I pulled up on him to see what he was doing, and I shit you not, man, he was fucking a dog. Like, fucking a dog right in the ass, in the middle of the street in this shitty little town in Missouri. So I pulled over, you know, I'm not, you know I, I care about animals and stuff. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, you saw a man with uh, white hair, wearing Oakley, just cheap $5 Oakley rip-off sunglasses, shirtless, yeah. in the street, fucking a dog in some small shithole town and, in Missouri. And did this person uh, look anything like the, the person we have on the screen right now? Would you say I mean, that's a... it's kind of hard to tell, because the person on the screen here, like, it was wearing a shirt, and this dude was not wearing a shirt, but uh, definitely got the hair color right. He didn't have no teeth, the dude. So I pulled over, and I, I was going to stop him from hurting this dog. And uh, I said, sir, what are you doing to that dog? And he, he looked, and I'll never forget it, man. It chilled me to the bone. He looked me right in the face, and he said, if you don't fucking leave, there's going to be a situation. <laughs> and I just knew that, like, I needed to get back in my truck. But, man, he was fucking that dog, man. He fucked that dog crazy. You know, Holy so shit. there you go. There you go. 
So, someone matching the description and mannerisms of Brett Keen was yeah. fucking a dog. Was fucking a dog, and you are an eyewitness, Mr. Yeah. Now, Random. we're not saying this. We're, we're not saying this. This this uh, guest who called in, we were just here to talk about Pokemon when all of a sudden this gentleman called us and has dropped this bombshell information. We're not saying this. This gentleman is saying this. The, the man yeah. the description of uh, Brett Keen. Yeah. Yeah, Just, uh, my name is my name is Bruce Beef Potato. So yeah. you know this we Bruce can't Bruce say Potato. this is Bruce so, Beef Potato so, saying this, not I, the Drunken Peasants podcast. I, I believe this no. is the guy who also created the Brett Keen fuch, fucks dogs hashtag. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't do. I didn't want to do. I, I wouldn't do that. No, no. I did see him do it though. And then now that I'm <laughs> now that I've had some time to look at this picture that y'all have up right here, it's definitely him. It's definitely him. He, him, oh. him was the one that was, what was fucking the dog. Well, let's just, I just want to <laughs> clarify once again, this is... That's shocking. This is Bruce saying this. Yeah. This is not the drunken peasant saying this. This is yeah. Bruce saying this. No. Uh, wow. Some shocking news. We were just here to talk about Pokemon. We just we opened this new Pokemon hotline for people to come and share their Pokemon Go tips as a new oh. segment on the show. Well, oh, yeah, that's the that's the end of the, the whole, story. Like, the the end of not, the story is, yeah. is that What's as up? I was get as I was getting back in my truck, I caught a okay. Pikachu in that shitty little town. So I just want to let everybody know that whatever that I think it was something like Festus. So like if you're in Festus, there's a Pikachu. Uh, <coughs> that's that's really why I called was to, just to tell you that the the, the whole guy fucking the dog was just you know to get me to the point of there's yeah. a Pikachu. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, so P okay. there's a Pikachu in Festus, everybody. If you are looking for a Pikachu to add to your Pokemon Go collection, you can get one in Festus, Missouri. It's good yep. to know. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. No thank problem. Thank you so much. No, no problem. My pleasure, guys. Thank you guys for the content. Good night. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Bruce. Wow. That was, uh, I think, the first night of our Pokemon hotline is a fucking success, dude. It is. I mean, I was hoping to f figure out where to catch a Pikachu, and, you know, now we know. Where the yeah. fuck is Paul? I Paul just want to remind everyone thing. that we didn't say that. Yeah, Bruce We didn't said say that. that. Bruce. The drunken peasants didn't say anything shit. like that. Oh, Paul. Dude, Paul, you missed the craziest fucking shit. What happened? Dude. What did I do? I, I get up to take a shit and I missed the whole fuck. What happened? No, dude. There's fucking... We, we got a call on the Pokemon hotline. Yeah. This dude, I think his name was like Bruce, Bruce? Beefwater or some shit like that. Yeah. yeah. And he, he fucking uh, was telling us all about how he caught Brett Keen fucking a dog on the side <laughs> of the street. That's crazy. That I mean, is, we, I mean, we, no, no, no. We can't, not, we yeah. can't confirm that it's right. true. We were not there. matching the description. We weren't there. But, you know, it was right. a good gentleman matching the description of Brett Keen. Wow. Uh, you know, this eyewitness testimony. I mean, I, I suppose he could be lying. We don't know. It's just, it's a big question mark at this point, but it's an interesting story. Uh, and wow. apparently you can also catch a Pikachu in Festus, Missouri. So, uh, you know, you should probably let Ashley know about that. I know she's big in the Pokemon thing. Pikachu Sweet, and Festus. Man. And wow. uh, the whole that's, audience. That's Everyone well, go so, to Festus. You can catch a Pikachu there. Just to make sure, though, it wasn't us that said this, right? It was Bruce, no. whatever. Yeah, Bruce something or another. On he the said hotline? It. Yeah, Crazy. on the Pokemon hotline. He said it. Not us. I just want to clarify that. We didn't say that. It was Bruce. Wow. We didn't. Bruce said that. I didn't say it. So anyway, let's take a look at Brett Keen's video. <laughs> Does Whoops. he fuck a dog in this video? <laughs> Allegedly. He might. I heard he fucks dogs. You guys hear something about that? Yeah. Allegedly. I heard, I heard a rumor about that. Allegedly. <laughs> what is Brett doing? Mm. Right, so goofy. Still or not? Why not edit this yeah. out? <laughs> it's riveting well, hello, content. Why would you gentlemen. edit out My name is Brett Keen from those God little moments TV that just make the channel work? Make sure you connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you check out all my YouTube channels, which all can be found on my website, GodTVRadio.com. Your website. I wanted to make a deal with people out there, and I think that it's pretty courteous of me to do so. <laughs> thank because you. A lot of you well, thank don't you for your courtesy. He's bringing a deal you to us. don't deserve any kind of negotiation or rationalization. Negotiation. Like this. Negotiation, Many of you out there, situation. you think that you can just come along and take my videos and cut them up. Who's doing Mind that? quote me. Try to make me look like a complete... <laughs> Mind quote, Mind quote me. Try Mind to make Brett me. look bad. Uh, <laughs> no, what did he say? What did he say? He said, Mind you're quote. trying to mind quote me. <laughs> <laughs> mind That's quote. the man straw fallacy. <laughs> the man. Do I hear a dog barking in the background? No, Scott's Truman. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I don't think. An idiot. I don't think dogs come anywhere near Brett Keen, so to be honest with you, from what we've heard, like you know. 
He comes near them. He <laughs> comes in them. He comes well, in them. That's Jesus. That's not going to be something Balls that you're going to be doing anymore. Allegedly. Allegedly, according you to You can Bruce. either be respectful, you can either be decent, and say to yourself, Hey, you Brett, know this how are you telling us to be decent when we've heard some doozies about you, brah? Come on, yeah. yeah, we've heard a number we, of doozies about Brett. We apparently just had a caller that had a doozy about you, Brett. Yeah. It's to our Pokemon line. Yeah, why? We're all avid Pokemon Go players, so... Love it. Yeah. Love it. And we just wanted to learn more about where to get the best Pokemon, the best pickups, you know, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, we thought you guys would uh, appreciate the hopefully, information. Hopefully the hotline will not be misappropriated in this way again. No, I don't, I don't think I don't think so. I'm hoping that, you know, from now on it'll just be, you know, Pokemon tips. There's not going to be this fucking, oh, we're going to slander Brett Keen. Well, dude, it's shit. one of the first times, so there's a lot of confusion right now. Yeah, but. so I'm hopefully people will get, the, get what the Pokemon hotline is all about as, as things progress. Of course. This is yeah. not how we treat people. Or I'll just go to your channel and I'll report you. All right. And... Your videos oh, clearly no, violate report terms of service. Your videos <laughs> break community guidelines, so I'm just doing what the hell my civil duty is to simply <laughs> report <laughs> harassment <laughs> and nonsense on the internet. It's Brett's civil Sheriff, duty. Sheriff Brett <laughs> just doing his duty. <laughs> Time to clean up this here backwater town of YouTube. Dude, it's just the fact that he thinks this is a real fucking threat. It's just so funny. It's just, I just have to report you. It's like, dude, no one's afraid of this. Go ahead and report anyone you like, bro. I'm the fastest DMCA in the West. <laughs> okay. I'm scared now. <laughs> Please, bro. I'm going to ask drunken peasants. Dude, Brett, oh, the, here we go. Oh, shit, shit, Brett, the only thing afraid of you is dogs, dude. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> as well as all the different ages out there. Over the years. Over the years. Nicely and respectfully, take those videos down, or private them, or turn them off. Do whatever. And you can respectfully suck my and dick, Brett. And I also want a public apology. Fuck you. I want <laughs> you to public make apology. Here's your apology. Here's your apology right here, Brett. I named my fingers. This one's I'm, and this one's sorry. Sorry, Brett. Video and state that you're not going to talk to Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews like this anymore. I like how he lumps all those groups together like yeah. they all get along. He's they all get along. God, my like Brett, Brett has never been, he's never been happy with with just one religion like he's got a he like christians as well as buddhists as well as muslims as well as pagans like and it's jews. always that way yeah like like muslims and jews are usually on the same team you yeah. know <laughs> he's gonna feel like he's a big part of a big club you know the god believer club yeah but fuck if those hindus and all yeah, he doesn't mention them. that you have pagans even but I not guess, i guess hindus are pagans though no they're not I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. They have multiple gods. So. Yeah. And that's like kind of pagan. definition of pagan, I think. Or pagan. Well, that's polytheistic. That's yeah. what multiple gods. That's well, I mean, like, that's what they, they say, like, pag anything that's pagan's like a general term, too. Like, it's not like okay. Wicca or some shit. Yeah. We we'll don't even know. All the views that you've obtained so far through your videos will simply be gone. Gone. Yes. Sim simply be gone. I think that some of you got the <laughs> wrong impression about me. I think that you... <laughs> Over the years, you figured, ah, oh, this the is a nice guy. This no, no, <laughs> no, no, no one ever figured that, Brett. Nope. I think you got the wrong impression. You think I'm a nice guy. It's like, no, no one no. thinks that. Literally no one on earth is like, you know who's nice? Brett Keen. I mean, no one does he lie. He has such a false modesty. All like, right. People just love so, me. You know I think who's we... skinny? Paul's ego. <laughs> yeah. Skinny as I... shit. I think we got the gist of this video. He, he was going to do like a flagging campaign. The next video is a follow up to that. Yeah, so okay. blackmail video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Neat. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Uh, Sweet. Today I'm going to show the Christians, Muslims, and pagans and Jews something. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. He's gonna have a big old club. I'm gonna show all these fucking good theists, you know, what they need to do to protect themselves. Something that's going to show you that if you use YouTube, then most likely you're a part of a scam, and you don't even know it. Mm. Now, what is a scam? What is considered a fraud? <laughs> what is a scam? Did you know that whenever you make videos out there and atheists take <laughs> your videos and put them in their own 
they're going to claim that they have fair use. They're going to claim that for some reason they have the right and the ability to take your content, put it onto theirs, and then in the process they will turn on monetize it. You know, like, I think Brett in some part of his mind thinks of himself uploading this video and then like this big coalition of Muslims and pagans and Jews and all these people are just like, hey, yeah! Let's all rally around Brett Keen. Yeah, and you notice, like, notice how he's never posting. Gonna happen. Notice how he's posting like our whereabouts in his video too. Like, here's where they're gonna be. I'm yep. not saying go do something to them, but yeah. here's where they'll be if you want to. Station, which makes it to where they make money. I want to show you something here that's very important that some of you do not know. This is a new video by the Amazing Atheist where he uses my video in this his This is the content. Drunken Peasants. According to the stats and also the analytics, he's going to make $44.57 um, off of all the people that he has put into his video. You know how whenever you see Venom Thing X or Jesus Freak 777 or one of these no Muslims out anymore. here who make a video talking about their views? and then the atheist grabs the clip and puts it into their video. Whether you're running a podcast or whether you're running it to where you're just simply talking shit about one single person, they get paid for it. Uh, uh, the only one who fucking just non-stop talks shit about one person, or at least only a few people, yeah, is you. Well, he's talking about you right now, that, like, even though, you know, all of us are on Drunken Peasants, he's like, here's video by the amazing atheist. Yeah, and, like, he'll fucking go, like, 70% against me, and then 30% against Paul, and then make no <laughs> other kind of videos. <laughs> and they literally get paid more than you do. And the reason why they get away with this... Is because YouTube because makes people want to watch us. Yeah, there's there's at least a decent amount enough of people that actually want to watch us. Yeah, you know, Brett, you understand fair use. No one's stealing shit from you. Uh, Brett has used clips from other people in his he, videos. In this video, as he, he should be able to. In, in this video, he points out the full screen thing, and he claims that like we're pr like we're protected. Uh, to like steal people's content by full screen. I, I wish that that's were true. bullshit. That'd We've be been awesome. DMCA'd like three or four times. Like bullshit. Money too. Did you know that? When those advertisements and stuff goes up, oh, the it's company also a YouTube called Full conspiracy. Screen, which oh, is a yeah. YouTube network, ends up getting paid for the advertisement from your video being in their clips. All they have your to do video is to simply it claim in their clips. <laughs> what a terrible explanation. Like, your videos that are clips. Total liberals. Like what the fuck? <sighs> I mean, um, Brett, full screen's what basically are you a middle talking man. about. Like, do we have to explain again? <laughs> fucking fair use. I mean, no. like. As long as we're providing criticism and commentary on what you're doing, what you're uploading publicly, we're allowed to do that. Just like you're allowed to take our video and fucking cut it up and fucking criticize TJ, it. why are you explaining this? He already knows that. He's already used this principle to his advantage. I'm not even times. explaining it. I'm not really explaining it to him. I'm just explaining it to anyone out there who might not fucking know what the fuck he's talking about. Oh, okay. Fair use. And they can sit there and call you names throughout your video. Or let it play all the way through and just... There's nothing... Dog fucker! Allegedly. There's, there's nothing in the fair use laws that states that it has to be nice or polite or anything like that. Yeah, that's not why fair is in that. That's that's one of these things that like people like Brett always try and do. That's not fair. It's supposed to be fair use, which means that you give me equal time and you let me... Con you know, like, you, you paint my, my, my content in a good light. No, no, that's not why fair is in there. Fair use is for purposes of critique or commentary. That's all it is. It doesn't mean nice. It doesn't mean good. It doesn't mean painting you in a good light. Yeah, it's basically saying that it's fair for us to use it as long as we aren't just, like, wholesale stealing it and saying, like, this is our content. I mean, we, if we just only made, like, very superficial changes to it, like we put a red nose on Brett Keen, that probably wouldn't be enough for it to qualify as fair use, but... The fact that we actually like go through your the details of your video and critique like all the ideas and thoughts and shit presented there, that pretty much covers us completely. Because we are basically you're putting ideas out there in the public space, 
we're allowed to take those ideas and shit on them and say they're bad ideas. Yep. Yeah. Basically, in this video, he says that people are going to have to start giving him money to, like, make more videos. Neat. Yeah. This video is no longer up, though. Well, he should be nicer to me because I'm one of the few people who is giving him money to make his shit videos. No, no. <laughs> make belching sound. No, 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 because we're actually destroying his YouTube career. He accuses <laughs> us of that in this video, too. Uh, Some noises, and they're going to get paid 50 bucks. That's where you're not going to get paid anything. That's like, worse. um... These big YouTube company networks out well, there. Well, here's the problem, Brett. You get paid for your content, too. It just sucks, so you get about 21 cents per video, because nobody's watching it. The fact that we cover you as a small part of our show and make more money than you do on 25 videos is not what it's what's at issue here. Yeah, I mean, you're you're a fraction of the overall show. Yeah, and not only that, um, you know, your content is out there for anyone who wants to watch it. And like, honestly, this show is giving you a shit ton of promotion. The fact that so few people actually take the initiative to go out and watch your content should tell you something. Yeah. I mean, like, because, like, basically what it says to me is that your content is only interesting to people when we're shitting on it. Like, if we're not shitting on it, no one cares to listen to it. They just like how mean we are to you, and they don't have to feel bad about how mean we are because you're a total piece of shit. So no one has to feel bad for you. That's what the wonderful thing about you is. But you know the best thing about that with he, Brett can actually get people to feel bad for him. He always he, there's yeah, always a time where TJ will do something and people be like, man, TJ's a dick, you know, or Paul's a dick, or you know, they were being a real dick okay, to Brett. But I here's the problem, like. It, it, as soon as they do that, like within a day or two, Brett's done something to make I know. Them fucking like to make them say, "Oh, never mind." But that's why that's that's you know one thing. Honestly, you have to love about Brett. Like he just makes enemies like nobody else I've ever seen. I've seen Brett on like several occasions pull uh, defeat from the jaws of victory. He's like yep. his specialty. <laughs> These big YouTube channels, they'll make it to where you can't take them down by reporting them. They've actually got insurance where they can get away with this shit. Insurance. Your false and flagging didn't worse. work, huh? Just yeah. when you figured to yourself, well, I false flagged them like shit, and there's still nothing happened. <laughs> They're protected by a conspiracy. Yeah, like, the conspiracy is the channels that make YouTube money. You know, yeah, are they going to be biased? Of course. What are you? What are you thinking? I think YouTube just goes and, like, someone made a claim. It's Brett Keen. Let's look at his history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're not going to take this seriously at all. Yeah, let's Maybe. see. This user's been banned 14 fucking times <laughs> from the website and gets about 22 views a video. Yep, not going to take this one seriously. Let's move on. You're going to say to yourself, I'm not here for money. I just want to talk about God. I just want to talk about <laughs> no, you religion. you don't. Ah! You're all about the money. What are you talking he, about? Yeah, I do think he... <laughs> Worships TJ as God because he says all he wants to do is talk about God, and all he talks about yeah. is me. Yeah. Oh, all he well, talks about point. is us. Yeah, like yeah, up dude. until recently, when Brett like suspiciously removed every mention of the drunken peasants from all of his <laughs> channels, your entire channel was nothing but us. It was me with the stupid fucking you know mouth moving thing, and TJ, and you having people in to talk about how TJ raped people, and like, what do you? Do you do you not know that the people that are watching this know that you've spent the last fucking like two years dedicating your channel to this channel? You don't just want to talk about God. You haven't made a video about God in forever, Brett. <laughs> Unless I'm God, then he has. I just want to express so. myself. Who cares if somebody's stealing my work and doing all this kind of stuff? <laughs> what? That's, Unfortunately, that's not your attitude at all, these Brett. Big that's ridiculous. YouTube network companies, they have something called content ID. And what this means is is that they digitize the video <laughs> as well as the sound of all these videos where they steal your work. So one day, if you manage to work your way up to at least a hundred or a thousand I feel like I'm watching a really bad tutorial. Lo, lo and behold, you might wake up one day <coughs> and find your entire YouTube channel gone. Because the atheist has set it up, as well as the YouTube network, <laughs> to make it out to appear as though you've stolen their content because your videos are actually in their videos, and they've made it their work. What Sweet. is this now? So one day you're going to wait. Is he, is, he, is he claiming that we are filing DMCA's against him? 
Yes. That is never his own happened. videos? I th he's saying that uh, our videos are, uh, like, when he posts videos of us, like, when we post videos of him, full screen is claiming that content, and so when it sees that content on his channel, it's flagging it with a content ID. I, I seriously doubt this is happening because we'd be hearing about it all the time from all sorts of people's channels if it was. He'd have screenshots. Yeah. Yeah, He'd have screenshots. I think it's just a concern he has that's pretty much unfounded. Yeah, we, we don't have a content ID uh, match thing for yeah. us. Yeah, Brett, if it's it happening, be unreasonable if for it's us. happening, right. provide your evidence. All you have to do is take a screenshot. Look, look here's full screen DMCA me for a drunken peasants clip. Didn't happen. Yeah, they gave us the option to do that, and we just never did it. No. There's there's other channels out there that have clips and stuff. Let him use whatever clip he wants. Who gives a shit? Yeah. That's how we feel. Pick up, and you're going to see that your channel is gone. Go you're going to see that you've made no <laughs> money, and you've wasted a hell of a lot of time. Paul, it's been too yes. long since you sang yes, you a Brad Keen song. Go. <laughs> um, I, I, did, I did the Eagle Eye. You guys remember that song by Eagle Eye Cherry, Save Tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did, uh, just last night, I was beating my wife, Dorn, come tomorrow. TJ's channel will be gone just last night. I was slapping my wife, Dorn, come tomorrow. Drunken peasants will be gone now. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yep. Uh, yeah, that was great. That was sick. <laughs> I like That's it. my favorite one recently that I've that I've thought of. <laughs> oh, by the way, to our patrons, our makeup show is tomorrow, so you should know. Oh that. yeah, tomorrow it's uh, six or something, something like that. Yeah, well, you'll just stay stay tuned to the Patreon. You'll fucking see the Patreon, the Patreon. It's like a bad '90s movie. The Patreon, the Patreon. <laughs> the Patreon. <laughs> it's like the Patriot, but Ian instead. <laughs> Me and TJ were doing that when we drove from Columbus to Toledo for that meetup. Like, we were both just keenifying every song that came on the radio. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. It was pretty fun. So we're gonna move right into individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. <laughs> Rock on. Oh, you gotta talk about Becky. Oh, you motherfuckers talk about Stop it. Becky. So I have, uh, we'll, we'll play a small clips of each one of these videos because the first one he deleted almost immediately. Huh. And it's him, uh, showing you how to flag people. <laughs> cool. What a shock. Uh, so we'll do that one and then, and then, uh, and Whoa, then we'll... what the fuck? I'm just, I'll be right back. Okay. Where, where are you going? Okay, so TJ just randomly fucking leaves, like, bye, right, TJ. TJ. Okay, well, I don't even know. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, that's fucking bizarre. No, really, I mean, yeah. really, it's like, you just get, uh, I gotta go. It's like, we're not, we're, not, we're not doing a podcast, TJ. We're just fucking, you know, bullshitting, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he had, like, a little bubble of a fart, and it slipped out some shit, and he shit his pants, and he's gotta go clean it out. Like, Are these... Are these fat guy problems you're describing? Oh yeah, dude, it happens. It ha I mean, not all the time, but it happens. Like, you know, everybody's got a shitty day now and again. Yeah, TJ that's will true. For that. <laughs> I heard TJ crapped his like crapped himself in the shower a few times yeah. too. So he yeah, has, dude. Yeah, you know. Please refresh the page and what the fuck? Please refresh. Yeah, I don't even. Know. Oh, I I accidentally opened a browser window. Oh shit! It's all right, man. Yeah. So I we're just waiting for TJ to come back. Um, he should be. Ba I mean, he has been known to take some pretty massive shits and run to the bathroom randomly. Um, but you know. Oh, so, what's that? You guys did, how that? do you how do you guys feel about like getting getting all the peasants together and marching on gross teat and freeing tony the tiger like how do you how do you paul 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 yeah. i think we're getting we're getting a call getting a call paul oh, on the, get, on the oh, pokemon shit. hotline oh the pokemon okay so yeah uh, yeah got it uh we're hopefully gonna find out where to find a snorlax around here so let's let's answer that all right uh you're you're on the show hello uh yeah uh do you have information where we can find a snorlax Hello? Hello, is anyone there? 
Uh, yeah, we can hear you, buddy. What's we'll going you, on, man. man? You got some okay. Pokemon news? Is this the Drunken Peasants? Yes, this is it the is. Drunken Peasants. Oh, I got through. I've been calling all day trying to get through this this shit. Okay. My name is Rufus Gutter, all right? Rufus Hi, Gutter. Hi, Rufus. Yeah. What, what, is, what is your Pokemon information, Rufus? All right, well, I got kind of a roundabout way of sharing this. Okay. Well, so, well, you know, you got you to gotta listen up here. Now, it kind of comes back to my relationship with my son. I had a son named Don. Called him Donnie. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know... I always knew he was a little weird, a little off. You know, even when he was a little little boy, you know, he just had an effeminate way about him. You okay. know what that is? I mean, I'm a, I'm a very manly man myself. So when sure. I seen my son kind of doing a limp-wristed queer thing and shit, you know, I was a little upset. I was, I was close-minded, you know. I changed, but, you know, at the time, I was weirded out by it. And, uh, you know, about the time he was like 13, 14 years old, I came home early from work. And I found him up in there. Uh, he was wearing his mom's lipstick. He was wearing one of her dresses. Oh. And, you know, oh. uh, I kicked him out. He kind of, wow. you know, he, he came and went. You know, he would sleep with the friends. You know, he'd come back. And things would come to a head again. Yeah. You know, eventually he comes out and tells me, uh, Dad, I'm one of them transgendered's. Oh, no. Transgendered. Yeah, you know. Not and, a fucking uh, transgender. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. crazy. And uh, so he went and uh, started calling himself Dawn. 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 D Dawn. Yeah, married married some uh, guy by the name of uh, Brent King or... Brent King. Brent what? King. You, know, you know who that Brett, sounds like? Brent King or... I hold don't, on, hold on. Dawn and Brett... Brent King? You know what? I think it was Brett Kane, his name was. Oh, Brett? Brett? Oh, wait Brett a minute, wait a minute. Let's, yeah, hold, what's hold up? on. Hold on, Rufus. Let's back this up real quick. We just want to make sure that we're hearing this right, okay? Uh huh. You are saying, and we want to make sure that, that we make that clear. You, Rufus, what was your last name again, sir? Rufus Gutter, sir. Rufus, Rufus Gutter. Gutter. You, Rufus Gutter, are saying that you have a son who is, a, who is now a trans woman who calls yeah. him or herself Dorn. Yeah. And is married to Brett Keen. Is that is it that what you're be. saying, sir? It can't be. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, I hear he's uh, he's always got this. He dyes his hair black, and then it grows out all white, and he just leaves the tips black, and it looks. And this is shocking. I mean, uh, we were trying to talk about Pokemon. He's always wearing his. No, no, this is about Pokemon because okay, you know, even though. Even though my son, I guess my daughter now, whatever, I'm PC, but I guess that my daughter, uh, you know, even though she went in transition, st she still got a big old... And, uh, you know, I guess Brett and Brent right. don't mind, but whatever. But uh, anyway, long story short, that it's actually a poke stop. <laughs> and you can catch you a Snorlax there. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, so, you can get a Snorlax on uh, Dorn's Pokestop. Um, <laughs> that's over in Festus, Missouri. Y'all you, you, ever been through Festus, Missouri? I've no. never been. Well, you don't want to go through there. But wow. if you ever are there for any reason, you can catch a Snorlax over there on my, my boys, I guess my girls. <laughs> wow. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty rare find. So, yeah. if you're passing through Festus and you want to get a Snorlax, I mean, you may have an opportunity there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, and and we we just want to make it clear that uh, these are not statements yeah. we're making. We're not saying no. this. Yes. No, clearly, this is yes. this is this is Rufus Gutter saying Ruf this. This, yeah. is a, this is a hotline we've set up to learn about the best Pokemon Go tips and spots, and if you see a lot, you know, a rare Pokemon or something. We're just trying to figure this out. So I mean, seems shocking. to be a lot of seems to be a lot of rare Pokemon in Festus, Missouri. That's wow. two in a row, man. That is. It's crazy. Oh, man, well, you guys. What? Oh, oh it's so massive. Dude, you totally oh, missed it. What dude, missed? you dude. completely missed it. Dude. <laughs> dude, you missed something crazy, man. What I missed, dude. <laughs> Some uh, guy named Rufus, Rufus just called the Pokemon line. And oh, he, we're still doing the Pokemon line? Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I thought we were he, just continuing after that weirdness. He said time. that his da his son, his son transitioned into his daughter and and his daughter's name is Dawn mm. and she married someone named like Brent King or something like that yeah oh really and he's got, yeah. he's got so, white he's hair about, with black tips i mean we're we're not saying this you know? no no, so, yeah. no 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 but you guys are thinking he might be talking about Brett Keen though no, i mean well, i don't know I mean, we're just reporting know. you know yeah sure we're just we're just reacting to this news story that rufus has brought to us and you can also wow. get a snorlax in in uh festus as well so off um uh, dorn's pole or 
Yeah. Dorn, yeah. Dorn apparently that's a very large It's penis. a poker stop. <laughs> you know, I've always thought Don looked kind of masculine, dude. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But then how do you explain the kids? <sighs> Adopted? Neither. I just Adopted. don't know. Was kidnapped? I mean, we don't know for sure. That would, that would explain how they seem normal. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> I, I just, I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make, but just like building on what Rufus said, maybe Brett. <sighs> Oh, and that's where the kids Whoa. come from. So you think Whoa. maybe maybe Brett is trans too? Whoa, it's possible. I mean, it, it could happen. Who knows? Maybe Brett used to be Bettina. You know what I mean? He does have a lot of those emotional fluctuations that you can sometimes get when you're on the hormones. All right, into the video. <laughs> sure. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, These strange God. callers we keep getting for the Pokemon Go line. I just don't. I, don't I can't. Know. I, 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 now I have the picture of Dawn impregnating Brett in my mind, and then Brett <laughs> shout a, a kid like nine months later. Oh. <laughs> All right. Porsche situation. Porsche. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Doing right now. Some of you out there may not realize that YouTube has become more strict with their terms of service and community guidelines. Make sure you check out my video that outlines huh, it look very at the name boldly, of the video that he's very showing easily there. for anyone to understand what you're not allowed to do on YouTube. But I'll give you a couple examples. Take example for this guy. He believes that he is using my videos as fair use. He thinks that he can put my entire content up on his channel. Uh, he, he's allowed to do it. Well, he's, he's right on at least one account. Calling me is an abusive word. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, you know. Why don't you go some thicker skin? Yeah. Sitting there calling me names over Dober. Well, we this just is speculated that maybe he has one. This so. is not fair use. Fair use states very clearly in the policy that if what you're doing to another person's content is meant to disparage the them or cause harm, no, it doesn't. Doesn't say that. I. <laughs> no, it doesn't say. Oh, any I'm sorry. Kind of issues that may tarnish the original content nope. holder. No. Nope. Nope. Nothing about yeah, that. I mean, like, <laughs> have you ever heard of like film critics before? You know, they're they... not allowed to give bad reviews of movies. Oh, no, that no. might tarnish the movie. Right, Brett. You don't understand what fair use is. You never heard it. I mean, you do. Yes, he does. He does. You yeah. do understand what it is, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe he does. He's pretty stupid. No, there's no way Brett's sitting there going, "Oh man, you know what? <clears throat> this is fair use. This is not fair use." <clears throat> She's not doing that. Even if he did understand, he would still well, do the same. He's got to know better because he's pulling all these rules directly out of a fat manatee. There's nothing in there about disparaging content. There's nothing in there about being fair or balanced to a person. No. Sorry, Brett. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> violated fair use. You have violated terms of use. You have violated community guidelines. And also stealing other people's contents is worthy of a DMCA. Worthy. As some of you out there, you may realize it's it in the past. Worthy. I have done tutorials on how to show how to report people. You just did one. And I, if people are bothered by it, I don't <laughs> care if you get angry okay. about it. No one even needs a tutorial to do that. It's obvious where that is. Yep. No one needs your help to figure out how to... Because you're not going to bully me into just sitting bully. back and doing nothing bully. about it. Bully. I'm going to show Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews <laughs> how to deal again. with people like this. As the... Christians, pagans, Muslim Jews, Muslim Jews. Brett, no like, no oh one's really God, watching Brett. you. The YouTuber We Are Empty Without a Brain has discovered they've been reported before and they got their pink slip. Now we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you how this is done. And you can see that the trolls out there enjoy this type of content where someone will do these kind of things to you. Let me show you how this works. Prolapse of a cow? This is not like, why false is that flagging, in the recommended but... video sections on a Brett Keen video? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't need I don't need an answer to that. It makes sense. <laughs> Dude, you know what? It pulls these things up. So I mean like this isn't even something we're like we're making fun of Brett. Like this is just right there for everyone to see, Brett. I don't know why you're watching videos like that, but apparently you are. And I'm a cat. <laughs> the cow. Oh, this is hot. For that. Recommended oh, I thought they video. were talking about sea cows like me. <laughs> I am the manatee. Man, I'm the king of the manatee. 
There is no such thing as false flagging, ladies and what? gentlemen. What? Oh, I what? Interesting. Guys, there's no such thing as false flagging, so um, if you want to go to Brett's channel and, you know, exercise your right to just flag, yeah, go I ahead. Mean, there's there's I mean, no such thing as false flagging anyway, so it's fine. Right, Brett? By that logic, isn't that fine? Hmm. I guess uh, I, I think you probably would be changing your tune if people were giving you false flags, Brett. I kind of think that you might say, like, this is false flags, but now we got a little sound bite. All we got to do is play you saying, there's no such thing as a false yeah. flag. No such thing. All, fa all flags are valid. Like, bull Unless Brett. you do it to him, though. That, that, there, there's the line. If you, fa if you false flag Brett, then you cross the line. A yeah. Anyone else, fair game. I used to think that there was. I used to think that people could false flag you, but it's not the case. What happens is, is you click on more, right there. Okay. You, you click report. on report. Mm -hmm. You click, I'm not a robot. A robot. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. <laughs> yep. Says I've recently flagged several videos. Please complete the challenge. Uh, okay. Please what am I the supposed challenge. to do here? Mm. That's pretty pathetic. Why not cut this Damn. part out of the video? He doesn't need to. But okay. uh, what's going on here? Well, I'll have Where's to figure out how this works. Ah! Oh, we'll there we continue. go. Oh, that's all I had to do. You see that? So if you've already reported several wow. videos, which you just... Yo, hold on. You're teaching a tutorial on how to flag, but you just got stuck for a second. Uh, thing. Turns see, out I, I was have. supposed to press the continue You're going to see me button. do this again. I Monkey consider no calling Brett Steven Cunt as extremely abusive. And here I go. Right, Let me go ahead and get my TOS. <laughs> okay. Let me put this up. All right. Violates. Oh, yeah, <laughs> violates <laughs> abuse. Terms oh, I hate when service. I Violates of TOS. Slow and oh, my God, community you're right. Guidelines. Uh, Brett, why don't you just copy and paste this over and over again? Isn't guidelines all one word? Calls, I think so. Several calls, times. Calls me several times. Steals. Like if you're, if okay, look, if you're a hunt and peck slow typist, wouldn't it have been like, like behooved you when you're making this video to type all this out first and just copy paste it in there and read it to people? Like, you why do we have to so, sit there, but hammering away? Vi oh, hold on, back, back. Violates <laughs> ter ter how you spell terms again, Dorn? Ter T R M S terms of also uh, enjoys enjoys coming. <laughs> Is he writing it like a personal ad? <laughs> also enjoys long walks on the. He also enjoys <laughs> coming, dude. Yeah, I also enjoy coming. Hey, com com well, you know. that's something me and Brett Keen have in common. Wow. After I calm can find a, I go. Can find a <laughs> can find a common ground anywhere. To my channel. It's a nasty common ground, dude. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to see that Ugh. ground. You want to see all the coming from Brett. <laughs> Calling all the coming. Me various. Hey, wait a minute, Brett. How do you know he enjoys doing that? How are you? How or how are you privy to his emotional state as he comes to he, your channel and calls you coming. various? Maybe, maybe he hates to do it. Yeah, maybe he doesn't enjoy it. Maybe it's just like a, a hobby, you know? It's just like, you know, an activity, a maybe, distraction. Maybe it's a compulsion at this point, Brett. Yeah, maybe, maybe. How do you know he enjoys it? You're lying, Brett. You have no idea how he feels about what he does. Oh. Thank you. Oh. YouTube. Hi, YouTube. For dealing. <laughs> for dealing. God bless. This, this abusive individual oh. person. Oh. How long oh, do violate? Uh, I love he's just gonna tell them who violates the violates. The Thank you for doing as I bid, YouTube. He's oh. just repeating himself violates now. Like he already said, they violate rule. terms of service. Yeah. So yeah. when Max I click God. submit, which I'm about to do, if only there was a whole book written by this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there is. Scotty handed it to me. Oh, uh -oh. I must time. read from the sacred tome of Brett. Eternal undying love. Random paragraph. You know, Brett Keen finding is, a paragraph. <clears throat> Brett Keen has moved yeah. on to a different part of the okay. of his cycle. The, yeah, Brett. Brett's already thrown a monkey wrench in this plan because there's no paragraphs in this book. All right, let's just. All right, I'm gonna try again. You, wow. 
No, that's Bible quotes. Brett moved right. uh, to the, I'm going to only make gaming videos now. I'm not going to talk about atheism anymore. As they walked out the opposite side of the warehouse, they found themselves on a boat dock. In the distance, the killer stood the killer. talking to some dark figures. <laughs> Stalker <laughs> stared at them from afar. <laughs> there he is, Stalker pointed, turning around in shock, realizing Damien had vanished. Stalker proceeded forward. He knew the killer and his friends had spotted him. There was no point in sneaking up on them. He approached them cautiously. Trick or treat, the killer joked. This isn't a social call. <laughs> I don't know, dude. What? Stalker replied stoically. I see. So what is it you want, the killer asked. To bring you in, dead or alive, Stalker spoke. Well, well, if it isn't good old Stalker, a man stepped out of the shadows, <laughs> as well as three other men. Dude. Listen to that sentence, hold on. A man stepped out of the shadows, <laughs> as well as three other men. So four men stepped out of the shadows, right? <laughs> Stalker, Stalker was taken back. <laughs> It was taken all back, I think you mean. It was the sheriff of Quiet Meadows, the chief of the New York PD, and the other guy he didn't recognize. What the hell is going on here? Stalker asked with surprise in his voice. Stalker? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Look at him. This mortal is pathetic. Ha, ha, ha. The sheriff transformed into Lilith. <laughs> The chief transformed into Beelzebub, and the other man transformed into Jezebeth, son of Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Jezebeth. Stalker gasped. S son of Lucifer. Are you really reading this? Are you making this? Story? I'm really reading it. I cannot believe it. Why? Deceive you? Because you were the perfect choice. A drunken detective. <laughs> Another pawn we could frame for all the things that happened. You're not alone, stalker. <laughs> Nothing special. Just another fallen man for demons to use, Jezebeth cackled. All of a sudden, Jezebeth screamed in an inhuman screech of agony and incinerated before their eyes. <laughs> the Sunday school teacher had stabbed him with the holy weapon. What? What? <laughs> All right. There's a Sunday school oh, it's almost done. Too? It almost, yeah, it's almost gone. Okay, yeah. go ahead. The demon stood back, stood back, shocked. You fool! What have you done? The demons wheezed. They wheezed. <laughs> you deceived me. You used me to kill people. I thought the voices I heard were that of God, the killer cried. You're nothing, nothing but a mental patient killing for God. Ha ha ha. Lilith laughed maniacally. I love how he writes out the ha's. I must uh -huh. make it right. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The killer fell to his knees. At that moment, the Sunday school teacher thrust the holy weapon into himself intentionally. What? Into himself what? intentionally. His body Dude. fell backwards into the river along with the holy weapon. Stalker stared at the demons. Damien appeared out of the shadows, ripping off his <laughs> trench. There's a lot of shadows. Diving into the frigid river to retrieve the weapon. <laughs> It's what? dead time, Lilith howled at Stalker as they prepared to rip him to shreds. The it's Guardians dead? appeared Wait, as well. As <laughs> it's dead time. Hold on. All right. It's dead time, that. dude. That's what the uh, villain says? It's dude. dead time. Yeah, it's this dead time. They didn't say that. They howled that. Dude, this needs to be made one of those like, ironic 30-minute short films, because this would be a hilarious All right, hold up. We're almost at the okay. end of the chapter, okay. and then we're done here. Gomorrah threatened, this is unexpected, Beelzebub spoke to Lilith. Yes, unfortunately it is. We need to reassess the situation. Lil oh! situation. <laughs> Lilith replied, run, Stalker, Gomorrah shouted. Damien and I will finish this. Stalker didn't have to be told twice. Leviathan and Behemoth appeared in the sky. Their oversized wings spread, rapidly closing in. There are so many characters in this. <laughs> but so bub Chip the bub turned into Kim the bub <laughs> Flip the bub appeared in the sky along with Jezdebeth. Like, how are you ever... And, there, and then all of a sudden there's a Sunday school teacher. And none of this dialogue is broken up and it's never clear who's talking. And no one ever says anything. I like they his always website, it or wheeze it. God hates you. One man walked out of the shadows, then three other men walked out of the shadows, yeah, it was, too. No, it was one man stepped out of the shadows, then three other men stepped... No, uh, did he even say other? Or I, just three men stepped out of the shadows? No, he said three other... He said three other guys. <laughs> and then they were just random 
evil monsters, and then they turned into... Wait, no, they were like normal people, then they turned into monsters, then <laughs> they, one was stabbed suddenly. By some character then... that was never established to be there. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, I can't like... wait till the next chapter so we can find out what Chimdabeth thinks about all this. <laughs> See, Brett King gets free advertising from our show. <clears throat> Look at this. We, we play all so does his brother. Yep. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. I'm out here enjoying nature, and I've been doing nature? a lot of thinking. Okay. Should I? When you're in a dark room and it looks purple, that's pretty weird. But when you're, like, outside in, like, normal light and you look purple... Also, you're not really in nature. I mean, I guess you are in a technical sense. You're just outside of a house, like sit sitting around. Standing with my back against my tool shed, which I never use. There was a video that we never played on the show, but like it was like a Q&A video, I guess he did, where someone asked him what it was like to live in Missouri. And he was talking about like how beautiful it was and how great it was. And then like towards the end, you could hear his crazy neighbor like, ah, like screaming. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I think that's this video. I think no, it's no, no, towards no. the end of... It's not? It, well, I, I just it, watched that. It does happen in this one, but not the same way. Oh, okay. it, it's more intense in the other one. It's him and it's him and Dorn, and they're talking about like living in Missouri, and then like there's like a bunch of loud ass motorcycles that drive by, so he has to stop talking at that point. And then also there's a crazy neighbor like screaming in the background. That's awesome. So sounds yeah. like heaven to me. Yeah. I continue to make videos about God and religion. Being that there's more to the universe than we can ever even know, that we have less than 1% understanding of 200 billion light years of space and time and nature itself, that we still haven't discovered the origin of the universe, we you still get don't 200 even billion understand light years why from? our consciousness exists in the first place. <coughs> the universe is much bigger than that. Yeah. And I mean, like, I don't know. It's weird. Um... I mean, he's why is his there. hair blue? Brett looks I like S J W now. What is this? <laughs> he's that's what I'm saying. Like he looks, his skin looks purple, his hair looks blue. What is going on? Like this camera he's using is weird, or he's eating silver shavings or something. No, it's just some filter he ran over it. I've been in over 500 live hangouts shows. And each one of them has resulted in, when I talk to people that are of a non-belief persuasion, they cannot help themselves but to show hatred, anger, and even result to personal attacks. You mean resort, not result. No, he means result. Besides actual discussion. <laughs> I don't understand it. I really don't get it. I myself, whenever I was a non-believer, the only thing that was important to me when it came to God was knowing if God was true or not. Uh, what? <laughs> Look at what this website says. God, God hates you. Org. But you didn't like it at all. Yeah, <laughs> like, man, I, the, never, I never went that far with it. Yeah, no. No, the, no, the funny thing about Brett is, is that when he changes religions, his personality never changes. You've always been a lying, slanderous scum. So quit trying to paint it like you were just out to lie. All I wanted to do was have discussions with Christians as well as Muslims, pagans, Buddhists, and Jews. No. As where we can see that the new atheist movement does all the time. There's not a... Alright, like what new atheist movement are you even talking about, dude? Like, the atheist thing on YouTube is pretty much like, people are just like, yeah, we're all atheists now, so what next? You know, that's what's going on. No one's even really having this religion debate very intensely anymore. Two channel out there that goes by where atheists cannot sit there sit and do there. their channel without making a video insulting religious people or insulting God. And to me, that shows something very powerful. What's going on there, boy? Uh, just... What's right, going here. on there, boy? What's up, boy? <laughs> Smoking a cigarette. What's, what's going on there, why, boy? Why would you leave that in your video of just like, what's going on, boy? Let me take a drag off this his cigarette. I mean, he doesn't edit his <coughs> videos. I mean, I guess he does because there's always an intro Wait. and this stupid support my Patreon and all this. But I guess he's too lazy to actually make cuts. Or he just, I mean, like, I think Brett Keen is so stupid that he thinks that, like, 
people watch that and are like entertain. Like it's I, charming. Maybe he doesn't even care about what's entertaining. I mean, like it doesn't really seem like he does. It doesn't seem like he has any concern for whether the audience can even sit through a video of his or not. He just wants to spout off his bull with no consideration for, like, maybe I should do something that people will actually be entertained by instead of just blah, 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 blah. You know? What's up, boy? How you doing, son? To me, I've made over 400 videos on two different channels about God and why it is that I believe. And I pointed out that something very personal to me I made an oath, a promise, stating that if God gave me evidence a long time ago, I would stop being a hardcore atheist, and okay, and what I evidence? would try to promote the idea that there is a God. Yeah, and why and do you still have doubts till this day? Yeah, periodically, I mean, like, you've still you've gone back, you've like, dipped your toe into returning to atheism like three or four times now. So this this narrative you're crafting of like I was. You know, God gave me a sign, and ever since then, I've just been all about God, and I've made all these videos about God. It's like, no, you haven't. Like, yeah, also... You made a few videos about God, and then you made a ton of videos about the drunken peasants. Well, did his evidence get fuzzy at those points? Or, like, did he look for his evidence, and his evidence, like, he lost it, and he's like, where's the evidence? And it appeared again, and it's like, okay, I believe again. I mean, what was your evidence to begin uh, with? Last I checked, the evidence was Christians gave him money. Yeah, Christians gave him money. Then you gave yep. him money, and he flirted with being an atheist again. He's like, oh, TJ gave me some money. <laughs> and I did. And to be honest with you, when I made my promise, I didn't realize how difficult and challenging it would be. <clears throat> What's the truth? What's challenging At the time, about whenever I was asked... You notice that as soon as that money ran out, all that, like, TJ, you know, bygones be bygones. But as soon as that money was gone, it's like... He, he complained about how little money you give him. At one point he uh, at one point he's like, see the amazing atheist is supposed to give me a thousand dollars and really he's only giving me six dollars <laughs> and sixty six cents just to mock me. It's like no that's what I give you every month, you moron. Because so uh, because I actually profit off of making fun of your videos. So I figure I might as well cut you in a little bit. So you have your little stipend, Brett. It's more than you make off YouTube, I'm sure. That's enough for, a, like, a Big Mac combo, Brett. Yeah. I mean, I know your teeth are a little... Well, you don't have any teeth, Ooh, it's but... it's McDonald's. It's soft. You can eat it. Yeah, he did. That's what he ate on, uh... When he tried to claim the burger challenge. Like, he obviously didn't watch me when I told him, like, your challenge is to eat a burger. Because I said, like, no bull little soft fast food burger. It's got to be a sub substantive burger. And then he went out and got, like, a little McDonald's burger. The only hamburger. way you can eat a blend, uh, like, uh, like uh, a real burger is you have to blend it. That's what I was trying to say, but then I just I just said blend. Oh, man. Blend I can imagine, like, Dorn blending up some cheeseburgers <laughs> for bread. <laughs> Here you go, Brett. Here you go. Here's your cheeseburgers. I ate your mama, but you're always welcome at Dot's Diner. It's a <laughs> impromptu promo for a Kenner fast, well not, well not fast food, but a Kenner diner. Kenner diner. Diner from Kenner. Look, is where the mouse? What are you doing, TJ? I'm trying to find where the mouse is. Um, it's not there. I don't see it. Anymore. Whatever, I'll just wait till Ben gets back. Evidence of God, that was a time where I still believed that atheists were rational, logical people, and that if you simply talked to them and tried to help them understand, they would listen. <clears throat> Or at least show you um, enough respect. They've they've already listened to you many times. You've not you've, you've had no compelling evidence. In fact, your arguments are so convoluted that I think you actively make people go like, "I've made the right decision being an atheist." Okay, like one of the first encounters we had with you as the drunken peasants was uh, towards like the beginning of the show. We did two different little hangouts with you and all your religious buddies. And several times we tried actually to draw you into theistic, uh, theological debates. But you ducked. And you totally refused to engage in any of that, and you wanted other people to make your arguments for you. That's why you had True Empiricism and all these other Christian YouTubers in there. And then you just be like, well, I just want to hear what they got to say. It's like, no, I want to hear what, what you, you have to say, Brett. You don't, it's because you know your ass is weak on theology, you know your ass is weak on anything that's actually idea-driven. You're only good at talking about people and you're not even really good at that. It's just what you're best at. Unfortunately, even that, you're pretty fail. But thankfully there's us to make you entertaining. So, thank your lucky stars you. the drunken peasants give about your existence for thank some you, Brad. ridiculous, unknown reason.
Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. According to, what was his name, Rufus? Rufus? I wasn't here, so I don't know. Oh, no, no, I wasn't yep. asking you. I know. You Rufus, Rufus, Rufus Gutter. Gutter, yeah. yeah. Rufus Gutter. Rufus Gutter. He had a Latin name. Rufus Gutter is actually Latin. Look is it up, it? folks. Look it up. Yeah. Mm. Look it up. <laughs> Look up Rufus Gutter in a Latin to English translator. Okay. You'll see. It'll, it'll make you happy. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful. <sighs> Kaboom! The individual Brett Keen segment situation. <sighs> Where are you going, TJ? TJ, what's, go what's going on? Oh, TJ's uh, okay. gonna say something, man. Yeah. Man. Again. It, there's just something about Brett Keen and the individual Brett Keen segment but situation. Maybe TJ had some French vanilla, man. Yeah, maybe he did. <laughs> it's a French vanilla situation on the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Which I happen to enjoy having, you know, its own dedicated intro. Yeah, for it. It's a good intro. I like that. Someone asked, "Who lives in Alaska?" Ben, people do live in Alaska. Yeah, people live there. I mean, it's nobody I want to know, but yeah, people yeah. do live there. There's some individuals in Alaska. Yeah, I don't know why they live there, but they do. When I was like 16, I had a uh, had phone sex with a 29 year old Alaskan. Wow, good job, Paul. You know, she was uh, ch she was chilly, but I kept her warm. There's, uh, there's 700,000 people that live in the state of Alaska, which, I, I mean, it sounds like a lot of people, but Alaska's gigantic. It's so big. So, like, for such a huge state, that's really not a large population. Oh, yeah. There's, there's only, like, a few, uh, like, cities there anyways. Oh. Whoa. You know, I, I, think, I think that's a call on the Pokemon hotline. Oh. So, uh, I guess, I guess I'll answer it. Hey, hey, uh, thanks for calling the DP Pokemon Hotline. Who's this? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Spud. Spud Vanderhoff the Seventh. Spud Vanderhoff the Seventh. Thanks for calling the Pokemon uh, what, Hotline. What is your yeah, Pokemon you know, tip? I actually, I, I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't have no Pokemon tip. Well, that's that's well, no, no, but, hey, hey. well, listen, listen, listen. I mean, it, it, it's related to this segment because uh, I'm here to uh, uh, give you a counter uh, testimony to that of Bruce Beefwater. Oh, okay. You know, I I want to say that the he was telling you guys is bull. Wow. Bruce Beefwater was the Bruce. was the guy that claimed he saw Brett Keen. Yeah, I was there. I I witnessed the events in question. Oh, wow. And in fact, I uh, I raise Great Danes. That's what I do. Okay. I'm a Great Dane breeder, huh. and I have sold several Great Danes to Brett Keen. I could tell you for a fact, he is not in those dogs. Wow. wow. Those dogs, but what about other dogs? No, because I mean, I know Brett's preferences. Look, because I sell them the dogs so they can... Oh. oh. oh okay, so, so what you're saying <laughs> is that the dogs actually do, and Brett is... Yeah, I mean, Bruce, Bruce must have misseen that, because oh. I can tell you right now. Brett's the bottom. Whoa. All right, and I'm just here to clear Brett's name, because you can't be going around telling people that he's out there... You could confirm Brett's a the bottom, then. Yes. Wait, I just want to make sure the, now. He likes the big Great Dane knotted. I just, just want to make He's got to sure keep now. it fresh because I guess his dawn, his uh, <laughs> wife Dawn's got to. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, you know, so, so he's got to keep it stretched out because, you know, he doesn't know when Dawn's going <laughs> to. I'm going to say they're shocked. These are shocking allegations. Yeah. I, am, I ain't alleging nothing, you know. This is truth. You can trust the word of Spud Vanderhoff the Sixth. Spud <laughs> Vanderhoff the Sixth. <laughs> Unless we get some evidence. Or seventh. I don't know. You know, it's around there. Unless we get some evidence from you, though. I mean, look, guys. We can I got all the evidence you need right here. Yeah. Why do you hate me so much? What have I ever done to you? Well, that's true. Anyway, thank yous, guys. Sorry, I don't play that. But, you know, I, I gotta go. You should. I gotta go, y'all. Pokemon Spud. Go. Thank you, Spud. Thanks for calling Spud the Vanderhoff. Pokemon hotline, Seven. Spud. Wow. So, yeah, Spud correcting the record there. Of course, um, we're not saying this. Um, but Spud. No, no, no. Not alleging. Us. That, uh, in fact, ridiculous. Brett does not f dogs. It is the dogs that Brett. That is a, yeah. a ridiculous allegation wow, that TJ. Brett, Brett is a bottom for the uh, TJ, Great Danes. you really picked the worst times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I just try to avoid listen. Why are we still on the intro screen for this? I thought you guys would be done with this Brett Keen. Oh, not, oh that's uh, why you leave. Yeah. Nice try, TJ. What? Shit. Like, what happened? We just got a call on the Pokemon hotline. Oh, shit. Uh, nothing to do with Pokemon. It was kind of strange. Well, what did it have to do with? Um, Brett King. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. It's weird because normally our Pokemon calls are about Pokemon yeah, we and just, not uh, Brett Keen. We just want to talk about Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know, some days. So what did, what did the call say? What, what, what's, what's going on? Well, well, he, now we're not saying this, TJ, of course. This <laughs> right, was Spud course. that called in, but he Spud. claims that right. Bruce Beefwater, who called in last week, was incorrect. And we're not saying that. Right? No, 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 we, well, no. we wouldn't say it. We, we have no evidence of that. But Why would we flip an accusation like that? But, I mean, if it, there's eyewitness testimony, you know. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's compelling stuff. Anyway, let's see what, uh, let's see what Brett's up to. <laughs> He's got Pat Robertson in his intro. Yeah. Too, <laughs> uh, subscribe to my Twitch situation. Watch me, watch me fucking uh, attempt to play Oblivion. I'm so bad at it, though. I just run around doing that fucking bullshit. The Be a time. Patreon. <laughs> a Patreon. And check out my brother on YouTube. CD Baby iTunes by CD Check them out. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website. Um, Brett, we can barely see you, dude. Uh, Thomas, uh, Thomas Edison, dude. He invented this fucking great invention. It's called the fucking light bulb. <laughs> you use it, what you use it for is to illuminate your fucking face, you retarded <laughs> pile of monkey shit. Is that why you got a monkey just... in the beginning of your fucking episode? I just, uh... Am I just wrong, or is Brett's like camera getting smaller and smaller with each video and no, getting taken is. up by more no, advertisements is. for shit? <laughs> Pretty soon, he's just gonna be like a little like pixel in the corner. Yeah, right? it'll it'll be a Brett single King. pixel that flashes, you know, on and off. You just have like a off. HAL nine thousand unit, <laughs> just a little red light. That's Brett. Hmm. <clears throat> GodTVRadio.com. No one's going to your Today, fucking site. I thought I would answer a question. Brett, what does Brett do with that? Has to, does Brett have a radio thing presence somewhere? He must. I mean, like, or a TV I, 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 presence? Mean, I mean, like, he, he probably one of those like vanity sites where he just hosts all his content. Is what I'm. I'm assuming, what I'm assuming that, like, I'm assuming that YouTube is what he interprets as like TV. Yeah. But radio, I don't know why. Maybe he had like. Blog what is it? I'm, I'm going to go to this fucking site right something. now. God, I've never actually been. God TV Radio. What is the site about? Oh, shit. Give me the fucking book, guys. Okay. That's what we want to talk about. You see this book, Eternal Undying Love? Brett Keen's yeah. book. You see his old website there, godhatesyou.org? Mm-hmm. Well, someone bought that, and now it redirects to the Drunken Peasants. Yes. <laughs> YouTube page. Get fucked, Brett. So <laughs> every, every copy of Brett Keen's book now leads people... To, to our fucking uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> Godhatesyou.org, dude. Yep. Godhatesyou.org. Godhatesyou.org. So, uh, so we can Keenan actually go around. Give, we can actually fucking put that vi um, like on our videos. We can fucking put that in the corner. Godhatesyou.org. Who gives a shit? Dude, there's there's this guy that's climbing Trump Tower right now. Like, is he, that guy's still doing that? He's doing it live. Yeah, the co he, like, the cops are talking to him, and he's just like, oh my god. That's crazy. Wait, he's, he's climbing, and he's not him. supposed They're to be? They're grabbing him. They're grabbing the dude. They just got... Oh, shit. Hold on. They just dragged him in there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. I think his leg's caught on something. Yeah, but they got him. It looked like he, maybe he was trying to get away for a second, but didn't really have many options. Didn't didn't think about the windows, did you, buddy? <laughs> the windows. Yep. Well, good for him. Dude, all God TV Radio is a fucking goddamn blogger. That's all it is. Yeah. What? I mean, really? This is your fucking he website? Oh, wow, Brett. This is amazing. Some blog posts. Give me a fucking break. A lot of Christians out there have a hard time answering. I know a couple of videos back I said to myself, eh, maybe I shouldn't talk about religion and the whole concept. <laughs> yeah, you know, a couple what? of videos ago I said I shouldn't talk about religion anymore. I should just play games on games of love, but... <laughs> two, That's all his channel is supposed to be! Two what days, is he? Two days later. ...of God anymore because it seems to cause atheists to be very angry. <laughs> very pushy, very intolerant, <clears throat> and I got to put up with a lot of shit just by mentioning God in a video. <laughs> by talking that's, about that my is, that is not why you get shit. That is God TV Radio. 
Mentioning supposed- God in your videos is the last reason you get shit, Brett. <laughs> oh my God, well, dude, dude, listen. Oh shit. <sighs> Reading from Brett Keen's book. Which which has our endorsement on the cover, by the way. Lucifer yep. and the boy appeared at the library. You see all of this, all these books? Within the pages of these books, it is revealed to you the heart and imagination of man. Books of war, books of fornication, and books about killing. Anything and everything man desires and fantasizes about. There's even books called history and documentaries that show the cruelty of man throughout all ages. These humans talk of peace and the love of God, yet they kill their neighbors and rip children, fathers, mothers, sisters, and brothers apart, and then claim it's for the good of the world, Lucifer spoke. Muslims, pagans, and Jews apart. But why? They are all the same. Why wouldn't they do this to one another, the child asked innocently. (laughs) <laughs> because they are greedy. Innocently. They get jealous if the brother ha- if their brother has more. Did you ever read about Cain and Abel? Cain was a selfish, greedy young man who slew his own brother just because he wanted God's love and attention. <laughs> he couldn't hack the, the fact that God favored his brother more. Kind of sounds like Brett Keen, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, a little yeah. He's just jealous, like he wants all the love and adoration that we fucking get on this show. Yep, sounds pretty fucking accurate. And he's just like, no, it should be mine situation. I'm smarter. I'm handsomer. Got a beautiful family. My wife, Dorn, beautiful. My son draws a mean link from Legend of Zelda. I should be on the top of the YouTube heap questions that atheists like to ask Christians is why doesn't God answer my prayers why doesn't God just appear to me and give me some kind of evidence now usually a Christian is probably going to say something to the effect of I don't know which most of the time what they're usually going to say something to the effect of I don't know I've never, like, any Christian that actually wants to discuss this stuff, like, they fucking usually have an answer to that kind of question. Like, they, it, it would be something like, you have to have faith, you know? It's not about proof and evidence. It's about the fucking making that leap of faith and shit. Like, they would have some kind of answer. It wouldn't just be like, I don't know! Holy shit, my entire belief just crumbles under the weight of a single question. I don't know. I'm fucking stupid. Well, lucky for the Christians, Brett Keen has the answer. <laughs> Most of your Christians are fucking idiots who just don't even know how to answer a simple, basic fucking question. But me, Brett Keen, I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing, so... It's an honest response because they don't know the heart of men. But what if you're Brett Keen? And you've been around thousands of atheists. What if I'm what Brett Keen? Brett- well, let me see. First, I go into my garage. Then I test the rafters to see if they're strong enough to support the weight of my body. I then <laughs> go to my computer and Google how to tie a noose. <laughs> you see where it's going from there. That's what happens if I'm Brett Keen. Yeah. Keen, and you used to be a non believer. And you used to talk to atheists I'm privately. And you used to hear about I'm all the glorified and willful sins. <clears throat> what do you do whenever you're Brett Keen and every you. single day you watch atheists turn videos and listen to them blasphemy and mock? Poor innocent Brett who's never done anything mean to anyone he said, ever. He said blasphemy. Bless him, you. Who cares? Bless He's a moron. He can't fucking speak. <laughs> what? What is, what's even new about it? <laughs> oh God. God, Brett, you, I just love the inter- Brett, I'm you innocent. You do try. You do try. Brett. I'm an innocent really victim in all this, you guys. I ain't never done nothing to create this situation. Dude, I love Brett because in one sentence he'll be like, "I'm boss to Big Daddy Brett." The next sentence, like, "Poor Brett." Never gets a break. You know, everything's against him. It's like, which fucking narrative do you want us to believe? Like, you're trying to weave, like, ten narratives into one. You're so fucking stupid. I'm basically the epitome of every positive trait. Fuck massive shit. Not just about God, but people who believe in God. 
Believe in God. And these same fucking people got the audacity to say that they were once Christians. Now, this isn't some kind of old Scotsman story here. But what? It's what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys know, you guys know that well-known fallacy. The like old, old I, it's me, the old Scotsman. Someone bring me some bubble tea. <laughs> oh, I, I, old I had teeth. I can still chew haggis. It's the old Scotsman. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Brett. Oh Brett. Oh Brett. This is why I give you this is why I do support your work on Brett, Patreon. You know what he is worth. This is why I genuinely do support, support your work on Patreon, dude. dude. The old Scotsman. No one but you. <laughs> no one but fucking so you. The old Scotsman. <laughs> That's my oh. second favorite fallacy, right behind the ad hominid. <laughs> ad hominoid. <laughs> ad hominoid fallacy. <laughs> fallacy, oh god. <laughs> Seems to me that if anybody ever was raised up in the that church, there's a man and they actually strong. had parents that were Christians, then they had to have known that their behavior then and their behavior now is fucking unacceptable, <sighs> not only to God, but also in society, <laughs> also and around me. civilized, sophisticated people. <laughs> so the point is, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ. the true answer Why did you choose this fucking angle? Why I'm like looking up at your fat fucking, like, potato fucking <laughs> face. Like, like a potato with a fucking, like, mushroom for a fucking nose. Hey, wait and a minute. Isn't that old Scotsman fallacy you're using there, Scotty? Yeah. yeah. We're being an ad hominid. <laughs> <laughs> ad hominoid. Don't be an Just, ad hominoid, man. Don't be an old Scotsman. You can Don't see old that fucking Brett's breath. nose! You can't, dude. <laughs> it's like, what? I don't want to look at this angle of, of this motherfucking dude. He's so fucking ugly to begin with. I have to look up his fucking nose, too. You're really it's questioning like... the beggar, Scotty. <laughs> question the beggar. Don't question a beggar, Scotty. <laughs> Uh, we have to make a list of Brett Keen uh, logical fall. Uh, like, what would you say, Paul? Phallaxies? Logical phallaxy situations <laughs> by Brett Keen. You're Question. not getting, getting any kind of evidence from God. Forward by Dorn. To you, is the Bible says that God doesn't love everybody. In fact, it says he what? hates workers of iniquity. You can see that in Psalm 5. 5. It also, I mean, yeah, he's right. I mean, the Bible does, it, it, he's wrong when he says the Bible doesn't say God loves everyone. Right, right. There, there's a contradiction. There are, yeah, it's just yeah. a contradiction. There's right. parts where it says God loves everyone, and there's parts where God hates people. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just more typical bullshit from the world's least convincing fucking book. It says in the Bible very clearly that God can see into the heart of men, and he can know if someone is actually sincere or... Brett, if that's the case, <laughs> then you're, you're fucked. You're yeah. fucked, Brett. Yeah. God, Brett. You're... You you might as well you might as well fucking you know what you should do, Brett. Just fucking if you got a fireplace, go light it up and then stick your ass Dude, in it. We just because that's what you got okay. coming. No, no, we've just proved. Well, he just proved himself that Brett does not believe in the Bible because of the statement he just made. It's like God knows your sincerity. Like Brett, you know you're full of shit. So there's no way you believe any of this because there's no way you would have said that otherwise. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the tragedy of Brett. Maybe he actually convinces himself of his own bullshit while it's happening. He mu I think he must to some degree. Either that or he's just totally comfortable being a disingenuous piece of shit. It's one of those two. <coughs> like, either he deludes himself that somehow he's right, or... I don't know, we gotta ask Paul, the uh, Brett Keen expert. I mean, I don't know, dude. I, I think that there's some level of Brett that knows he's full of shit, and some level of Brett that thinks he's right. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, I kind of see that, too. What a cop-out fucking answer. I well, mean, that's, a, yeah. that's one way or another. <laughs> Black okay. and white. Fuck nuance, bitch. Individual oh, situation. Check out the beautiful oh, ass. <laughs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Wow. Sweet. Excellent.
Yeah. Finally. Everyone's here. favorite segment. Coup. Yep. Are we playing it? Yeah. PJ. Uh, here it is. This was uh, this was one that was um, that was deleted. Shocking. Guns along the bro. Everyone uh, is dead. Um, I'm gonna go take a shit real quick, guys. Hey. Okay. What? I gotta I gotta poop. I'll be right back. Uh, can you save your shits for after the show in the future? Come on, please? Paul. Oh my god, what unprofessional. Fuck, well, he did eat Jack in the Box recently. So professional. <laughs> you know, that's pretty obvious. I saw the Jack in the Box cup. I'm like, he probably had like two sourdough Jacks. He's probably really needing that toilet right now. God, his intro lasts forever. God, TV radio. It's like in proportion to his video, his intro is so long. Did you guys see that like Brett King made, quote unquote made a documentary? Oh, God. No. Dude, it's, it's so awful. It's barely, he's barely even in it too. Lesson one, be friendly. So before you even watch this video, so just be, nice be my friend. Be God bless and have a wonderful day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com, which is connected to all my YouTube yeah, channels, check out his my blogger Facebook page. and Twitter, and all of my content. That's all his expanded. website is. He always he always mentions his site, so I went to his site, and all it is is a fucking blogger page. It's like it's just this is a blog. This isn't a fucking website. What is on here? It's just a fucking few blog posts. What? Oh shit! Shit! Is that the Pokemon Go hotline? I I don't know. Is it? Which one? How do we answer that? Uh, hello, hello. Did uh, we get him? Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hey, ho ho hold, hello. Hold on, hold on. Can you shut the fucking pit up for 15 seconds? I'm trying yeah, to make a phone call! Jeez. I'm Paul. sorry. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi. 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 You're, Hi. On the, you're on the Drunk Who is this? What are you wow. yelling at back there? Pokemon Go oh, sorry, hotline. You got some Pokemon tips for us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, oh, wow. Is it Drunken Peasants? Is this a Drunken Peasants, right? A Pokemon yeah, yeah. Drunken Peasants, Pokemon Drunken peasants. Go oh. hotline. With TJ and you. Ben and me, Scotty let me, let me, and some, some Paul guy. Let up? me tell you about the situation. Well, first of all, I was born and raised in New York City, uh, in the Bronx. Um, the Bronx. Wow, really? You don't, and, you don't uh, sound yeah. it. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a fixed Bronx accent, dude. Yeah, yeah, first I, I thought raised... it was Tommy. Yeah, I thought it was Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I, I, I thought you guys would be worried that, like, Tommy from the Bronx was going to try and play, like, a prank situation on you. But, you know. Um, anyway, I was walking around the other day. And uh, I was chasing Pokemon, right? And the Bronx has got tons of Pokemon in a situation, so I'm walking around. And uh, by the way, my name—I I just kind of want to introduce myself. My name is uh, my name is uh, Manny T. Macachi. Um So, uh, yeah, my name is what? Why are you guys laughing? Look, look oh, the Macachi dynasty. Know, just... The Macachi dynasty ruled Poland for 14 centuries. I mean, wow, it's like, wow. I had no idea yeah. about that. That's crazy. Yeah. And I'm a direct descendant of first King Manuel Macachi, you know, Manny T. Macachi, you know. Oh, okay. He, oh. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I apologize. Makes sense. So please don't make fun of my heritage. So I'm oh, walking around, I'm walking around in a situation, right? Uh -huh. Catch a Pokemon, and I hear a ruckus up ahead. And there's an old lady, right? And she's got a purse in her hand, and there's this big, like, you know, thug. And he's got the, 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 the handle of the purse, and he's fighting with her for the purse, right? And so I don't know what to do. You know, I'm just like, I freeze up. And then out of nowhere, this guy, like, with beautiful, like, silver, then black hair, and, like, this really killer goatee wearing a fucking... He was, like, wearing a cool tank top and a trench coat. And he mm. comes, he does a backflip off of the fucking balcony of the building and really? just stomps this fucking guy, right? And you know yeah. what? That would be that would be pretty cool if that's where it ended, but that's not where it ended. It gets so much crazier than that, right? So he's trying, he just killed this guy in the street and everybody's clapping, right? And then there's a bus coming and the, and the old lady's got like a walker and she's real slow and the bus comes around the corner and the I shit you guys not, the brakes on the bus fail? Right? Wow. Wow. And what a crazy series of events, dude. This trench coated king of the manatee, you might say. Um, just. 
does a backflip over the bus to grab the grandmother out at the last second. And at that <laughs> second, the bus careens. You guys, you guys still with me? The yeah. bus. Careens. Oh yeah, we're here. We're here. I'm, I'm in. It's, I'm wrapped. I, I, I wow. The, I told you the brakes are out, right? Yeah, yeah the, the brakes out. are out on the bus, yeah. Out of control. So fucking like, he, now he saved the old lady, but now there's a fucking bus. This fucking guy, I shit you not, the dude He's in like the trench coat. He was like a superhero, dude. The, wow. He was like a stallion, you know what wow. I mean? He was like a <laughs> oh, wow. silver and black-haired stallion, you know? And he, uh, this dude fucking commandeers a dude's motorcycle. Whoa. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. And fucking does a wheelie all the way to the bus. And then right at the last second, he does this jump maneuver, and he lands the mo Are you guys still with me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're here. He Everything you're saying, wow. He lands the motorcycle on top of the bus. Wow. Does like, a front some Keanu flip. Reeves shit, man. This Hold is on, insane. just shut up. Does a front flip yeah. through the fucking, like, open thing of the bus, right? The front, the, the, the front, the windshield situation. Yeah. Knocking out the driver, but landing just in time to hit the brakes before he hit a giant hippie festival that was going on on the block. <laughs> 90 wow. billion people were going to die. And I thought he the just brakes fucking, were out on the bus. So anyways, the cops catch Wait, up with this guy. I'm almost done. I thought the brakes were I'm out almost. on the bus, though. <laughs> he said the brakes were out on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to tell you guys that part because I knew you wouldn't believe it, but... You caught me in a situation. You're such a fucking waterhead. What the guy did was he fucking jumps in the bus and then he. <laughs> <laughs> What's he do? He rams his feet through the fucking floor and he stops the bus like Fred Flintstone stopped his car. Wow. That is amazing. What is the what was the name of this man? This, you know this what? heroic I up figure. To him and I walked up to him at the same time as the cops, and the and the chief of police just happened to be walking down the block at a Panera Bread, and he's there, and he's like, "Son, I'm gonna give you the New York City Mer Mer Medal of Honor, Mayor's Medal of Merit," and this guy, he goes, "I don't need no medals. I just need wow. to know." that God is the one that guides my hand. And he fucking walks away. Doesn't even say his name. So anyway, I was right on the corner of Brewster and 154th, and I caught a fucking super, super duper rare, uh, Pik like Pikachu hybrid over there. Oh, wow. And I just want to, but like, yeah, wow. crazy shit. I mean, this man <laughs> truly was, he truly was the king of the manatee. I mean, so anyway. Anyway, I caught a Pika whatever over on Brewster. <laughs> Pika whatever. Wow. Um, yeah. That's this amazing. Guy, I mean, I, what, what I really... It's incredible. I really want, you know what I mean? I mean, I didn't even tell you half the things that happened around this guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to call again in the future, caller. Thank you so I mean, much. I find so much. another, I find another yeah, Pokemon. If you find any more Pokemon, be sure to let yeah. us know. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting humble uh, Manny T. Makachi, you know, spend some <laughs> <laughs> It's been an spend honor speaking to you. Uh, yeah, thank you for your entertainment. Good night, good night in this situation. I wonder, I wonder who that heroic hey! figure he's talking about. What hey! is going on there? What? Man, I think... Oh, wow. Sounds like he doesn't get along too well with his family situation. <laughs> hey, don't attack his family, okay? Sorry. Sorry, you're right. Stop attacking that individual's family. You just I'm sit sorry. there and attack his family? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta go, guys. I got a French vanilla situation. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night Manny. Uh, I'm really just wondering, uh, I mean, who was that? Who was the figure he described? It's just, I don't know. Hmm. Sounded like a heroic being. So almost like someone out of a, of a great novel, like like this one, Eternal Undying Love. Let's take a little look into that the the words of wisdom written by the great Brett Keen. By the way, you should visit his website, GodHatesYou.org. No, that's a good site. Yeah, it's yeah, go website. to that site. Go to GodHatesYou.org, which is um, printed on the front of every edition of Eternal Undying Love. <laughs> All right, let's let's read a little bit of this. Brett Keen must love the content of that website, Eternal and Dying Love. <sighs> By reflex, she pulled out her gun and aimed, shouting, "I'm a cop! Freeze, or I'll shoot!" 
The other four black guys pulled guns, too. Shit, she exclaimed. We can't <laughs> let her live. We stole this fucking Shit. car, man. I'm on probation, and I'm not going back to jail, one <laughs> black guy protested. What? While they argued, Dawn stared over at Stalker and beckoned for help. To no avail, he was in Wonderland. She was on her own. At that moment, one guy aimed his gun at Stalker <laughs> and unloaded the clip. Stalker fell to the ground. He had no vest on. Then they aimed at her. Dawn closed her eyes and awaited death. Why the fuck is Dawn <laughs> in this book? I don't know. I don't know why. There was only silence. Seconds later, she opened her eyes to find that the blacks had disappeared. <laughs> Black <laughs> all of them. All of them on earth. Black disappear. In the distance, she could see a man in a black trench coat in a walking black away. Tea, a man in a black. I'm sorry, it doesn't say a black trench coat. It just says a black trench walking away. <laughs> what? Trench. Long black he hair assumes. and a black trench. Oh. I love that. He mentions he's wearing a black trench, and then in the next sentence, he describes him as long black hair and a black trench. Just in case you didn't get it a second ago. And then guys, finally, he sounds, turned the corner and was gone. I, I was listening. I was listening on the toilet, and this sounds eerily familiar. Uh, s familiar. <laughs> Fuck me. Familiar, dude. Oh, great Apollism. Familiar. It looks. It feels so familiar. <laughs> yeah, I do Very that kind similar. of stuff all the time. Uh, too. It's all right. This is it's, it. It seems similar to, to the figure that was described in the uh, Pokemon Hotline. That's call what I'm saying. This reminded oh, me of that. I know. It looked like someone she knew, but who? She ran to Stalker and kneeled down. His shirt was drenched in blood. She pulled back the shirt and stared in shock. No bullet holes, she gasped. Stalker <laughs> opened his eyes and stood. Oh my god, I saw you shot. How? She cried. Stalker shrugged. Everything's gonna be fine. I he spoke, lighting up a cigarette. <sighs> Damien got what he came for and gave me back what ha he had taken from me, Stalker finished. Uh... And that's the end of chapter 14, you guys. Damn motherfucking straight. Best novel ever. Wow. Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I think... Do you even want to watch the Brackeen video? Uh, I think we've had enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's Here go. we go. <laughs> Detective Stalker, dude. <laughs> Detective Stalker. Yeah, what the fuck? Impervious to bullets. And that's supposed to be him, right? Oh, yeah. That's like Brett's... Whoever Mary the Sue. most badass character is is probably In him. The in the later novels, a character, I, I shit you not, there's a character <coughs> named Reznor. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we yeah. have to get those books? We have to find yeah. them. If anyone books. has any of the sequels to Eternal and Dying Love, please send them to the Drunken Peasants yeah, uh, P.O. box. We can't wait to read them. Hmm. What the fuck should we do now? Whatever you want, Ben. Alright. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> The individual Brett Keen segment situation. Neat. <laughs> All right. Uh, atheist vampire robs Brett Keen. Huh. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna read the title again. <laughs> yes. Atheist vampire robs Brett Keen. It's about this time. Might, this might be the best video ever. <laughs> if this actually happens. Atheist. Vampire robs Brett Keen. Yeah. <laughs> like a vampire comes out and Brett Keen goes, crack, <laughs> grabs a cross, and the vampire's like, that does nothing to me. I am an atheist. And then just robs him. Yeah, that just money. robs Brett blind. Give me your wallet. <laughs> okay. I mean, is, is, will there even be any money in Brett's wallet? I mean, how did he rob him? We'll see. Be Stamps and Brett's Subscribe wallet. to my brother's channel. He's he makes rock and roll music. Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. No, no. You know I've been no, in a pretty good Come mood on. for the last couple weeks, and most Have likely you. it was inspired by not actually using YouTube. I scheduled some videos for you guys, but I've literally been taking a break literally. for quite some time. I've been yeah, doing some shit with the family and also playing some Elder Scrolls online with my beautiful wife, also my son. 
Why did it say online like there was some kind of inside joke to yeah. it? Um, All because because Elder Scrolls Online. Because he's trying to not say Orn. Oh, well, like yeah, once, once, once online, again, we're molding yeah. Brett Keen's speech patterns, you know? We're gonna get. We're gonna fucking teach Dude, you proper elocution the, yet, Brett. The funny thing about this is Brett is acting like he has to like be like 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 either he's on YouTube or he's spending time with his family. It's like it's not mutually exclusive. Plenty of people do both. Like you, you're not like you don't have a real job. You're not taking a break from anything. Like taking a break from what to spend time with your family? Don't you already do that, Brett? No. I mean, I mean, I guess Brett, not. Brett has Brett has always treated YouTube like it's the only thing in his life that he has time for. You know what I mean? Like he he. He talks about it a lot, about how, like, like he does this, like, I'm taking a break from YouTube, it's just too much. But he's the one that does, like, 16-hour fucking hangouts. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's watching that, so... Yeah, and, like, it's not even like there's an audience sitting there, like, demanding new content from you all the time or something. No one gives a shit, even. No. Nope. I mean, I guess, I guess we kind of enjoy it, because, you know, but not for the reasons you want right. to, so... I, I love I love how the Patreon is like the biggest thing. Could you imagine like if we did our show and like the video was just playing down at the bottom, like where the bottom bar is, or like in one of our size windows and it just said like Patreon in the big window there? Oh yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. We should we should do that. We should have like a mock layout uh of Brett, of Brett's we could just like Brother, I, I do have a whenever you guys want I have found a pretty we juicy will, verse in we this. will do that but this video is great sure. it's I know. Be I'm just saying like soon, so it's gonna be like a family there. equation a family well, equation what? as you see from the title I guess equation is his new thing we took away situation from him equation. we took away individual from him uh, Paul's working on taking sitting there away from him so now he's got equation. It's part of the equation. It's part of the family equation. It would have been family situation a year ago. It would have been. But now oh, it's yeah. equation. Yeah. Atheist I mean, like, vampire. if you go back and watch some of his old videos, like, the situation was so pronounced, too. The like, first time really... he was on DP, he said situation a bunch of times. Well, such yeah, but I mean, like, uh, like, the way he says it, though, is just how I make fun of it. Situation. Oh, yeah, there's always a lot of emphasis on it. Uh, I love that. Sir Rob, All right, let's see about this vampire. Well, I don't like to believe that all atheists are complete and utter fucked up. The way I you don't say like it. to yeah, believe that they're all evil oh, he's, pieces he, of trash. That's because really, he believes. Just he wants to trash them at the same time. Just because my terrible experiences with them in social media and on Facebook and Twitter. And I, got evidence. I have allowed people to add me as a friend and be a part of my guild and all that well, kind of stuff. Invite people to publicly so what happens is, you. is I'm playing Elder Scrolls online, and a guy, he asked me if I'd add him to the guild, and I added him. And he noticed my about thing, and he also apparently watched some of my videos out there on YouTube, and... He goes, hey, man, it's going to be cool playing with you and all that shit. So I'm like, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. And he asked me, he said, hey, man, do you got the vampire werewolf line? And I said, no. For those out there that don't know, or know the scrolls, you can be a werewolf, you can be a vampire, you can add all kinds of skill lines and then become good at it. And, uh, an efficient destroyer and conqueror in the video. This is game. what Brett Keen does uh, when he's not holding 16 hour hangouts. Yeah. I'm gonna be an uh, efficient destroyer. I was just thinking of that. It was like, you know, Brett Keen took a break from YouTube and spent all this wonderful time with his family. Why is the only story he has about <laughs> drama in some <laughs> shitty fucking video game? Uh, hmm, I wonder why. Could it be that Brett was, in fact, not spending time with his family and was just sitting his ass in front of a PC? Spending time with his family to yeah, him is I, like I being in the same house. I drew another picture of Link from Legend of Zelda. That's, That's good. good, son. Let me just put that on my video. Uh, See, my son did this. My son's wonderful. Uh, bring me another bowl of that Mac, son. Anyway, so the guy, he asked fucking scum. me for help, and I help him a whole bunch in the game. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. helped him quest, and I also, of course, added him to my guild where he could go into my guild bank and get whatever he needed, whatever well, people that was put dumb. in there. Yeah. I mean, some what? guy that you don't know is like, hey, man, can I be in your girl? And you just were like, sure, take my booty hole, too. Here's my asshole. Yeah. Just 
Let's just read Rape. some fucking other Brett Keen setup. Uh, uh, the Brett Keen. Send me over the bathroom sink and fuck my ass. Go ahead. Here's my Xbox password, the, uh, buddy. The helpful, uh, helpful Keen is like another trope of his videos. Like he's always talking about like how he helps people and all this. Yeah, so yeah have a full access to my Steam account and my bank account. Well, I trust you. The problem is, is that. He said that he would sit there and make me a sit there. <laughs> sit there. vampire in the game if I gave him 9,000 gold. So oh. I figured, why not? I helped the guy out. I did all these great things for him. You know, so what? He's an atheist. Big deal. You're a fucking hero, Brett. Yeah, I don't know why he felt the need to even bother telling me this in the first place. Because it really doesn't matter to me what non believers It didn't even probably happen, but that's fine. Begin with. It doesn't matter so to you, really? So I give him 9,000 gold, and then he logs off. At first, I figured, ah, he might have got disconnected from the internet. It fucking happens to the best of us. No, you got, you got, so sh I, you got shook, Brett. You're a retard, Brett. Somebody, oh my God. Wait a minute, hold on. You've been playing online video games for as long as you've been playing them. And you fell for the, hey, give me, give me this, like, crazy amount of gold and I'll do something for you, scam. Like, that's the oldest, it's, it's the easiest scam in video games. Like, it's the proto-scam. Dude, it's the scam even, that should even, only work on, like, kids. I don't even play these kind of games and shit. But even hey, I would see through that shit. Instantly! Hey, TJ, give me your life savings and I'll do some great shit for you, bro. Come on, bro. Transfer the money. Yeah, just transfer the money real quick. Yeah, but I'm, of course. I'm a rich uh, West African businessman and I need you to cash a check for me. Oh, uh, fuck. What a total... So basically what we've learned from this video is is that um, our intrepid viewers out there need to join Elder Scrolls Online. And just continually drain Brett Keen's gullible ass for all, everything he's worked. <laughs> I mean, if, if this even happened, but if it did, you know, I, I would almost guess. Why that would you tell the story even if it did? I mean, like, whether it did or didn't. Like, but, but I would guess. Uh, guys, like, I, stuck, I, I stuck my dick in a meat grinder because <laughs> I wanted to know what it felt like, guys. Like, why would you tell this? Yeah, how does this make you look good? <laughs> I, I would guess uh, also that even if you, uh, even if someone did rip him off, he, it was probably done. Like he probably didn't even know if they were an atheist or not. It was probably just talking to someone online. Yeah, I can do this for you, and then he just got ripped off. Yeah. He stood there for ten minutes, and he logs back in. He stands there. His little guy stands runs there. around for a moment. First he sits and he there, then he stands there. there. Says he's offline. I can see this because he's in my guild and he's still in the fucking group. I guess he's hoping for me to walk away so he can log in and uh, be able to get away with the theft that he did. So, he already finally, got away with after it. about another 10 minutes, this fucking mutt ends up logging in. He sees me, and then he fucking bolts. He <laughs> runs off with my money. And, uh, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but luckily for me, I had a guy that was in the guild who just happened to purchase him the vampire trait and werewolf trait and you'll get to see that on video on game is your law situation where christian actually oh, God. Uh, did the vampire thing made me a vampire for absolutely free didn't cost me one fucking single gold so the christian was charitable compassionate and kind is where the atheist even in the video game world, will steal from you and rob you. Oh, okay, now I don't, now I don't believe disgusting. your story at all. Actually, actually, this story is different than that, Brett. In this story, the Christian was a fucking dupe, and the atheist made a really quick nine thousand gold <laughs> off of a fucking retard. <laughs> that like, is that's, also my that's interpretation the of the yeah. situation. All right, I want to read you guys this shit. So now we've heard Brett's story because this is great. I knew this was a winner because the first three words of it are just hilarious. Lilith smiled evilly. Evilly. I'll just pause there for a second. Evilly. Evilly. As she peered through the glass, revealing before her many crying newborns. <gasps> Delicious little morsels, she snarled. <laughs> snarled. <laughs> She opened the door, walked in, and stared, drooling at them. 
she's literally drooling over these fucking bits. <laughs> I am evil. I can't wait to eat these babies. There was no way Damien could save them now. She began to kneel over a quiet little baby when suddenly a familiar voice called upon her. Lilith. She was surprised and became afraid. She turned to find Lucifer in the human form of Christian behind her, just 10 feet what? away. <laughs> Lucifer in the human form of Christian, dude. Don't worry about it. Oh. What have you done, Lilith? Lucifer demanded. I needed to feed. I mean, meant no disrespect towards you, my lord, she uttered. Lucifer shook his head. <laughs> you and Lamia have disobeyed me countless times, and I have allowed it. But now you have used up my patience, the prince of darkness spoke. I needed to feed, she said. Silence, bitch. You should have come back. I would have let you dine on all the children of the world, but now you revealed us to humanity. Not only that, but I had ordered Quang Shi to find the body of the chosen, Quang, and now Quang he is dead. <laughs> Quang Shi, dude. Quang Shi? Yes. Yeah. I'm assuming that's an Asian <laughs> character. You have exposed us to the human race, Lucifer ridiculed angrily. Now I have remained in this human skin. They have not seen my true identity, nor know of my intentions, she pleaded. Quang Shi. Oh, I love that. I love how no one, no one says, they always snarled, or like chortled, or yammered, yeah. or screamed, yammered. or declared, no one, exclaimed. No one, no one ever <laughs> says anything in Eternal Undying Love. They're always, yeah. And sometimes it'll like tell you who spoke both before and after a quote. I always love when he does that. Yeah. Brad, you're a fucking waterhead <laughs> idiot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're the lowest form of life. Like, you're it, dude. Brett, can I have 9,000 G? I'll <laughs> yeah. stop making fun dude. of you. I'll stop making fun of you once you give it to me. 9,000 G, dude. I just want 9,000 gold. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I rolled up quite a fatty. Quang yeah. Quang -shi. Quang Shi. That's probably the name of like the Chinese restaurant in Festus, Missouri, or something. Yeah, Quang Shi Walk. I'll take the Quang Shi platter. <laughs> mm. That's a good name for a character in my masterpiece, my magnum opera, Eternal Undying Love. Magnum <laughs> opera. <laughs> Quang Shi. <laughs> Uh, evilly, dude. <laughs> Lilith like smiled the, evilly. Dude, I was just reading more of the book. It's so hard. It, 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 I don't even know. Quang I wish I could... sounds like the. It sounds like the Chinese <laughs> term for queef. <laughs> You're good like, at sounds like a Mortal yeah, Kombat that, character. Dude, 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 that bitch over there, man. I walked by and she quang sheed, man. I swear to God, that bitch quang sheed. <laughs> How would you know? How would you dude. know what hole it was coming from? You know. <laughs> Maybe there's like a strong <laughs> pussy smell after it. <laughs> She's gonna dude, quang it smelled she. Like, it smelled like quang she. Quang she. <laughs> smelled like a fucking fish market afterwards. You must master the art of quang she. Quang she. Yeah. 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 He's gonna babysit that fucking blunt, TJ? Yeah. So. Next month's private show, if you guys want to catch it, will be really early in the month. Because we're fucking leaving this state. Yes. Forever. 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 Forever, forever. forever and ever and ever. ever. What are you guys going to call it now? Like, because now you're uh, the frozen armpit of America. Like, what? what is it going to be when you guys are on the <laughs> West Coast? Um, it's frigid armpit of America. Stupid. Okay, sorry. Paul. Idiot. It? Yeah, it is. But whatever. Uh, okay. I don't know. We'll probably just keep it the same. Who cares? I don't know. That would Quang be <laughs> that, that'd be a lie then, TJ. I don't care. You live in the lies, TJ. What would we lies. say? The the rainy uh, elbow. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to think about it. <laughs> the moist asshole of America. I don't know. You know, I've I've learned that people from Washington hate it when you say Washington, so now I say it, it as Washington as, as much as possible. 
We're from He's Washington. Wa- Washington. People from Connecticut hate when they people say Connecticut. Connecticut. Well, that doesn't I actually hate when people say Connecticut too. Yeah, but Washington, that's just fun. Yeah. That sounds like how Brett Keane would say it. Yeah, yeah, Washington. you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how he was saying Lu- Louisiana. Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. Lu- I was born on the bayou, as the song says. <laughs> All right. Born what else we got? Hashtag Washington. Washington. I think it's uh, I think it's about time for uh, individual situation. Oh, Take up that beautiful fuck asshole. Really? <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right. <sighs> this video is called Atheist sends eighteen thousand dollars to Brett Keen. Okay. Weird. <laughs> God. <laughs> what is this intro, it's man? It's fucking terrible, fucking dude. Brett has the worst intro. Dude, I was watching Brett's Twitch stream and he like left oh, for like dude, a half the hour. Worst? Oh god, it's so boring. Oh my god, dude. I've tried. I, I I've tried because I thought, you know, maybe something funny will happen. I can tell the guys we can cover it on the show. Yeah. It's it's just him wandering <laughs> I'm gonna wander over here to this. This lootable thing in the world. And, oh, look, it's God a, TV yeah. a crafting Make item. Sure check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Oh, he, he shrunk his Patreon thing a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, his window's actually bigger now. He didn't, um, he didn't, he should have made a new graphic for it, because now it, he just obviously crushed yeah, the other one, because it's fucking totally distorted now. As you know, in my last video, I talked about how I was playing Elder Scrolls online. <laughs> I've been playing it on the PlayStation online. 4. A lot of people have been asking me. I guess some of you haven't made it over to games you lost situation just yet to find out what system or platform. That, you know what the sa- once again we have we have infiltrated Brett's vocabulary. So now he owns a channel that he can't say the name of without admitting he's a fucking retarded manatee. <laughs> games you lost. Games you lost. Look, guys, I do it too. Individual situation, situation, individual. Like what individual. if Johnny? Like what if right. Johnny Carson? Like what if somebody had had, dis, had <laughs> said something disdainful to Johnny Carson about the show, and every time he was like, "Hello, everybody, I'm Johnny Carson. Welcome to the Tonight Show." <laughs> 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 Uh, Dude, you just have to know, like Brett, you're just our puppet man. Uh, we we, yeah. we just po- you know, Paul pointed out that you say a few things over and over again, and look what you do, man. You won't even say your fucking other channel's name anymore. Who you're is this thing? Like, you're just fucking a puppet on fucking Paul's pulling the strings, man. Oh. Yeah, dude, everyone's dead inside. <sighs> well, as the story went. Uh, an atheist ended up taking a wild Dorn appeared. <laughs> yeah. As just, the story she dis- went, she disappeared into the fridge. <laughs> there is no Dana, only Zool. Nine thousand of my money, and running off, off in the video game world. And uh, someone wrote to me. They said, "Brett, you reap what you sow, right?" And obviously, it was an atheist trying to be a dickhead. But what ended up happening, fantastic enough, even though that atheist did what he did, another atheist came along just recently. Remember in my last video I told you a Christian turned me into a vampire. Well, an atheist ended up sending me 18,000 gold in my email. And in the subject... so I, mean, I want to point out that uh, in these like titles to these videos, he talks. He literally uses like dollar signs, like to make it sound like some atheist gave Brett Keen eighteen thousand dollars, and then you yeah. click on the video and it's like, yeah, someone gave me eighteen thousand gold in a stupid fucking video game. Of course, it's like no one cares. Who fucking gives a shit? I don't give a fuck how you're doing in your fucking game. <laughs> You I've know, the funny thing is, is like, yeah, okay, so you might, uh, this probably didn't happen. I, I doubt any of this happened. I doubt that the oh, ripoff yeah. happened, and I doubt that the 18, of but even if somebody did give you 18,000 gold, you've proved that it's just a matter of time before you give it to some fucking idiot that walks up to you and goes, hey, Brett, <laughs> if you give me 18,000 gold, I'll make you the master of the universe. Uh-huh. 
I'll give you the cosmic key. <laughs> you gullible fucking manatee. Just hand over your booty you hole it. now, manatee. I had atheism before in my life, but the email had 18,000 gold attached to it, so I was like, okay, that seems like if there was a kind atheism, that's what I'd call it. Wow. But are you choking up thinking about the, the kind the atheism? The kindness that... So, one time someone gave me 18,000 gold! Oh the God. stories that you're gonna pass down to your children, Brett. The stories that you're gonna pass down to your children. So the guy sent it, and in his body of the message, he wanted <clears> me <throat> to know that not all atheists are dickheads. Now, I, I was extremely ecstatic because obviously I was getting paid double of what I lost. <laughs> that was really, really This is cool Brett trying to save face. Well, 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 yeah, I was an idiot and gave my life savings away, but then some angel investor came out of nowhere and doubled my money. <laughs> so in bullshit. the long run, I benefited from it. Yeah, bullshit. I'm not, a, I'm not a loser idiot after all. Yes, you are, Brad. Yes, you are. Oh, God. Twitter, twada, 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 twada. But I do have a question for people out there. Okay. If atheism is not a group, and it's not a religion... It's not a cult. I mean, there are atheist groups. As I have But that doesn't mean atheism is a group. Yeah. Or hinted at in the past. Uh-oh, it sounds like my cat's alive back there. Uh-oh. Let me <laughs> ask you. Good. It's good to know <laughs> your cat is, is no, alive. Is no <laughs> oh, good to know that the cat's still alive. <laughs> how, how are you doing? I thought it died last week, but no, nope, it's still kicking. And I saw it under the couch. It looked pretty emaciated. I thought it was dead. I poked it with a stick and everything, but Ugh. apparently it's still alive back there. Someone go rescue the cat. Must have caught a little <laughs> mouse or something. Something. Why do you feel as though you have to pay for someone else's mistakes? I decided to give 9,000 gold to a stranger. <laughs> a complete and utter stranger on an MMO because I figured he was going okay. to do what on he an he MMO, did. which means like it's worthless. It's Dude, yeah. Wait, let me get this. But no, look, what, what what he's saying here is crazy. What he's saying is actually that if athe I mean, like if atheists don't call themselves a group, then why did this atheist feel the need to make up for what this other atheist did? Checkmate, yeah. atheists. I mean, that's fucking retarded. I mean, and what an asshole you are when someone does something fucking nice for you, assuming this was fucking true, you immediately use it as like a point against their, their what they fucking believe or something. Like, yeah. Well, if yes. you're if you atheists aren't all in it together, then why do you feel the need to pay me when he did that thing to me? So some guy tells you, I feel bad for what someone did, and you're like, oh, why do you fucking do this if you guys aren't in it together? Like, can't you just accept a gift, Brett? Not no, everything is like a slight against you. Everything is, dude. Everything is fucking Mexican. Who's going to do? Why would someone who happens to wear the same label feel the desire or need, if you're not in a group, you're not some kind of community, why would you want to pay for someone who did that? Sounds like the cat's live over there, baby cakes. <laughs> I'm disturbed. <laughs> That's it a very disturbing sentence, baby dude. cakes. Won't be for long, Brad. It hasn't eaten in fucking six weeks. This is this is uh. Also, he gets, he gets to mention cake too, because he's probably thinking about cake right that now. That line is being added to our movie, dude. For sure. Yeah. That has to be uttered. Cats? Sounds like the cat's alive back there, baby cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't laugh. Come on. What is it? Is because you, you like poison it earlier and you're surprised it didn't work or something? Like what happened here? Why why are you making so many references to the cat still being alive? What? I think this is Brett thinking he's now, funny. Don't get me wrong, I think it's awesome what you did. But let me give you an example of something. There are Christians, Muslims, <laughs> pagans, and Jews in the world. There are some people who are there, of there religion. There are also lots of other mistake. types of people in the yeah, world. There, there's why Zoroastrians, are there's Buddhists. Yeah. Why, are the, why are those four particular groups of people the only people that you seem to mention ever? The only important ones, Chris. You can only remember four at a time. Jews. <laughs> Jews. Christian, pagan, Muslim, and I don't, in the, in the light of me, ever feel like Okay, some Christian over in California decided to poop in a mall or something. 
that doesn't make me want to go out and, and do something nice or be punished or pay for the mistakes Poop at a of mall. that other Christian. What? I mean, it's like, bizarre. it's just Brett's a... bizarre ramblings, if, if dude. You're, if you're at a mall and they have a restroom and you got to poop bad enough, go do it. This What's yeah. wrong with pooping at a mall? I don't get it. Like, I've if you really need to. I think he means, like, in the middle of the mall. Oh. Like, you just poop it's in the mall. probably something Brett's done. He's probably shit in a mall before. It's, what a just look weird... it. it was probably unintentional. He probably just this shit his pants. This is a very strange argument he's putting yeah. forward in this video, man. Very strange. It doesn't make me, if a Muslim goes out and does something horrible... It doesn't make me like say, well, I've got to do this or do that in order to make it to where the group doesn't look bad anymore. And atheists always say, it's about individualism. We're just people with our own thinking minds. None of us are all alike. So then why do you feel like you have to actually pay for something that someone I else did? Yeah, <laughs> most I don't. Fucking, don't. One guy I did. Don't. Just I another lame Brett straw man. <laughs> Not only, not only do I not feel responsible to replenish your pixel gold on Elder Scrolls Online, but I hope you lose the 18000 that this fucking retard gave you to another scam. Yeah, dude, Paul is a game scammer, too. So. I, I almost want to try... I almost want to make an account in this shitty game just so I can fucking go up to you and scam you out of your, your fucking yeah, let's fucking scam Brett Kane, man. Gold, let's just dude. go in the game and scam him out of all of his gold. That'd Someone do way. it. If anyone can actually scam Brett King out of his gold, that'd be great. Yeah, make sure you record yeah. it if you do it. Anyone record could... yourself scamming him. <laughs> Even with him knowing that it's coming, he'll probably still fall for <laughs> he'll, something. He'll still get scammed, man. Come on. Tell you what, Brett, since all these people are go aiming for your gold, why don't you just give it to me and I'll hold on to it for you? <laughs> yeah. You know, treat me like a bank. That way, you know, you don't have it on you so they can't take it from you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> individual what situation. What the Check fuck? The we got the beautiful castle. The individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right, so we're gonna do the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Hold on, what? What is that? Is that the Pokemon? Yeah, hotline, yeah, the Pokemon Hotline. Oh, Did really? Answer it? Someone? Yeah. Oh, Stop. Chances. Yeah, yeah. So, um. Do we have a caller on the there? line? Hello? Hey, hello? Hello? Hey, hey! Hello. Hi. Hey, welcome hey. to the Pokemon Hotline, man. Hey, uh, yeah. hello. Uh, oh, you know, I, I didn't really want to talk about Pokemon, but uh, guys, there, there is a big-ass fucking manatee in my front yard, and he's eating a lot of mac and cheese right now. Lots of mac and cheese, and uh, oh wait, in your yard, yard currently, right this very second. right, right this second. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. So you're calling it in live right now. I, I am new. You no, this this guy is a slobber, and he's a big fat fucking manatee, just eating a bunch of mac and. Oh, oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on. He's he's pulling out a bowl of chili right now. It looks like some good chili. There, there's no cheese. But no cheese. It looks like some good some chili. Some you should put some of the mac and cheese in there, you know. So what what what's your name, caller? Uh, my name is Mark. <laughs> Mark, Mark what? Mark, uh, uh, Bunce. Mark Bunce. <laughs> Mark Bunce? <laughs> Mark Bunce. Dude. Man, you're quick on your feet. You're quick hey, on your feet, My name is caller. Jim Ass. Don't laugh at this guy's name, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah, that guy's got a worse name than I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rock on. Yeah. All right, Mark Bunce. Mark Bunce, is he doing anything else? Is it, what is, what's uh, 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 yeah, funny motherfuckers. What's he doing? So are you gonna, Mark, are you going to call animal control on that manatee in your yard, or are you just going to let it sit out there and eat chili? <laughs> Mark, are you there? Anything, Mark? You got anything, hold on, Mark? Hold on, hold on. He's pulling out more chili, more mac and cheese. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna put the microphone up. Hey, hey, hey we get up my front yard. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that was him. Uh, yeah, he's just chewing. He won't even respond to you. He, he won't even respond. Is he making eye contact or what? No, he's just chewing. Is there a dog there by any chance? He keeps saying no, he keeps saying no cheese. I don't I don't even know what he's talking about there. Damn, this is crazy wow. shit. But yeah. you have no Pokemon information. No, I, I live in I live in Florida. I live in a uh, uh, Brett Keen County, Florida. 
Brett Brett Keen Keen County. County? I didn't know there was a Brett Keene County in Florida, dude. Oh, wait. No, no, uh, Manatee. Sorry. Manatee County, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes I, get sense. The, I, I, I get those two mixed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Mar- thank you, Mark Bunce. Yeah, you know what? In the future, like, we, this is a Pokemon hotline, guys. Like, yeah. we want... We're just trying to talk about Pokemon. So if you don't yeah, have Pokemon problem? information... And I just want to say that, like... Why do you guys have a bunch of stupid fuckers like this Mark Bunce dipshit calling in and... I don't know, man. Pokemon. We're trying to get, we're trying to get some good Pokemon Go tips. Yeah. And it's like... You know, these people keep calling in with unrelated bullshit. And we get, like, Crazy. naked fat dudes eating, you know, <laughs> chili and mac and cheese in people's front yards. What? It's not good. I yeah. mean, like... It's not right. It's, but it's, we it's, didn't say that. Mark Bunce said that. Yeah, yeah Mark, Mark Bunce. Bunce. Mark, Mark, it is a fucking Pokemon hotline, not a manatee-eating mac yeah, and cheese what? hotline. Yeah, fuck you, Jim, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mark's Mark, voice your voice got, got really deep. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there, Mark? You okay? <laughs> Mark's voice just got like Mark, 10 Mark, times did you deeper. Mark, did you forget which voice you were using for yourself, Mark? <laughs> I think I think Mark hung up. <laughs> God, he's, oh, gone. Yeah. he's gone now. He's Mark's fucking gone. gone, dude. He's, he's done. fucking wow. gone. All right, uh, so Jim, Jim, do oh, do your yes. Undertaker voice. Just do it. Huh? Do an Undertaker Do your voice. fucking Undertaker yeah, impression. It's pretty good. Austin, rest in peace. It's, it's pretty damn spot yeah. on, dude. It's pretty fun close. Yes. Austin. Paul, can you do a better Undertaker voice? Uh, no, but I can but I can do uh I can do Paul Bear. Oh, oh yeah. You can yeah. you can accompany them then. Oh my Undertaker rises from the grave. <laughs> I will never fight my own flesh and blood. <laughs> I will never fight Cain. And then he did. And then he did like several <laughs> times. And then I did. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> this is a good time to take a piss. Is there a monkey in the background? <laughs> I don't know why he does that. I mean, <laughs> looks like that he was gonna like fight or some shit, like Mortal Kombat type fight. <laughs> yeah, it was an angry monkey. It's probably <laughs> angry about being in a Brett Keen video intro. <laughs> His so, videos are uh, becoming parodies so, of themselves. So, Blood Axe, have it, have you seen Brett Keen's brother's music? Uh, I, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I did check one of his uh, live videos. It's, I mean, it's. An average metal man, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what should I say about wow. it? <laughs> it's not terrible. No, you should just it's, name, it's should just name himself that. Metal. Completely average, vanilla, forgettable metal man. Yeah, yeah you exactly. Guys, <laughs> you, guys better, you guys better watch out, because if you mess with his brother, he's coming to get you. Yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> I don't said know. that to Stop us. Stop attacking his family, guys. God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com, and connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Today I'm going to talk about and do a review on Terminal 1, Porn. Elder Scrolls Online. It's going to be cool. All I've been having some life. people out there in comments state, Hey, Brad, I'd like to be a part of your guild, and by the way, I... Hey, Brad, I'd like to be a part of your guild. He just said his own name, Brad, dude. <laughs> Bread. Hey, Brad. My name is Brad Keen. It's like <laughs> my name is my name is Brad Keen. Support my work on Patreon. What? That's really what is mush this? mouths. What is this new thing with Brett like filming videos while Dorn is in the background cooking? <laughs> like this is the Mix. second video in a row we've watched where Dorn has been in the kitchen. I think Dawn's Behind like, them. I want them to see what a good wife I am to you. You put me in the back cooking your vittles up. I want to make sure you put cheese in my chili, Dorn. <laughs> your vittles. Yo, vittles. This is Brett's vittles. <laughs> First, I make a nice meal, then I blend it up, put a funnel in Brett's mouth, and fucking pour it right down his fat fucking gullet. I'm a DP fan. Uh, I think that's the abbreviation or initials of uh, dickless penises. I think. No, I'm dickless, dickless penises. penises. 
Doesn't make any sense. Brett Keen has presented what? us with a paradox. Hmm. Oh my Dry god. One. How can a penis be dickless? Could I? It, it makes no sense. When you think this guy couldn't get any dumber, he says dickless penis. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a. That needs to be a bearded lesbian song. Oh uh, my god. Paul. Yeah, dickless penis. <laughs> And that would be good. Jesus! I got a dickless penis! Just kidding, I know what the hell it is. But I want to tell you no, something. No, you don't know what a uh, fucking dickless penis is. I get quite a few people who call me on the phone, try to contact me on Skype, message me through Facebook and Twitter. And you say, I like your content, but I'm a, um, a drunken peasant fan. I need you to know something right off the bat. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You may want to hesitate. Hold on a second. How, how many people do you think actually call him and say that? None. Exactly yeah, none. Was Not say a it. single <laughs> goddamn they're... solitary motherfucking one. You know what? I, 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 uh, okay. You know, that was me. I have a confession to make. I do like all of Brett's videos, every single one of them. <laughs> but I'm also obviously a drunken peasants fan because I'm on your show. You know what? Actually, I gotta correct. I gotta correct myself here. I think that people have said that to Brett Keen because there was a period in time where the stupid ass DP subreddit was like all positive about Brett Keen and shit. Oh, the dickless penises. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What if Brett was one of us? <laughs> does Just anybody a else think like one of us? Does anybody Dude. else think that Brett's actually makes pretty good content? <clears throat> Can I get a yeah, bunch of upvotes, guys? Oh, yeah, dude. Sweet Brett. You know, TJ really fucked Brett over on that fucking thing, dude. Like, Brett yeah, he did, his man. Gums and, and fucking TJ didn't pay him. That's bullshit, dude. I mean, it's hey. one thing to make fun of a guy, but but to, 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 to renege on a bet, man. That's fucked up. I lost a lot of respect for TJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him, man. You gotta love him. We love you, subreddit. We just giving you some tough love, you fucking stupid pieces of goddamn shit. Thank you, Butt King. That was Thank more you. tough love. Oh, by the by the way, I um, you know, by the way, uh, I for for the record, I was making the joke that Butt King might be my father, you know, Jim ass Butt King. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna go for that anymore. I don't want him thinking I'm attacking his family. You know, oh, he, 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 <laughs> this this Jim ass guy is accusing me of cheating on Dorn. Before letting me know this information that I didn't even ask for, if you're wanting to be in my guild and play with me. If you want to play with me, what is this? Did Brett, ben just pissed in a cup and gave it to me. Neat, that is sweet. definitely piss, dude. I can smell the piss. <laughs> ben, here I'll drink ben. something Ugh. worse than that piss. Ugh. Hey Ben, that's uh, some of the worst piss I've ever drank, Ben. Some of the worst. Like Elder Scrolls. You need to. Ben's piss is so. Ben's such a fucking alcoholic. <laughs> even his fucking piss tastes boozy, dude. <laughs> Probably gonna get drunk on this piss. It's disgusting. Realize man. that when I see those words in a sentence, or I hear them to my ear, <laughs> or my wife sees it recorded, I hear them to my ear. Is that really necessary? <laughs> when I see those words in a sentence, when I see those words with my eyes, or I hear those words with my ears, or I smell that bullshit with my nose. When was the last time you guys didn't see words in a sentence? Okay. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> stop stop derailing the show, Jim. You are the I mean you are a human monkey wrench, Jim. You really yeah. are. You are a human fucking monkey wrench, dude. Ugh, it's fucking bored. Ben <clears throat> Ben, by the way, uh Brett Keen told me D P stands for uh, a dickless penis. Did he really tell you that? Yeah, he did. He sent you a message? No, he said it here on this video. Oh, okay. Yeah, Our he did? Machine. Yeah, it's amazing. We immediately envision immediately. and hear a song go off. And immediately. That's cool. That's what is a dickless penis? I mean, if it's... <laughs> That's what we were saying, dude. We were like, Brett Keen is presenting... Sorry, us I was pouring man. wine for everyone. I didn't... Uh... Oh. Yeah, that, that's why I wanted to let you know. That I know you had your headphones off. I wanted to let you know that that's what DP what stands for. What the fuck? Dickless okay. penis. Blah, 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 that doesn't make blah, blah, any blah. sense at all. If it's a penis, it's not dickless. And he so could have easily been like dickless pussies or something. And be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes see, sense. that would have yeah. at least made sense. Or dickless peasants or any other fucking yeah. combination. 
Someone in the chat said I'm Czech. No, Dip I'm not. Dipshit plebs. I'm not whatever, Czech. Whatever, you know, yeah. there's lots of ways you go with Brett it. Brett Keen, you are still a waterhead. In our head, whenever the shit is said. That, I don't know if you heard my wife there. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. You know, Onision, when he dresses up in a banana. Oh, Onision. Oh, Thanks for Can explaining. you even say oh, his man. name? Another fucking right? Full of Onision. A master. I remember, uh... Zonstar said that he always called him Zonster. 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 <laughs> Zonster. <laughs> he, should, he should change his name to Zonster. Zonster. Of the it's, actually, <laughs> it's actually better. That's exactly yeah. what I see and hear whenever I, I get someone like yourself telling me that you're a Duncan Peasants fan. It's as if any intelligence... That's the only reason anyone cares about who the fuck you are. No, all 70 of his wisdom, subscribers called up. Hope that you had or no, no, at least half of them are DP fans. I want to hear what he has to say, man. <laughs> sorry. I want to hear Brett's, Brett's sorry. fucking take sorry. on this shit. Sorry, sorry, Contribution to the human race gets flushed down the toilet along with EJ's butt particles and banana potassium. <laughs> banana potassium. Okay, so if you're a drunken peasants potassium's fan... Potassium's good for you. If you're a drunken peasants fan, what he said... That's pretty cool. This guy is talking about intelligence. Any sliver of intelligence I thought he had went out the window when he said dickless penis. Yeah, what? It, uh, any, uh, it's like a t that's like a second grade kind of like uh, insult. Any notion of intelligence I had was broken the moment he said, Hi, I'm Brett Keen. Yeah. Individual <laughs> situ all I needed. Individual situation, no cheese. I don't think anything will top dickless penis. I, yeah, I'm I'm gonna make a call right now because this video is about Brett Keen ostensibly playing Elder Scrolls online with people. Yeah. Um, once yeah, again, I, like one of you guys, if one of you guys manages to infiltrate the Manatees Guild and just steals everything he owns, you will be a hero on this show. This is this is the title of this video: Elder Scrolls Online Tamiral One. Brett Keen books DP Banana. What a great title. What? That's the title of this video that we're watching. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so don't even bother telling me. I don't fucking care. One other thing. A lot of you out there have been saying, Hey Brad, I'd like to see the eternal undying love books that you wrote yeah. apparently some of you have never watched my videos i haven't even mentioned those books for years except for whenever i was questioned about them on dp i wrote them whenever i was a teenager and i no longer put forth the effort or anything to actually sell them oh you still collect the money though i mean when someone buys it you see you don't reject the money do you do you think that? Do you think that girl in the bottom with the rose in her mouth? Do you think she watches Brett Keen's channel? No, that's Dawn, dude. No, that that's is not. That's a picture not. of Dawn, no. dude. No, who's no, Dawn? Not Dawn. That's his wife. His Dawn, beautiful although, wife, Dawn. To Amazon and Bar I like how his Patreon thing is the biggest window. Yeah, it changes every that. video. It does, but could <laughs> could you imagine if our show was like that? I mean, like. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. I think we, we should have do this because our Patreon, I mean, is is doing really well. I think our Patreon, like the entire screen we're using now for the content, should just be a Patreon. The reason our Patreon does well is because we actually put forth the extra effort and to then like, do extra shit for people. Your box can be us all three in one box or all four in one box, and then the box I'm in can just be. Uh, Whatever video we're watching, yeah, right and the rest there. of the screen, this, box. this right whole here. box, yep, the whole box of where we're, our content is now, <laughs> Patreon. Just, Patreon. Just shrink your whole screen to a couple of pictures down in the lower right-hand corner, and then <laughs> the rest will be just a Patreon advertisement. Please support us on Patreon. Bubbles in the many bookstores out there, they're still selling them. So if you want to get them, you can get them in hardback, soft copy, and all that kind of bullshit. Or you can get, uh, what is it, a PDF file or some shit? Oh, he's doing an uh, ad. He, he just yeah, said yeah. that. Like, hey, I, don't doesn't want to I haven't it. talked about them in years, but buy them, please. Yeah, yeah since, since we've been reading Eternal Undying Love on the show, he's probably sold a couple of books, so he, he wanted to find a way to plug them yeah. without plugging them. Yeah, like out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it's like a big thing. 
Oh, go ahead, TJ. Here's a here's a reading from Eternal and Dying Love, which, which by the way, if you notice, has our endorsement right on the cover. Yes. Um, what's what's the URL again? God hates you. God hates you. dot org. God hates you. dot org. If you go to God hates you. dot org, which is on the cover of Brett Keen's book, it will take you to the Drunken Peasants uh, YouTube channel. So, I mean, obviously, Brett Keen loves us. Yep. And he's endorsing this book, so... All right, so listen up here, folks. He packed what he wanted and needed (laughs) and tossed it into the back of his Bronco and headed for Missouri. His Bronco. He drove about 200 miles when he saw something lying in the middle of the road. He pulled over, his car stereo playing a song called Separate Ways by Journey. (laughs) (laughs) Journey, dude. (laughs) He could tell it was an animal. As he hopped out onto the dark, desolate highway, he flashed a flashlight that he had obtained from the glove compartment. As he searched, he could find nothing. All of a sudden, he heard scampering like feet running. A chill went up his spine. Fuck, he mumbled. He had left his gun in the cab. How dumb he felt. Now he was (laughs) kicking himself in the ass for being so foolish. How dumb he felt. How dumb he felt. How dumb he felt. (laughs) (laughs) Now he was kicking himself in the ass for being so foolish to pull over in the first place and allow him to be put in such a vulnerable state. The sound of running behind him, he turned to find, to his surprise, a cemetery (laughs) where the highway for the other direction was supposed to be. The highway for the other direction was supposed to be? Okay, there's just a cemetery there. He looked behind himself in horror. He watched his Bronco be driven away. He could swear he heard maniacal laughter coming from his truck as it drove quickly out of sight. (laughs) Maniacal laughter. Now it seemed as though the highway itself was also disappearing. What the fuck, he cringed. I guess Egghead was there. (laughs) He was now alone with a dark, eerie graveyard. How How do you cringe a quotation? What the fuck? He cringed? Yeah. What the fuck? He cringed. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Oh, quiet meadows. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Whatever. I'm sorry, bro. That's enough of that. We just yeah. cost you... We, hey, we just cost you a little bit of money you know, by reading that on the air. You know, so. TJ... We just made him money. People want to read something that horrible. Today, for the first time ever, I watched the full uh, Joe Rogan interview with oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, and and I thought it was kind of funny because I I was just like cleaning around here and stuff when I was listening to it, but I noticed like the first like twenty minutes, you guys are just talking about shit and piss, like for like the first twenty minutes of it. Shit and piss, dude. Yeah, cool. I don't I wa- even I don't even remember my conversation with it was it was good. I mean, yeah. I I watched it and for the first time I saw that Star Trek uh thing with the uh, Captain Kirk fighting the aliens. Yeah, I cannot believe he thought that the old Star Trek is better than the new one. <laughs> and his reasoning was totally flawed. I don't even remember what he said. He was like, "Oh, I heard this old comedian say something about the bald guy that's the captain and it was weird because I don't think it was like the most legit show I'd ever done. So oh, I was kind of course. nervous and I was so nervous that I pretty much forgot the entire thing. Like right after I did it, like, I don't even know what I just did for the you last two hours. Honestly, you didn't seem nervous. Not like, at all. You, no. Yeah. You handled I could, it. I faked my way through that shit. Y'all. <laughs> Cause inside I was like, Oh, oh shit. I'm on fucking Joe Rogan. I remember, uh, I remember when, when we were playing the UFC game. Yeah. And we heard Joe Rogan, you're like, I knew that guy. I knew that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I done met that motherfucker, yeah. man. You know, it was, it was weird because uh, I thought, like, his fame, like, would just make him automatically better than me, but just didn't. It's no, I, I mean, he's a pretty normal guy. Yeah. Like, deep down, you know. Deep but down. I didn't get that deep in Joe Rogan. I oh, only, only a little bit deep. I don't know, man. A little bit deep. I went just below the surface a little bit. Just a tip, you know. <laughs> That's all you can get. Just a tip, man. <laughs> Just a little tip, man. You know what I'm saying? Whispers, whispers McMillan is back, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Me directly about it. I'm not a bookstore. Paul. Paul's ego. Paul. All right. So people are wondering. I'm the front of the website recently. All right. So we talked about us. We sucks. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful Brett Keen. Need a shot. The individual Brett Keen segment situation. How about uh? (laughs) We can play the song. Yeah. 
We can use your brother's music on here that you always like hope we would play by accident and flag us. It's not gonna happen, bitch. It's not gonna happen. Flag yeah. us, Fred! Flag us, Fred! Do it! Flag us! And check out my brother Girl. on YouTube, Amazon, CD, baby, iTunes, buy a CD, click Hello, here. Check out my brother. Ha <laughs> ha, dude, Patreon's bigger than his fucking dude, than him. Why is he blue? Yeah, he's blue. He looks like fucking, he's, he's getting violent, bluer. Violent. He's getting bluer and bluer. Yeah, it is like violet, yeah. Pretty soon he's just going to be a blue square. <laughs> Dude, look, camera. His Patreon is the biggest thing on that yep. screen. Why don't you just? No, 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 Scotty, you're wrong. It's Patreon. Patreon. Oh, Patreon. 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 We should to my Patreon. We should see oh. how much it would be to buy some <laughs> ad space, to buy some of that, some of that real estate. On, hold on, on Brett hold Keen on. Videos. I we should. I have evidence that Brett Keen may be a scammer because I have reason to believe that TJ, the amazing atheist contributed a thousand dollars to Brett Keen and still has not gotten his Patreon uh, yeah yeah I mean, I mean like what Brett are you scamming people with your Patreon scam because where's the interview Brett? I thought that you claimed that if someone donated that amount they got to interview TJ are you okay where's my interview Brett are you where's okay the interview? like oh, I, I'm man, serious come on man I don't want to you gave him a thousand dollars and everyone every Everyone like demonized you. They were like, TJ, we don't believe you're gonna pay it. And all you wanted was your interview with Brett. And like, where is it? Look, Ben. Brett. All I wanted was my, oh my interview god. with Brett. Oh my god. I just wanted to sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, hash out our differences. Maybe, maybe this, TJ, TJ, look. Maybe if you read this, you'll feel better, man. Maybe if you read this book, <laughs> you'll feel a little bit better, maybe man. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Yep. Wait a minute. I do things alone. It's faster <laughs> and more efficient. John replied, surprised. <laughs> Son, I understand you're a city cop on two feet, <laughs> but you're not as stupid as country trash here. We do know what you're doing, too. There will be no argument unless you want to leave now. John shook his head. No. Good. I'll have your new partner come in now so you can brief us on the suspect, the sheriff said. The sheriff stood up. I want to make this into a movie, dude. I know, right? Open the door to his office and look around the area. He saw the officer he was looking for. Officer Denise, come here, the sheriff ordered. He lo she looked up, accidentally spilling her coffee. Yes, sir, she stuttered. How does she stutter? Yes, sir. You just wrote it fine. <laughs> <laughs> sir! The sheriff muttered a few words of disgust. The officer what? walked in and held out her hand to shake John's hand. Hello, my name is Dawn. Nice to meet you, she smiled. What words oh. of disgust did the sheriff mutter? Disgusted. Spill her coffee every which way. She can't even hold a cup of coffee. <laughs> She's gonna uh, crack this radio. case. Can't even crack Make the sure case. Out out my to yeah, check radio. out this com. website right here. You know, sometimes. Yes, I want to point out that if any of you decide to get Eternal and Dying Love, a website uh, that brings you to content that Brett Keen endorses is right there on God the hates you. You. org. Visit we God hates you. Dot org. Visit God hates you. org. And think about what we have. The little things as well as the big things. Notice little things tend to gather up and become great things. That's the way life works. Nice how it's working for you so far. <laughs> why, does he, why does he have the Benedictine monks in the background going, Okay, don't you understand? Brett is a deep and philosophical mother. It looks like he's. Oh, you need to understand the weight and importance of his <laughs> wise words. It looks like he's swimming in grape Kool Aid right now. I mean, like, what the f who is the color of his sagacious energy, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually pronounced sagacious, sorry, but he's there. He's wise. He's a shaman. Whoa. He's a god. He's a ghost. He's a guru. <laughs> Yellow is the and color of the mac we and need to take a step back. Whoa. And think about what it is. Blue is the color of the manatee. <laughs> makes us a good person. I myself, I have my moments where I feel like. <sighs> The world's too tough. Life is too hard. 
But then work I... is hard about your life and sad, yeah, disgusting. Brett. You do eight-hour hangouts. You don't have a life even. But she doesn't even run. He's just like, hey guys, uh, take uh, take it over. Talk about this. It's stuff. so hard to sit here in my dingy room making videos and playing video games while my wife Dorn brings me food. Let's let's watch a more interesting Brett <coughs> Brett Keen video. Is there yeah. such a thing? Hello, folks. This is Brett Keen. This is going to be a very short video. <coughs> Anyone, whether you're atheist, agnostic, or Christian Old school. on YouTube, you may take <coughs> all of my videos, if you feel like it, or whatever you like, and post, <coughs> post it all over different channels. You can post it on Yahoo, you can post it on Google, <coughs> anything you want. Hell, you Yahoo. 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 You can play them on Stickham accounts if you want. Looks at, listen how much better he sounds with his teeth, though. Yeah, he does sound a lot like... It, it, even with this version of Brett, he actually sounds like coherent. It's like, you know, yeah, just take my videos, put them wherever you want. so slur. Like, oh, That's his permission for, for us to take his videos. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there it is. He regrets making this, I'm sure, because <laughs> he doesn't even like the fact those videos are mirrored now. The reason... <coughs> Sorry about that. Tobacco. The reason why I'm giving you permission to do this, anybody. Because I'm leaving YouTube. The reason I'm coughing is tobacco. I believe that the Muslims are going to try to ban me for. <laughs> See, dude, it's always Hold somebody. On. Hold on, what about Christians, somebody. Muslims, pagans, and Jews? Yeah, Hold dude, on. what about Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, Ben? Or, uh, uh, uh Brett? What? It's always somebody that's trying to ban Brett. Always some oh. group. Now it's atheists. Yep. Yep. They use Bobots. Muslims These people are gonna sit there and gonna abuse the copyright system and remove Brett Crane's videos. Dude, I love how we've stunted his vocabulary so much just by pointing out the situation. Stupid, like he won't say situation anymore. He won't say individual anymore. We haven't got him to stop say sitting there, but like you I sit, think you after, sit there. Sitting there. Yeah, sit there. Eventually, we're just going to take away all of his words. I'll tell you what. Uh, on the last episode of DP, when, when we had that caller into the Pokemon hotline, I wish he would have said you're sitting there more times. Because, like... Sitting there, sitting there, sat there, sat there, <laughs> sat there, sat there. <laughs> that was delicious. Sit, sit there is like Brett Keen's uh, not at a mean. You know what I mean? It's like his... Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm basically right posting no, all I'm these saying. videos up about Islam right and about what the Muslims are about. I don't think the Muslims have the balls to try to debate me because they would get beat down uh, intellectually. Every TJ would, yeah, yeah, uh, teenage TJ sitting there like eating this up, like, yeah, Brett. Brett Gap, you're Weather in the Muslim. storm, Brett. You weather in the storm. What, so was Paul. Paul. They were both old this. Brett Sicker fans. I don't know if we liked him at this point or not. Boy, Maybe loops. we did. So. Oh, he's so edgy. <laughs> and he's fat. You make sure yeah, you guys both liked him. He's an edgy fat guy. Yeah, both of you eat that up with a smile. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to. I don't <laughs> deny you know it. story where you, where you gave Brett, like, your password <laughs> to do that video That's why I like Kevin Smith back in the day, because he was edgy fat guy. Right? Am I right? I mean, he made good movies. I don't know. He made some good movies. Uh, I, think, I do think he needs to back up. love Brett at one point. Oh, yeah, dude. At one point, like, I remember it was like, oh, man, people were attacking Brett. I don't know, man. Brett's, Brett's a cool guy. I don't know if I should. Yeah. Kevin Smith is kind of like Trent Reznor. Like when Trent Reznor stopped, <laughs> got got off the H train, he started to suck. And when 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 Kevin Smith got off the donuts, he started to suck. Never leave He's your vices All right. behind. Someone in the chat says ten dollars for banning Egghead from the chat. That's not enough. All right. We need like we would need like a hundred of these to yeah. ban Egghead. If we just see like a hundred of these, we'll, yeah. we'll ban it. Like from a the long chat. like it's gotta be a long line. And then it. I will ban Egghead from the chat. Sweet. <laughs> Do it. We need just like a long stream of them. Yeah, really. He said really Ben. <laughs> what the f you think you're more important to us than the money? Ivy, <laughs> oh, Ivy was the first oh, one. <laughs> one, two, two. Oh, we're right. seeing two. I don't think Egghead. I think Egghead's. Uh, and the other yeah, one was I Shooter. Think you're all right, three, three. Don't just go, Egghead. We need to. We need to get money to ban you. Four, four. I mean, there's got to be a hundred. There's got to be a hundred of these, Egghead. There's no way. Seven. Yeah, I think Egghead is gonna be safe. Eight, eight nine. nine. Oh. I mean. 
they're only 10% there. Not even, Egghead. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I'm not even seeing 10, dude. How, uh, you want to lower it to he's, 10? <laughs> Egghead's already leaving anyway. He's like, bye, guy. He's butthurt. Oh, Egghead gets butthurt so easily, dude. Um, hold on. He spelled like, by B-Y. It's he B-Y-E. He doesn't even know how to spell 10. Oh, what a cry, baby. 11. Cause I'm just a butthurt egghead baby. <laughs> Woo! Is he, is he going to go make an egghead show against us now? Like, what if egghead becomes a detractor, dude? He's like, I'm so pissed off right now, guys. I was at the Drunken Peasants private show. They humiliated oh, me. Paul, Paul, dude, I actually have, a, I have, I have a, uh, a theory about egghead. I think one day egghead will become the new Brett Keane, dude. You think so? You think <laughs> yes. he's like... <laughs> I do. He's the larval form of Brett Keane. He may be. I have. I have this. You know, this theory just popped in my head. I'm just like, you know what? I can actually see that happening. I'm, I'm not definite on it, but I can see it happening. Where like he hates us, and just like it, 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 like every week he has like a screed against us. Egghead es mucho puto. <laughs> mucho puto. Yeah, I chinga te madre. Ah, lo siento. <laughs> I like fire. We're not even paying attention to Brett. Get him off the screen. Disgusting. Of course I do. I'm white. You're, sh you're, you're fucking Spanish as shit. I, was wa I actually was watching this video the other day. Somebody just re-uploaded a bunch of like really old Brett Keen videos. Oh, that's great, dude. On YouTube. And I ran into this one. And this one is pretty good. Like It's kind of like the uh, Rosetta Stone of Brett Keen. Because, like, sit there is their individual situation, his weird paranoia about Muslims wanting to flag his channel down. Um, just kind of like everything that was Brett Keane back in the day is there. No, Christians, pagans, Muslims, and Jews, Paul. Come on. Christian they're Christian all on the Muslims. same team. Well, Why are you trying to, to be... separate them when they're <laughs> clearly the same? The God team. Yep. He used to say as well as in between each one of those. As well as. as, well as Christians, as well as pagans, as well as Muslims, as well as Jews, as well as Buddhists, as well as agnostics and pagans. You know, like that used to be. He broke himself oh. of that. Oh, guys. Why are you laughing, Scotty? This is almost. Why are you laughing? I don't know, man. Give me, give me. A... I'll tell you what. I'll do. I'll do a big shot of the of the cheap vodka. Great idea. Yeah, I'll I'll do it. Hold on. God, man. Tips tips for the shot. <laughs> I smell. They don't wanna, oh, you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do nothing, Ben, because you ain't done nothing ever. It smells so... Just down, blah, down, down, down the hatch. Give, give an orgasm noise as you swallow, boys. Let us hear. What? What? What is even going on? Hold on, hold on. Okay. You're just going to sit. Right. Oh, All right, here I go. Yeah. I am coming now, for I am orgasming. Ugh. Hello, oh, Scotty. I, I hope they don't actually you. make... I hope they don't actually make orgasm noises. That <laughs> might fucking make me vomit. Damn, oh, God. dude. Ben... Dude. Ew, gross. Gross, dude. He just well, you know what? He hasn't been drinking... Dude, he hasn't been drinking like us. That was nasty, dude. You're gonna make me puke looking at that shit. <laughs> Dude, 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 let's take a cigarette break, up. dude. Anyone wants to take a cigarette break? <laughs> what? Right now? Time to get down to business, though, with the uh, individual situation. Check out the beautiful. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Neat. Wow. What's that? What's that old <laughs> lovable manatee up to yeah. these days? What's going on, guys? A Skype call. Oh. All right, so we have a caller on the Pokemon hotline routed through Skype. Oh, cool. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, man. Awesome. Okay, my name is Tim Speaking Rock. Tim oh. Speaking oh. Rock. How do you do? Oh, okay. Are you an American Indian, sir? 
Yes, I am. We prefer the term Native American, but, you know, it's okay, too. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Oh, look, Paul, watch it, Paul. Damn, Paul. Strike one. Ouch. So you guys say Pokemon tips for us, uh, Mr. Native American person? Yes, please stay up the reservations. If you All capture right. a Pokemon, you're capturing our soul, and we do not oh. make it. Damn, whoa. <laughs> wow. Can I go to the casino? I mean, I just, I won't, I won't hunt Pokemon, dude. I'll just give money to we you. We do people. have Pokemon slots, if you're asking, yes. You can capture Pokemon three times, right. you win the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rock on. <laughs> Sounds good. A fair compromise. <laughs> no, no Pokemon Go. On the reservation. What about the Pokemon that live on the reservation, though? Are they? Those are, those are our Pokemon. Okay. They will not be enslaved by you, white devils. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Try to be nice. Damn. I'm getting this white devil, man. Yeah. We might we might let you borrow it for ten thousand dollars, but that's Damn. only on. <laughs> All right. So, uh, do you have Pokemon tips for us, or what? Like, why are you contacting us? The main reason I'm contacting you, white people, is we have one of you on our reservation. He is a oh. very big man with a beard, hardly ever wears a shirt, and Drew Carey glasses. Damn. <laughs> hmm. What, we you, you, him, do you have an approximate hair color on this, uh, this uh, individual? individual? Yeah. Yes, it looks like the white of... <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh wow. Hmm. Getting a clearer picture. <laughs> They, you happen to catch a, uh, a name or anything on this uh, land beast? Uh, no, but the I believe the word that we use is manati. Man ah. <laughs> manati. Manati. Oh. So that's the word in your uh, tribal language. Hmm. Wow. Yes. Manati. That is the word that we use in our tribal language to describe this devil. So what are we supposed to do about it? You want us to come get him or something? I mean, what, what, what's the deal? Yes, please. The first and foremost thing, the, re the main reason why we need you to get him off our land is because he is scaring our dogs like you would not believe. <laughs> Whoa, scaring the dogs, huh? Why, why is that? Why? To be more specific, he is trying to mount as many dogs as he can. Wow. So You know, this is starting to sound like the M.O. of a certain individual that we know. I mean, Brett's trying to start yeah. a new generation Podcast situation, dude. I mean, I, I want to run this back, and with the reminder, of course, that this is Chief Joseph Running Cloud saying this. This is yeah. not... You know, no, no, it's not us. This it's is, not us. No, no, this has nothing to do with you guys. I called in because I'm getting sick and tired of this guy trying to mount our dogs. <laughs> we have wow. children. We have children on this reservation, and we want to raise them right. And here, this guy is trying to every single animal he tries to see. So, what you're saying is, is that a person w fitting the description of of <laughs> Brett Keen, that your people call the Manati, is systematically <laughs> all the dogs on your reservation. Is that now yes. you're saying that, not us? I am. Yes, I am wow. saying. Wow. That doesn't really have much to do with Pokemon, though, does it? <laughs> if, if you want to, if you want to pokey a doggo, then maybe. Jesus. All right. So if we come get him, can we have a few Pokemon off the reservation? Because we want those we were, cherry we, reservation we were, Pokemons, dude. We'll give you our biggest and brightest Pokemon for free, right. and you can have them. All but right. Please, we'll, them off we'll, remove, we'll, remove, we'll remove the Snorlax from your land, then. He is also he is also trying to copyright our land in his name by sticking. Yeah. Key <laughs> Jesus, it's it, the the picture becomes he's, clearer all the time, dude. He's filing wow. false copyright strikes on your land. Yes. He's trying to steal your land, dude. This is not the Pretty first much. time white people have done this either. How low he, can you sink? Did he DMCA your reservation? <laughs> yes. Wow. We, we tried to start we tried to start our drum circle, and as soon as we did. We got a YouTube notification. <laughs> this is the property of Brett Keen, dude. Brett Keen owns the drum circle. It's fair. Damn, dude. <laughs> yes, he's been dipping this right? I mean, like, uh, the, evidence, no. the evidence just keeps piling up, dude. I mean, you know, we just want to talk about Pokemon in this segment, but for some reason... Get off the dog. Minati, please. Jesus. Damn. Brett, don't do it. Stop. Brett. 
Just Come on, it's not worth it, okay. man. Yeah, I mean, like... So he will step and sue us. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks for contacting us. Uh, we'll yeah. try to see what you we can do about that situation. Best you can, please. Pokemon, all yours. Thank shocking, you. shocking allegations. Uh, and the, the evidence of Brett Keen dogs. I mean, it's all circumstantial so far. It's eyewitness testimony. You know, right. We we didn't see the dogs in question in Brett, but I we mean, haven't. How, we don't know for many, a fact. Many, many individuals. I mean, have seen so. I mean, this is. It just seems evident that Brett Keen. He must have a problem with <sighs> with the indigenous people of North America. Damn. I don't know. He was the trying Manati. to steal their land. Yeah. Sounds so familiar. The guy. The, oh man. That's like uh That's like the Windigo, dude. Brett's yeah, like yeah. The He's like the Windigo down there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just a big floppy dog Windigo. <laughs> Weird. What man, a bizarre. Nazi. What a bizarre turn things have taken on the Drunken Peasants podcast. <laughs> Why does this happen every time? I don't know. Dude. I don't know. Anyway, we don't uh, invite this. You know, we try to have a nice little Pokemon hotline. We want to do a little family-friendly segment about tips to catch where to catch the best Pokemon, and and goddamn, we just got to hear about Brett Keen dogs every week. I mean, you know we've got to I mean? keep soldiering on, guys. Eventually, we will get some good Pokemon tips because that that really is all we want to talk about is Pokemon. Of That's course. what we're trying to do. One hundred percent. 100%, dude. We All right. So uh, here's Brett Keen's video that he made uh, about TJ getting his million subscribers. Neat. <laughs> Let's sit through Brett's eternal intro. There's a monkey. Eternal undying oh, intro. Oh, Montre <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Are we going to get was... Lightning Jesus this time or Dorn telling people to be nice in the comments? Atheists use vote bots to downrate our videos. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, godtvradio.com. I uh, woke up this morning, and as usual, I've gotten a lot of comments out there. Some people have asked me some unusual questions, and I Oh figured... boy, six comments! <laughs> I'm going to go over these with a fine-tooth comb, yeah. What are people saying? Brett, you're a manatee. Oh, Brett, you're a scammer. Brett, you're a fat-lying piece of garbage. Good work, Brett. Keep it up. Oh, yeah! There's oh, one. I wrote that under my sock account. <laughs> Damn it. Thought I had a real fan for a second situation. You know what's happened? Someone said to me, guess what, Brett? The Amazing Atheist has a million subscribers, and you only have a couple thousand. How does it make you Wait, wait, wait. Pa pause it. Well. Does Brett actually have a couple thousand? Because when I was checked, he did not have that many. Um, well, we can pull up the old social blade. Let's see. <coughs> see how many subscribers the manatee has. I guarantee he's adding all of his channel subscribers together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet you that's what he's doing. <coughs> so no, no one's really even approaching Brett and saying that. A more accurate thing, that the, if just looking at your main channel, would probably say, so you have 370 or 400 or something subscribers and TJ has a million. How does that feel? So let's reframe it as that. How does it make you feel that people like Onision and Shane Dawson and My Little Pony... And women who make videos where they fart they have more subscribers than Brett Keen <laughs> and the Amazing Atheist put together. Really? Are there farting videos that are big? Is that real? Or is he just like I'm sorry, talking? He probably is, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> but if you were to... I mean, like, I love how he's like, hey, you put, yeah, more than us put together. It's like us put together is still pretty much just what I have now. <laughs> like, if I get your entire <laughs> subscriber base in a day, I'm just like, huh, pretty neat day for subs. Yeah, you, you wouldn't even notice. So, eh. To combine all of our subscriptions in one. Cool. How does it make you feel that Christianity is still the number one religion in the world? <laughs> and 
and will be for the next gotcha. 20 okay. years, something years. Gotcha. <coughs> Checkmate, atheist. God, Brett, you so desperately want to win at something. There's more of us than you. We win. Come on, man. Really? Are you like five? Brett, I will guarantee you that not only do I have more subscribers than you do, I have more Christian subscribers than you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably even further beyond that. And Islam is the second greatest religion, and atheism is still on the bottom of the totem pole. It's <laughs> <laughs> the most juvenile shit. Yeah. You're I mean, at the bottom of the totem pole. We the, have to the, the, My religion's more popular. Yeah. The kind of the point of atheism is that we don't take part in your totem pole. We don't want to be on the totem pole. We're watching you guys try and raise your little totems above each other on the pole. <laughs> and, like, no, Brad. <laughs> At least that's how we should be. I don't know. Some atheists probably do get in the, Oh, yeah, we're going to have the atheist thing on the totem pole right oh. now. No, no thanks. No, you're wrong. You're not atheist anymore. Go away. How does it make you feel Start worshiping your own farts. atheism had a 2% rise in America... And also, the suicide rate went up 2%. Okay. Dun, dun, dun! Ooh. Show us the correlation, Brett, yeah. because it's not, it, it's not, it's not going to be there. I guarantee you this is not, this, there's no scientific basis for what he's saying. Dude, atheism rate went up 2%. Suicide rate went up 2%. You know what I'm saying? And no other factors in all of America Dude. changed whatsoever. <laughs> Just how it goes. Yeah, you know? and what time period was that? You know, when was that? Was that this year, last year, 10 years ago, 20 years ago? When was this? From this? some random yeah. time I selected to some other yeah. random time I selected. Here's a statistic I hope no one checks on. This is quite possibly the worst comeback <laughs> in the history of the world. <laughs> somebody somebody sent him a somebody sent him a message like hey Brett you know TJ's got a million subscribers and you're wallowing at like 420 subscribers like how does that make you feel and he's like well at least I'm the member of a religion with lots of people in it so personal goals I guess seems like people who don't have any hope or intrinsic meaning or purpose they don't last too long in this world I wonder why that is People who think they evolved from slime and end up nothing just can't but, seem to find the motivation I mean, or the will to survive or want to continue. I love how you say that we evolved from slime. Like, people who say we evolved from slime, it's like, you haven't evolved from slime. Okay? You're you still, st slime. You still slime. You're the slimiest mother on YouTube. Oh, uh, we got we got to do an all Brett Keen episode, man. Oh, it's oh yeah. oh absolutely. If you guys buy enough of the all of the all Tommy episode, we're gonna make a Brett Keen one because we love your money and we Dude, really want to do this. This has got to be done. It's got to be done. We need yeah. to spend two and a yeah. half hours delving into the psyche I mean, of Brett Keen. It's probably going to be longer than that. We will explore old and new Brett Keen videos. Yeah, we want to get a good mix of like his entire history so that we can kind of like try to figure it out. Check out the Tommy Sotomayor one, though, because we totally... We demolish him. <laughs> We can destroy it. Every, I mean, I've not got a single negative uh, reaction from that so far. I'm sure there's some whining out there somewhere. Ah, oh, it sucked, but everyone who's written me or everyone I've seen talk about on social media or even on the picky-ass whiny subreddit has been like, it was good, so it must be good. If you even please the subreddit, you know it must be good. Wow, man. <laughs> That's strange. You erase God, and then you erase yourself. Yeah, that's great. So if what a group, <laughs> what? Wait, wait, hold on. What? What does that mean? Sorry, Brett. You erase God <laughs> and you erase yourself. So Brett, you uh, you owe me an interview. Um, I paid a thousand dollars. Did he Patreon. scam you? Yeah, I think he did. I've been paying you six dollars and sixty-six cents a month for quite a while now. Oh, so but that's I'm just to long, mock him. I'm a long-time patron, dude. <laughs> he so he said that that was just. It's to about mock. time I got my interview. Brett, where's the interview, Brett? Dude, Hashtag I, I, where's the interview? I Hashtag went over to bed. where's the you interview? You were given that money. Why have you I not delivered? Over, where's the interview? I went over to Brett's Patreon the other day because I was talking to my friend Jason about it, and I went. I wanted to check up on it. He's got like five or six patrons. And I will eat my shoe if he's paid out one of those like perks. Like I, I will, I I will boil my shoe and eat it <laughs> if he's paid out a single perk at this point. He has it. Give me an interview, Brett. You said you'd give me an interview. It's time for our interview. It's time for you and me. No Ben, no Scotty, no Paul. 
one on just one. Just you and me, Brett. Wow, one on one. You and me, together, just talking as best men, Brett. I know you like that, <laughs> don't you? Just man and man, just eye to eye, face to face on the internet through Skype. <laughs> yeah. Or even that of an individual situation has a lot of subscribers. <sighs> what? What? Uh. Brett, we derived those terms from your speech patterns, and now you can't even use them properly. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, like, when you didn't know you were doing it, you were, you were using them not actually correctly, but correct, like, that you were doing what we do with them now, which is just add them strangely to things. Like, <laughs> everything's a situation. You know, and there's never just people or folks or anything. It's always just individuals. So that's where that comes from. But now you you don't even do it right. Now you just randomly out of nowhere. Individual situation. Look, I'm aware of that. Now its power has been taken away. <laughs> It's like no. no, it's still it's still valid. It's, it's it's the idiocy of Brett Kane, dude. He like he he really when he when he does this, he really thinks he's like get, he's sticking it to us. Like I oh, gotcha. <laughs> and we are to base the value of that person <laughs> or that group based upon popularity. Then atheism is still a sandwich without the bread. That's my answer to your question. Was a, what a brilliant answer it was. Ah, that was a terrible answer, you know, Brad. You should be ashamed of that answer. There's a lot of people out there on YouTube that have more subscribers than me. They have more subscribers than some of my opponents. They have more subscribers than some of my friends. Well, Brad, I, you're, you're, you're not anyone's opponent. You know, like, you're nothing. Like, no one takes you seriously. <laughs> Like what? And this you don't why. have any friends. Yeah, like dude, they'd be like you show it, Brett. They'd be like you show up to a UFC like title fight, and we're like, <laughs> Brett's got a place to this show. It's like, no, you don't, dude. No. You're delusional. I say to myself, I look at it like this. One of my favorite bands in the world is Slayer. I love the band Slayer, and I know some people are probably going to be shocked about that. <laughs> Slayer. No. No one's going to be shocked. I'm the least shocked about that that I've ever been about wow. any statement ever made. I'm so shocked. It's because he thinks, he honestly believes in his head that he's cultivated this image of like, I'm a good Christian family. No one buys that for a second. So no one is shocked you listen to Slayer. You mean the band that does God hates us all and, you know, uh, divine intervention and hell awaits and south of heaven? You like this band? I do. I think that they are one of the most kick-ass bands that ever existed on this planet. I think that Meg should have known Brett was a Slayer fan, dude. It's so shocking. He also says in this video that he's a Megadeth and a Metallica fan. Okay. Wow. Megadeth, the old was incredible. I think everything before the Black Album or Metallica is something that's going to live and strive within our very soul. Forever. Strive. I'm just gonna so strive with our soul. Like, what are you what, even talking about? <laughs> strive to what? <laughs> what is it striving for, Brett? It's just gonna be there striving for just whatever. This is Brett just shaking your soul. Just, dude, you, every time I hear Brett speak, and like he's not just just straight up insulting somebody, it's just gobbledygook, you know, that's like, this is supposed to mean something? What is it supposed to mean? Talking about Metallica, everything before the Black Album, before the Enter the Sandman, before the God that failed and the struggle within, to whom the bell tolls all oh that Oh my shit. God! But, even as popular as Metallica is, even as popular as Megadeth and Slayer is, even though anybody that actually watches or listens to these bands knows that that's real talent, the fact is, Katy Perry, who's a complete nut of can wash out and Britney Spears. <laughs> so I see. So let me yeah, get this straight. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this straight, Brett. You're Metallica in their prime, and you're Megadeth, and you're Slayer, and I'm Katy Perry. Yep. But um, yeah, interesting analogy. Um, totally as an analogy, totally fails. I don't, I don't really know what to do with that, Brett. I really just don't. Um, I don't know. What's more ridiculous, that you see me as, like, some sort of pop star, or that you see yourself as some sort of badass rocker dude? 
because neither of those are true. Uh, they're Look both at, oh, equally oh, untrue. The, the picture on the back of his book, um, he's trying to portray the, portray that image. Look at that. Yeah, That's man. metal, dude. Yeah, man. You didn't know what metal was till you looked upon the face of Brick Queen. Trench coat, man. <clears throat> and GodHatesYou.org. Yeah. Go visit it. URL on Brett's book. Go pay a visit. Go pay a visit. Send Brett the link. Remember when you had this? Remember when this was yours? Remember when this was your URL that you put on your book proudly? <clears throat> more Not popularity no more. and fame. <laughs> With the children. How long teenagers. is it, Brett, before we have God TV radio, too? Ooh. <laughs> Dude, we'll get it. Ooh. I'm going to make it my mission in life to, to snatch God TV radio up right from under you. <laughs> you know what? I might just go get uh, God TV radio dot EU or dot net dot org. Yeah, dot be something CO, available. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, we can find one of those. Easily. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them, Brett. And they're all going to lead right back to the Drunken Peasant podcast. <laughs> We should find any uh, like old Brett Keen domain and just redirect them to our site. Yeah, any any domain Brett's had, we should try to redirect to us, man. Be great, be sexy. Individual oh, situation. Sh <sighs> the oh, individual oh, Brett Keen segment situation. Make sure to check out my gaming channel, yeah. Games You Love. The Bible. God. Okay then. Oh, it even says there, uh, Christians, Muslims, <laughs> pagans, and Jews. <laughs> Great. All shows with the high was, was ratings it? of disabled comments. TJ, TJ did that to the tune of, like, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and that's <laughs> been, like, every time he says it now, I hear Christians, Muslims, pagans, Jews, pagans, Pagan Jews. Jews. Oh, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> the Jesus Countdown. I mean, it's sad to say it, but like Brett, that that intro was way better. I mean, it's but it's way better than the monkey intro. Why don't yeah. you go back to this intro? Agreed. This is a new one. This is a new like, video. Hey, Lightning hey, Jesus is awesome. Look how long this intro is, this dude. Comments are on. Brett. So be nice, and you'll be approved. Do you think? No, you won't. It's not about being nice, Brett. Be nice, yeah, and you'll be true. approved. Niceness is not a guarantee, but Brett, I mean, like, we're only trying to help you when we tell you, like, stop making your intros two minutes long. I know, man. Nobody does that because it's annoying. Just stop. Uh, so let's make a prediction. Uh, how big will the Patreon uh, portion of the screen be this time? I'm going to go with larger than Brett. I'm going to say one-fourth <laughs> of the screen. Yeah, I, I I would say Scotty's probably right. Larger than bread. I don't know if it's going to be a full quarter of the screen, but we'll see. Hello, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, wow. Whoa. Radio. Make I'll sure try. you check out the website, godtvradio.com, and also connect with me on Facebook. Yeah, go to his blogger. Or, and sorry, his website. Check out all my other YouTube I think, I think, I, I think I'm going to shift the colors website. to hot pink course, for this video situation. What is the, what's the thought process? Are you trying to hide how like pale and blotchy you are, or what, with big pinkness? Dude, I don't know. It's so. Why? I mean, like, is this just like, <laughs> dude? He's trying to establish like Brett Keen's blue. Dude, Brett looks like what is shit. it? What is it? Uh, Grimace. He looks like dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's Grimace. He's fucking Grimace. Ah. Oh, God. Where's Mayor McCheese? Oh, shit. Yeah. Where's the Where's the Hamburglar? <laughs> The Fry Guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Grimace. Or make a quick donation, whether it be a buck, a penny, or a million dollars if you're feeling charitable. Go for it. Today we're going to talk about something important. No, something not. that I feel happens quite a bit in the Christian community <laughs> and any religion out there that teaches the concept of hell. There, as many of you know, a wonderful actor, a comedian by the name of Gene Wilder, who passed away recently. And I actually put a one minute clip of one of his comedic acts in a movie where he plays a Jewish guy and he's having a discussion with Indians about God. Now, anybody that knows anything about Gene Wilder knows that he was a very moral, very generous, very loyal, committed person. He was a contribution to humanity, he gave a lot. Of charity to people. So basically, the anti-Brett Keen. 
Yeah. And he also did Essentially. volunteer work, and he also worked with some of the greatest actors and musicians of all time throughout history. Yep. He recently passed away. History. They say in the last couple of years of his life, he actually suffered from Alzheimer's. <laughs> I Did mean, you say Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's all 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 disease. I got, dude, I got Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. All I'm, I'm, I'm at all points of time at once. He got the Alzheimer's. Oh, oh my God. goodness. <laughs> Brett, how do you not pronounce anything? Brett, turn your webcam off. Do. Stop. It means that he basically was having problems with his brain where he couldn't remember certain things. His memory had failed him. <laughs> That's the worst yeah, all timers. <laughs> all timers. All timers. Is when you all forget, time. you forget a lot of stuff. God, Brett. You forget all the time. Dude, could, could you research this in your video? <laughs> like, what is Alzheimer's? What is that? And then you go to Wikipedia and you go, oh, okay, that's what, the, these are the symptoms, this is what it does to you. You know, because he just, he goes and types in Alzheimer's and then he's like, oh, how come there's no articles about it? <laughs> I guess Alzheimer's. trying to keep this conspiracy. I think I might be coming down to, with Alzheimer's. <laughs> I, I need to Google Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer. What, what is this? <laughs> All time greatest. Why is it, why, why Where's the Alzheimer's wiki? What ends up happening is, is that apparently, according to some of the excerpts in his book that he wrote a while back, he pointed out that he considered himself a Jewish Buddhist atheist. What? Now, like I said, the guy wasn't a bad person. He'd never really wronged or hurt anyone. Jews are okay. Buddhists are all right. I think well, there's only one third evil. It's okay. You don't know that Gene Wilder never wronged or hurt anyone either. Yeah. Like, everybody wrongs and hurts somebody over the course of their life, at least one. Yeah. Of course. No, dude. Gene Wilder was a, he perfect was a saint. saint. Yeah. yeah. Never did a perfect Basically, the second coming. Writings. He never went out and tried to murder, kill. Um, I'm sure you don't know that either. Yeah. Maybe Gene Wilder was the America's <laughs> most prolific serial killer, dude. You don't know. Sure, like most people out there, including religious people. <laughs> Maybe he used he his probably... status as Willy Wonka to lure children into his van. Yeah, Come you with never know. me, little children, <laughs> to a world of imagination. Jesus. He probably lied. He probably had him some alcohol. He probably did some things that would be considered sinful. But. Personally, for Brett Keane, I don't think that he did enough where he deserves to go to hell. And I know some people oh, are so he's in heaven. shocked because... Well, too bad, because your like Bible right says now. he's going to hell, so... <laughs> what's this Brett Keane thinks he's going to shock us? Like, he, he's, that, that's, that's one of his latest things. This might shock you. It's like, no, it doesn't shock us. Why would, why yep. would we be shocked that you think he's going to heaven? You just hawked him up. I love it when Christians do shit like this so they can shrug off the idea of Gene Wilder burning for eternity. <laughs> they go, oh, you know, I think Gene did enough good stuff in his life. <laughs> Jesus no. looked at him and he's like, eh, you know what? You can let a couple you, you get a waiver. Jewish atheists in here. Buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah, yeah. You, get a, you get a waiver, Gene. You get a waiver. Come on in. Yeah. Jesus I mean, like, yeah. he was a Willy Wonka. Let's get him in here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he defied every commandment that we set out, but uh, he, he's fucking Gene Wilder, you know? <laughs> he's funny. You gotta let him in. Before his body even got cold, you decided to either make videos or make websites stating that Mr. Gene Wilder is in hell, which I think is inappropriate. I think it's unacceptable. <clears throat> I think it's cruel to his family. You didn't know who Gene Wilder was. You didn't know Neither you. him personally. Yeah, you were his good friend, right? Yet Neither you. you. to condemn him and throw him into the pits of hell. Uh, uh, they, they didn't decide. God decided, remember? Yeah. Is your alter ego like Mel Brooks or something, Brett? Because I don't think you really know uh, Gene on a personal level at all. So, <clears throat> No, he's Richard Pryor. Oh, it's Richard Pryor. I mean, oh, yeah. okay. It it looks like you're dealing, you're, you're dealing with the bolt of being a religious person again, Brett. How's that feel? Having them go... Hey guys, no, he didn't burn in hell. I still believe the Bible, you know, that says, you know, and I've and I've said, in fact, multiple times that TJ's gonna burn in hell, but <laughs> this guy over here, you know, he's not gonna burn in hell, guys. Maybe you should not be a Christian again. So you don't have to do this bull word dance. No, he's always been a keenest, dude. It's always been his religion. Oh, by the way, uh, GodTVRadio.com expires uh, in October. Sweet. It's going to be ours. 
It's gonna be hard. Yeah. But... I mean, I know that like the hosting company gives the person that owns it a grace period to rebuy it. So, but if he That's doesn't so rebuy it in time, mm. yeah, maybe he won't have the money. <clears throat> oh, we'll, we'll back order it, dude. Um, simply because. In that entire big label he gave himself, he said atheist, and he made it clear he didn't believe in God. I think that that's horrible. It is true, if you watch some of my videos, I do believe that wicked, horrible, terrible people, both religious as well as non-believer, <laughs> there is a hell, which I'm not completely sure of. I do believe that if a place like this... Does exist, hold on, he believes the Bible, but he's not sure if there's a hell? I yeah, know. It's not like what a what, what a we, this is what I'm saying. He's having to straddle this position because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be like like fully Christian, so he doesn't have to support the burden. But he, when you ask him about it, you're oh, the Bible's <laughs> true and Jesus is real and I'm a Christian. Cause evil in this world to other people, including their family, their friends, and strangers. They deserve to go away. And not so you're going to hell. God's plan any longer. You're going to hell, Brett. But a guy You've done like evil Dean Wilder to people. was a moral, upright person. He was a good guy. He just happened to label himself an atheist. Now, some Christians out there, you're going to teach that it's important for you to believe that the only way to God is through Jesus. Well, the thing that you forget is Jesus is the ultimate decision maker in this process. Jesus Christ knows the heart yeah, of man. Yeah, and the ultimate decision so maker, the God. ultimate decision maker, the ultimate decision maker said, "None, none shall get to the Father except through me." So, yeah, he's that's what Jesus said about it. So you're wrong. Anyway, go ahead, TJ. Dude, I gotta read this. <clears throat> One Christian held a mic and announced, "The government won't let us pray in our schools, read our Bibles. They demand us to stay out." But they let the dogs in, those who fornicate, those who defile themselves with drugs. They teach our kids about sex, then mock us by appointing homosexuals as king and prom queen. This entire town has angered our God. His wrath will be upon these heathens and swine that corrupts our children. We want it stopped now, you workers of the devils. Do you think we'd sit by and allow you to hurt our children who are with the Lord? Homosexuals, you can't push your morality on us. We rebuke you. We rebuke you. The Christian woman stomped her foot. The Christians roared with approval. Homosexuals don't push their lifestyle off on anyone, the parent of the one, one of the prom queens said. <laughs> Homosexuals, wait, this is the best part. Homosexuals prey on children. Ever heard of Mambla? Mabla? What? I'm sorry, Mabla. It's M A B L A. Mabla. Oh my god. He's obviously Mabla. trying to write Nambla. Dude, it's not Alzheimer's. it's not It's not uppercase. Of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. <laughs> Ever dude, heard of dude, Mabla? Dude, because we know Brett doesn't watch everything <laughs> that we do, then if we he's ever on the show again, we should get him to try and like try and get him to say Nambla and see if he still thinks it's Mabla. She'd be like, hey, Brett, there's this, like, organization that's, like, it's, like, I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, Mabla. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's, wrong, what's wrong there, Paul? So you go, you got Alzheimer's? That's Mabla. <laughs> <laughs> Alzheimer's. Oh, Jesus. That'd be great if he said that. <clears throat> <sighs> wow. Yep. If some Christians make him out to sound like or be. I think that God realizes that we all got problems and we all got issues. Gene Wilder's explanation for why he didn't believe in God was rational, and it was to the point. There really? are some non-believers out there who prefer sinning because they don't want authority. They don't want to behave. They don't want to do good. Why they was his rationalization, like, how was it any different than ours? Because you've, you've, said, you've said this about us. that we're he just, likes him, dude. Oh, okay, because he was Willy Wonka. Got it. Well, I walk or can't go to hell. Yeah, no, can't burn, the same, well. You don't even do it as good as other people. Just stop. So it sounds to me like, you know, people that you don't like are, are ones that you're fine with going didn't, to hell. But Didn't he say... Yeah, that you're immoral, Paul. TJ, doesn't like you. <clears throat> TJ, didn't he say that you went to hell 
because uh, you allegedly said the N word a bunch of times, or uh, that, oh no, no, that you were a racist because you said the N word a bunch of times. Yeah. And then Gene Wilder was in a movie where they said the N word a bunch of times, and he was oh, fine with yeah. it. Well, that was that was oh. a movie situation. Oh. Yeah. Strange, dude. Good old Brett. Yeah. Grimace, dude. <laughs> Brett Kander. Brett Kander. <laughs> we don't scramble it. It sounds just like DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Brett Kean, you're. I think I have. I wonder if I still have that. <laughs> Dude, the, if we if we do an all Brett Keen episode for Vimeo, it's gonna be great, dude. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, we're gonna oh, do I, it. Here it is. Oh, I don't have. Oh, never mind. I had this old thing that TJ recorded, where he like made threats against Paul. Oh. And made it sound like oh, he was yeah. Brett Keen. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I did that. We did it in some one of the episodes. I don't remember which one. Pretty good though. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful castle. Hey, you have something, I uh... The individual Brett Keen segment situation. Tell me you've been talking to Brett, didn't you? That's right. Actually, guys, you yeah. know what? Uh, I don't think we should play this because um, me and Brett have actually been talking uh, lately. Uh huh. You know, and um, we've actually, and I believe this is sincere, huh. okay. we've actually made amends. Okay. Oh, and, uh, it was shocking when he told me. And actually, Brett is here oh, with us God. today. He is. He is in the he studio. Is. He is. Let me just go wow. grab him. He's been waiting in the wings till this other shit was over. Then we had the technical difficulty. We could bring him out, but the technical difficulties happened. But you know, he's here. Okay. Here he is. <laughs> this is Brett Keen in, in person, y'all. Brett is here. Hey, wow, Brett. Brett, you look different in person. Uh, does he really? Well, a little bit. I think he looks pretty much the same. Now, he's real shy. He's probably not going to say much of anything, but, you know, he just wanted to come, say hi to you people. You know, wave your little, T wave your little flipper there, Brett. Hey. TJ's dick has been in that mouth, dude. I know. Yeah, you know. TJ, fu TJ <laughs> fucked that mouth, dude. <laughs> That's so I, I did not actually fuck this mouth. I attempted to, but... Well, yeah, you just, your di well if, you, if you attempted to, then your dick was pressed up against the opening oh. of that mouth. Right, but that was so long ago. All my dick, uh, my dickness is gone. No, the, it doesn't work that way. Uh, it does. So no, if all this dickness. If you, no, if it no, doesn't, dude, if it, then literally okay. every surface on Earth is fucking okay. dick infected. Because right. well, you know, me, dicks me, have been everywhere. Dicks have been everywhere, Paul. So let, 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 let me pot, let me give you let me give you a, a scenario. You come to visit me in Texas. I set you up and you know with a bed and everything. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give you this pillow. Six months ago, I wiped my balls all over it, but since then. All my nuts have evaporated off of the pillow, so go ahead and sleep on that. You're going to go ahead I and would put have, your face... I would have no problem sleeping on the pillow. It's six months. If you'd just done it a minute ago or something, I'd be like, well, that's, I'm not using that pillow, but six months? Come on. It's gone. You want six-month-old but... nut sweat on your pillow? <laughs> it's gone by then, dude. You think it All really right. is fucking... Six-month-old nut sweat. I mean, it's not even nut sweat anymore. It's, it's fucking... Tr it's transmogrified into something else by then. Come on. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, you eat... You know what, Paul? There's nastier shit in the stuff you eat. I guarantee you fucking eating boogers and spit and okay, shit. Okay, Paul. And all Paul. 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 So let's let's do let's fucking do an experiment. Uh, when you come next time you come visit us, we'll get a pillow that TJ agrees he'll use. <laughs> Uh, six months from now, we're gonna do whatever you want to it beforehand, because Cheetah doesn't mind. I didn't say whatever he wants. Okay, uh, you can't piss on or anything. I mean, like, you can rub it on any part of your body. If he, like, pisses and shits and ejaculates <laughs> No, on obviously it, not obviously, that. Like, okay, yeah, fine. But if all he does is just well, lightly why? rub his not, balls TJ? over the surface, who gives a fuck? Like, it would have, like, even if I'd splooge all over Because if you totally it, like, it, saturate it, it with fucking, uh, I'm not gonna uh, saturate piss, it. What it's gonna fucking, that, that's not gonna go away. What if most of the load goes elsewhere, but just a couple, like one spurt of the load is on the pillow? It's <laughs> like a single spurt. Yeah, like one. I'm saying, one, you you know what I'm talking about, like one yeah, rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, I'll and then I'll divert the rest. I mean, you know, that's 
That's kind of different because we're talking about like actual uh, like liquids on the pillow. Like before, it was just like a little well, smattering of ball li- sweat, you know. Okay, okay. A, a fucking That's rope fine. of jizz is different than That's just fine. like some ball juice. The next time you know? I'm down, we'll go buy a cheap ass fucking pillow from Walmart, right? And I will wipe my fucking taint all over this after a uh-huh. fucking day of walking around and being sweaty yep. and just like. I'm going to wipe my taint on the pillow, and then right. six months from now, you six sleep months. on it. All right. I'll do it. You ain't going to do it, man. I'll fucking do it. Six do it. Oh, we'll see. Who we'll see. Who gives a shit? Who gives we'll, a shit We'll fucking see. We'll see, TJ. Whatever. I don't even see why it's a big deal. Because I know you're not going to do it. <laughs> but at any rate, my dick wasn't, like, covered in sweat and shit when I fucking stuck it up against this thing's lips anyway. Ugh. <laughs> Scotty's like, Ugh. I think it was his idea. I think it was. Like, yeah. Gross, TJ. It's just so <laughs> disgusting you did that thing that was my suggestion, idiot. <laughs> idiot. You know what? Be careful what you wish for, man. Like, TJ, TJ fucked the man of the doll, and it was like, damn. I wonder if this microphone will fit in its mouth. Let's see. Ugh. I don't think so. I think the mouth is a little too... Yeah. It's a little stretchy, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, you just work it there in there. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> TJ's fucking the Was man that good for you, too, show. Brett? <laughs> it, it wasn't a dog. You know, so. What is this episode? What is this episode? I have no idea. I'm gonna play this Brett Keen video. All right. Well, Ben refuses to play any fucking videos, so. I tried. To, you said I shouldn't play it because Brett Keen was here. Well, he is. Okay. We had a little fun with him. And Brett, you gotta go now. Goodbye, no, Brett. No one likes you, bitch. We're enemies again. <laughs> We're enemies. So uh, this is a video that Brett made about. Uh, the Patreon perk that he has yet to to uh, let TJ have what for his donation. Come on, Brett. We both support Trump. Hello, Make America great again. Come on. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Also, whenever you get an opportunity, check out my gaming channel, Games Alive. Some of you out there probably know. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure you do know. But I've been receiving a lot of comments from people stating, Ah, hey Brett, the Amazing Atheist wants to do an interview. Where's the interview, All Brett? Right. Where is it? Well, as most of you know, anytime the Amazing Atheist uh, said he was going to do something for me, or made any promises, he either took his fucking time or he <laughs> didn't do it at all. So... I think that I'm going to take my time. Excuse me. Um, what promises have I ever made to you, Brett? Yeah, can you document these promises? I think he's just talking about the the thousand dollars thing. That's the only one that I can think of. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was w- yeah. the one, but I paid you that. Oh, you took your time. You took your time. No, I didn't. I didn't take my time. time. I waited for him to actually do what the fucking yeah. bet was the stip was stipulated. As soon as Brett showed his gums, like within 24 hours, TJ had made the fucking <clears throat> payment. Yeah, so I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And I, Brett, I, I filled, uh, you know, I, I, gave, I filled, you know, when you did what you what you said you were gonna do, I fucking paid you the money. Also, Brett, if you're like uh, shitting on TJ for breaking promises or taking his sweet time, why, why don't you just show him by example? Say, well, I'm gonna give you your interview now. Like, you just don't want to do the interview. Like, you agreed to it. It was one of your perks. So just do the interview. What's the big deal? Hey, Brett, come on. Where's the fucking interview? Let's be buds, Brett. Are you are you afraid of TJ or something? Are you afraid of him? <laughs> Let's be good friends. Well, like, what, like, what is he gonna ask? Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> what? Don't I, I don't want to ruin no, no, it. No, no, it's it, it's a surprise for. Oh, oh my okay. god. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, Brett sucks. Let's hear more, I guess. As well. You know, do warn to him as he's done our Do warn others. to others. Do warn to others. So you're, so you're, fucking interview. you're so I don't you're totally see why justified. I should be real ecstatic. You're only paying me six dollars on Patreon. That's barely enough to get me a fucking value meal at McDonald's. Uh, oh, that's still enough, you? buddy. What the fuck? Look, look how great. <laughs> look, what right, an Brad, ingrate. I, since that's how you feel about it, I'll just stop fucking uh, making that donation. 
That's yeah. uh, $6.66 a month you just don't fucking get anymore, bitch. That's one less Big Mac meal, dude. Because you're a fucking ingrate, piece of shit. Next time you, want the, you have that Big I, Mac attack, you gotta reach into your own like, wallet. Do you realize that like money accumulates and shit? Like, not everyone who's fucking... And most of your fucking own followers don't even fucking support you at all or give you shit. I'm your enemy, and I just gave it to you because I figured, like, well, we do use this content a lot, so, you know, kick him a little fucking bone, but, yeah, if you feel that fucking strongly yeah, about... Yeah, dude, go right now and delete it. Yeah, you know, fuck you. I'll fucking uh, go ahead and take that right off my fuck your Patreon, bitch. Yeah. What? Let's have a little bit of a meal. trial period. If I feel, and the rest of the community out there feel like you've done a good job at answering some of my questions, which will be a precursor to... I mean, uh, I just want to point out, Brett, you're fucking little, it's not even enough for a value meal. That's $80 a fucking year, dude. Imagine if you just had a few more people giving you that, you stupid fuck. You know, what every little funny. fucking cent adds up, you stupid piece of shit. I mean, I can't believe you're this dumb. Barely enough for a value meal. Ugh, what a fucking douchebag. And by the way, Brett, uh... That's a still a value meal you wouldn't have had otherwise, you poor ass son of a bitch, or at least you poor mouthing son of a bitch. Because you're always mouthing about how fucking poor you are. I don't know if you actually are, because it seems like you're able to afford uh, new video games and PCs to run them on and all this other shit. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. Dude, fucking Jesus gave him that shit. What are you talking about? Let's see, uh, your creators. And I actually give it to a quite a fucking lot of people. Because I'm a generous person. Yeah, well, let's fucking, uh... But I'm going to Brett Keen, and, yeah, uh, well, let's, let's see. see. How do I undo my pledge here? It's not really very obvious on the mobile app. Uh, I just want to point out, too, that you can also, um... At any time, request... Whatever, a, I guess I'll request, just do it when I get home. Request a refund, TJ. Yeah. I want I should request a refund on that thousand dollars because I haven't gotten my fucking interview. Yeah, where's the interview, Brett? Where the fuck we is want my the money interview, back? Brett? Yeah, Give me my thousand yeah. dollars back, Brett. Brett. Brett's going on and on said, in this video about how, like, he just said, like, you needed to answer some questions or yeah, something, not, and if he feels said, you Brett. answer, the, that's not that wasn't the deal, Brett. The deal was. You give this amount of money, and you get an interview yeah, with dude, me. You fucking put that as a perk on your Patreon. I met the perk. You even made a video stating that you were going to fulfill that for me. So... If you're not going to fulfill it, then yeah, you need to contact I'm Patreon. In, I'm calling in the interview. I'm, I'm fucking cashing in my Patreon, and if you want me to report this to Patreon and say, look, I paid for this, and this guy didn't give it to me, if you want me to do that... As someone who has a pay has two fucking big Patreons on Patreon and supports a shit ton of people, if you want me to go to Patreon, and I even know the fucking founders of that shit, if you want me to go to them and be like, you know, this guy, Brett Keen, didn't fucking pay me his reward, so you should probably shut down his Patreon. If you want me to do that, I'll do that. Hmm. But if you want to just fulfill your fucking perk and give me the interview, hmm. we could do that too. What do you say? Yeah, there, there was no stipulations attached, Brett. It wasn't, uh, after you ask, uh, answer some questions for me, then I'll give you the interview. No, it was just, donate up to this amount of money, and then you get these perks. That was it. Yep. It's clear. So, go fuck yourself. Um, you're, you're, fuck your stupid questions. I mean, I guess maybe I'll, I'll try to answer them just for, to amuse myself, but not because I can <laughs> do. Yeah. Alright, yeah, answer them. Then... Let's say that's nonsense. Shit. Maybe I'll speed up the process and be involved oh. in your little scandals. Uh-huh. My first question for you is, do you believe that it is possible for God to exist? Any God, oh, that matter. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, sure, there could be some sort of entity out there that has the characteristics uh, that you would attribute to a God. Um, maybe. I don't think there's any strong evidence to suggest that. But is it outright impossible? No, it's not. No intellectually reasonable person so would you say admit that. So there's God. Uh, yeah, sure. Do you believe that it's possible that there could be an intelligent mind behind the universe? We all know that atheism I guess, doesn't mean sure, for sure. It's, it's possible. It's not making an absolute claim that there's no God. It would be foolish for an atheist to do that in the first place. But it's also science, possible you're a genius. It's just very unlikely. <laughs> I tell you very clearly, you can hear many of these scientists out there who are non-believers as well as religious. With science, nothing can be 100% certain. Oh my god. When you make predictions and theories about a universe that is 200 billion light years across, and even that is speculation, because humans have never even been off the planet Earth to another world before. So far, the closest we've ever become is the moon. So I ask you again. <laughs> what? Is it possible for a god to exist? Alright, yeah, we already answered now, it. Now, if you wouldn't yeah, mind, we I would also it. like to hear you. 
Brett, you're, you're a scientifically illiterate fuck that knows nothing. Mind or designer behind the Read some fucking books. Uh, what do I consider, consider an intelligent mind? <laughs> uh, the opposite of yours. Yeah, the antithesis <laughs> of you. you Just take your own brain and all the things you think and then reverse them, and that's an intelligent brain. <laughs> all right. The next question is, if you believe that there is no God, or you believe that there's not enough evidence to support it, right? Yep. then what do you believe started the universe? What is your faith? And I know some people... What uh, is your faith? I have no fucking clue what started the universe. Yeah. I mean, there's scientific theories about Scientific what... theories about uh, the events, uh, you know, the Big Bang theory of, you know, just spontaneous fucking uh, singularity event. This huge output of fucking a massive amount of energy from a fucking little tiny insignificant point in space. Well, there was no space before it, uh, according to the theory. So whatever. I mean, it's kind of hard to even talk about it because it defies even like our linguistics. But yeah, I mean, like I don't know what caused it, or even if it need it needs a cause because according to uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, the fucking there was no causality before that. Yeah, there was. There was no time. There was no first cause, which is basically the so, argument that so Red and his ilk made. Uh, you know, if you read like Lawrence Krauss's books, a, U a universe from nothing, he talks about how yeah, it could have just s spawned into existence, no will necessary, no cause necessary, and if you find that far fetched, then. How do you fucking think God got there, bitch? Well, God He's just doesn't eternal. Play. God, God doesn't play by there. the rules. He doesn't play by the rules. He's super natural, TJ. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no. He exists outside of the rules. There's no rules for God. God don't need no stinking fucking rules, bitch. You're going to be doing yeah. what? The amazing atheist has faith? Of course you do. If you don't believe that a god had anything to do with your consciousness or your very existence or life, then you must believe that something started this all. Something got the ball rolling. Uh, yeah, god, this I, is your terrible. First I cause also argument. believe that I don't Ugh. fucking know, bitch. Okay. Yeah, I I believe that someone fucking uh, killed Jimmy Hoffa too, but I still don't know who the fuck did it. You know what I'm saying? You can't 100% prove it. You have no evidence. Oh Jesus. So simple. I'd cool. like to hear your opinion and your theory mm -hmm. on how this yeah. happened. Okay, you heard it. There are already scientific theories. By stating that you believe yourself, something right? besides God did it, and if you answer with, well, I don't know, or I'm not really sure, or I'm not a scientist, or something like that, then Which you're basically true. stating that you do believe that something started it all. Uh, no. No. What? What is? What is? Huh? Why? Why does TJ have to agree to your first cause argument? Like, yep, there must have been a first cause. He just answered you. Yeah, I, I don't think there necessarily was a first cause, but I don't know. I don't know, and you don't know. The only honest answer a human being could give to that fucking question is we don't really fucking know. Had any kind of evidence to back it up or support yourself, revealing to us that there's plenty of evidence. It's just better presented to you by a fucking scientist that specializes in these fucking kind of questions. Not me. I'm not a fucking uh, theoretical physicist, bitch. Okay, look, Even dude, the there's, the, there's Cosmos, there's so many fucking documentaries about space, there's a great one that Stephen Hawking did, like, I think it was like for the BBC, dude, there, there's so much shit on Netflix or online for free if you want like, to learn more about space and time yeah, like, and, and the Big Bang. You can watch the How the Universe Multiverse, Works, yeah, you can that. watch uh, one of the Stephen Hawking specials, you can try to read one of his books, I'm sure it would, yeah, n I mean, uh, for don't, you, don't do I that. wouldn't that recommend would, reading nope. since it is you, yeah. but you know, there's lots of things you can watch, Brett. That'll explain this shit to you, that'll explain uh, some scientific perspectives to your ass, and also talk about the evidence that they have <coughs> to back up those perspectives. They're not 100% sure. An atheist has amazing faith in something he can't prove or, or uh, do. Oh, whatever, Brad. What is your Always thoughts trying to fucking compassion? shift that burden of proof. Of course. Like, you, Brett used to, on? you know what, Brett used to tear shit like this up. Like, this used to be... That's the this sad used thing. To be, this used to be Brett's bread and butter fucking shit. He used to tear this whole fucking line of argumentation yeah, a new asshole you know on the that daily. Was, that, that was a long time ago and a lot of scams ago and a lot of bullshit and, you know, destroyed fucking little in-red alliances. This is what, what Brett has become. Like, he has to be this because, like, he doesn't even... I don't think, I don't think Brett knows what else you could even be at this point. Like, he has to be uh, just a retarded theist on YouTube that this, 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 this debate is so far gone, Brett. No one cares at this point. It's like this is this is like such old news. Like you're just trying to run a, like a two, like a 2008 YouTube channel in 2016.
And, you know, you'd figure that as someone who's actually refuted these arguments, maybe he would come up with something more original to say on the subject. But no. It's the same tired bullshit that he himself already knows the refutation. Has, has already refuted himself. And has successfully refuted himself. I mean, I don't know if he's just gotten dumber since then or what. Oh, yeah. Who knows? I'm the fan. Is there a line drawn to how far you'll go in order to get views? Is there a line drawn in the sand on how far you will go for attention? What is your knockoff? So basically what I'm asking you is, what is some things that you would never do in order to get attention? Um, okay, and well, the, I would the never conduct my... Is, is I, I would never... Sit there and okay. use someone else's wrong. Oh, I can't sit there and use someone else's wrongs. Okay, well, that's interesting, because I was going to say... I was just about to say that, uh... I would just use you as a uh, as a role a reverse role model. The things you do, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't fucking change my ideology uh, at a whim, based on who's given me money most recently. I wouldn't make a fucking billion videos talking about how I'm gonna quit YouTube. Uh, I wouldn't fucking make my intro fucking a million years long so that no one could fucking <laughs> stomach sitting through it. I mean, like, what about the uh, what about the yeah. blueberry overlay? Would you do <laughs> oh, that? No, I actually would not, strangely. Uh, you're no? insane. I mean, I don't know what it is, but, like, Brett, I mean, like, your channel, I, honestly, like, if, if someone wants, I mean, like, next time someone comes to me and asks me for YouTube advice, I'm just be like, all right, here you go. This is Brett Keen's channel. Everything he's doing, do the opposite, and you'll be fine. Yep. You should really do that. You are, like, an inverse guide to how to be successful on YouTube. If you see Brett Keen doing something, and you're doing the same thing... Stop doing but, that. But isn't, thing. It, isn't yeah. it funny how Brett, you know, demands honesty and demands, oh, be forthright with me. Should you answer these questions? Brett, you're the one that's refusing to answer any questions. Like when someone asks you a direct question, which Paul has done numerous times when you've been on this show, he asks you a direct, simple question, and you just pretend, like, what? I don't know what you're asking me. I don't get it. You're a politician suddenly. You're just all over the place. What do you mean by that? Where? What? Did you know this about me? You know, you're, you have no room to talk, right? You're the least honest person that one could even imagine. Or we, need to unleash, we need to attention. unleash Galen on Brett. It's, I want to I mean, see what Galen, I want to see what happens when the unstoppable Brett, like, beneath him. You know. Oh yeah, Galen won't even touch Brett. Let's put it that what way. What are things for you inwardly that you would never do? That you think that would be too much, going too far? I ask the same so question of you, Brett, because it seems yeah. nothing. I mean, I would say that that's a fair question to ask back to you. As far as like what I wouldn't do, I mean, like I obviously wouldn't do anything that's gonna like. Um, I'm. I don't know. I wouldn't go out and like harass people on the street. I guess like fucking. Uh, like the Sam Pepper type assholes. I would never run one of those like annoying yeah. fucking prank channels because I find that shit to be obnoxious. Um, I would never steal it's a joke, bro. It's other a joke. people's content and just post it on my channel as if it were my own. Um, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I think it's, I wouldn't do most of the fucking things I haven't done, which is plenty of fucking unethical, dickish things that people it, do on it's YouTube. A, it's a that silly, not look, look, it's a silly in. and absurd question. Brett can go look at rea what reality is and we can review the reality of what Brett Kane is. Like, it's a silly question. We know what she is not willing to do because that's what he hasn't done. It's obvious. All right. I would like to ask you this. Do you think that you are better than 90% of the atheist community out there? Oh, what, the, what uh, kind of silly shit is this? He kind of doesn't have to think that. I mean, like, I think I'm better than most people in general. But it's, it's, but I mean, I'm conceited, you know? I mean, yeah, I'm an egomaniacal piece of shit, but um, so are you. I mean, you're so deluded. I mean, like, you have no room to talk about my delusions of grandeur, dude. You fucking went around calling yourself the stallion. Look at yourself in the mirror and just be like, <laughs> I was calling myself the stallion. Like, do you have any idea how dishonest that is? That's deluding even yourself. You know, at least when I called myself the amazing atheist, I knew there was, like, a hint of, like, um, you know, self-deprecation in there, you know? I was trying to choose this big, grandiose name because I know I'm just a fucking fat guy, a fat neck beard with glasses ran in his fucking garage at the time. Yeah, you know? something so tells me that when, when, when Brett chose the stallion moniker, he wasn't going like, 
Man, it would be ironic if my big, fat, hairy, toothless ass called himself the Stallion. <laughs> something tells me there was something a little more self-aggrandizing behind choosing that name with you, of Brad. Of course. Uh, just so you guys know, I don't think we're actually broadcasting right now. It says it's interrupted, and, uh, you know, we're at oh. fucking... Oh, well, maybe, maybe it's starting back up, actually. But we were at zero KBS for a minute there. Zero... But whatever, we're just plowing forward. Plowing on forward, y'all. It's like you plowed Paul's mom. Oh, yeah. Damn, that rap. I'm sorry, I didn't, you know, I'm, I mean, <laughs> after I fucking did that and you were like, I, I met your mom and I'd never say some stuff like that, I'm like, man, I feel bad about writing this now. You no, uh, don't feel bad. Well, like, you know, I mean, but like, it, honestly, I wasn't I'm even familiar. thinking about your feelings or anything. I was just like trying to fucking <laughs> make a rap verse that was really good because, you know, uh, <laughs> I said I, was gonna fucking, I said I was going to do didn't... better, and, you know, whatever. I don't hey, know. Hey, you, you, you definitively did not hurt my feelings. I understand the context of a battle rap. When I said that, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. I was, I was trying to tell you that, like, my brain just wouldn't have gone there. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, that, that just probably makes you better at the battle rap thing than me. Well, whatever. I mean, it's an apologist for AK. Come on, TJ. Yeah, just think I about mean, that. I did. Just, just think yeah. about that. You're an apology. I'm so sick of reading in the chat that our stream is lagging. Yeah, that we know. I'm we just, know. I'm just going to end it, and then that way you don't have to watch it, and then you motherfuckers can watch it later when we re-upload it, because we're going to have to re-upload it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, suck a cock. Good night. The end. <laughs> yep. The, yeah. Yeah. So, we're just, pre we're just recording from this point. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. this point, we're just recording. Okay. It's Rock on. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, the, Brett, uh, I guess, I don't know. Does he have any more questions? Let's oh, yeah, dude. It, oh. Gets, it gets good. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, it it gets good. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. It does. Okay. People yes. have been telling me that you've oh, yeah. almost reached or have reached a million subscribers. I already reached it, buddy. I'm just reading the comments. Just go to Social fans, Blade. You're dumb. Which usually Next. are mostly 15 year old children. Uh huh. Okay. No. Yep. Do you think that you're better? Than all Dude, come on. I mean, I, I, you realize I have access to my fucking channel demographics, right? Do you know what my top fucking uh, age group for Amazing Atheist videos is? It's, it's like 24 or 35. All yep. right. It's people in their 20s and early 30s. Yes, a similar age range to you. Oh. Yeah, go figure. It's people from my own generation who most relate to the shit I say. Oh. Magically. Fucking magically. You know what? <clears throat> when I did ha I did actually ha at one point have more teenage fans. You know when that was? In 2008. The fucking year that you're stuck in, bitch. <laughs> Get with the Damn. fucking times, Brett, you miserable sack of fucking stupid shit. I can't fucking believe how dumb you Dude, are. It only gets worse. Really. Oh, yeah. I think atheists out there simply because you have more numbers to your subscription base. God, Do you think that the less so subscribers Brad. a person has, that that somehow makes them devalued as, as, as a person? No. Do you think that you... No, look, what a piece of shit you are is independent of your low, shitty subscriber count. I just think it's funny that you have a low, shitty subscriber count because you've been at this so long. And by all rights, you should be so much better than you are. So much better than you are. It's because, what is, look, look, go to this guy's channel. What of substance does he focus on? Nothing. Brett's not even making videos about, like, Christian apologetics. He's not even fucking talking about what he claims to be t to be all about. So why the fuck would you subscribe unless you just want to hear about endless drama? That's the only reason, is, like, is you want to know what this fat fuck is up to? Like, I don't know what this fat asshole's into now. Oh, he hates these guys still. Okay. That's it. You have something special or unique about you. Some kind of purpose or function that the other atheists just don't have. Now, I'm asking you this question because you've arrogantly pronounced in the past that you think that you're better than other people. You think yeah. that you are smarter than most people. Who doesn't? You've even stated yeah, that I you mean, think that you... Show me the person that's like, I I'm just shit compared to everyone. I'm the lowest of low. Like, everyone pretty much has a belief, whether they admit to it or not. They're like, I'm better than most people. I'm better than some people, at least. Like, sure. I'm better than that guy. Whatever. And that's why everyone goes around thinking their shit doesn't stink and that their opinion's the only one that matters. And you see, you see it happening more and more. Like, you know, fucking to the point where no one can tolerate the least little bit of disagreement because, of course, what I believe oh, wow. is infallible and beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> can fight better AI than syndrome, a lot of people dude. out there as well. That you think that you're more intelligent as well as more physically stronger. 
What? Than most okay, people. I can tell you. I can tell you that I've never said that. more physically stronger. Yeah, I mean, like she is a weak little bitch. Yeah. Have I? I've, I have never once gone around being like, no, I'm a, I'm super strong, y'all. Nope. I mean, like, look, I'll talk shit, uh, shit on TJ till the end of time, but there's. TJ's never bragged about his physical nope. prowess. That's like a joke. <laughs> like, at most, like, oh, yeah, you bad, TJ. You see TJ with his big-ass gut hanging out like, yeah, I'm bad. Like, what I, what I think point. he's referencing is, like, because he's used it in videos against you before, is, like, you telling the story when you got in that fight uh, at, like, a theme park or something. Well, I did get in a fight at the fucking theme park. I mean, what does right. he want from me? Yeah. <laughs> Planet. It's a true fucking story. Yes, you are quoted for that, and yes, you still have videos on your new channel. Well, actually, your Amazing Ages channel, as well as in your archives. I do have all that copied if you need me to reiterate and show okay. you. No, I don't care. <clears throat> My next question for you is, do you think that it's okay to take other people's videos and put them into your own? Yeah. Um, obviously, in a way, you must think that is the case because it you do it the standard of fair use, yes. However, if you actually thought it was the right thing to do, or okay to do, or it was fair use, then why do you put content ID use. claims on your own videos? Did you know? I don't. You know how many people out there have taken clips of the Amazing Atheists and made videos to reiterate oh, was on or, on full or have done he videos no where they is. describe or educate? Yeah, well, that was because my fucking uh, network was doing that on my behalf, even though I didn't tell them to. Yeah. And I actually got on their ass about it. So, eh. And I'm not even on that network anymore. And that's one of the reasons why. People on what they think of the Amazing Atheist. And then it doesn't take nothing but weeks or months for people to come back and complain and say, hey, my video got flagged or my video got hit by a copyright ID claim. Now, was, for those out there that don't know what that is, that means manually. that when the Amazing Atheist signed up for a partnership, which I believe nowadays is using full screen no. as well as well, other no, companies, I left shit, them. that basically you get to acknowledge, if you'd like that to be the case, content ID. You actually have to check it and sign it with your damn name virtually. No, he didn't. Yeah, order. but I actually did not do that. They just fucking did it on my behalf. Yeah, because so regardless. many people were uploading his videos. That's why they did it, So, right? I don't know. I didn't fucking have anything to do with it. I didn't want it, them to do that on my behalf. Um, yeah, I so, Brett, he, he didn't sign off use. on it. Show so us the evidence not, if that's the that case. That was not something I fucking approved of. Um, whatever. ...for them to go through with it. And what this does is when he puts a video up and you snatch the video and put it up on your channel, it's going to content ID and then well, it's yeah, going to block you, you from monetization. Amazing and he can Amazing either video choose to have you get a DMCA or he can choose to get paid for the video that you have on your channel. But he Never thinks it's completely okay things, to do this no. to other people's videos, but content ID is his own. No. Do you think that's hypocritical? Do you think that that's ignorant? Or does it even matter to you in the first place? Well, to be My next question for well, you is why do you listen premise. to such shit music for? Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm like Marilyn Manson, for right. instance. Yeah. Marilyn Manson's got a couple okay songs, but notice the songs that actually made him popular was when he actually uh, copied off of other bands. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, Sweet Dreams. You know, Sweet Dreams are made of yeah, these. Yeah, it's, it's not like he put his own unique stamp on that song. It sounds exactly like the it original. It sounds like the yeah, fucking so, heuristic so, version. So many, other, so many bands have done this. They take other stuff they've heard before and they make it something new. What do you care? It's transformative. Yeah. And also a couple other ones when he did covers. Yeah. Yep. Why That's Marilyn fine. Manson, out of all people? There's Megadeth, there's Metallica, there's Slayer, there's bands that are... You know that, uh, I, I don't know about, uh, I don't know about Dave Mustaine and, and Megadeth, but I've heard fucking Lars Ulrich praise Manson, and I've heard Kerry King of Slayer praise Manson. So, two and of the people in the bands you just fucking cited say that Manson's legit. They're not even the same genre at exactly. all. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the bands he's naming are all considered, like, speed metal or, I you mean, know... I mean, the thing is, I don't dislike any of the bands he listed just now. I like Metallica. I think Megadeth's okay. Slayer, I mean, not my thing, but I'll listen to them every once in a while. Sure. I don't have any problem with any of those fucking bands, so whatever. Fantastic on the guitar. They sing a million times better, and their message is a lot more deep. Uh, Marilyn Manson oh my is God. just a this shock all jock. He's, a, he's Howard no. Stern This is all makeup. subjective bullshit. Howard Stern... What? What? Howard? What, what did you say? He said he said that Marilyn Manson is Howard Stern with makeup. That's, I don't, I don't dude, understand Manson that. Manson is some fucking gibberish. That that Manson is about the shock phase of people actually being offended by what he does. That that's so long since past. That was like maybe the late uh, late nineties, early two thousands. No one gives yeah, a shit. Yeah, like the mid to late nineties. Yeah, no one cares what Manson does now. Yeah, I mean, no one's like, oh my god, Marilyn Manson just tore the fabric of society. No one's saying that anymore. He goes. The perfect representation of the music industry nowadays that it's not about music. Nowadays, it's about what, it is, what? Which of course is what nowadays. Are you talking about? I mean, like this is Marilyn Manson is not mainstream. I mean, like listen to 
a pop station for an hour and listen to like a random mix of Marilyn Manson songs for an hour and you're going to notice that they don't really have much in fucking common. They don't play Marilyn Manson on, I mean like they probably play his old hits more often than they play something new. Sure. Right. Occasionally you'll hear like beautiful people and yeah. some dreams. But like I don't even hear his old shit that played that much. I, know, I mean even at the time when he was popular it seemed like the radio kind of did not like I, playing him that much. At least not where I lived. Where I lived they played him on the radio all the fucking time. I was down south, so maybe yeah. they were a little bit more timid about it. Uh, and never well, mind the fact, going 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 back a little bit to him talking about like Slayer and Megadeth and and shit, uh, and and fucking Metallica. All of those bands benefited in the same way that Marilyn Manson did from shock value. Like all of the all of those bands only benefited from people like wringing their hands about their lyrics or their videos and shit. They were all oh, just, yeah, just eating at the same. They're all eating at the same trough as Marilyn Manson was, so I don't know how they're elevated above him in any way. Well, he likes those bands. He doesn't like Manson. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, you're basically just being like, why Why the hell you don't have my taste in music? That's what I'm saying. It's subjective, <laughs> Brett. Who cares? Shit. If you like, if yeah, TJ likes that and you don't, whatever. Him. You're not about talent. You're not about informing people or offering anything. Oh, God. You're about shocking people. You're about an image. Nothing more. Okay, you you're you're fucking interpret your fucking shallow ass interpretation of the fucking work of Marilyn Manson <laughs> is just you're fuck fucking, you. You're ridiculous. This is like some Sigmund Freud I mean, shit, like, TJ. You you emulate the, the shock shocks, TJ. So that's all you are yourself, a shock shock. I mean, I could say that you're you're fucking. Oh, you're just like Metallica, dude. You know? Well, I would never say that. Cause you suck. <laughs> yeah. You're not like any. You know what you're like? You're like a little kid with a fucking kazoo, dude. <laughs> If I'm, I'll take. Dude, Brett's the kid on Cowbell. The shock job. Brett's the kid on Cowbell. They're like, come in, come in, let this part, Brett. He's just like, huh? Yeah. I don't give a shit if it's a bad or terrible um, image, right. as long as okay. you are able to fulfill your narcissism as yep. well as uh -huh. get paid to act right. like a fool. Yep, you're a moron. And that's what Next Marilyn question. Manson is to me. Okay. Um, I'll admit that I've heard a couple songs where he doesn't completely suck. Why are we? Why but are compared you? to what? a band's Who classic cares? rock from the 70s and like throughout Manson, the 80s as well as the early care. 90s, um, no big Marilyn Manson is dog shit. Okay, okay so, so yeah, I don't care. Whatever. Next. So you're is older. Is there another question past this? You're older and you think music that's older, that was popular when you were like a teenager is better than the music TJ got into when he was a teenager. I mean, isn't that basically what we're... What we're hearing here? Never heard that one before. Right. No, it's 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 all part of my like his brilliant psychoanalysis of my character, dude. A guy who makes himself look like a one-eyed fucking mannequin, and he's not as smart as what people um, try to put forth. And notice, it's usually children and teenagers who fucking think the guy's brilliant. Well, oh no. So yeah, once again, once oh again, you're God. stuck in the fucking past. Okay, Manson's fan base. I mean, yeah, there's still some young fans, but like Manson's fan base for the most part has gotten older. As he's gotten older, you know, like, do you not understand the concept of fucking times momentum? Like, you're just your brain seems you like it's stuck in the past. Dude. You exist here. You exist here, Brett. You exist here, but you also exist here. Is it DS9? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're blowing you. Brett's mind. Um, let's see. Oh, another fascinating thing. A while back, you insulted the shit out of people who are gamers. You insulted people who play video games. And because the audience took such a hatred towards that and a dislike, because apparently a lot of the people who watch you are kids and teenagers who enjoy uh, video games. Why do you play the shit video games you like now, Brett, Citation when Pac-Man's way better? I don't remember ever being like, man, gamers are fucking stupid. Citation. <sighs> and I shit on them. But I noticed that you clearly and quickly... Pac-Man and Qbert and Dig Dug. Uh, That's where where it dude, was at. So Fuck this Elder Scrolls what, what, shit. What was the perk that you paid Brett the money and then he got to interview you? Was that the perk? Yeah. It, uh, it seems like that's how in Brett's mind he interpreted when he said he was going to interview uh, an interview. He meant he was going to interview you. Uh. Oh no. Uh. No no no, Brett Ben. That was clearly what Brett said. It's your routine and your entire concept around in order to make it look like you are actually a gamer. Which is one of the funny things about it is that you did the same thing to Anita Sarkeesian. Uh, a lot okay. of people use her. I've, I've said several times on this show and on my, per my channel as well that I'm not much of a gamer. I say I play games occasionally, casual gamer. That's what I've said I am. And yeah. that's true. I play games every once in a while. Usually I don't. You know? And I don't, I'm, not big, I'm not huge into fucking video games like a lot of people are. 
for being a fake, that she's not really a gamer, that she just uses video games for the attention. Didn't you say that you thought that people who were gamers were fucking stupid, that they were idiots, and then all of a sudden you turn around and make it out that it sound like you've been playing video games the whole time? Love it. Where? Isn't that a lie? Where did I say that? Citation. My needed. next question for you is, um, why is it that you got married in the first place? I know that you've been through a divorce and your marriage didn't last but a year, but why? <laughs> Man, he just like takes jabs wherever he can see it. Like, yeah, it's like why Listen, do you right, care? Do you care? Why do you fucking it's once care? Again, it's once again why anybody that ever feels bad for Brett Keen has just not watched enough Brett Keen. There's nothing, there's no level, like he, there's a dude that TJ, I know TJ knows, um, you used to be friends with him and then you're not anymore, Rob or whatever, um, Unseen Perfidy, uh, the, uh, uh, fuck, what's his name? That sound, and he's familiar. recently, he's recently gotten into a bunch of trouble and shit, um, on his the own. Films, uh, was that uh, Federalist what's his Films name? too? Federalist Films, yeah, 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 yeah. that dude. Yeah, he went all ultra feminist, and then, yeah. uh, and, then and then he was and he was condemning me as like this misogynist. But then it came out that he was uh, actually sexually harassing women all over the place. So right, yeah, right. So that dude also had some pretty dark things in his past. I won't air them here because they've kind of fallen off the radar on YouTube. But Brett Keen revealed them, like not revealed them, but he threatened. Whatever. It's hard. It's hard to even talk about what he did because I don't want to fucking like bring up shit that people don't know anymore. But it's just nasty. Like he, he there's no low for Brett Keen. There's nothing he won't say or do in order to try and hurt somebody. So feeling bad for him is just a fucking waste of energy. Why did you get married if your plan was to have open relationships? And I suspect the open relationship had to have been with the package of bananas, but that's a whole other fucking video uh, altogether. Uh, uh, Why would you marry someone and commit yourself to someone, whether through the court system or through a church, which I doubt you went to a church, um, why would you tell a woman that you plan to be her God. husband and tell her that you're going to be an open Brett, relationship? You're so pathetic. Means that you're people, going to go out and people make those arrangements all the time. Yeah, plenty, well, of, plenty of Christians make that arrangement, Brett, and it doesn't work what out. Is this, what is this shit about? <laughs> I, I didn't make her be in an open relationship, okay? And yeah, we were only married for a year, but we were actually together for like five years overall. We got married because we thought after four years our relationship was pretty stable, but it was one of those situations, individual, where, you know, uh, shit falls apart shortly after you get fucking married. I don't know. Sometimes marriage is just the fucking curse that brings the fucking uh, shit down. And uh, maybe in, in our case it was. I don't know. But, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, like, what, is, what does this question have to do with you? It like, has nothing what to do you, with him. What do you give a shit about my personal fucking love life shit? Like what is that? What 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 bearing does that have on your existence, at all? Explain that to me. Oh wait, I'm sorry. You're asking me questions, even though I'm the one who paid to ask you questions. Fine, sure. Which of course I would have a lot of doubts that you would have that much success in the first place. As rich as you are and as popular as you are, we all have seen the videos out there where you're hung like a doorbell. So you're not impregnating <laughs> anyone, and you're not actually God. penetrating. So there's no real sex there. But what the a lame desk, dude. Oh, you're, man. you're hung like a doorbell. God, Brett, you can't even fucking eviscerate TJ's fucking micro dick. Come on, dude. Yeah, it's pretty bad when even Scotty is not even getting on board with your insults, dude. No. You're sad. You're Ding sad. Ding dong, amazing atheist. I just oh. pushed your little I just pushed your little doorbell dick. Brett Keane's here to pwn your ass out of existence. <laughs> oh yeah. He destroyed me. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews, Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. My beautiful wife, she made me a fantastic bowl of chili. Protein. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. Sitting there, sat there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sitting there. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews, pagans, and Jews. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. 
Christians, Muslims, pagans and Jews, pagans and Jews, Christians, Muslims, pagans and Jews, pagans and Jews, Christians, Muslims, pagans and Jews, pagans and Jews, situation individual, Christians, Muslims, pagans and Jews, pagans and Jews. Never mind, never mind. Individual situation. Check Whoa. out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> Stevie, this is Brad, this is Brad King. Segment situation. Dude, All right. That false Hillary warning has got me on edge now, man. Yeah, dude, you can't fucking... Fuck, you're on fucking notice, Paul. You're on fucking notice. Brett's Twitch. Which I will mirror on the DP channel, like, because <laughs> because you can share channels on Twitch. I'll yeah. share the DP channel with Brett's Twitch. Let all of our fans know that Brett is streaming. Yep, three You'll for the manatee. That. Well, they can just visit games you love. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. It'll be ours. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. One of my patrons, as well as many other people throughout the past couple years, have asked me, Brett, can you do a video you, you that your patrons, tells the Patreons? entire story on why it is that you and the amazing anus have had all this drama for the last hey, 10 years? Hey, wait a minute. The amazing anus. Are, are we not playing the video where uh, he gives his stipulations for the interview? Because that's, like, so classic. Is it the same one or no? This is, oh, this is a different on. one. Something different. Yeah, Man. there there is a fucking there's a video a golden Brett King like, video. This like, is the newest one. There's like one that's absolute gold though, where he's he literally is talking about like the stipul. He's saying that he's agreeing. Yeah, I guess we can go back. I mean, I was trying to move forward. <laughs> no, no, dude, no, this that is has fucking, to be played. This is the greatest video I've seen from him in a long time. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> it is on. pretty good. I'll, I'll just put it up. Yeah, next. you guys are gonna love this shit. This is fucking classic. This is the most classic shit. Oh, this one. Yeah. Watch it. Time to see what Brick Keen is all about. Huh. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, I'll just kill his, uh... Yeah, I can't have ratings because people are mean to me. Christian Muslims, oh, sorry, pagans, you can still Jews. Rate share. It's just pagans, Jews. Yeah, and vote by Christians, Muslims, pagan Jews, pagan Jews. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh man. Dun, dun. I bet this one. I bet this one not only has the lightning Jesus, but I bet it has Dorn's warning to be nice. Be nice, and you'll be approved. You've got to have at least like a minute and a half worth of intro for a good Brett Keen video. Yeah, dude. If the intro is not preposter preposterously long, then it's not a Brett Keen video, dude. Hi, this is Don ah, Keen. Yep, Brett Keen's there wife. it is. Just want to let you know, ratings are available, but the ability for you to view the ratings has been disabled. Comments are on approval. So be nice, and you'll be approved. God bless and have a wonderful uh, day. I wonder why you've just comments were just disabled for this video. Yeah. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. And I accept doing the interview for the Amazing Atheist of yeah, Drunken Peasants. Yeah, cool. However, there are some things that have to be known, oh, even though I cool. state that I accept it. Mm, all right. As many of you know, on my other video that I did on my other channel called God TV Radio, I said drunken peasants took their time to pay me. You might say he's got some... Uh, the the drunken peasants didn't pay you. TJ paid you. The bet was with you and TJ. They took their time to fulfill any of the promises that they claimed to do. Which was give you a thousand And as many of you know, they continue to steal my content and nope. put them on their channel whenever I've asked them repeatedly not. No, we're not just stealing okay. your content and uploading it. It's I've also happening. asked them to quit insulting me and harassing me on a daily basis. They have not stopped. All right, Brett. Harassing you on a daily when basis? Really? We've never harassed you. You can hit uh, space bar to pause okay. it. They also, from time to right. time, point out the city that I live in as well as the state. 
Oh, Festus, Missouri. Festus, Missouri, you mean? Are you talking the about Festus, Missouri? Festus, Festus, Missouri. Home of the Brett Keen. Have we actually, have, have, was it you or Paul that actually <laughs> I think we got a call in the Pokemon hotline that told us that they saw Brett Keen in Festus, Missouri. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, think I, I think I sang the Festus song once, but Paul's never sang it on here. Festus is the bestus. <laughs> I don't know the Festus song The state song is yet. fine, though. I've it's mentioned on the it Wikipedia myself entry. in the video. But the fact that they're telling a million people on the internet where I can be found, where we are telling, people so, that... So we're well, telling people exactly where you can be found. In all fairness, you can be seen from space. <laughs> <laughs> it's the giant blue mass. What's that shimmering blue dot down there? It's Brett Keen. <laughs> they could cause my children and my wife and my family problems. Uh, I think happen, it's pretty Brett? safe to say that these people have tried various times to put me in a dangerous scenario. No. Scenario! Yeah. Okay. Come on! He said scenario! Come he on, Brett. Say, say scenario. dangerous. A dangerous situation. He probably made this video originally in said situation and went, Damn it! No, they'll make fun of me. I've got to start Dangerous over. scenario. Dangerous scenario. <laughs> scenario. What the fuck? I know we haven't, Brett. So it's if I'm going to do an interview with TJ, Drunken Peasants, TJ Drunken Peasants. That's my last name. <laughs> TJ Drunken Peasants. Is that Peasants. your last name, really? Yeah. How the fuck did... Oh, so that's why you wanted the he name. He legally changed it. He legally changed yeah. it. Oh, he's Can't like, be included? You should be like Prince and just change your name to a symbol. Yeah. I accept the interview. But I'm not cool. coming on the Drunken Peasants ever again. Oh. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> yeah, in that. I believe that for a fucking minute. Yeah. How about <laughs> Brett's not coming back, guys? Oh Lord, and Lord, Lord, what's we gonna do without no Brett? Oh no! Um, can, can we announce this is the last episode of the Drunken Peasants? <laughs> knowing that Brett's never gonna come on again, I don't think yeah. there's any point. There's no point even yeah. moving forward, yeah. knowing that there's never gonna be another episode with Brett as a guest. This is the last episode, guys. Yeah. I don't want fat little Paul's ego running his damn uh, mouth. Oh, Brett, you you can you fat. look in a fucking mirror, dude? Can you look in a fucking mirror? You have no right to call anyone else fucking fat, fat. little I mean, Paul's I, ego. Why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want me there, Brett? I don't understand why you wouldn't want me there. I don't get it. Oh, Brett's scared. He might, Brett, are you scared, Paul? Yeah, it's okay, man. Frightened of, are you frightened of fat little Paul's ego, Brett? Yeah, fat little Paul's gonna hurt you, Brett. You you, you scared? If it's going to be an interview, we're going to do it professionally. Okay, sure. The Amazing Atheist, you have three choices if you want to do this interview. All and right. I guarantee you're going to make up some kind hey, wait, of excuse. Wait, wait, guys. So, wait, hold on. Listen to what he says here. Okay. Run your mouth in some manner so you can get out of this. All right. He, this is the part. I love this part here. I'm sure you're going to come with some excuse to run your mouth in some manner and get out of this. Remember those words. We'll do it. Well, I just wanted to fucking point out, too, is that when you got, when you, you know, selected your perk where you gave him a thousand bucks, were any, was any of this made clear to you? Was there any, was there any sort of caveat like, uh, go read his Patreon. I don't know if, he, if he's changed it since, but it just said you get an interview with him. It didn't say anything about all these weird stuff. Okay, I, I just want to clarify yeah. that, Brett, that you just said there was none of these stipulations or anything like that beforehand. But so here's what you got to do. You can either do the interview with me at a church of my choice in my area, or you can go to St. Louis, Missouri, and meet me at a concert that my brother is going to be doing soon. Okay. He just got in from town. He did a show down in Texas, as well as a couple other states, and he's going to be doing something in St. Louis, Missouri. Cool. I'm going to tell you right away, if you go into a church with me, most of the Christians out there are not going to be happy to see the amazing atheists. None of them are going to be your fucking fans, and they're not going to adore you or wash your balls. So strange to me. Usually everywhere I go, that's the case, you know? Yeah. It's going to be so weird for me to be in a place where not everyone's a fan of mine, you know? Because that's just like an unusual situation for me. Oh, I'm sorry, scenario. If you come to a concert with my brother, he don't like you at all. He oh. would most likely be extremely infuriated to see your big ass up in there. Okay. And so would the rest of the band. Oh. And he would most likely announce that you're there to his entire audience. Oh. So that would suck for you. 
So <laughs> let me get this straight. Huh? So the first two options are come to a church where there's going to be Christians there that hate you and they're going to could possibly do something to you. I don't know. And then you could, or you come to my brother's show and he's going to call you out and the, the band hates you and the crowd might attack you and he's going to call you out in front of everybody and he's going to probably get the crowd to kick your ass, you know? But don't try to find an excuse to get out of this, though. It's like, uh, <laughs> it sounds like you're the one coming up with excuses to get out of this, <laughs> Brett. Uh, you gotta uh, listen to one of my ridiculous, weird stipulations that puts you in bodily harm if you want to get this interview with me. Because that, in the beginning, you said uh, you want to do it professionally. Of course, that's how professionals handle interviews. It is. Come to a dangerous place where everyone hates you. You can interview me there. You know, yeah. I had a job interview years ago, and I had to, like, hop across logs in a pit full of alligators. So, you know. Now, TJ, yeah, if you come, it's just TJ, normal. You, you can come to For Syria, an and, come I'll, on. and I'll give you the interview. Yep. TJ, if you want action? an interview... What you gotta do is you gotta swim across the lake of molten lava. <laughs> then you've gotta strip yourself butt naked and fight a grizzly bear. I know you're gonna find an excuse not to do this shit. <laughs> what? But here's probably the safest bet of all. You okay. can come safest to my real room. house. I know where. You know where I live. <clears throat> No, I don't know where you. We live. don't know literally where you we, live. We, don't we know just know live. the general area, and we don't care where you live. See, Brett just assumes everybody's like him. Like nobody here has actually looked up your address because nobody here cares. Yeah, and I know for a fucking fact that Brett docks us because I know people that he trusted that were actually on our side that duped his ass, and he was doxing us forever and he said it was okay because tj is a fan of aiu and he supports doxing okay you have been sitting there that's how he justified it state, which he doesn't I exist, justify shit and i know for a fact that you and you've been sitting your there buddies there know exactly where i live no we don't do so you can come we don't here care. If you come here, though, I will let you also know that my family does not like you. <laughs> the people in my neighborhood don't like you. The Do you go around your neighborhood like, hey, guys, I want to let you know about this piece of shit Dude, on the, the internet. The dogs in the fucking neighborhood thing. don't I mean, like you. The cats are yeah. going to fucking The neighborhood hiss at you. squirrels will hiss Dude. at me as I enter. Birds will shit on my car intentionally. Let's be honest here. The, the the people in Brett's neighborhood don't like each other. Like, every time he makes a video outside, they're screaming at one another and that shit. That damn bitch's dog is barking again trying to make a video here. I have that video with the chick screaming in the background. It's like, what? The people in my city and shit who know me very well and respect me, they will not. Okay. <laughs> nobody. Who? Nobody. nobody. There is zero. There's no fucking way anyone on earth fucking respects you, Brett. I, you know, Brett Keen, I, I know and respect you. I guarantee if I go around your fucking town of Festus, Missouri and start asking questions about Brett Keen, I'm not going to hear a glowing fucking review from whoever <laughs> actually knows you. I got a feeling it's going to be like, oh, him? One time I caught him in my chicken coop fucking my chicken. Billy Bob! You know, I mean, that's about, that's about the fucking most I hear about your fucking disgusting manatee ass. Be happy that you have entered our city limits. Okay. But I don't give a fuck. If you really want the interview and this is really important to you, then you know what You know, Brett, uh, TJ has been to St. Louis multiple times because he has family there yeah. and... I mean, Saint, you, you talk about St. Louis like it's fucking, like, the toughest city ever. It's right, really you, not. You, you weren't met by a gang of people with baseball bats going, Brett Keen don't want you in this town, <laughs> TJ. Turn around, Mason Atheist. Get on out. We don't like the way you've been treating the pillar of our is community, Brett Keen. No. Is this a fucking 80s movie like where the guy rolls into town and it's all the good old boys? I am a sorrow without tears, a torture without pain. I am God without redemption, existing in a paradox plane. I'm a merciless killer, a victim without shame. I am a nightmare carved in ice, a place off limits to your mind. I am reason without rhyme. I am sin without consciousness. I am death. I am the apocalypse. Deaf ears seen by blind eyes. <laughs> I don't mourn the dead. I don't care if you hurt inside. I don't repent. 
for what has been, because I don't forgive. <laughs> I'm false religion. <laughs> I am conceived of false faith. I am misery brought on by man's dreams. Demon of hate. Come follow me, fall from grace. I am the director of your dreams. Huh. I'll take credit due at the end of your life. You'll become part of my collective. Wow. Powerful stuff, Brett. Powerful part stuff. Of my collective. Is that a poem? It's a poem. All right. Eternal Undying Love by Brett Keen. Learn more at GodHatesYou.org. Yeah, sure go there. GodHatesYou.org. Every book that Brett Keen sells has that URL on it, and that supports our channel. So naturally, that's a glowing endorsement. They want to get the rest of his oh. shitty books, too. I've but got Brett another so idea. so much, why'd he put the DP uh, URL on his books? He's a nice guy. I've got another idea for Brett. He's given you his terms. I think we should offer him some more terms. How about you do the interview with TJ like you promised on your Patreon, or he fucking initiates a chargeback on that $1,000, you dumb shit. Yeah, I don't think you have it in your bank account, Brett. Uh, the Patreon refund policy is pretty, is pretty clear. I have right? a feeling that was already spent on something. Well, I mean, because uh, because some, something tells me the perk that TJ won didn't say fly to Festus, Missouri at your expense. You know what? Come no, I mean, like literally, it's it's our prerogative. Even though, like TJ said, he'll have it on his channel. We could have on the fucking drunken peasants if we want. We could do whatever we want, and yeah, he dude. could request it. It's. Well, I mean, uh, Brett, I mean, uh, you know, I don't, uh, fuck your stipulations, dude. I want it on the Amazing get... Atheist channel. I want a hard-hitting interview with Brett Keen, and yeah, I do. Oh, it's going to be. You got Skype, Brett. We don't need to fucking, it doesn't need to be some face-to-face -face shit. Just call me up on Skype, and we'll fucking have a fucking little one-hour conversation, and, and I'll do with it what I damn well please, because that's what you promised. And then I hope you explain where you're like, where you're only three years older than me, but you look like you can be my dad. Like, yeah, I'll be sure can to you ask explain him that. that. <laughs> Brett, why do you look like such an old piece of shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ask him how much money he made with these books. Yeah. And I'll ask him if I can see the financial records of the sales figures. He should have them. I mean, My dad is 60 years old, and he looks younger than Brett Keen. Yeah. So there you go. My dad died when he was 61. And he, he looked <laughs> younger than Brett Keen. He probably looks died. younger than Brett Keen even now. Yes. I assure you that if we do an interview... And you act anyway. You have any kind of tone like you do on video. Horn. I will most likely get up while it's being recorded and slap you right in the fucking so mouth. So you want to well, assault? I've been slapped in the mouth once today. Yes. Yeah, so you want to? You want to assault TJ? Is what you're saying? If you ask oh. me any tough questions, I don't I'll like. I'll tell you what. I'm I'll tell you what. Use physical violence against you. I will take you on. Let's go, <laughs> bitch. Uh, me versus Brett Keen in a fucking never, UFC. He would never accept. Up what? his ass with one hand. Uh, according to him, he's like almost TJ size. Like, he would destroy me. He's a gorilla. I'm 5'9", 170 pounds. Bring it on, bitch. I will fight you. Let's uh, let's do it. Ben let's do it. Are you a fucking Brett. coward? Of course he is. Are you a fucking coward to fight the smallest member of the drunken peasants? Let's do it, <laughs> bitch. Let's do it. And if you win... I'll fucking break your face, If you Brett win, King. we'll give you some fried chicken. <laughs> And a cookie. Let's put a purse on it. Fuck. I'll put up two thousand dollars of my own money. Damn. Damn. Brett wow, Keen. Brett. If you can beat me, I'll give you two thousand bucks of my own money. Wow. In a fucking ring, you and I, mano and mano. One I don't on think you'll do it. One on one, Brett. I don't think you'll do it. You say you're like twice $2, my size. Two thousand dollars, Brett. I don't even think you would last the first round. I think <laughs> well, you'd be huffing and puffing <laughs> on the Brett, ground. He, he won't do it, Brett. He won't do it. Brett's a pussy. I know. Come on, bitch! Giving your own threat. Come on, bitch! Come on, do bitch. it! Do it, Brett! Do it! I'll do, do it, Brett! I have a few stipulations. Terrible. First, Brent's gonna have to be kneecapped in the pocket. Yeah, 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 it's Terrible. like what? <laughs> <laughs> what you've got to do is you've got to swim through an Olympic swimming pool filled with double-edged razor blades, Ben. Then, yeah, you've got to you've got to walk into a <laughs> den of vampires covered in your own blood and fight them all. <laughs> Hey, just go like this. You won't. They won't see you. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Dude, the hardest part would be swimming through your fucking disgusting blubber while I choke your ass out. I mean, Brett, you got nothing, dude. 
A, a, would would Brett have to wear a mouth guard, or would that be pointless? Yeah, there's nothing to guard, dude. Is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no biting. Oh, I don't have to worry about you. No gumming. No gumming. <laughs> no gumming is oh, allowed. I'm gummed either. <laughs> Maybe Brett's uh, like a fucking Komodo dragon. He gums you, and then the bacteria just fucking Shit. kills you slowly. God, the, the thought of Brett Keen's mouth on any part of me. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, God. I know. I, I, I don't need know. a bleach bath now. You imagine you have Brett in the half guard, just and he starts gumming your fucking, arm? His like, what? His toothless fucking gums just dragging across your skin. Feeling his, you know what? It would probably would, it, it would get Ben to break flesh. the hole. Ben would be like, I can't handle this. There's <laughs> there is one part of me that I'd let Brett Keane put his mouth on. I'll be honest with you, dude. <laughs> what? A, Your a balls? gum job is a rare thing, dude. Yeah. A gum job is a rare thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like you pull your dick out and it'd be like dead. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like what does Brett people. have? Like, I there's actual videos of me wrestling. Hey, we've always wondered how Brett made his money. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's like gum jobs, get gum. your gum jobs, here. best gum job in Festus. Not a yeah. single fucking truth in my dumbass face. Buy feel one free gum. To fuck it. Buy gum one reflex. gum job. Get two. Get the second gum job at half off. Orf, don't you mean? <laughs> Does he have a punch card? So, Brett, like, you talk shit about TJ, me, the smallest member of the Drunken Peasants. I will whoop your ass. I really will. So, fuck you, bitch. Ben's gonna Bring knock it. you out. Ben's gonna knock you out, Brett. Two thousand dollars. I fucking will, dude. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Anyway. Oh, I have the classic Keen here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen, and I want to make it clear that I've been reporting people for years on YouTube. I've flagged a shitload of videos out there, and I have no regret and remorse for what I've done. You see, when I signed up for YouTube, it told me that there's terms of service and community guidelines. It states that people cannot go around and make harassing videos misrepresent people or try to encourage audiences to come destroy other people's channels and cause okay so basically all the things that you do on a regular <laughs> basis yeah so yeah. you you've been banned by youtube there you problems go. you see many of you out there especially mostly non-believers you have told your audiences to report me i can't tell you how many times i've actually gotten phone calls and twitters from people claiming Twitters. that they were going to destroy my channel, All tweets. that you they were going to come beat my ass, that they were making videos impersonating me, stealing my content, uh, they're and impersonating saying you, they're everything not that they content. possibly could about my family in order to get a rise. So, according to Terms of Service in YouTube, it is my obligation <clears> as a person <throat> who is under attack and who has been targeted for years <clears throat> To let you I just imagine this fat, pathetic fuck slapping me in the face. And Could you imagine him like, like whatever the dude. bell rings and Brett Keen comes at me, <laughs> and I just kind of like push him to the dude, side. I can't even imagine it. I can't and even like, imagine it. And, like, I will. I would just roll. I'm waiting for the moment he's on his hands and knees so I can kick him in his fucking face as hard as I can. Please do. I, I, Brett, that would be two thousand. You know what's funny? I, I was gonna say, yeah, you can knock his teeth out, but it's just like there, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Does anyone want to fucking? I'll enrich the pot a little bit. I'll kick in another grand. Go ahead. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand fucking wow. dollars for you to fight me, Brett. Three thousand dollars for you versus oh, Ben. You know what? Then, then, then I'll match it too. All right. Four thousand. Four thousand dollars, Brett. Four. Wow. Put up or shut up, bitch. Dollars in Brett the fucking Ian. ring. You. Ben, I mano e mano in the fucking ring, and you might win. Brett. You could win. Maybe, if you maybe win. you'll knock Ben's ass <laughs> out. I tell you what, Brett. If you win, if you have like, you get that four thousand. If you have like the conditioning to withstand ten minutes, <laughs> maybe four thousand dollars, Brett. That's more money than you've ever had in your entire life. Four Come geez. on, Brett. I run about three miles a day, Brett. And like you lay in a bed most of the day. Oh, that doesn't matter. Oh yeah, oh God, that doesn't got, matter oh at all. He's got one punch. He's got the eye of the tiger. Yeah, dude, look at that. Dun dun dun. 
dun, 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 dun. What are you, dun, what are you guys dun, talking dun. about? Brett's, all Brett's gonna have to do is walk up to Ben, one solid punch, and, oh, it's, and, shit. It's, and it's over. Dude, I want a Yeah, I won't Keen, dodge that one. I want a Brett Keen Eye of the Tiger <laughs> montage. Too quick. I won't dodge his Someone fucking, like, punch that he puts Why? all of Dude, his energy in. Dude, he's a stallion. In. It's lightning bread. What are you talking about? And Brett's just gonna fucking just bop, uh, bop and fucking leave, knock Ben out. Where's the four grand, guys? Come on. Yeah, that'll be the end of it. I mean, it, it'd be great for Brett. I mean, like, imagine how... how uh, yeah, satisfying. I mean, you know, imagine how satisfying it would be to get your hands on one of these drunken yes, peasant assholes. Yes, fair and square. After all this time. In the fucking ring. In the fucking Dude, you're like, what ring. is he... He said he's like 6'5", like 350 pounds or Pure something. Pure muscle. Bring... Yeah. Yeah. He's not 6'5". Brett, show us the video where, to prove you're 6'5". I mean, you do seriously? not look anything near 6'5". Yeah, maybe 6'5". Six six feet. Feet. He is? <laughs> yeah, well, you're still taller than me. Oh, you, you say I see you coming from a fucking Paul, did you say no, he, he is? No, he's not. He, okay. there, there's no, there's no I, way he's I would. Five. I would. Uh, I mean, I've seen him standing up in videos. He looks like he's maybe like six, probably six tall, foot, six taller than me. Or some shit. You're taller yeah. than me, Brett. I mean, I mean, Brett's Bring probably it. about as tall as I am. I'm six one, six that's two. That's fine. In there. Uh, I that's, don't give that's, a fuck if see, you're Brett. like three inches taller than me. Bring it, Brett. Bring it on, Brett. Can, stuff. can you go the distance? Is the question. And it's not like there's a big age difference or anything. Ben no, and you are pretty much the same age. I just look like I'm 20 years younger yeah. than you. I wonder how much people <laughs> would pay to watch that fight. Dude, I'll tell you oh, what. No. My goal would be to be on Brett's back the whole fucking time, pounding him in the face. What you should do is and just like, keep your distance from him towards the beginning of the fight. Let him wear himself out, and then fucking oh, just go yeah. up to him and just. Well, like, my, yeah, like my ultimate goal is for Brett to, to like punch himself out, which for him, yeah, it'll take about would be like nothing seconds or so. For me, that would be a lot more, and then to like oh, wrap oh, my boy. legs around his torso, just above his arms, and pound his face. I'm coming behind you, him. He'll never do it. I'm coming for you, Ben. Come on, dude. You think you're better? I mean, like. I've only got a little bit of training. We'll contact some <laughs> lawyers and shit, man. We'll, we'll fucking get to the sanctions we Let's need. Let's do it. We'll get this shit. I'm, I'm the I, smallest dude, one. I've already predicted him that he'll fucking say something like, well, if I agree to it, the drunken predator is going to end up jumping me. No. No. In a so, ring. You and I, Brett, in a ring. It's no only you and Ben. We're not going to jump in there and like start yeah. kicking you in the head. Well, no, this is going to be an official real I will fight. kick you in the head, though. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not touching you. Like, <laughs> you, I won't lay a, I won't lay a finger on you, Brett. Trust me. Yeah, I mean, like, none of us are even gonna touch Ben for a week after he fights you. <laughs> I know, seriously. I know. Like, the worst thing he could do is like not shower the day before. We're gonna get. You're we're gonna, gonna, gonna be... like. Ben's gonna have like some fucking like antibacterial soap and like all kinds of shit <laughs> at in his the ready room afterwards. We'll dude. give him like a chemical bath and shit. Yeah, we're gonna have a fucking fire hose ready for Ben and like fucking what is it like lie? Yeah, lie. We'll throw that delousing See, the powder thing, like, from fucking Shawshank. The jujitsu approach from like a fat dude just laying on you is you stick your shin under his neck and pull his neck over your leg like that and choke his fucking ass. I don't even think you'll have to get that crazy with it. No, I don't think I will. I think you Brett probably just dance it. around until Brett gets winded and then punch <laughs> him in the face. Then he gives up. This just this will prove for like the one millionth time that Brett, you're a giant fucking pussy. Now there's even money on the line. Let's make a bigger purse, like maybe in the audience. Maybe we'll get it up to ten grand. Yeah. Brett, come on, bitch. Who knows? Brett? You don't have any teeth to lose. I've we got all my teeth to lose. We can start a GoFundMe. Pride. You know, Brett, all you got to do if, if you sign up, we'll the four thousand from us, and the second you sign on and say you're gonna do it, we'll fucking start a GoFundMe, and we'll increase the size of the purse through the audience because you know they'll want to fucking contribute too. Yeah. Make sure you're asking. Dude, how, fu out. how fucked up would it be if we actually raised money for this, right? We get like 10 grand purse or something. We're all talking this shit. And like the bell rings and, and Brett <laughs> knocks Ben out with one thunderous well, you know manatee what, hey, punch. You know what? It, it could happen. happen. It happens, it happens, dude. It happens. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to admit that that's a possibility, but no. Hey, every dog has his day, I'm, dude. I'm willing, to bet, I'm willing to bet he's too slow to knock me out in one punch. And... <laughs> I have fought in uh, competition before, so no, this fat shit can't do anything. He'll, he'll actually, never accept. Actually, uh, any any offense he mounts is, any offense he mounts is actually a weakness. 
Dude, Ben, yeah, he said he could... What? So didn't he say he could beat up? Was like, was it twenty or was it thirty YouTube atheists? Oh, he wanted like a Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. So we're saying all you gotta do is beat one, and you get just beat me. I'm little. Dollars. I'm little, bitch. All you gotta do is beat little old micro fucking Ben. Yep. Dude. Beat me. He's like a flea. Yeah. He's like a fucking flea. Come on, dude. bitch. He's tiny. Your fat fucking ass can't handle it. Like Ben, jump on, the, jump into my frame for a second. He's right there. See, there he is. Size comparison. Oh yeah. Look at him. He's tiny. Let's stand sa side by side. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Ugh. Like, TJ could... TJ could... Look, dude. TJ could, TJ could fit Ben in his pocket. Look at this. Ben shall be our champion. If anything, that just demonstrates how small I am. Uh, what do you got to lose? I mean, I'll tell you what. What do you have to lose, Brett? I mean, I'm also nothing. just fucking gigantic, so. Yeah, but. You have $4,000 like, to gain and it, nothing to lose, the, Brett. The key is physical conditioning. Sure. I mean. Look. Uh, Brett, I'd you're going to get tired in two minutes. I'd put my money on Ben. <laughs> I got 100 on Ben. And. And I do, I, I was a wrestler, like, not pro wrestler, like Greco-Roman wrestler, too. And jiu-jitsu, so. So we'll see. Come on. Come on, Brett. Let us know. The and it's not like I'm not going to throw in yeah. anyway. The offer is on the table, the dude. The offer is on the table. So Get some, like, lawyers, right? Yeah, some I don't know, Ben. You better be careful, dude. He might just picture Dorn and come out swinging, man. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? Sorry, y'all. TJ's mouth music is awesome. It is awesome. It was. It was. Did you hear that shit? It was off the hook, man. It was fucking crazy. It was off the charts, yo. Yeah. Darn too. Let's go into the next segment. Shit. Individual situation. Check out the Please. beautiful castle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The individual Brett King. Check your pen. Talk about Brett King again. Stop it. <laughs> God, our second individual Brett Keen segment situation of the uh, day. Neat. Good times, man. Neat. The fucking TJ slogan. Yeah. Ooh. Brett Keen segment situation. Tombstone, TJ. All right, so uh, more, more recently, Brett made a video speaking to me directly, even though in that video he made it, he talked about me and TJ almost like we were the same person. Yeah, he likes to do um, pretty weird. You know what, Ben? Hold, put, put, I want to let people know this for a second, really quick. Okay. We proceed. Okay. Um, if you go to my Twitter, you will see that recently I have posted a thing about Brett Keen's misleading titles. I have actually flagged three of Brett's videos for misleading titles. Yeah. <clears throat> There's actually plenty more with misleading titles. I actually showed exactly which videos I flagged and exactly what verbiage I used to explain why he was in violation of the policies of YouTube. Um, look, I mean, uh, Brett Keen has, has gotten away t for far too long with just outright lying in his fucking titles. I mean, I understand, look, it's YouTube, you're trying to get attention. Fine. You know, the, I'm not. A, I'm not totally against any and all clickbait. The video but, we're about to play has a misleading that's why, title. That's what reminded me of it. Because this video, for example, is called the Amazing Atheist challenged Brett Keen to a fight. Now, if any of you guys watched the last episode of the show, you already know the problem with that. The Amazing Atheist, no, I did not challenge Brett Keen to a fight. Ben challenged Brett Keen to a fight. <coughs> not, not me. No, 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 we're the same person. Ben. No, you know, no, no. In, he made a video where it was like, uh, you guys will see it on the 19th, where he's acting like me and my father are the same person, and then he made a video acting like you and me were the same person. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, Anyone who's even around me, he just conflates as, like, an extension of me. Well, like, if, if there's something about me that he doesn't know, he just applies something... He, he just applies <laughs> you to that. That makes sense. <laughs> no, no. That makes sense to explain it, because earlier he kept calling my dad an atheist. He didn't right. know my dad's faith. Right, exactly. So he, he just automatically assumes his dad's an atheist because he's a right. like father. Like that son. makes sense. He's, like, filling in assumption <laughs> gaps about you guys... With just, like, information about me. Like, they're just <laughs> yeah. like TJ, so... Uh. Right, he made a video saying that he was going to whoop my ass in five minutes. And uh, he's from St. Louis, so that means he's tough. And, 
and then he wanted to address like how I didn't grow up tough, but he doesn't know. So he just said, "Oh, well, we know the amazing atheist grew up having everything handed to him." You know. So like he's just insane, but he took that video down for some reason. Mm. So uh maybe even he realized what an embarrassment it was. Who knows? I mean like <laughs> You know, anyone who's actually, like, way bigger than me, I normally wouldn't think I could fight them. But, you know, when they're just a totally fat piece of shit who I never see leave their, their home unless they're standing around smoking a cigarette outside, I'm just not afraid of that. I'm just not afraid of it. And, and if I do get my ass whooped, whatever... The only I'm not that, afraid to get my the ass whooped. The only thing that, Brett Keen, uh, that, that has to fear Brett Keen is uh, macaroni and cheese and chili <laughs> you know, and Vienna sausage. And we'll, we'll get into this video here. Um, oh, what the fuck? I, I don't know, man. Where'd my camera go? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Sh shit, we're, uh, we're, we're getting a call. Oh, is Pokemon that the Pokemon Hotline? hotline? Who's yes, nice. it is. Hello, hello, you're on the uh, DP Pokemon Hotline. Hello, is this the DPs? Yeah, yeah, it's the DPs. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, hello, y'all. I, I really like the, your show. I especially like the, the Ben character. Oh, thank you. He's oh, a nice that's man. good. So what is your uh, Pokemon? Uh, Paul, I, I don't really care for you, Paul. No, well, <laughs> join the club. Sorry to say. It's kind of, uh, well, yeah. What does that do with Pokemon? Uh, well, I do have some Pokemon information to share. Okay. Seriously. Yes. I am but a humble ch <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, Damn, yes, Paul, I do, uh, I do, I do, I do have some Pokemon information to share with you. Now. I'm trying to. Sh this Paul character just keeps. Yeah, Paul, who interrupted, interrupted our, our, our caller? Come on. I'm trying to right. tell you the pertinent Pokemon information. All right. Now, All right, Jesse Jackson, <laughs> go ahead. I went outside. I am a, but a humble chicken farmer from okay. Minnesota or someplace like that. Okay. And anyway, <laughs> I go outside to my chicken coop because I, I get word that there's some Pokemons up in the chicken coop. Ah. Hmm. Now, I, I go out there and I, I know right away something's wrong because there's feathers are flying everywhere. And, uh,. You know, I, I can hear the ruckus coming in. I hear scratches. I hear screams. I hear sounds. I don't even know what I'm listening to. So I go on in there. And I wish I hadn't. To this day, I wish I hadn't stepped in there. Because there was... I'm not even going to mince words and, and say it was uh, a manatee or any sort of euphemism. This was Brett Keen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. how, how do you know, and though? He, how do you know? I he left his uh, he dropped his driver's license on my property. Oh, and I recognized him from your fine podcast. Ooh, so oh. so you're a fan? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> I love the DPs. <laughs> anyway, Sweet. there stood Brett Keen. His pecker. Lodged deep into a chicken's asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And the chicken was <laughs> screeching an unholy sound. And he, he, Brett just kept making this, this noise like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So he was really into the chicken. <laughs> oh, yes. A literally, literally and, and figuratively, figuratively into, the into the chicken. So to point out, we're not saying this. Yeah, I mean, not. look, this, this is some crazy, crazy information. This one, this we, of course, at the Drunken Peasants here. podcast, wow. we're not saying this. This is insane. Yeah, we're not what's saying your, this. What's your name, caller? We always get names. My name, you can just call me Red. Red? Red. <laughs> Red, Red, Red the, like the chicken farmer from Minnesota yeah. or someplace like that. <laughs> That is correct, sir. Oh, all right. Uh, so, Hurry. did you? How, does this segue into a Pokemon story at, at any point? Yeah, do we get? No, I'm sorry, I lied about the Pokemon. Wow, what Damn a misuse right. of the Pokemon hotline. All right, well, thanks. I, I, I think we're gonna have to get to, my story out there. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to let you go now. But thanks for calling uh, with that information. Um, right, King fucks chickens, y'all. <laughs> that's that's <was> shocking. <laughs> thanks for clarifying right. that. Oh, okay, you're back now. 
Wow. That's great. Thanks. All right. So uh, I love how you can't get my camera working during that entire segment, Ben. Yeah. That's shit. Fucking I think your mic went out, too. Did it? Yep. No, I, I was I was talking. In the yeah. No, no, no. Nobody could hear that. Oh, no one shit. could hear your part of the conversation. Oh, oh. fuck. Yep. All right. So uh, here's uh, the, the video. The Amazing Atheist challenged Brett Keen to a fight. Mm. <laughs> Still using the chimp intro. Idiots. Follow me on Twitch. <laughs> no thanks. Nah. For that riveting content. BK Rock TV. One time I did go to his Twitch stream, and like when I got there, he wasn't even playing. His uh, MMO character was just like kind of standing there doing <laughs> jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a Twitch. He just abandoned. Yeah, it was just like his. Uh, oh, oh, here oh, we go. Read. TJ, read this. Gotta fucking read. YouTuber, the amazing atheist, challenged me <clears throat> to a fight. His friend Ben from the drunken peasant. Negative. Wait, wait, what? what hold on. What? He challenged on, wait, no, no, you to fight me. You, wow. you challenged oh, him. Listen to this. Listen to the wording here. YouTuber, the amazing atheist, challenged me to fight his friend Ben from the drunken peasants. <laughs> I chal I made the challenge. Yeah, no, you didn't. Ben made the challenge. What? I agree providing $5,000 each for Ben, TJ, Paul, and Scotty. 5000 each in my backyard, and they must also retire from YouTube <laughs> and all social media in the event I win. So this I is promise you they will lose. <laughs> if sure. I lose, I will retire from social media and YouTube. Yeah, I will you not please. pay them a dime. They've made enough money from stealing my videos and others. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is Brett's way of claiming he accepted the challenge without actually accepting it. Yeah, because this is in no way comparable to the challenge that was made. Yeah, uh, at all. So Brett, let me uh, let me explain something. Yeah, uh, if you if if we issue a challenge, I mean, if you want to make stipulations, the challenge like if we like here's how it works. We said uh, or Ben said really, and I put up money too. Me and Sky both put up money for this once, but Ben did first. It was Ben who made the initial. Yeah, challenge. I think I said two thousand, and then you yeah, like said we you'd match it. With a thousand. No, we each, we each chimed in with a thousand. Oh, okay. I said I'd kick in a thousand, and this guy said he would kick in a thousand. So that's four thousand dollars. We said there's a four thousand dollar pool for Ben and Brett to fight in a sanctioned legal bout. That was the fucking sanction, offer. which means you have to pass a physical, and you know it has to be done under the governing body of wherever the match takes place. Exactly. It has to right. be sanctioned. So that's exactly what we offered. And your counter offer has nothing even in common with that. Yeah, in it's your backyard? Not, instead of $4,000, it's $5,000 per person because you've expanded it from one person fighting you so to four people fighting you. So $20,000. You've moved it from a legally sanctioned venue to your backyard, and you've added the stipulation that if we lose to you, we have to forfeit our entire careers. <laughs> so that challenge... Ludicrous. That, that's not accepting the challenge, okay? Yeah. That is a ludicrous yeah, attempt at yeah, renegotiation. What, okay, so what if Ben goes there and knocks your ass out in your backyard? All, all you have to claim is, like, these guys showed up and assaulted me. Right. You know, we're not. It'd be one thing if Brett came back and said, look, I'll do it, but, you know, I need $6,000 or something. You know, that's like a, a decent sort of counter offer. The, uh, counter, yeah. Your counter offer is basically a, 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 a ridiculous, over the top. Like, you yeah. might as well have just said no. What's wrong with just saying no? Well, Why do you because have then, to act like you're saying yes when really you're saying no by making the stipulations so ridiculous that no one in their right mind would agree to them? Because the, then he doesn't get to crow about it on YouTube for the next six months about how he accepted their challenge. Right. It's like going, like, dude, let's both put up 100 bucks, I'll whoop your ass. And he's like, okay, I'll do it, but you have to give me a billion dollars, okay? <laughs> and you're like, no. He's <laughs> and connect with me through Facebook and Twitter. Some of you who follow me on Twitter have probably noticed that TJ, the Amazing Atheist, recently posted a tweet to me asking me if I'd be willing to accept the challenge. The challenge involves that I have to have a martial arts fight with Ben, the guy who wears a mask on his drunk. When I made the challenge, I wasn't even wearing a mask. He's not wearing Present a mask show. now either. Ray Mysterio. I'm fine with that. But I have some stipulations. <laughs> stipulations? Some of the you don't say, you Brad. Yeah. Stipulations? <laughs> stip hey, stipulations. Did, 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 stop being insultive. Did I just mishear him, or did he actually I have no idea. I think idea. he did. 
Okay. You're being you insulted, though. Did. Insulted. I'm sorry for being insulted. Oh, and by the way, just a reminder, I'm pretty sure most of you know, but down below, there's a link to the Albrecht Keen episode. Check it out. Yeah. yeah I mean, if you are if, if you haven't watched it yet, literally, I mean, I've not seen a single negative thing about it. Like, even the DP subreddit, which is full of, like, the most hypercritical, thinks it's pretty good. So check it out. All right. People out there tweeted. I kid the uh, DP he's probably subreddit. Gonna They're have my friends. I yes, love I them. am. Not $4,000, it has to be $5,000. Put your money where your mouth is. I'll take on uh, that. Was $4,000 of our money not enough? Put some we teeth where your mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. I don't want to just take on Ben. After I take out Ben, and 15 minutes Shit. of taking a break, having a drink of coffee or a drink, whatever I want to have, I'm going to do Eat that. Coffee. And then I want... Ben, uh, Brett, within two minutes of being in the ring with Ben, the only thing you'll be drinking is your own coffee. <laughs> Alright, so, no. Uh, I'm sorry. First of all, your claim of being 6'5", I'm pretty sure is bull. I'm pretty sure you're 6'1", six foot, six foot tops. Um, and if you are, even if yeah, you are 6'5", five, you're 6'5", five of, like, Collect who cares? <laughs> You Pure know, blubber. years since sitting in a swivel chair in front of a depressingly wait, old computer wait, making shitty videos. Sitting? Like, you... No, 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 Paul. Lane. He wasn't sitting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lane, Lane, dude. Lane. Brett, you have no strength. I, I, Brett, I, I'd be shocked if you could fucking lift 100 pounds. I really would be shocked. If you could even 50 pounds. Your ass next, the amazing All right. Atheist. Oh, Let's all take shit. a bet here. How long would Brett last on a fucking treadmill? How fast is it going? Like three let's miles say, per hour? Two yeah, let's just say hour? it's going like, uh, I don't know, two a and a half. A brisk walk, you know? A brisk walk? Uh, I was going to say a light run. 20 oh, seconds. Yeah, if that. That's, yeah. that's all I'm giving five, him. Five, five minutes max. Oh, God, no five way. Minutes? No, no. Brett could not Shh. jog for five fucking minutes. There is no way. He smokes minutes. a fucking pack well, a day. Are we saying brisk walk? Or are we saying light Oh, jog? jog? Oh, a minute. Yeah. If a it's minute jog. Oh. We'll say jogging. Oh, yeah. We'll say how long, would a, how long could Brett jog? Maybe a minute. You think a minute? <laughs> I, could, I could probably jog for about 30 minutes. I mean, I could probably jog for about fucking... Two minutes. No, right. I could probably jog for about six if I really push myself. Six? Oh, no way. So I'm thinking Brett's probably around two. No, no way. Brett can jog for two minutes. No. Do you way. think he can even jog at all? No. I don't even know. I mean, I mean like it, it's a possibility he might not. I mean, like I don't know. I'm, I look at him and I kind of feel like maybe he can't really even jog. He could, he could probably jog. You think? <coughs> yeah. He's only. Brett, 30. can you make a video of you jogging? I'll give you I mean, thirteen <laughs> cents. I, I, I've got a feeling that Brett is probably in about the same shape I am, and I I couldn't jog for. Two minutes, you know what I mean? No way. I see, I want to see a video of Brett doing one push-up. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Yeah, yeah Brett. This right. is the Brett physical fitness challenge. Before we even try to negotiate this fight, Brett. Yeah, we want to make sure you're Demon medically clear. I want, yeah, I want demonstrate ten, ten to push-ups, ten sit-ups. Demonstrate to us that you're even remotely athletic enough to even compete. Uh, show us a video of you jogging for more than let's say let's say three minutes of you jogging, even in place. Let's see you hustle and actually move your fucking body for three minutes continuously before we judge whether or not like this is even a reasonable proposition. Let's see you demonstrate for us how you're physically fit. Demonstrate your fight skills. Demo yeah. Demonstrate your athleticism to us. Yeah, Brett, you mean you flexed before? You've been like, yeah, look, I'm in great shape, guys. Why don't you show us that how fucking great of shape you're in, man? I mean, it's obvious cameras. that Ben could easily he could win this fight without throwing a punch. He'd just have to dance around the ring for a couple of minutes, and Brett would just collapse under the weight <laughs> of his neglectful <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, that would be my strategy. Like, I don't want him to like lay on top of me or anything, because then you know if you know. He'd crush me, but yeah, I, I would kind of like run around, maybe like run up and and like kick him in the leg or something really hard, and then <laughs> and then dance around him. Yeah, th that's yeah, what I would do. Legs, like, like that's what I would do. I would try to like kick him in the knees as hard as I could, and then eventually, when he can't stand anymore, that's when you take him down. Sweet. I want to see that so bad. <laughs> It'll never happen. God, it dude. would be the most epic thing that ever happened. But as you can see from these reasonable stipulations <laughs> that Brett has, it's not ever going to happen. Brett, just there's not even any shame in saying no. Okay, 
There's not even any shame. If you don't want to do it, just say, no, I'm not going to do it. We're not even going to call you a pussy or anything because you won't accept a fucking fight challenge. Just yeah, say no. Like, putting the shoe on the other foot, if you, if you made some challenge to me to fight, I would say no. I don't fight. I'm not a fighter. So, you know, say what you want about that, but... You don't have to fucking lie and try and make yourself look like the big one in this hey, in this he, argument. He, I he's from St. Louis. King. He's from St. Louis, man. Yeah, man. I don't fuck with people from St. Louis. You know, the mean streets of St. Louis. Then Paul's ego, then Scotty. In that order. Sure. And each in that one order. Of Scotty, Scotty I you had something to say about this order, dude. Yeah, uh, Brad. I mean, you were smart. You're real smart, <laughs> saving me for last. Because I, 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 dude, when I heard that you wanted to fight, I was like, dude, I want to do it because I want to fucking beat the shit out of you, dude. I mean, I know Ben's gonna kick your ass first, and I mean, then if you if you somehow got through Ben and TJ, and Paul's just not gonna do it. Let's be honest, Paul, just be like, no, Brad, I'm not. I would, I'm not no. gonna do it. Not, you know? not, well, not, not, not for, gonna happen. I mean, honestly, like, I would do it if I believed for a second that he would own up to his end of the bargain. Like no, if we will, if we, if all four of us whooped his fucking ass, he would retire from YouTube and never make a fucking video again. And maybe oh, yeah. I was getting five grand for my trouble. Yeah, I, I might consider doing it. No, he but. says even, even if he, even if uh, he says He's there's no money shit. for us, he says they we've made yeah. enough money off of uh, him. So whatever. Got it. <clears throat> I'd kick Brett's ass. Right, I mean, I'd certainly. Paul I, I think Paul doesn't agree. I, yeah. I think the undercard. I'll, I'll do it. I, I think the undercard should be this guy versus Egghead. Oh, yeah, dude. Because they have a beef to settle. Oh, They yeah. should. They should fucking settle, Agreed. dude. Dude, I, wow. I know that they won't They won't do it because Beyond Fear is just too... She doesn't want to do it, but, man, I think that she and Ryby mud wrestling match, dude. <laughs> they, need <to> do it. <laughs> they need to do it, man. She got, really, she got, she got really cross at me for fucking uh, uh, describing her and Ryby's Twitter war as uh, bickering. I did like, see that, yeah. Bickering, huh? It's like what? She's it's like, like when guys do it, it's arguing. When or... guys do it, it's debates. But when it, yeah. it's us girls, it's bickering. It's like fuck you. It's <laughs> it'd be bickering. It'd be bickering no matter what well, you're. Well, you fucking, are a sexist. Uh, genitals. You are a sexist. shit. You're sexist. Come on, you fucking. Like I really give a fuck about you and Ryby's little lame ass feud in the first place. I just wanted to exploit it for fucking money and views. <laughs> <laughs> you, whenever you lose, you have to pay huh? me five thousand dollars each. And you also have to say on video that you will no longer use YouTube ever again. You can never use. You've said that before, and All you right, still Brett. go against it anyway. All right, you Brett. dumb shit. You know what, Brett? I accept. We. I accept this challenge personally, but before I accept it, I do have <laughs> some a st some stipulations. Oh, okay. You do it's a stipulation yeah. or two. What are they? So, uh, Brett. First of all, what I want you to do is you have to take a machete, okay? And you have to chop off your right hand, all right? Sounds reasonable. And then you yeah. have to get Dorn to chop off your left hand, <laughs> okay? And uh, then after that, you have to crawl on your hands and stumps like a dog, like your, uh, your feet and stumps like a dog, all right? You crawl to me, and you got to fucking kiss my ass. <laughs> And lick my asshole, and then you got to give me your world famous manatee gum job. Wow! And you have to let me come right in your fucking eyeballs. So you know you've, which I will then gouge out. <laughs> so it sounds like so you. So after that, but after that is met, <laughs> after that simple and reasonable stipulation is met. Yes. Yeah, after that, it's a stipulation. Yeah. After that reasonable stipulation is met, I will agree to every word. So I accept your fucking challenge, you bitch. You just actually Shit. accepted it, and if Brett... You fucking coward, Brett. Yeah, yeah, all accept. you did was up the ante. If you don't chop off your hands and let me fucking rape you, then you're a uh, fucking did you, coward. Did you also need to chop off his penis, too. <laughs> what you, penis? You, you Shit. Let him so nah, you can keep that thing. No Twitter, oh, no shit. Facebook, yeah, no YouTube. Doing it, no no doing it anyway. The last video people will see on YouTube... Is Yay. my video being uploaded ha. showing me beating every single one of you in between breaks? And that's cool. it. Yeah. So you got to pay $5,000 dollars each. And I will deal with all of you. Brett, well, we have like a fucking I also grammar or spelling will have an audience there to watch, witness, and record. All right, you here's what we can do. Uh, ben wants to fight you. All right? So uh, you and Ben can have a fight. 
Scotty suggested a spelling contest, so you and Scotty can have a spelling contest. Do it, Brett. Okay. Paul, what would you challenge Brett with? Um, who can eat the most Vienna sausages in a minute? A Vienna sausage speed Ugh. eating contest. Can you do that right before we have the fight? Because that would sure. be awesome. And yeah. then I would challenge you to a not being a total piece of shit contest. Oh, I win. Because <laughs> I'm only 90% a piece of shit. I have to fill out a contract stating that no matter how much damage you take, I will not be held responsible and there will be no criminal charges pressed. That's what sanctioning does. <laughs> oh, he's so no, fucking no stupid. No matter how much damage you take. Okay, Brett. So you, you, you honestly believe you're not going to get hurt. If, if we actually did this, you just believe that we're, no, none of us is even going to hit you once. I mean, you're really, gonna... like, what we're getting out of this, because he's getting all the money, right? And we have to quit. What we're getting out of this is uh, the word of a dude who's quit YouTube 15 fucking times at least. <laughs> in the last 10 years uh, and com comes back every fucking time. Like, why would we ever agree to this, Brett? You've shown time and time again that you don't follow your word. Nonetheless, like, why would we agree to this in your backyard of all fucking places? Like, no. Uh, that's the point. I mean, he knows that no one's going to agree to this. And this is just his way of saying no, but still being able to act like he said yes. But you was, can trust me. This is once again, Brett, no one's falling for this. No one is falling for this, Brett. Like, seriously, like, who do you think you're fucking fooling? Who on earth do you think this shit is fooling for a fucking second? That's what I want to know about you. That's what. That's why I want this interview. But don't I'm you, fucking don't you know who Brett's fooling? Brett's fooling him fucking self, dude. Look, look, look at this bravado. Just Brett, honestly, you think Brett really believes this? Do you really think Brett's like, you know what? I, in succession, I can beat up four other guys. No, I don't. There you go. That's all bullshit. But that's what. I, yeah, I know it's all bullshit. But I'm just trying to figure out who the fuck is he trying to convince that this is true? Himself. <laughs> Him fucking self, dude. That, that who, who else? Is, dude, so you're no one else is listening to Brett besides Brett. I mean, in a serious way. That. Peace. God bless. Fuck off. <laughs> what a retard. You're a fucking pussy, Brett. Oh my goodness. Go choke on a okay. dick and die. Fuck you, Brett King. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. The individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right. So uh, we're going to play a little bit of two different videos. Um, we'll do this one first. Uh, rape threats. Brett Keen calls the police. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't get listen to that awesome Brett Keen music, huh? Why is his little thing blocking... His uh, his little disclaimer there. That's weird. I think that was a mistake. But is, is your Brett, mic off, Scotty? Oh Brett doesn't make mistakes. Damn. All right. Scotty's mic was off. The show was better while it was, but now it's back on. So sorry. Everybody. Unfortunate, but yeah. Sad but true. I was thinking the same thing. You, you, you should have. Uh, you guys should have just been like, "Yeah, okay, Scott." I'm sorry. Was that in the? I don't. I don't really know exactly when every Metallica song happened because I never. I don't really listen to the fucking full album. So was that before you hate Metallica or after? After, after dude. Okay. For obviously with Ben, dude. Ben like. Well, I just. I'm just saying. I don't even know if that's one of their old songs or one of the new ones. Cause you can tell by like the up. the speed. Like Metallica was much faster. Uh, I don't know. A lot of their new stuff's pretty fucking fast. Nah, not missing. like it used to be. I don't know, man. Some shit on Death Magnetic was pretty yeah, fucking fast based. Some of it was, yeah. I have to agree it's, with it's a different kind of fast, though. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Brett King from Definitely. God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com, and connect it's with our, it's me gonna on be Facebook ours, Brett. Twitter. We're going to own God TV Radio. I uh, will be doing a live show tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, Anyone that wants to come in, you can. The comments will be disabled, but you can check out the link in the description. Has he has he progressed even more into blueberry uh, yeah. mode? Uh, like yeah, it's, he's it's, grape now. Huh. He is <laughs> to the fucking point where, like, eventually, Brett Skeen is just Brett, Brett Skeen. Skeen. <laughs> Brett Skeen is just gonna talk in front of a fucking like it's just gonna be like an infinite void of blackness just talking at you, you know? Because like, wasn't that, it gets darker and darker? He's, dude, he's gonna go back to his original form, like when it was just like it was all audio. 
I mean, like, honestly, Brett Kane would probably be better off if he stopped appearing on camera. Yeah, that would only improve his, his videos. Uh, he should also stop trying to fucking plaster all this stupid shit all over the fucking screen all the time. I know we got stupid shit on our screen, you know, but, like, his is just not... He doesn't do it well. He just has no sense of proportion. Like, if you wanted to put your fucking website at the bottom of the screen, like... Go take a page out of, like, the Pat Condell book or something, Brett, since you used to fucking be such an admirer of his. Go look at, like, if he put... I think he puts the his URL in his videos, if I'm not mistaken, but it, it's, like, tiny down there. It's just, like, very unobtrusive. Look, it's fine if Brett has an intro, like, hey, guys, check out uh, GodTVRadio.com and my other social media sites, like, you know, Facebook and Twitter. There'll be no problem with him doing that, but it's like he makes this really long intro, and throughout the video, a lot of videos, he fucking features a bunch of erroneous bullshit. It's right. like, who cares? Right, I want you to look at our layout here, all right? Uh, do you notice how, like, our fucking social media links and shit are not gigantic and dominating the whole fucking screen? Did you notice that? Yeah, we most have a of nice the real. Little subtle most... title up there. Like, the title of our show on our screen is, like, fucking half the size in terms of font as your fucking web URL at the bottom of your screen. Like, that's he's dumb, Brett. Like, look how jagged the font is. He's blown it up so much on whatever cheap program he uses to <laughs> oh, fucking... Oh, you're right! Like, look at, look at how fucked up it is. Like, ugh. Brett, it's a real, okay. it's a real estate issue, Brett. Like, Everything it, about it, you is... And Paul, funny. Paul, you've been to GodTVRadio.com, right? I, I, unfortunately, yes, I have. Yeah, why would you even brag about that site? It's just a fucking honor know. page. It's not like, know. like... I love how Paul went there. You know he was... Uh, how many times have you gone there? Not not many, to be honest okay. with you. Like I've this been twice, bit, I think. He's had better sites. Like, well, it, better in terms of content. Like, he's not really slandering people on his site anymore. It's just kind of a weird, like... He, he he advertises it, but really the only thing that was on there when I checked was like posts of videos that he made on YouTube. So it's like a landing place for his videos, almost like a YouTube channel. It's, it's just yeah. surreptitious at this point. Born YouTube. It'll take you to the countdown timer. You'll see the video in which the broadcast will play. Okay. Blah, 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 that, blah, blah. You know, at this time, you'll get to come in and uh, I'll chat with people. Like, Brett, what is the fucking I'll... point of your... Why even up here if you're going to be so fucking dark that it's just pointless? Like, if, 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 at least put some kind of fucking, like, filter on this so that the fucking purple pops out more or something, you know? If you're going to be <laughs> totally shrouded in darkness, give it some kind of stylized thing or something. I mean, this just is shit. Have you seen, have you this seen is the how, most visually okay. uninteresting, bland fucking setup I've ever Dude, seen. you've seen how Brett Keen looks. There, there's a few videos he does every once in a while. Well, he'll be outside or whatever, and you see him, like, in all his fucking glory and... I mean, Brett just doesn't look very good, dude. He doesn't want anyone to see him. I mean, I, I don't give a shit. I'd rather fucking see his dumb ass than look at this retarded you would rather fucking see, shit. Well, you would rather see Brett, really. You'd rather see yes, Brett. Yes, I'd rather oh. see Brett. I'd rather see his fucking ugly ass, fucking I, toothless maw uh, smiling back at nah, me. I don't know. I disagree. I say turn the light off completely. Yeah. Just film it in a completely dark well, room. I mean, if we're just going to fucking make a, a wish list, I just wish he'd stop making fucking videos so we could be free from talking about them. Some news that has happened. Yeah. Um, anyone out there that would like to do live gaming broadcast with me, you can, providing that you have a PlayStation 4. I've tried doing There you go, Paul. Paul, you got PlayStation 4, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I do. Uh, yeah, I do. I just don't have the inclination to spend time playing video games with Brad Aww, Keen. Aw, come on, Paul. He needs a friend right now. He's down. He's low. Okay, yeah, I've, I've been down that road. It doesn't It doesn't end well. <laughs> yeah, you get recorded. Yep. And even though I've got a pretty decent computer now, due to the help of some people out there, um, it does not do well at streaming. Not at all. Especially in certain games. But on PlayStation, I can stream like a motherfucker. So that's pretty cool. No, it isn't. No, Brad, it's not. Yeah, it's not cool. You're not cool. No, Nothing about this is fucking so cool. Talk about the, the rape threats. This, this video is entitled yeah. Rape Threats. This video is called Rape Threats. We've been watching this shit for fucking like a minute. 
I don't know, without pause, like, if you take out the fucking pauses, it's probably about a minute worth of shit we've watched. You haven't even said the word rape. If you're gonna fucking, if, if, look, if, if, if the Amazing Atheist, you know, the guy who actually knows what the fuck he's doing, makes a video called Rape Threats, you know how that video starts? It starts with me fucking talking about the goddamn subject matter, bitch! Fuck! You're so dumb. Like, if you really, if you really just can't fucking help yourself but put this shit in your video, put it at the end. I mean, like, I don't know why I try to help you. I'm really not even trying to help you. I'm just trying to help myself so that when I'm watching this shit, I don't have to sit through this nonsense every goddamn motherfucking time. You Fuck, gotta Brett. Your ineptitude is just fucking infuriating. He's too dumb. He'll never listen to anything. Like, look, if Brett actually listened to criti like, criticism and advice... It really is true. We do take turns flipping out on Brett at this, on this well, fucking you, show. Well, you we to. do. That's the only way you can like, be, stay sane watching Brett Keen videos. Like, but every but, episode, dude, but one Brett person breaks. Dude, Brett doesn't yeah. listen. Me, dude. He just doesn't listen to it. We've all done it at least once. Oh, my God. Brett, Brett, Brett. Like, please, Brett. Dude, in his mind, you and Even him though, are on the... Uh, dude, look. You, in his mind, you and him are on the same level. Brett. Even though you're a fucking idiot and I hate your guts, I'm legitimately giving you good advice here. Stop with the ridiculous fucking oversized shit all over the screen. Stop with the ridiculous filters that make you fucking look even more like a goddamn manatee. Nobody wants to watch that. Stop with these fucking endless goddamn intros. Stop with even after the endless intro is over, you feel the need to talk about more unrelated bullshit. Here's right. what people want on YouTube. The video starts, you delve into the subject matter, you fucking say some pithy, interesting, entertaining fucking things. It, then, you wrap up by fucking ending with a hopefully some sort of good punchy line that people are going to remember and sticks with them. And then you fucking do your little sign off, Brett, I'm Brett Keen, off to go you're fucking about, eat some seaweed the somewhere, is, the problem, bye. You're, you're, dude, your huge problem here is you're thinking that Brett Keen makes these videos for an audience. Brett Keen makes these videos for himself. Well, but here's the thing. He he knows enough about what people want to watch to make the misleading title. But he wants an yeah. audience. But he can't. But he can't produce the but, fucking but, title. But Brett's ego is number one. Yeah. So I mean, Radio. even though he wants that audience and he wants all these accolades, he's not going to get it because he doesn't want to actually listen to people. Like he knows what they, he knows how to get them to click and look. But then it's just all about him. Yeah. Like Radio. all these fucking. Sorry. Video ti video title. The entire world explodes. <laughs> all right. Let's 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 film this. <sighs> hey, everybody, this is Brett Keane. Um, uh, look, I got a PS4, and uh, <laughs> I play video games on it. I'm like, what? <laughs> so some other news. The other news is this. Um, the tonight, first thing wasn't someone news. someone called my home and threatened to want to rape my wife. And See, Brett, right there. That's where the video should begin. Yep. None of that other shit should have been there. As soon as the video starts, that's where you start, okay? You know, you, 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 you come up with these, you're, you're really actually pretty good at incendiary clickbaity titles. Although I'm trying to put a stop to that shit, at least in regards to me. Yeah. But if if you want to fucking make, if you're going to make clickbaity fucking titles, then <coughs> the reason per a person clicked on that is not to fucking listen to you prattle on about pointless shit. You know what, I don't it's even... They want to hear that fucking subject matter discussed. All that's going to happen, this video is 14 minutes long, and he's just going to talk, he's going to tell a bullshit story about someone who threatened to rape Dawn, whatever. Uh, well, that's how you know it's I bullshit. I feel more sorry for that's them. That's how you know it's bullshit. He's so, threatening to rape Dawn, like, come on. We're going to move on... No one. We're going to move on to a clickbaity title about TJ. It's, it's entitled... News story: Popular atheist sentenced in prison for fraud and more. Cool. Damn, TJ Stewart in prison, huh? And uh, no, he's talking about your dad. No, I know. Oh, okay. Fucking, well, the the cover image of this video is a picture of me. Yeah, what the fuck? So he's basically saying that I'm uh, that I was. Uh, Are you your own father? For prison and fraud. Like he's he's trying to imply that it's me. You are. We, he's done that. He's like mixed you and me up before. There's a video that he's since taken down where he says he's going to whoop my ass in five minutes, but then he mixes you and me up. He like switches, to, he like totally changes gears and switches to you as if he's still talking about me, though. Like, I can't possibly beat his ass because TJ was raised swear, by a rich person. Brett Keen sees me when he closes his fucking eyes. Dude. He's weird. What a creepy, fat piece of shit. All right. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> no, no, listen. 
Listen, I'm serious. You're just a creepy, fat tub of shit, right? <laughs> like, you're obsessed with me. It's fucking disgusting. You sit around all day crying about how I'm better than you, fucking jerking off into your fucking mac and cheese and shit. And, oh, I'm such a miserable fucking turd of a human being. And if only TJ hadn't done all that mean stuff, I'd be great. It's like, Brett, you fucking, the only fucking person who sabotaged your entire goddamn life is you, all right? Every fucking bad thing that's ever happened to you, it's not because you're a fucking victim. It's because you're a piece of shit and you brought it all on your goddamn wait, self. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta correct you on one point. He did yeah. not choose the way he was gonna look. I mean, like, he looks pretty bad. No. That, that's just genetics. Brett, uh, Brett, sh you know what? If Brett wasn't such a fucking ugly human being on the inside, his appearance wouldn't even be as fucking ugly as it seems now. All right, here it is. Here's here's the news story. He'd be way more like to tolerate. I mean, like, look, it's like Pimp Monk isn't a total piece of shit. Pimp Monk's uglier than Brett, just to <laughs> fucking put him side by side. But I don't fucking feel like I'm, like, I don't look at Pimp Monk and go, oh, shit, what a fucking disgusting piece of garbage. You know, because sure. at least he's a fucking cool guy and shit. And you fucking yeah. look past it, and after a while, I don't even notice that he's ugly as a fucking sin. But, you know... <laughs> But Brett, you know, you just, you never get past it because he's fucking ugly inside. I don't like pain. And Pimp Monk knows he's ugly, so it's not an insult. And I'm uh, ugly too, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't like It's pain. not like this is the fucking GQ podcast, except for Ben, of course. What? Everyone's fan favorite. Yeah. <laughs> ben, <laughs> ben, the, I, I, ben, I, I the, Paul the shirtless the flexer, favorite. dude. Yeah, Ben fucking, they were, the subreddit actually was blowing up over Ben, like, yeah, look, he fucking, he not only take his mask off, but he took his shirt off at one point, too. Look, you guys, look at them <sighs> rippling abs. Oh. I do not have abs. But, but I'll, I'll tell you what, honestly, well, they said Paul, you did. honestly, Paul, I've heard a lot of people that uh, want to have uh, intercourse with you, Paul, so. Sweet, Paul. Like, yeah, send, I mean, send their numbers my way. You know, I, don't I know the always, I've, I've just heard it stated. I've heard it stated. I'm not even I making this up. Scotty was collecting the numbers or some shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to fuck Paul. Give me the number, okay, Paul. Yeah. Next anyway, time, let's hear about. Next time I go to the, any meetup, I'll ask people if their numbers. Let's watch fuck fucking uh, two minutes of intro and then hear about how I'm a piece of shit afterwards. <laughs> like, let's skip to two minutes into this. All right. <laughs> Scotty, you don't have to act like a monkey to be an annoying shit. You already are. Don't worry. I wasn't worried about it. They were referred oh, now to he's red. Cool. <laughs> universities. And what he would do... Wait, did you say LaSalle Universities? God, you're dumb, Brett. What the fuck, Brett? Universities. It, it was one place. It was one university. LaSalle Universities. There's not a fucking... It's not plural. Why would it be plural, Brett? It's like, Why would it fucking be plural? Haven't you ever heard of the Ohio State Universities? Would anyone Harvard. say Harvard Universities, Brett? Yep. Hear that all the, the time. Universities. <laughs> Humanity oh University. Dude, fuck you, Brett, Brett, Brett. Brett! Like, seriously, I don't even know the context of what you're saying yet, and already you've said something so retarded, I just want to slap myself. Let's go on. Let's hear what I have to say. Is he created websites where he said to young people that if they paid $3,000 or more, he could get them a diploma and also be able to help them get PhDs. No, what? Now, normally, it could no, take up to no, five to no, six no, no, years no. to get your PhD. Okay, well, this extremely that. popular atheist who had the world <laughs> Christian church out there. Okay, my what? You're, he's 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 like making you and your dad one yeah, collective they're person. Okay, you guys are merging. So my dad was not an atheist. My dad <laughs> believed in God. He believed in the afterlife. Um, he believed in the spirit not, world. Not to mention, no, not to mention, no, no, Brett. There's, a, there's a big, there's a big fucking caveat. Your because, yeah, our dad started something called LaSalle University, but right next to the building was the World Christian Church, which he also started and built and funded. Well, he just mentioned it, so yeah, he must he know about that. it. Yeah. But that was just a scam, according but, I mean, to Brett. But no, I mean, like, uh, my dad was a religious person. My dad was religious. He and I actually got in tons of arguments because I was an atheist and he was religious. That was, like was one of the big things we butted heads about, you fucking moron. How if can you sit there and say that my dad is an atheist when you don't even know that? He, well, it, it's, it's kind of like how he takes, you know, the things your dad got in trouble for and then somehow makes that 
something you did, even though that's nothing. You had nothing to do with it. He's I mean, doing that right now. He's yeah, trying to conflate. He's making you and your dad one person. It's crazy. somehow. Yeah, it's not weird. only that, but he he always tries to make it like like your dad was like getting like people seventeen and a half year old straight out of high school. <laughs> no, these these were these were grown ups that wanted to fucking get a quick degree. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, like we've explained, Brett. I don't know how many times I have to fucking explain this to you, but the people who signed up for LaSalle University knew that LaSalle University is kind of bullshit. Okay, kind of bullshit. The reason they wanted the degree is because they thought they could fool employers with it, which many people did. Which plenty of fucking people did. So actually, it's a quick it leg up. up. That's what it was, Brett. They knew exactly what they were fucking paying for. No one's saying, "Oh, I'm going to buy a five thousand dollar degree on my work life experience." And my dad, and it's legit. my dad, uh, he he did not go to jail because of offering so called fake degrees. And, and, and it's not even the charges. Yes, okay? wasn't. And TJ, when you say your dad, you're talking about you, right? Oh yeah, I'm talking about myself. Oh, okay. In my right. past life. Just clearing that dad, up. Because you know we're one entity. Yes. But uh, no, my what what my dad did. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. I'm fooled into believing that he was actually religious himself. He was religious. Hey, what what ended know? up oh. happening is... And he was popular. He, he says he was a popular atheist. Like, what was he popular no, doing? No, he was a popular atheist how, in Louisiana. Yeah, how, how the fuck could you... How the fuck could you open a church and, and a religious and a university? Atheist. Yeah. Who the fuck would go to your church? <laughs> what? My dad literally did sermons at this church. Uh, yeah, Brett, not to mention... My dad literally was fucking sermonizing from the Bible on the stage of the fucking church. Uh, we knew How our dad... How is that a popular atheist, so now that we, knew, we knew our dad way better, what are, like, better than you, Brett. What evidence do you have he was an atheist? Because I lived with him for a large part of my life, and he never once to me was like, I am a committed atheist. Literally ripped off thousands... Of young people, no, he did not. Who believe that they could actually get a degree, get a PhD? No, that's not what happened. No, no one Brad. believed that. You dumb shit. You dumb shit. No one believed. Brett. No fucking person is so fucking dumb that they hear about. Oh yeah, what, my, the point I was trying to make earlier was that my dad didn't even go to jail for fucking selling fake degrees or whatever. He went to jail for tax, tax evasion. evasion and mail fraud. Yes. Neither of which is, uh, you'll notice, selling fake degrees, because that's not even a fucking crime, you stupid shit. That's why I was located in Louisiana. What, the way he was doing it, it wasn't illegal. Yeah, I mean, like, he fucking... He didn't pay taxes, though. That, that was the illegal part, was not paying It wasn't taxes. even that the company didn't pay taxes. It was that he yeah. wouldn't pay any personal taxes, because he was a fucking moron about that shit, and he just thought he was fucking, you know, hot shit in a champagne glass, and he could get away with anything. Yeah. But it had nothing to do with the degrees being fraudulent, because if they were all exactly what they were. It's like, hey, here's a degree in life experience, which basically means like you take your fucking quote unquote life experience and we'll transfer that into credentials for this degree from LaSalle University. Okay. That's what they were buying. No one looks at that and says, you know what, this is a legitimate institute of fucking learning. No, uh, you know, you know people what? look at that and say, I bet I could fool a fucking dipshit employer with this thing. Uh, and that's bit, exactly what people use well, them for. A big place he advertises to, he, he didn't advertise this to young people, he advertised this in uh, airplane magazines. For uh, who f well, mostly flies, you, business you, professionals. You know, you know how m young people are reading airplane magazines and have tons of life yeah. experience that they can draw on to translate into yeah, a degree. No, yeah, like the target market was people who were in their like thirties, forties, yeah, business professionals who wanted who to get ahead. wanted to move up in their career. So they fucking they wanted a credential so they could say like, look, I got this credential. And, you know, like, let's say you've been in a fucking industry for fucking 20 years and you're like, man, this is bullshit. All these other people are passing me up for promotions because I don't have this fucking degree. So you just say, fuck it. I'll just go buy a fucking degree from this guy and no one's going to look into it or anything because, you know, they don't fucking really give a shit. If I say I have this degree from LaSalle University and I have a fucking certificate from it and I have the, these credentials and whatever, yeah, then and, I can fucking and, get and the And there's job. a third party that can't be contacted. Oh, did so-and-so attend LaSalle University? Yes, he did. Here's a transcript. Yep, he attended. But, of course, my, my dad was very careful never to tell people, like, that's what this is for or anything. But they figured it out because they're not fucking retarded. 
You know, you just say the right things and the, get the wheels turning in people's heads. So if anything, the people who bought this degree were really complicit, not in a, were really complicit in a scam that was not against them, but against uh, the employers that were hiring them based on the fucking credentials yeah. that my dad was providing them. So you're fucking misidentifying who the victim is here. And it's not like there isn't a victim. You know, if, if there just wasn't a victim, then I could see you lying. But since there actually is a victim, why don't you just get it right? Why don't you just report on something that's actually accurate? And then people will take it more seriously. I mean, no one would take it very seriously anyway because it's my dad, not me, and no one else thinks it's a big deal that my fucking dad ran some scam when I was a fucking kid, except for you, because you have this weird, like, father-like son thing that applies to me only, but it doesn't apply to you, because your dad was a deadbeat and a fucking he beat your mom and shit, according to you in videos, but you're not like him, because that, that son's not like that father, but I'm like my father, because... It's not just that you're like him, it's he talks about you yeah, like you're one. the same... It's, it's, it's like the Holy Trinity, only there's two. You're, you're, you're the Holy Duo. Well, it's because... It, because, because you know? If, if it, if, you know, well, look, Brett has nothing on TJ, really, so, but he has all this shit on our dad, so it's like he wants to try to make that stick as much as possible, because he has no ammunition against TJ. Where, where's his ammunition? Brett. He well, <laughs> the, 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 I mean, my like... my dad went to jail, I was... Was 12 years old. You worked for him though, didn't you? And our dad was, him was 12 he was years people. old, uh, Brett. We basically moved back to Louisiana and our dad started this when I, TJ was maybe five, like, TJ was like five and I was like three or four. Yeah, but I was crucial to the formation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you were there. Basically the I was ringleader. Quite a business savant at an early age, yep. you know? Like, like, uh, how, how many, uh, ch how many uh, charges do you have, TJ, for tax evasion and mail fraud? Uh, well, you know, because I am my father, I, of course, have those two. Right, right. Well, you're Aside more like Brett that, than you in think. This because... lifetime as T in this lifetime as TJ, as Thomas James Kirk the third, rather than the fucking second, you know, in this lifetime, I, uh, I, I have none. But in the past lifetime... All kinds of fucking shit. I was all numerous. All kinds of shit. You know, back then, right. crazy, crazy. I mean, stuff. The, the whole like father like son thing applies way closer to Brett. Once again, uh, you, you said your dad was a deadbeat and a wife beater, and uh, I know somebody in the uh, on the screen here that has some domestic violence charges. I won't name any names, but he looks like a fucking giant mutated raspberry, and that's we'll just <laughs> leave it there. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, as far as, I mean, like, he may not be a total deadbeat, but it, it doesn't really seem like he's contributing much to that household financially, so. No, w when you could do eight-hour hangouts, like, three days a week, I mean. And it's not like they're yeah. popular and making money. Uh, right. Besides Brett's disability check, probably nothing. Anyway, let's listen to more of this. Get a diploma, all these different things. So they sent in thousands of dollars, and finally it added up to about $35 million. But it gets worse. Because the business was actually a fake, it was a fraud, not the church itself, the guy wasn't paying his taxes. So the government ended up coming after him. This is a news story. It's actually accurate, the, the ten not paying his taxes thing, yeah. What ends up happening is the guy, <clears throat> the guy. ends up trying to skip town. He tries to hide, so he ends up getting yet another charge put against him where he's a fugitive. <clears throat> That's not true. Run. That, actually, that is true. Uh, well, no, he he left, but was he actually charged with that? No, he wasn't charged with anything. I mean, yeah, like, he wasn't charged with anything. That's he left, and then um, he came back. He actually left as a bargaining tactic. He left, and then they were willing to make some deals with him if he'd come back because they didn't want to waste resources trying to find him. So basically, it was just a negotiation tactic. He wasn't actually trying to fucking escape. Yeah, he would have. Uh, our, look, our dad had access to a lot of money at that time. If he really wanted to leave the country, he could have left the country and never come back. Yeah, but uh, what he did was uh, he he left. He went to fucking hide out in California. Uh, he waited it out a little bit so that they would offer him a better deal, and he came back when they offered him a better deal because he had his lawyer down there negotiating with the fucking FBI the entire time. So this idea of like, oh, well, you know, he ran away or tried to escape and then he was a fugitive from justice and shit is kind of an exaggeration. Yeah, that's what I meant. The World Christian Church was ready to sue him as well as the many thousands of students out there who were ripped off by this atheist 
who is pretending to be what, a preacher what evidence who is do you also have? How is he at the rank of president. He was a no, no true scam artist. Yeah. Uh, it's the, the it, it, Newsflash, Brett. Christian people do bad things all the time. All the time. If they didn't, I mean, look, I the would prison not population would be a, a, a micro fraction of what it is right now. I would not go so far as to say that my dad was a Christian. Didn't but, you say, were you joking, but didn't you say he was a Scientologist at one point? Yeah, he was a Scientologist okay. at one point. My dad was spiritual. He liked the, te he liked the Bible. He liked the, some of the teachings of Jesus. He liked a lot of the teachings of fucking Solomon. He really admired Solomon. Um, you know, <coughs> he actually really admired Satan, too. So you could... <laughs> Sweet. <coughs> My dad did like like Satan, but he liked God, and he liked a lot of fucking other religious beliefs too. He had he had there was things in Eastern fucking religions that he liked. And Elrond. My dad, yeah, and Scientology, and all kinds of fucking weird beliefs that just seemed like very New Agey, and you didn't really know where they came from. But like, yeah, my dad was kind of like a New Ager, I guess, because he was just taking different things from different religions and kind of hodgepodging them into his own thing. Yeah. But. You know, one thing he certainly was not was a fucking atheist. My dad used to fucking give us this shit all the time where we'd be sitting in the car with him and he'd be like, you know, are we mortal beings or are we immortal beings having the mortal experience? <laughs> like, I think we're just mortal beings, dad. No, you're wrong. It's like, uh -huh. how can you say that? You know when your body dies? You know what it does? Like the system shut down one by one, almost like a person going through a house, shutting the lights off as they're about to leave to go on a journey somewhere else. I'm like, well, that's just, a, that's kind of an interesting little metaphor or whatever. But, you know, and we'd have these arguments, you know, usually more heated than what I'm portraying there. But still, we had these fucking stupid arguments about religion and, and what I consider to be his irrational beliefs and shit. And him fucking sitting there talking shit about evolution and science and shit. I mean, if anything... Uh, he's pr probably be more like fucking Brett Keane's ass there on the religious subject matter. Just kind of taking whatever he likes and following it. Or, you know, using it to suit his own needs. So, uh, calling my dad an atheist, like, I don't, under I don't understand how you get off just an atheist based on nothing. It's just something you've pulled completely out of your ass that has no bearing in reality whatsoever. There's not even, there's not even a basis for you to believe that. There's not even a fucking... Uh, like you can't, you're not even like misconstruing something you read somewhere or misunderstanding something. You're just whole cloth making that shit up. 100% fucking made up. Has no basis in fact whatsoever. You have no credibility. You're such a fucking liar. I mean like I was actually there. I lived this shit. Okay? I actually knew my fucking father. You didn't know him. You say he's an atheist based on nothing. I say he was a believer based on having tons of conversations with the man. If my dad was an atheist, I'd have no problem saying my dad was a fucking atheist. No, not at all. I mean, and that's all beside the point that this is this has nothing to do with you. What, like you <laughs> said before, this happened this happened when you were fucking twelve. So what's this the point of bringing it up? <laughs> Well, at this point, it's I'm just, I'm just story. <laughs> at this point, I'm just trying to fucking uh, stop him from like besmirching my father's name and lying about my fucking dad and what my dad believed and what my dad actually did. You know, I'm not saying my dad was a great guy in every respect or that, you know, he didn't do some fucked up shit because there was definitely some things he did that were wrong in my view, but uh, it wasn't what you said he did. You're fucking lying like a piece of shit like you always do. And you're lying about the dead in this case. You're lying about someone who can't even fucking tell the truth. I mean, how would you like it if I fucking, like, made a video on my Amazing Atheist channel where I just talk about how uh, your mom was a whore and she slept with every guy in fucking Festus and, uh, you yeah, know... I don't even know who your fucking daddy is, She died is, of Brad. fucking AIDS. Yeah, like, Cindy, Keen, Cindy Keen <laughs> sucked every dick in Festus, Missouri, guys. How dare I, you I, attack his family? He never does that to... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, how would you feel, Brett? Like, try to let, let's try to fucking ex an experiment in empathy here for a second. How would you feel if I came on YouTube and made a video just outright, flat out lying about your mom, who's dead and can't defend herself? Oh, there's no, there's no depths that Brett is not, not willing to go to, dude. He I know, I'm not, I know, I'm trying to. I know it's a futile exercise trying to get Brett to actually exercise empathy for another human being. Of course. But I just want to, I just want to point out to him how bankrupt he is. 
just how fucking dead inside he is, Brett how Hardy. unable Brett to actually connect to another human being he is. Brett, Brett, you're a piece of shit. Brett you're, Brett, you're so pathetic. You have to fucking dredge up 20-year-old shit that doesn't even involve us. It involves our family. Our dad did something. Whether you agree with it, you think it was the, he's the biggest piece of shit in the world, that's not something that either TJ or I participated in. And, and I mean, it's ridiculous that you even imply that we did. <coughs> I, I mean... It, it, it. He keeps bringing up, like, the, the criminal record and everything, but we all know Brett has a criminal record, too. <laughs> so, yeah, Brett, you've been yep. charged yeah, I happen, with criminal actions. I happen to think that my dad um, evading his taxes... That's a forgivable... Is, is a know. more forgivable sin in life than beating your fucking spouse. Yeah. Or having domestic violence charges against your own fucking mother, who's ridden with cancer at the time. Or getting on the internet and just lying compulsively about everything. Get on the internet and lying on a daily basis. Every day, right? Like if on the if I had to put... You, you can sit here and say my dad was a piece of shit, but I guarantee you that if we put you and him in a side-by-side -side fucking examination of... Like, try to assess the moral character of these two people. Guess what, Brett? Lose. Like you always lose. Because you're Brett fucking Keen. Yeah. That pretty much puts a period so on here's it. Where it gets well, I'm still going. We'll see what else we got. The guy ends up getting caught. He gets taken to prison. He wasn't caught. He turned himself in. after they, yeah, My dad, yeah, he turned himself in. He wasn't caught. He charged him with several counts of fraud, indictment, as well as scams. And uh, you know, he was charged with scams. Charged with scams, Brad. Scar his scams. God, you're yeah. so fucking stupid. Uh, Did the, he say... Well, what are the charges? Uh... Felony tax evasion, uh, scams, scams of the RC. third degree. You know what? Actually, I'm sorry. My dad actually was not convicted of mail fraud. No, he, he had. A what is mail fraud? He had, he had, he, they're frauding I, people through the mail. Oh, okay. he was convicted, he actually, conspiracy. No, he was convicted of conspiracy to commit mail fraud. So he never actually committed the mail fraud uh, or I mean, got caught he, committing he, it. My dad cut a deal. I mean, he. The mail fraud, like the mail fraud charge. Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Because they operate through the mail. From what I understand about the mail fraud charge, the mail fraud charge is bullshit. Like it's just, it was, it's nothing. It's a nothing charge. It's basically a bullshit charge. The only thing they really had him on, dead to rights, was tax evasion. The other charges they were threatening him with, that was just to scare the shit out of him and say, like, look, you looking at 130 years behind bars. That's what they do to people to get them to take fucking shitty plea deals. Because they don't want to fucking go to trial with shit. You know, so they, they, they have him on one thing, actually. They have him on fucking tax evasion. That's the only fucking charge they actually have any fucking real substantive evidence of. That's the only charge that actually has a strong fucking merit behind it. Because he actually did evade his fucking taxes. Everything else that he was charged with was bullshit. Uh, it was just designed to inflate his sentence to scare the shit out of him so he'd take a fucking plea deal, which he of course did. Because otherwise, you could get fucked royally by the federal government. So he, he took the fucking plea deal. He pled guilty to fucking uh, tax evasion, which he genuinely was guilty of, and conspiracy to commit mail fraud, which is just a bullshit charge they tacked on so they could get... A, so, they just, so they could fuck him a little bit harder, you know? And, uh, you know, he went, to, he went to prison, yeah. Uh, he was sentenced to five years. He only served three years. He only served three years because my dad, being the consummate scammer that he is, quickly discovered that if he enrolled in a, a drug treatment program in prison uh, for drug addiction, they would knock time off his sentence if he completed it, even though he was never into drugs even, didn't even do drugs. But he's like, yep, I'm a fucking horrible drug addict. Put me in the program. And uh, they knocked two years off his sentence because he completed that. That was one year. Well, whatever. No, it must have been more than that, because he was sentenced to five years, only served like three, three and a half. So, maybe there was some more time off for good behavior or something, I don't know. Who knows, probably something like that. His wife, while he's sitting in prison, is similar. still trying to run some of these pyramid schemes. Pyramid, pyramid schemes? It's not a, it's not a pyramid scheme. What? Uh, the, the, the diploma thing is uh, a pyramid? A diploma mill well, is a totally different dad kind of was scam than a pyramid scheme, at the time, shit. Uh, at the time, our dad was not married. <laughs> yeah, my dad was not married when he, this went he, down. That is true that he, they tried to start like another little uh, thing in like Hawaii or something. That is true. Yeah, there was the, my, my, uh, my stepmom, uh, Natalie, who he was not married to at the time, was just his girlfriend. He did try to have her run some shit 
uh, in, in Hawaii or something while it was going on. Yeah, and he gave but her a shit ton of money, too. Like. It didn't actually pan out anyway because he wasn't there to actually run it. You know, if you put a fucking former Hooters manager huh. in charge of fucking a, 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 a diploma operation, you know, she's not going to fucking make any like, money out of it. One thing I think about my, uh, my dad is that he was... I mean, he was, like, really smooth in dealing with people in sales. So, like, when people would call up and if they had any concerns, or by the time they got off the phone with him, they were like, yeah, that all sounds good. I'm signing up. Yeah, my dad was a fucking consummate salesman, dude. He could sell fucking fire to the devil kind of shit. But, you know, he was, de yeah, he was definitely that smooth talker kind of thing. But, um... Yeah, I mean, uh, this is this is absurd. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, this is all he's like. Brett King is literally talking about events that happened when I was a child, and trying the to say <laughs> that I have some complicity in it. Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to sidestep my fucking part in this, but I just didn't have one. <sighs> Okay? You I didn't have a part TJ, in it. TJ, even though you were a child, you benefited from your dad's scam. Uh, I definitely did benefit from it. No <laughs> doubt about that. Uh, yeah. Like, I would... My dad was so fucking rich at one point that I'd ask him to go buy... Like, I'd, we'd, me and Scotty would go to him and be like, Dad, we need to get a pizza. And my dad would just hand us, like, two, three hundred dollars. Like, here you go. Yeah, that's how much a pizza costs, get right? Get your pizza. Have fun. And, like, we literally... Like, they, oh, when pizza got delivered to our house, like, they were, like, fighting to fucking deliver because, like... He'd give us a hundred dollar bill, and they would, our dad would like, Dad, they don't have change. He'd just be like, I just tell him to keep it then. So we'd order like twenty dollars worth of pizza, and they'd be like in like an eighty dollar tip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he was—he didn't give a shit. Well, you, when you have millions of dollars, who cares? He had what he called "fuck you" money, which is basically like he felt like he could say "fuck you" to anyone at any time. Unfortunately, the one person you can't say "fuck you" to just because you have Uncle money. Uncle Sam, is, yeah, you can't say yeah. "fuck you" to the government. Nope. Never fucking say "fuck you" to them. Especially not the IRS. Give them their money. It's worth it. They've, they've, they've got more fuck you money than anybody else has. So. They do. Yeah. They do indeed. While she's on the outside, she ends up getting caught. Uh, no. False. She did not get caught. There was nothing to get caught at, okay? Like I said, at the time, the way these things were arranged, they were totally legal. I don't know if there's laws against that sort of thing now. For the most part, there really are. But, uh, but you know, at the time, there was no laws on the books. They were, they were in a legal gray area. So it wasn't like there was a crime being committed just by her running one of these things. A diploma mill, basically. Uh, in the state where she was at and the way it was set up, it was perfectly legal to do. But uh, it, she was not caught, okay? She just mismanaged it, and it fucking went belly up because she fucked it up. Okay, she, you know, my dad was stupid trying to, thinking that uh, his fucking girlfriend who worked at Hooters could just do what he did and fucking run a fucking school, a bullshit school or not. You know, so that was the problem there. She didn't get caught, you stupid fuck. <laughs> this atheist woman. <laughs> what? Oh she, my god, Another no. atheist. They're, They're all atheists. fucking idiot. Definitely not. We're, no. Na my my stepmom, Natalie, was a fucking hardcore devout ass Christian, bitch. She was a Christian, like your scummy ass. Okay? She wasn't a fucking atheist. You're a dumbass. You're so fucking you're such a I don't know if you're are you just this stupid that you feel like you know this? Or do you know you're lying? Like, that's what I really want to know. Yeah. That's another interview question. Like, that, that's the Brett, number you, one question. Brett, when you fucking come on, when you fucking tell one of your ridiculous, obvious, everyone knows you're lying lies, <laughs> number one, do you know you're lying or do you actually think it's true? And number two, do you actually expect anyone to fucking believe it? <laughs> like, those are the two questions that always run through my head. Like, I'd really want to hear the answer to those two questions, Brett. Honestly... Brett, if you would make a video satisfactorily answering those two questions for me, then I would fucking, uh, I'd consider that a fulfillment of my interview perk, because those are the two most pertinent questions. And I don't, I don't mean just making a, a, a video answering them, I mean a video really answering them. Don't fucking sidestep, don't deflect, don't launch into a Brett Keen like, oh, I don't really understand what's going on here. No, if you directly answer those two questions honestly, what? What? for the first time in your life, I'll consider that a fulfillment Dude, come on. Come and, on. Uh, I won't. we won't watch any Brett Keen videos on DVD I mean, ever again. You, you may as well want him again. to... You may as well ask him to fucking fly to the moon under his own power and <laughs> fucking know, throw me, it I into know. the sun. It, Brett, like the, if there's one thing in, in life that Brett Keen is utterly incapable <laughs> of, it's, it's honesty and forthrightness. <laughs>
in the digital I could, situation. Oh, Check out the I wish we could oh, find those people, like the other people that were there, and interview the them about their experience. Segment situation. We're, at, at that point, we're the only people there. Actually, you know what? Some other people walked in, but she totally ignored them, and they just left. Like, there were two guys yeah. on like, motorcycles, and they just went like, Wah! and they peeled out and just, like, fucking left the parking lot. We were because yeah. I, 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 I even warned TJ. I'm like, dude, this is gonna be a fucking disaster. But he fucking TJ wanted to stay. I'm like, a couple times. My like, TJ, come on, dude. He's like, no, but we gotta stay. We gotta stay. No, we gotta stay. We gotta we gotta stay here. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with TJ? I figured he was just like fucked up. And then later on, like, you you tell me that. I and I just realized like, no, TJ really wanted to be there. He wanted to see that shit go down. <laughs> I don't even know how you hope for something like that. Like nothing. Nothing you said oh. had prepared me for no, that. No, dude, dude. I went back to that Waffle House uh, <coughs> since then, and I saw that waitress. Uh, she was working again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, she was actually, I think she was, she was just ending her shift or something, because she was outside. Mm -hmm. But uh, I swear she fucking was crying again, though. Really? Jesus. Yeah. But, but, Paul, you know the thing is, is that me and TJ have been to a lot of Waffle Houses, like, especially late at night, where it's like, usually the people are the problem, but sometimes people that work there, they're, they, they're just going through a bunch of shit, you know, and, and you just see crazy shit like that. Because I've seen, like, nothing nothing like that, but I've seen a lot of crazy shit at Waffle Do you Houses. I remember some Waffle House waitress who looked like a crack whore telling me one time, like, you need to stay in school, you're going to end up as <laughs> Don't end up like I did. Get your education. Like, was was this in Louisiana? Yes. Dude, okay. What was it like? Galen wanted an egg on like a sandwich at Waffle House. Oh and, my god! Dude, you gotta tell that story. I mean, it's not really a story. It's it just, kind of is though. Okay. Well, Galen wanted a chicken sandwich, <laughs> but he wanted an egg on the sandwich, like a fried egg on the sandwich. Right. And this bitch, like, he it, it took him like five minutes to explain to her that order because she just did not get it. You want what? He literally had to. Ex the explanation that finally ended up sinking in was <coughs> he had to fucking mime the sandwich and show her where the egg. Like, all right, look here. It's bread, then the chicken, then the toppings, then the egg, then the other bread. <coughs> and she's like, all right. <laughs> this is witchcraft. Wow. And then the next time when Scotty was there. Um, the waitress was like, is your one friend here? And they, they, they described Galen, and Scotty's like, no, he's not here. Good. Oh, dude, yeah, I remember that. Like, like me and Matt went over there, and they're like, is that, is that tall, like, blonde-haired guy with you guys? We're like, no. What about this weird guy with glasses? Like, is, he like, is his name Galen? They're like, yes. And it's like, oh, shit. They're like, we don't like them. And they like they they said they talked a bunch of shit about you guys. I'm like, well, that's huh. really random and weird. Like, okay, but more about Galen than me. <laughs> oh, they hated you too, though. I mean, they hated me as well. <laughs> you guys were totally hated over there. But they more they didn't, I never did anything to them. They more just hated me because I fucking hung. Out, I was with Galen. Well, no, you're not, you're just like another weirdo to them. Like that's some long haired weirdo. I mean, like hey. in a Waffle House, I was. I wouldn't be even in the top thousand weirdest motherfuckers in there. Yeah, they didn't like you though, TJ. Didn't like you. They didn't like, like me because Galen fucking uh, <laughs> held them to the standards of a fucking five-star restaurant. I would like to be served now! Alright, uh, this video is called Brett Keen Trendy and Popularity. Okay. All right. this, cool. That title doesn't make any sense. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Brett Keen Trendy, and... Trendy and Popularity. Popularity. I'll play the song this time. This is fucking Brett, you know, a few years ago. Oh, maybe today. Whatever. The song fucking rocks. Where can I find more of this awesome music? You On CD Baby, iTunes, and other fine stores. Oh, there we go. Amazon CD Baby iTunes. Buy CD. Click here and check I out. I want to buy that CD oh, of right. awesome music. What, what it is, Grimace? From God TV Radio. Make What's sure up? you check out my website. Check out your blogger. GodTVRadio.com. I uh, woke <laughs> up this morning, and as usual, I've gotten a lot of comments out there. Comments. Some people have asked me some unusual questions, and I figured I'd respond yeah, to Yeah, like, have you ever had a job, Someone Brett? said to me, guess what, Brett? The Amazing Atheist has a million subscribers, and you only have a couple thousand. <coughs> how does that make you feel? Well, how Brett, does you it make a couple you feel thousand. that people Maybe like Onision and Shane Dawson and My Little Pony 
and women who make videos where they fart all fucking day have more subscribers than Brett Keen and the Amazing Atheist put together. You People make videos where they just sit around and fart? Yeah, also, Brett, you're not even comparable. You can't compare yourself... Uh, if you, let's say you have 300 or 400 subs. You can't say, uh, me and PewDiePie, like, w you're both on YouTube. That's the only similarity at that point. You and TJ have no similarities on YouTube. TJ's been doing this for almost 10 years and has over a million subscribers. You've done this off and on for 10 years and have nothing. <laughs> You know, so there you go. Do you make money off YouTube? Nope. Uh, maybe you do. Maybe maybe you make like twenty bucks a month or something. And if you were to combine all of our subscriptions in one, how does it make you feel that Christianity is still the number one religion in the world <laughs> and will be for the next twenty years, something years, probably even further beyond that? And Islam is the second greatest religion, and atheism is still on the fucking bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> Dude, are we really? People are saying that we've already played this oh, video. Oh, we have. We yeah, have. Oh, we have. Shit. Yeah, dude. I can't remember. Hold on, I have other ones lined up. Cool. Yeah, I, honestly, sometimes we're drunk and we can't remember. Yeah, or really fucking high. Yeah. So whatever. All right. Let's do another one. Oh, this is something someone made. This is great. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My name is some big 500-pound animal manatee by the name of Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, godtvradio.com. We're a game you know, channel. If it's one thing I enjoy doing, it's watching the amazing atheist. <laughs> Why do you think that the manatee is called a man a tea for? <laughs> what? The manatee is in relation to humans. That's right. The manatee is actually in the tree of the family and the bloodline of humans. Your fucking great-great-great-grandfather was a fucking manatee. That means the amazing atheist is a manatee. It's true. Now, I personally believe that I was created by a manatee. I believe that a manatee created this universe, and <laughs> voila, here we are. So every time you dumbass voila. atheists out there call me some kind of name or get personal with ad hums, Remember, every time you call me a manatee, you're talking about your fucking ancestors. Galen called. He said um, he's bringing um, gasoline and a match and a hammer and nails. And uh, it's going to be the last episode of the Drunken Peasants, and he's burning the ship down. Damn. Um, oh. no. <laughs> That's what he said. And he said that he, he, you guys well. had to be on Twitter sucking his dick. Ha! <laughs> What did um, he say? G Galen is uh is Galen having like like a delusional episode or something? What he said? Okay. I'm just relaying the message. I don't know. Okay. What? Whatever. That's fine. Let him do He's it. He's bringing a hammers and I'm okay. All right. <laughs> and why is he doing this? And I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Well, I mean, Galen can say whatever he likes. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we having Isn't him that on? Good shit? Yeah. To confront Egghead. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I some people have also referred to me as a troll, and uh, I'll admit I didn't used to. I will goof on people and shit, mostly of the atheist community. I go to my <laughs> microwave and throw in a bag of popcorn, butter that shit up real nice. That's good. Oh, come on, Brett. You buy the already buttery shit. He probably doesn't think it's buttery enough. Good call. He probably just throws, like, a couple of sticks of butter on there afterwards, dude. dude. I can imagine Brett doing that now, just like, this extra buttery flavor is not a buttery enough. makes a big popcorn and just, like, throws two sticks of butter on top, dude, and just kind of, like, shakes it around. Dude, I've seen you put butter on popcorn like a movie theater, dude. You just, like, saturate it. Well, I'll saturate the top because if you don't saturate the top, then it doesn't sink through <coughs> all the popcorn, you know? Oh, okay. So well, I saturate the top and then shake it so and that, the excess Yeah, but, th but then you also through. put more on, usually. No, I don't. I'm yeah, not going to do. I don't get up during the movie and go put more no, on No, I mean, like, that. you do it, you, like, I've seen you do it, like, when you shake it up and then, like, all that, all, it's moved around then you put more butter on. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, I, sometimes it takes dude, applications, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. When, we, when we went and saw Captain America Civil War, TJ left to, to quote-unquote go to the bathroom, and then I had to pee right after that, so I got up like a minute later, and you were sucking on that butter pump, dude. 
You just had <laughs> your fucking you had your fucking I mouth on the butter pump and you I were just fucking I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't know Paul saw that. I shouldn't have lied. You were firing butter right down your gullet. That's TJ, dude. I've seen him do that on, on like numerous occasions. Mm, nothing better than melting. Stay there with the Coke oh, machine. Wow. TJ will pop into the Coke machine and put his head underneath and just go. <laughs> well, why is it a fountain otherwise? Should be all you can drink. <laughs> Hold a little bit for free, huh, TJ? Hold a little for free. <laughs> I have the I have the video of Brett Keen singing "Typo Negative." Oh God! Oh yeah! Play that. Play. If I started murdering. All right, hold on. Hold on. There'd be none of you left. This is when Brett, I think, was back into his edgy stage. I'm edgy again. We've seen that font somewhere before. There's all the sound. I have it turned down. All right, here we go. Why? I don't know. Here it goes. Font. Oh, God, this is so bad. <laughs> I can't believe this is a video. <laughs> Brett, why? Uh, why? It's Brett Keen singing a song by Typo Negative. It's it makes me cringe so hard watching it when, when he starts singing. I'm already singing. cringing. I know. Looking I can't believe someone actually do this. Brett, why are you doing it? I'm I need a drink. Look at him sitting there during this in. Oh God. <laughs> Oh Jesus! <laughs> An image burning in her mind. <laughs> oh no! And between her thighs. Oh. <coughs> Such a high energy level. Like it's almost like it's the oh. band doing it. He just like sighed and said, <laughs> like, oh. "Yeah, Brett, you really get into it, man." You feel the power, TJ? Yeah, Brad. God man full of pain. <laughs> when will you uh, come again? Uh, shut up, Brad. Shut up. So, someone said Peter Steele died after hearing oh, this. <laughs> he did die, so. Yeah. Well, I think we know the cause. There's no forgiveness. Look at look at Paul. He can't handle it. Creepers punish me. Why is this happening? This is so bad. I'm not even like a huge typo negative fan, but God, he's this is horrible. They should sue Brad. They should fucking sue Brad for ever doing this. Hire fucking. Uh, just, they need to hire a fucking lawyer straight a fucking way. Sue the shadow of Brad Keen for even doing this. Have Brett killed or something. Like, they need to do something. <laughs> like, have Brett shipped to a fucking, like, island. Anything. <laughs> oh! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, fuck, fuck, no, man. Dude, no. No. What? This is so our, fucking bad. Our yeah. is so fucking... Do you think? Do you guys think Brett really th thought he was good? I can say Paul. so good. Paul, you're, you're the Brett Keen expert. You've been dealing with him the longest. Do you think? What do you our, think? I live at the bottom <laughs> of the briny sea. My name is the Manatee. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I don't know, dude. He he does like I, I can't even get into the headspace of a person that would record this video, and then put it online for other people to look at. I like, I think I, for him to do it, he must think he has some talent. He yeah yeah yeah. I think he clearly thinks that this is cool, in some way, like a toothless dude singing typo negative. Yeah, is 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 a cool thing, and I don't know who told him that. Um, you know what's kind of weird about this? Because you know how he pretends like he's religious and everything. This song is about a girl that's like sexually aroused by the imagery of Jesus Christ. And she like masturbates while thinking about 
Jesus, basically. Well, maybe, uh, maybe Brett's in the same boat. He hey. sees Jesus. He's like, Jim, Jesus is ripped. Fuck, dude. I want to. Yeah, look at those abs. Look at fucking. Look how he died for us, man. He died for Brett. All Damn. I got to do is pull on that little thing around his waist, and then he's totally naked. <laughs> I wonder I wonder who it was that oiled Jesus up before they put him on the cross, because he's so oily, man. Good li oh, man. <laughs> look at the definition on those, on those Christ-like abs. Medium well. <laughs> Medium well is how I order my steak. <laughs> Uh, Dude, I he's wanna, not, he's I want to get the fucking just the clip of him saying medium well, and then like you know. Medium well. Every time I go to a fucking steakhouse, I'll just play that, and then I'll be like, actually no, I want a medium rare. Medium well. All right. Medium well. Medium well. <laughs> what a what a good place to pause, go on a Brett tangent, and then come right back into. Medium well. Medium well. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be in his intro now. Medium well. <coughs> no, because he doesn't do this medium well. <coughs> or any medium. Atheists get owned by Brett Keane. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Three, three, own dog. I'm ready to be owned. Hold on, I'll put it up. I'm just gonna play it from YouTube. Cool. Yeah, no one's gonna buy your brother's shitty music. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, God TV Radio. Yeah, no one's going to. Come on. You know, if it's one thing I enjoy doing, it's watching atheists do and say things that end up backfiring on them. Born them. <laughs> Nothing more interesting than watching arrogant, prideful people who are materialistic and nihilistic. Yeah, thinking sounds that great. They've got the best of you, thinking that they are bad at. Oh, Brett, no, none of us think we got the best of you. We, we just know it. It's like a fact. All over the place. One of the same things that atheists like to call me is they like to call me a slug. They like to call me slime. They like to call me various monkey names, and they also like to refer to me as a manatee. <laughs> that's, because... that's the only one that I've actually heard anyone call you. I, the, all, the, all the other ones you mentioned, well, I'm not familiar. But I mean, look, Brett, when we even said it, Brett said they call me the king of the manatee. So how is that even offensive, Brett? Because in your mind, we're calling you the king of the manatee. It's like a compliment almost. The king of the manatees From the is what they were found animal by the name of the amazing atheist called me this. Huh. So now they ball wash him and then they do what he does, not realizing that they're insulting themselves along with micro penis himself. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Oh, okay. How they by insulting you, they're insulting One of TJ the and everyone. Names that they love calling me is a manatee. Yep. Why do you think that the manatee is called a man a tea for? <laughs> because according to evolution, which most Brad, people are you claim that real, they dude? believe in, the manatee is in relation to humans. That's right. Uh, they believe that the manatee is actually in the tree of the family and the bloodline of humans, can, homo sapiens. That can you just ex it, spontaneously combust, please? Because this is so fucking stupid. This is just unbelievably fucking yeah, stupid. Like, I, wa I, watched this, I watched this video a few days ago, and I thought that this was genuinely the dumbest angle that I think Brett has ever taken to try and def defuse somebody making fun of him. So he's claiming that we can't call him a manatee because we believe in evolution and thus believe yeah. that manatees and humans share a common ancestor. So we're just calling him a human. No, we're calling you a <laughs> no. fucking sea cow, Brett. We're calling you a sea cow that feeds on algae at the bottom of the river. Yeah, what we're saying, Brett, is you re is your physical appearance you physically resemble a manatee. That's what we're saying. We're not you are, you actually do share a common ancestor at some point with a manatee, Brett. By the way, but like you yourself appear to be a manatee. That's that's what that's what that means. Okay. I mean, hey, it's 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 pretty insulting. True. It's pretty insulting that they call me a manatee, but hey, man is right in there, so that's pretty close. <laughs> Dude. 
Oh my! I mean, I, it's not even the etymology of the I don't fucking even know. word. You're, right. fuck You're a fucking idiot. Right? You've really just like reached the point of like, there's no point in mocking this anymore. Like, we should just show people this video. <laughs> when they ask, like, who's Brett Keen? It's like, all right, here's your little crash course. Just listen to this. Here's an unmolested Brett Keen video. Oh, fucking he's a fucking crazy moron on the internet. I understand. Great, great, great grandfather was a fucking manatee. That means the amazing atheist. Oh, uh, you're so to fucking stupid. Do you even know what evolution is? is a fucking what the fuck did you go to school, monkey, Brett? And even, and you know, scratch that. Even I don't care why you went to school. There's a fucking vast uh, source of knowledge called the internet. You could go educate yourself about what evolution is, because what you're, uh, how you're describing it is so fucking wrong and stupid. You're just an, a fucking ignorant piece of shit. Like, I, I, do you really know anything about reality? Like, what do you fucking know, Brett? What do you honestly know? He believes he evolved. He also came from slime uh, in the ocean, according to evolution made by Algonacy. That's so fucking stupid. Now, I personally believe that I was created by an intelligent designer. <laughs> I believe that an intelligent designer. Uh, That's just more evidence. Look at, look it's not look fucking like, true. Well, Goddamn, like, you're, if anything, you're compelling evidence against that shit, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, how intelligent could it be? <laughs> look at, look at, look at you. You're a fucking mess. Like, anybody look, look that your created- pathetic life. If any if anybody molded you out of clay, they would just start over. Like it, it's <laughs> like it's terrible. Like it's a terrible argument for the existence of God. Yeah, Look Brett, at me. Brett, you know, I was made by an intelligent being. Paul, you know you've seen Renaissance statues, right? How, how many of them resemble the figure of Brett King? Yeah. Let's just put it that exactly. Yeah, David. We, yeah. we, we think the image of man. We, we, we're not. We don't. We don't fucking hearken to the image of Brett fucking King. The first time I saw Brett, I was just like, "This is the embodiment of Michelangelo's Dude. David." And he just, and he's gone so downhill. Cause I remember thinking he was like back in the day, like when I first fucking saw TJ watching this dumbass's videos. I was like, who is this fat, ugly fuck? That was like the first thing that popped in my head. And he's just gone down fucking hill. It's yeah. like pathetic. It's like, Brett, you started off as like a two, and you just went fucking straight downhill from that. It's like, fuck. You got no other cars. You have no teeth. You're fucking ugly as can be. You're a fucking retard. You think your scam is fool people. You actually think that people watch this. You really honestly in your heart must believe someone's going to watch this and go like, I see what Brett's saying. But it's nobody. Yeah. Anyone, anyone that says otherwise is fucking with you, Brett. Anyone else is fucking with you, dude. I love how, you know, alternately... When we're watching Brett Keen videos, one of us has a meltdown like Scotty just had, where we try to explain to Brett what's wrong with him. <laughs> like it, it, it always, it seems to cycle through us. You know what I mean? Like one of us will break and just be like, "Brett, how do you not see? You're a total fucking worm of a human being." It's called Brett exasperation syndrome. Dude. Oh, here it we exists. Are. So every time you dumbass atheist out there call me some kind of name or get personal oh. with ad hum. Remember, Which you always you call do. Me manatee, you're talking In this about video, you call TJ micro penis. Is that a compliment? Isn't that good shit? Yeah. No, no, it's not. That it's, was it's the worst shit. That's the weakest shit. Hey, have you guys ever seen the episode of The Simpsons where Homer's like trained to like be a boxer and it's like, okay, you got to punch, and the like the fly lands on the fucking bag and he hits it and, and like he pulls his hand back and the fly is still there. That's Brett Keen's punch right there. <laughs> All right, yeah. forget the punching. You're not that kind of fighter. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> dude, I I love the way this video ends. This video has like the most deflated like try hard ending that I've ever seen. <laughs> oh really? Let's take yeah. a look at that. If you had any idea how evolution worked, if it actually worked at all, <laughs> you wouldn't call people names of things that would be what you're related to. Brett Keen says ironic um, things because yeah. he's a no. fucking moron. It's because humans are the, are the smartest animals on Earth. So what, when we call you like, <laughs> you're, a, you're a jackass hey, or something, Brett. The reason we called you a manatee... <laughs> Is because we were insulting. watching a fucking video, <laughs> and you looked like a fucking manatee in it. He's also looked like Grimace too. <laughs> yeah. He's Brett. You you have a talent. You can look like any pretty much any fat character if you put your mind a to purple. it. Purple. It's always like purplish, bluish. And yeah, you like you could say we're related to manatees, so therefore we're just making fun of ourselves. But fucking <laughs> Angelina Jolie is related to John Voight. That don't make him any less of an ugly piece of shit. No. <laughs> rat bastard either because according to evolution during the age of the dinosaur humans were <laughs> rats climbing up trees and then evolved yeah humans are rats that's 
God, you're so fucking stupid. You don't even know what evolution is. If you're saying that, how can you pretend to know what evolution is? Come on. You know, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know how to read, Brett? Some people. I wish I wish more than ever that I could speak dog. Because I hear this dog barking in the background. I'm just like that. I know that dog must be listening to this video and be like, bullshit. Bullshit! <laughs> Dog's probably asking, like, if I bullshit, kill me. Uh, bullshit, kill me. We're dropping, <laughs> we're dropping some. I'm owned by Brad Keane, please! We're dropping y'all. We're yeah. dropping mad frames. Oh, shit. The manatee's DDoSing. Hey, whatever. I am so sad. Oh. Check out the beautiful asshole. Oh, God. The individual Brett Keane segment situation. Did you should post the, uh, the thing of all of us fighting the manatees. On like uh, the DP Facebook, page. we have two videos to cover um, from Keen. Uh, we're going to play the first one, and then we're going to take a, a quick break just for like thirty seconds, and then we'll we'll do the second one. Cool. All right. So here's the first one. This is classic Brett Keen. Classic Keen. Classic Keen. Someone sent this to me because they think it's funny because now Brett Keen claims to have a lawyer. Um, oh, I'm sure he does. He's being very vague. What about do you mean now? I mean, like, this is like his 20th right. lawyer. Right. So so this one is Brett Keen uh, claiming that he sued YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Sue Tube. Hello, folks. This is Brett Keen, and uh, I've got some good news. That's fairly good news. Kind of aggravating, too, at the same time. <clears throat> I'm a... Uh, for the last two weeks, I've been basically dealing with a situation lawyer oh. and trying to figure out what I can do about some of these assholes out here who are slandering my books and doing some of the things that they've been doing. How did, uh, how did Brett Keen get his hands on Samuel L. Jackson's hat? <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's a good question. <laughs> <clears throat> this, is Bre this is during Brett's uh, artsy phase, dude. Maybe they were filming something in Festus, and like his ha like he, like his hat fell off his head, and someone found it and like just gave it to Brett for like twenty bucks or something. It's like, Brett, I'll sell you Samuel's hat for twenty bucks, and Brett's all like, "Damn, seems like a good investment." Maybe he thought, maybe uh, maybe he just took the ribbon off the Stay Puff Marshmallow. Hat you don't normally, hat, dude. you don't normally see Brett wear hats anymore. Yeah, wow. which is a sh which is a shame because he really should. It's not that. And all that records Did he just say situation? I don't know. Now, i to be honest with you. It's very difficult to deal with individuals who hide <laughs> their faces. <laughs> and the way he says it, man. Individuals. There's no emphasis on that word. Fuck you, Brett. And their identities and all that kind of stuff on YouTube. Warned. And at first, I felt like I was hopeless. I felt like, man, what am I going to do? I wanted to, first of all, say I appreciate all those people out there who did a lot of flagging and went over and dealt with a lot of these pricks. And you know who I'm talking about. It was mentioned in the video before. But it turns <laughs> out that YouTube, if it does not do something about these individuals who are... <laughs> <laughs> individuals! <laughs> Brett is literally the most thin-skinned person <laughs> to ever exist, so... He really is! Paul, how many lawyers would you say Brett Keen has had? <laughs> I mean, obviously zero, yeah, but... Yeah, okay, right. zero. How many... How many... How, how, many uh, how many has he claimed to have oh, over the I'm years? Sure. This, Cause, this year, he's threatened to sue me twice and said that he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's referred my case to his lawyer, so you just do the math. It's been ten <laughs> fucking years. <laughs> oh, shit. Brett's team of lawyers right now diligently working on the case. Yeah, call. dude. Brett, by now that this, uh, Brett's lawyers have started their own fucking law firm, dude. <laughs> you know they got a fucking skyscraper you. full of Brett's lawyers. Just because people, people might not know this, but this is funny because he just recently said that he's got a lawyer, like you said earlier, that he's got a lawyer again. And what happened was, is he was like, he made this video saying, "If you guys don't support me, I'm leaving YouTube. That's it. If I don't see some Patreon donations, <laughs> you know, like." He didn't get a single Patreon donation, and less than 24 hours later, he was like, well, I got some support and got a lawyer. <laughs> like, no, nope, kid. Where? No. Yeah, dude, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he With said, what, yeah, he said, like, dollars a month? he didn't get any fucking, he tried to raise money for a car, too. He didn't get any money for the car. Nope. Why would he? He didn't get any he money for his $17. Patreon. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Enjoy carb your seventeen dollar carb. <laughs> like Brett, like, do you honestly think there's ten thousand dollars worth of people giving a shit about you? You no. couldn't buy a you couldn't buy a fucking crushed car out of a junkyard for seventeen dollars. Like when he says yeah. this is ten thousand dollars, like is there really part of Brett just like yep? I need Brett's it for my son to go to college. TJ. Yeah, Brett, do you think the DP fans are going to give you ten thousand dollars? Because I mean, obviously, you're not thinking your audience is going to give it to you because you know you don't have one. We saw that he was losing it while we were gone in our absence. Oh yeah, the madness. Oh, God. He went off the fucking deep end, man. <laughs> really, the lack of attention really does weird things to Brett, man. <laughs> <laughs> what has he done, Paul? Because, I mean, like, we're out of the loop I mean, on him. He's, he's, no, I'm not he's totally. He's threatened to quit oh, two different times. <laughs> twice. Two separate times he's he's said, I'm leaving YouTube. That's if anyone cares. Back. He was back within 24 hours both times. <laughs> he's, he's lawyered up. Um, I mean, it's just, it, he's gone He's gone completely. <laughs> God, Brett, you're so pathetic, dude. I'll tell you what. Um, when we take a break... Uh, when when we come back after the break, we're going to uh, play part of a hangout that Brett did where G-Man comes in and they both uh, talk a bunch of shit about us. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, I, lo- me? I love that. Like, because wasn't the last time G-Man was on the show, he was like, even riffing on Brett Keen with us. He was like, yeah, man, yeah. I, 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 that guy's, you know, I, 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 I had the wrong idea about about him. Now he's right back to sucking fucking Brett Keen's little manatee dick. <laughs> of course. But Paul, uh, on the road, TJ had like a revelation about Brett, you know, and I was, it was kind of shocking, but I have to agree with him. Uh, Brett is actually living in his brother's shadow. Yeah. Yeah, Just in the King's shadow. I wow. mean, we, we kind of figured it out. Like, look, he was talking in, the, in that video to TJ. He's like, you know, you can show up at this concert my brother's having. His brother was putting on a concert. He had fans yeah. showing up. He had people showing up. He, I mean, he, he's doing something with his life. His life is moving forward, Brett. Just I mean, what look have, what at the difference done? between the two of them, too. I mean, like, look at yeah. who who aged better, you know? Brett, oh, King, Justin. Brett King looks like Justin Keen's afterbirth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Justin Keen. You know, I'm. I think I'm cool with him. Yeah, Justin Keen. Justin, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah dude. Justin I think Keen I, looks like a, a metal god. And yeah, Brett and you Keen's know, I know Justin Keen has talked some shit on us before, but I mean, yeah. he's just defending his brother, and that yeah. to me, that shows how great of a guy he is. Because you know, Brett's such a piece of shit, and yet. Justin still stacks up for him just because it's family, and that's good. That's good people right there. Justin Keen, you're a great so, man. So Brett, stop living in Justin's shadow. You need you know, to get out of the shadow there. You need buddy. to live a little bit up to Justin's example and stop just being bitter that you're not as good as him. You're never going to be as good. No. You might as well at least just look, try you, to be a look, passable Brett, brother. Brett, let me try to explain it to you in a way you can understand. You know, Justin wants to be like a rock star, and it seems like he's pursuing that goal and you know making some progress. You, you want to be an author, and I mean, where, where's the progress, Brett? How many books have well, you published? Well, also, Brett made some music, remember? We, we listened to that. What so, I mean, Brett... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of father would not call my teeth out, make me write this shitty song? <laughs> like, oh, my God. That's yeah. another thing he did, too. Like, TJ, when you posted that The Road to Festus video, the day before, he was like, Come on down, TJ. Come to my backyard and let's rumble, bitch. And then you post this joke video about how I'm heading to Festus. And the next video he posts is, popular atheist threatens to come to my home. Yeah. (laughs) So transparent, man. Love it. All right. So I actually was, I actually did stay two days in uh, Blackjack, Missouri, which is. Blackjack. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And uh, it's, it's only an hour from Festus. So I could have, I could have gone to Festus. Oh Had shit, I still desired, dude! But I didn't desire. Scared it of Brett been, Kane. It, I, I kept hoping, watching that video, that you were gonna like turn the camera around and show like one of those highway road signs that like Festus one twenty five. <laughs> well, actually, that's in the beginning of the video. It oh, just, it is. It, we drove past it too fast, and you couldn't really see oh. it. But yeah, it doesn't say Festus though; it just says St. Louis. But we figured that's scary enough. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the streets Brett grew up on, remember? There yeah. are no road signs for Festus. Nobody goes there on purpose. <laughs> All right. Uh, time for a quick break. We'll real right. quick. Right back. Real, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Let's do it. 
Uh, and by the way, that the waffle story is true. It was pathetic. TJ could not cook a waffle. It was the most disgusting looking waffle. And the whole time, TJ's like, ah, like putting putting the ingredients together. And when he when it got totally fucked up, he said it was Scotty's fault. It was. It was not. Let's l- let's hear about this. I did not cook the fucking thing, TJ. You're the one that fucked it up. That's so fine. so officially, for the record, whose fault was it, TJ? <clears throat> it was Scotty's fault. <laughs> so for the record, fault goes to Scotty. Yes. I, I saw that picture, dude. That that was a pathetic fucking waffle, TJ. You should be ashamed <laughs> of yourself. I'm not so sure if it's Scotty's fault. I'm slam TJ. your dick in that waffle iron next time you're here, fucking Paul, piece of shit. Yeah, I, I would be Dissing scared if I Paul. thought that you could actually hit anything, you know, put anything in a waffle iron properly. <laughs> that might that might you know <laughs> scare me. But you'd probably just forget to turn the fucking thing on, and it would feel good. And Paul, the sad yeah. thing about TJ is he I, really claims he can cook still. Like TJ, I, you I, cannot I, cook. I, no. Fuck, what are you I talking about? I do blow. not claim I can cook. Every I, time I, I challenge you, you're like, "No, I can cook just fine." No, I what? <laughs> You've actually no. You you can logically recognize that, but I was like, I wish I could make better uh, beef and broccoli than you, TJ. You'd be like, no, you can't. We're going to have I to do, do the thing where we get the Blue Apron meals and, and have TJ cook one on his own and see like how well he does. Yeah, yeah. Let's see this Brett Keen shit. Dude, All right. TJ, when I come down to visit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow a load in that waffle iron and make you a fucking cum waffle, dude. So so this was one of Brett Keen's hangouts. It was an hour and a half long. Uh, we're we're going to get to the important part of it, but it's the, the title is The Amazing Atheist Lied, <laughs> Lied to Christian G-Man. Poor wow. Christian G-Man. Hold on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We've got to get to the part where G-Man shows up. The, oh my god, this is the caliber of people Brett's attracting. Yeah. Look at this fucking guy, dude. Dude, he doesn't have any teeth either. Yeah. One time Von it was Helton. just it was one time it was just those two together. It was like the toothless podcast. Wow. It was insane. Von Helton, dude, yeah. I remember that guy. Yeah. Who yeah, who gives a fuck about him? Like he, he right. kinda he was kind of the first dude to have a really bad intro that I remember back on YouTube. Because he would like right. stand there with no teeth and he would he would he had a trench coat <laughs> on and he would slowly turn around and point a gun at the camera and say, Ebo will be punished. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds oh, awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right. I've so, got a gum evil to death. Here's, here's, here's when G Man shows up in the hangout. All, uh, uh, all hell breaks loose, as, as you can probably guess. Not really, though. Hey, what's going on? Oh, just chilling out. What you been up to today? <laughs> uh, working, doing some stuff around the house, scintillating. <clears throat> We got talking about man. Yeah, we've been sitting here talking. He was asking me why so do I like I. a, a <sighs> video game? I'm I'm pretty sure I've done like hours worth of talking about that game and videos, but apparently the guy didn't ever get an opportunity to watch. Gee, man, I think we need to make up new rules for our live shows that you must be a person who actually watches our shit in order to be a part of the conversation. No. <laughs> Not going to well, get me. Nobody knows. 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 Now, G-Man, we had someone in here earlier. I think it was this Mr. Smith guy or whoever his name is. He was saying that uh, uh, he put, was it you that said uh, G-Man was talking about starving children or something? Uh, uh, I think it's me. God, it's Mr. Alpaca, when he talks, you could just like, uh, yes, I was just joking. hear how slowly his neurons are firing. Man. Yeah, something about uh, oh, Roger. Ooh, like we're high. Like I'm, I'm so high. I'm more THC than man, and I'm still yeah. quicker witted than this shit. Around and I mentioned Fuck. when you brung up. Dude, is is Von Helton ch- using his mic and pop filter to hide his face while he eats his daily yes, meal? Yes, 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 he is. Yes, with a, with, I've with a fucking that. applesauce dessert, dude. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Children on the drunken. So true, Ed. You said that's I'm gonna skip this part. System. My beautiful wife Hormel said, made me some chili. So I, said, yeah, I said to him, I said to him in a very trolling fact, but um, you gotta have evidence for that. 
You know what I find interesting, G-Man, that nobody seemed to get around to doing anything about Colt the Dusty for, but Colt the Dusty, what exactly is he doing for starving children? I mean, he's sitting there, like this video I'm about to put up on the screen. You should check out the link here. Is he Apparently, sitting there? Uh, Mr. Sure Colt the Dusty there? was involved in quite a bit of his own damn scams, uh, scams a little bit of research, <laughs> and boom, there it is. Take a look at that Research. link right there. Uh, so with all the money you know, he's been getting out of people, uh, yeah. why doesn't he help with starving children? They're doing plenty for starving children. They're taking their donations and buying themselves nice houses, better cars, better watches, you know, and paying their bills. That's what they're doing with starving children's money. Uh, the Amazing Atheist does it all the time. I've never heard the Amazing <laughs> Atheist donate a dime. Wait, to- you're doing it with starving children's Hold money, up. you piece of I shit. I don't even have a watch. Better watches. Yes, I buy watches. I didn't, I've and, never like. I literally haven't worn a watch in like ten fucking years. You know, and you you know what the best thing about this is? He's sitting here. Saying, I haven't never seen the, the amazing atheist do nothing for charity. This year, you've raised more money for charity than G Man will make in his entire life. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I know I raised money for the niece attacks. I think I raised about ten thousand for that. I raised like eighty, like, like seven, like seventy, seventy-eight. It was like seventy or eighty thousand, I think, for. The uh, an international women's health coalition or some something along those lines, uh, so that's pretty significant. I mean, I don't know. I mean, raise money for wells in Africa, raise money for pets after Katrina. Yeah, there's been a few charities I've done. I mean, I've I've supported other people's charities too, like some Doctors Without Borders charities and shit. I don't know. So this whole idea, like you've never done anything charitable, kind of weird. I don't know. I kind of have. But I've never... Uh, Probably more than any of these people that uh, are talking. I've raised more money for charity than they've <coughs> ever seen. Well, G-Man oh, and, yeah? Bre- and Brett oh, just... Oh, yeah, TJ? Well, the last time I went to Taco Bell, I put a quarter in one of those things and took a lollipop. So fuck you. Uh. Muscular dystrophy. Uh, yeah. Doctors Without Borders or anything like that to help anybody who has any illnesses is always to help them uh, uh, better their show and entertain people. But they never oh, take all that money that they make and give it to any charities. Oh, so we're supposed to take the, sh- the show money. I hear you there. Okay. I hear you there, man. Right. I, I hear you there. We're pieces of yeah, shit because we don't, don't take all of our fucking, I, I, uh, we, don't, we're, we don't take all of our drunken peasants money and like, all right, well, send it off to Africa to help them children. It's like, no, I mean, like, you guys don't do that either. Brett Keen, did, when I gave Brett Keen $1,000, did he turn around and go give it to the Red Cross? I don't fucking think so. Of course Brett not. Keen, Brett Keen has never given a ripped in half peso to a single <laughs> fucking charitable organization. <laughs> <laughs> if I find another half of a peso that looks good, I could maybe fucking, you know, yeah. still use this. Like, whatever. Jesus. I've never heard a G-Man given any charity either, but I mean, I can't say that he Well, th- of course, they're just the moral arbiters of what we should do, so they can easily cast aspersions on us. Oh, you don't give all your money to charity when you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Okay, it's really, thanks. That's a really weird standard. Like, unless you're giving all your money to charity, you're a piece of garbage. I mean, like, isn't that... That's the standard of, like, Christ. That's the standard you guys are supposed to live to. I mean, we don't have any such standard. I can go in here by myself and pwn all four of those guys. <laughs> Maybe right. in, your, well, in, your, in, your, own, in your own you mind. So many opportunities to come in and pwn all four of us. Why haven't you yet? How many times has he been on the show? Six. Multiple. G man, every time you've come on the show, you've just hung yourself, and it's just been hilarious to watch. You're a fucking moron. You know, you're welcome anytime to be destroyed. I mean, it's not it's not even difficult, dude. You're not you're not even you act like you're a fucking challenge. I'll buy a missile with a nickel while I tickle your pickle. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> because they don't think before they make comments. They really don't. Okay. Now, G man, when people grab these mind quote you like this and they take this video. Oh, from uh, mind like, quote, do dude. My really return of the mind quote. Or what they're putting <laughs> Brett, do Brett, people they're love to cherry pick you. They don't need to cherry pick you because you're you're whole the whole nature. Uh, excuse me, I think you're being pick cherry me. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Mind quote. <laughs> what a dumb shit. What a fucking dumb shit. You have dude. to mime quote it. Oh. You mime it out. God, he's so fucking stupid. Uh, quote mine. <laughs> <sighs> Just to start trouble. Just for you. I think they're doing it for slander campaigns. I think that's why they're doing it. It's for slander campaigns. What? They're doing it to try to damage my reputation. And, you know, people will slander campaigns. All they ever do is context me out of take. 
Oh my god. Slander campaigns against G Man? Like when do we ever talk G-Man, shit about G-Man? what man? What slander? What when have we slandered you? Like okay, we've when had, and where? Every time I think almost every time we've ever talked about you, you've actually been here to defend yourself against anything we have to say towards you. I can't remember a time we just sat here and you weren't around and we just fucking piled on G Man like Man, you guys know who's a piece of shit? G-Man! But I mean, G-Man does enough stupid shit where it's like, we don't have to make shit up about G-Man. It's not like we're like, oh man, I really gotta stretch to find Stop something. slandering yeah. him. Stop. Stop oh, slandering we're slandering him. him. My reputation is damaged, but they forget that when I leave that show, I got my own YouTube channel where I can explain what, what reputation? I was that <laughs> yes, my family who cares? wants to actually watch okay. the channel for content. Uh, excuse me. G-Man, the entirety of your reputation, like your channel is nothing. That's nothing. The entirety of whatever reputation you have is based on your appearances on this show. Yep. So, yeah, like, that's your reputation. We control the fucking narrative. Uh, and we, we don't even have to in your case. Like, all we have to do is present you and be like, ladies and gentlemen, here's G-Man. And everyone can plainly see, oh, G-Man's a fucking retard. That's fun. <laughs> that's, that's the reputation of G-Man. Hey, isn't that that idiot that thought there was no starving children in the world? Well, he yeah. he says Whoa. that's part of the slander. Oh. No starving Christian yeah. children, TJ. Well, no, because he. If you go back, how's it slander? You're the one who said it, dipshit, and you slandered yourself. You moron. Dude, that's the best thing about it. That's the best thing, G man. You've made this claim, but all people have to do is go watch the episode, and you clearly say there's no starving children. Period. Because we even called you and are like, "What? Really? Are you serious?" And he's like, "Yep, there's, you, you you said it." And then when he, so many people he, said you were ridiculous, you're just like, "I meant there was no starving Christian children," which of course there are. Also isn't any are. better? That yeah. that isn't any better. <laughs> it still sucks, dude. Yeah. It's, it's still okay. not a good fucking. Uh, 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 I know I said there was pink dragons on your show, but what I really meant was there's dragons. They're not necessarily pink. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's just as dumb. What? No, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't think you should go back on that show, G-Man, because all that's going to happen is that Paul's ego is going to try and hit you with the old Scotsman's fallacy. <laughs> I can hear why I say things. You know, and, 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 and any damage they're attempting to do is going to go away. They're assuming that, that people actually look at them as being some reputable, honest people that, that you can actually believe the stuff that's coming out of their mouth. So I'm not uh, worried about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Once again, well, unfortunately, some of the audience don't need. We don't need to. Do, we don't need to fit that. We don't need to. We don't need to push in any narrative, G-Man. It's readily apparent to everyone. We're, there's no spin that we need to even do. All we have to do is once again just show them you, and they'll come to their own fucking conclusions. And guess what? They're, you're not going to like those conclusions, you're, you're not, Shima. You're not persuading anybody. It's not like we're. It's not like we're fucking sitting here and like we're just like we're just so much smarter than you, G man. I mean, when the, I mean, we'll, honestly, we are. But even taking that aside, just looking at the very nature of your arguments and what you've put forth, it's it's garbage, dude. It's stupid. It's childish. All of it. In fact, I would say G man's arguments are some of the worst. Well, he. He tries to walk you through like a script yes. that he's played out in his mind. And when you deviate from it, he tries to make it so that you're saying what he wants yeah, you to he say. Just it's all presuppositional you. bullshit. It's like, do you agree to this? Do you agree to this? <laughs> oh, then I'm right. <laughs> I win. But give me well, a fucking break. Duncan peasants are idiots. They don't <laughs> sit there and pay attention. And even if they sit know there, that these idiots are there. wrong, they continue to endorse them anyway. That's the reason why I don't have any respect for these people. I mean, I got a video right now. I don't right want your respect anyways, where, you faggot. Uh, you've got some of these people admitting that they've actually fondled around with kids. Yeah. And they don't Paul, I want you to just, add, I want you just uh, tell, tell me, uh, does Brett even have the capacity for respect for another person? Do you uh, think? No. No. I don't think Brett has ever respected another human being in his entire life. Um, and I know that I personally am going to lose sleep knowing that he doesn't respect me. Um, <laughs> Brett Keen's respect is really what I'm striving for in this world. <laughs> Look at this fucking sad ass hangout. Drunken peasants are idiots. Meanwhile, he's got fucking G Man and Von Helton drinking his dinner through a straw. Like, what a bunch uh -huh. of fucking losers. Give a shit even about that. So. Fuck them. I think they're immoral, <laughs> soulless pieces of trash. Fuck them. They're, think, I, they're not worth my time. That's why I dedicate my entire fucking channel to them. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah, yeah. The, the title of the fucking video. Can't stand them. The very first word in the video, The Amazing Atheist, his, his fucking YouTube channel name.
Yeah, because that that that, that name has the biggest lightning rod. That, yeah. that, 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 that's just, that's just right. the fucking you know the minutia and the calculations of Brad. It's like even if it's like he's talking about you. Even if, like we was talking about the Ben shit, like the, the Ben fight challenge. It was like amazing. Atheist wants to fight me. And then he beat up a stuffed bunny, and in, somehow in that, somehow in his mind, that like made it so he won ultimately. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it was beautiful. You've got to be <laughs> shitting me. No, there's a video where fucking he. Not only he he makes the stuffed bunny fillet. He says the stuffed bunny is Ben. He's like, this is Ben. I'm a bunny, apparently. And then he's okay. like, yeah, he's nibbling on my carrots. Oh, Which means his dick is orange and covered in bumps. What, what the fuck? Dude, I, are you when, I, when he said that, the carrot line, I did not think of like a full-fledged carrot. I thought of like the, one of those little baby carrots. Yeah. Oh. So I just saw the little baby carrot sticking out, you know? So those does, little things you dip in a ranch. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got some bad news, man. I think, I think Brett is uh, interested, dude. Gross. <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah, never, he got the nerve to see he's that never simulated animal. sex with me. Yeah, crack me up. You know, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I was just talking to that True Empiricism and, and, and uh, Antonio about those guys today. Oh, no. About uh. the double standard that the atheist community has. What's that? We are not, I mean, like, seriously, our show is not the atheist community. We We don't sit here and talk about the atheist community. Yeah, we don't give a shit. I don't even bother dealing with that because these guys are so dumb, they'll never get it. Yeah, they don't, they don't care. Our show is not like this atheism <laughs> show. I, the really atheism isn't. show! It's the not. only thing we all care about, apparently! Atheism! Atheism! Hey, TJ, guess what? If you hear the good news about atheism, let's talk about atheism all fucking day, all the time! This just in, everyone! There's still no God! Ah. Holy shit! <laughs> you blew my mind. Does See it. you next it's week, okay. people. It's totally moral. But if a Christian does it, they're a piece of garbage. You know what I mean? So they no. got this, this hypocritical no, double no. standard that they use when they determine what's moral and what's so not now, moral. So now, and I love using <coughs> So now it's more straw manning, more fucking fallacious, <coughs> fucking sophomoric arguments. Gee, man, just... <coughs> Just stop. You know what? Just just abandon even a semblance of reason. Just 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 go to Donald Trump. Just make shit up and just never fucking be wrong. Just be like, no, I'm right. I'm right. I think it would work better for you. When 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 they come to me and accuse me of something, but totally ignore their idol on the Drunken Peasants or in Jack and Glenn's channel or to to Dusty's channel, I love this? calling them out on it because it makes it, it makes them. What is this nonsense? <laughs> what the fuck are you even saying, G man? Like wh like. Honestly, I'm more interested in G-Man's thought process than I'm <laughs> his argument because I'm like, when he says this shit, does it? I mean, it has to make sense to him. But like, when he when he fucking says it, it's just like it makes no fucking sense. I listen to him and it's like, okay, these are English words. Now let's connect these ideas. Like, okay, there's no connection. It's just like a roadblock. And then it's like he jumps to something else. And he jumps to something else. And it's like, and that's my idea. And it's just like, what the fuck are you talking we about? We need to host a G Time Johnny versus G Man debate here, dude. What yeah. the fuck? There's just no connections with his argument. G Man versus G Time. Well, well, G Man's mad uh, Who cares? because for some reason. He wants to debate evolution with you. Oh, yeah, cause since I'm still the preeminent God, fucking evolutionary man. biologist in the world, right? And, uh, like, it's like we already know how it's going to go, <laughs> man. We already know, like... Yeah. Hey, G, we want a newsflash? It's not 2000 fucking 8 anymore, dude! It's 2016, man! No one gives a shit about this right now! No one fucking cares! No one fucking wants to have this debate for the one billionth fucking time where the same bullshit gets said. It's already been done, dude. Get over it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what a magical man. Them to think about the stuff that's coming out of their mouth. Right. And, uh, you know, G-Man, one thing that's amazing about G-Man, that describes you. This, if we see a Christian that's doing half of the kind of garbage these atheists are doing, we're all over them. You've got videos what? Where you're it's like, not hey, even your uh, it's not your responsibility to be all of them, Brett. Clean out um, our backyard. Yeah, well, forget about that. Uh, he's the one that other people in the Christian community would be, have to be all over if that uh, were the case. Brett, if the Christian community did <laughs> quote unquote clean out their backyard, you would be the first weed that was pulled, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you, you better be lucky that the Christians don't clean out their backyard. Yeah, dude. Uh, Brett, you're really lucky that Christians are so accepting, and that's, like, part of, like, you know, the fucking programming, the, you know, the idea. It's, like, it has to just accept everyone and cast as wide of, net, uh, of a net as possible, because if it wasn't like that, you wouldn't even be a Christian, dude. Because they'll literally just take anybody. 
I mean, just think about what it says about you. Like, that's literally the only thing you can actually be a part of. And half the time you quit that. You're not even good at fucking believing your own bullshit, dude. You literally quit your own fucking, you know, your own fucking worldview in life. It's like, what do you actually believe, Brett? I mean, I'm just pretty sure it's nothing. I Because you just literally change every fucking... Like, I, in my mind, I just imagine you, Brett, just, you know, souring an idea in, like, two seconds. Like, I'm a Christian. I don't like being a Christian because my life sucks. I'm an atheist again. I'm leaving YouTube. Yeah, it's I'm like... I'm back. <laughs> Who the fuck thinks like that? It's like his life must be miserable because he can't ever fucking just settle on one idea. It just seems like he constantly has to just jump around all this bullshit. I said I was leaving YouTube, but... And then he tries to justify it to everyone. It's like no one believes you or cares at this point. Games you love. TJ, just... the amazing atheist and his clitless pussies. I just don't even know what to do with Brett. I don't even know what to do with you, Brett. What are they doing? They just continue to support and endorse it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You know, and it just exposes their community. I mean, they had 4,000 people out of a supposedly 21,000 that was supposed to come to their reason rally, and only 4,000 people showed no. up. If they don't get their act together. What are you, you know, what? Their, their are they, they still talking about us? Which I believe is going to happen anyway. I think the more nah. people that watch the internet and the more people that watch. God, you guys are so misguided and stupid. We're not uh, part it, it, of it, Reason smaller Rally. And smaller and smaller and this like, I mean, like, disappear. I have zero Gee, man, you're a fucking idiot. You're so fucking stupid. It's painful to listen. Because Reason Rally's attendance was down. Is that That is conflated to atheism is on the decline. Are you, what the fuck are you even talking about? Why don't you do some fucking research, G-Man? Why don't you go look, look at Pew Research or go fucking, like, Try to investigate and research okay. things before you talk about them. Watch what you fucking think before you open your mouth, you fucking moron. People, people giving a shit about atheism on the internet is on the decline. And it's like, these people are the ones who don't haven't got that message yet, for some reason. Like, they don't get it. They don't get that this is not, like, you know, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid car. <laughs> My car alarm started going off. Right. <clears throat> they don't get that this is not fucking 2008 anymore, like Scotty was saying. You know, like, this isn't the hot fucking button issue that it was. All right? People have moved on. They're talking about other subjects now. So, yeah, that's why. And, and, and not only that, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but there's been a ton of rifts in the atheist community. Because there have been people who've been like, oh, atheism needs a dogma. And there's other atheists who are like, no, it doesn't. And, you know, it's not like we were ever much of a unified body to begin with. No. All we had in common is we don't believe in God. That doesn't fucking tell you anything about our politics or any of our other fucking beliefs for that matter. But these people speak in generalizations, so it just doesn't fit their narrative, so they can't ever really accept that. They have to go, oh, they're all just the same. They're all just evil and immoral, and they don't give a shit, and they're just bad people. And that's what it boils down to. You listen to them talk about us, just like, we're all apparently all obsessed with atheism, and then we're all just really bad people who just fucking hate the truth, and we know that they're right, but we're just, like, stubborn, and just, you know what, I, I know G-Man and Brett and all these guys got all this shit figured out, but I just don't accept it. I'm just going to be a dick about it to them, and fuck them. They're so watching, much smarter than me. Watching this? Like, I'm not even listening to them anymore. I'm just watching this poor, credulous sap down in the bottom that's had his hand up for 15 yeah. minutes. Like, if you ever find me <laughs> sitting and listening to a Brett Keen hangout with my hand up, trying to get a word in edgewise, just put me out of my fucking misery, please. You know, please. Uh, what he no says problem. is pretty priceless, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he finally gets a chance? Oh, cool. Yeah, it, it makes no sense. He's, he's totally pulling this shit out of his ass. Awesome. Go ahead there, Tana. Here he is. Okay, so what you, while we're on the subject of Dusty, the thing uh, that really upsets me about him uh, is, is simple. I do not like the fact that he is almost my age, or, or is he older? I don't remember. But, um, and he's dating Super relevant. somebody who's obviously uh, younger than 18. No, 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 eh. no. You're Dude. full of shit. Based oh. on what evidence? Yeah. What evidence? Yeah, we've we've all met her, and she's definitely older her. than she's eighteen. Of age. <laughs> and if a chick that was twenty years younger than you came up to you and was like, "Let me suck your dick," you would do it immediately. <laughs> it's just never gonna happen. Yeah, just look at a mirror. Just look at a mirror. And we all know that's true, dude. So come on. Based on nothing. Based on your fucking bullshit. And he's like, "Oh, I like her because you know she can get all her little friends and." And uh, yeah, we can. Who cares why he likes he seems, her? He seems envious to he me. Does. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you know what really bothers me about Gus? All the fucking young pussy he's getting, man. <laughs> All that pussy. Like he's, he's got a young ass girlfriend who's down to bring her other hot girlfriends into the bedroom, and we all fuck, man. What crazy idiot, man? It's much better. You know, you know, it's a much better experience. Like I would have respect for Dusty if he was sitting for hours in a Brett Keen hangout with his fucking hand up, man. That's what real men do. Yeah, dude. Why don't you just admit that you're so fucking I'm jealous of Dusty. Dude, Ben will get this. Somebody in the chat just said Fat Chino Moreno from the Deftones. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude, that's, that's <laughs> it. it is, dude, it's yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> you're a pedophile now, and you're in encouraging her to bring her... Did you call him a pedophile? I mean, yeah, seriously, call him a pedophile. that's, that's a, a serious pedophile act. For that's a serious... somebody that's, that's younger than him, but still of age. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, this is like Brett Keenland, where Paul is fucking asking for underage nudes, and I'm fucking yeah. underage girls, and apparently Dusty's fucking underage girls too. Everyone's just going around oh, and fucking underage girls. Dude, th this is just fucking. This is just some plan, Brett fucking slander. That's all this is. For young friends, so you can have even more pedophile interactions. <laughs> so, what evidence do you have that Dusty is a pedophile? Because his girlfriend is obviously hey, underage. <laughs> That's not fucking evidence. That's not, dude. Do you fucking know what evidence is? Like, how can you get on here and you just, just lie through your fucking teeth because you don't know? I mean, I'm not even saying you're lying because it's not, it couldn't be true. It's lying because you have no idea one way or the other. You've just seen pictures of this person, which you've creepily looked at and, I guess, tried to determine uh, what their age is. Let me look at though some I doubt, more. Though, though, I, though I doubt there's any sort of determination really happening. Probably just you jerking off to it and going, oh, yeah, she's definitely underage. <laughs> <laughs> and what upsets me about you know him even more is that you know he's supposed to be an atheist, right? And he's applying Mormon philosophy by saying, "Oh yeah, we're Paul and Morris and all of that." <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> Paul, and Paul and Morris. <laughs> he, he said he's supposed to be an atheist, but he's like applying a Mormon philosophy. <laughs> what? Look at these fucking winners, what? dude. <clears throat> Dude, I can't even believe he's... I mean, like, seriously, what did he just say? I'm glad I'm so fucking high, man, because this would have blown my mind. Dude, this is blowing my mind. What? I can't even deal with this shit, dude. <laughs> you call yourself an atheist, but you want to have Paul, 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 <laughs> Paul and Morris. <laughs> How can none of you guys pronounce anything correctly? Or understand the words you're saying, like uh, like like Pacific, you know, was it Pacific time and shit like that? They're so fucking stupid. This guy needs to be like Brett Keen's <laughs> apprentice. <laughs> he is. Yeah, I mean, like Dusty, take notes. You need to take life advice from this fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, Dusty. <laughs> This needs to be your if new you, role if you model If you just cleaned up your act, Dusty, you too could be wasting hours <laughs> in a Brett Keen hangout. With your hand up. Me. Me, Brett. Me. Polly Morris. Stroking your weird mustacheless chin pubes, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, bringing up the third wife stuff. And I'm just like, you can't do that shit, dude. You can't have your cake and eat it too. What are you? You know? And you then want to shut him up? God, you're so and start watching his YouTube channel. You're, you guys are so pathetic. His stuff, he's gonna keep doing it. So you're envious that Dusty gets all kinds of poon, and you know he gets three ways and threesomes and every other thing he wants, and you're just sitting in a fucking a basement. <laughs> you're sitting in a basement, not getting laid, and that's the issue you have with Dusty. Why don't you just admit that Dusty's a better fucking man than you and just be done with it? It's like you know what? I'm a fat fucking loser. You know, the, most <laughs> the most pathetic thing about these atheists is they're all fucking hot bitches, man. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking retards, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, why, why can't there be winners like me hunching up on my 45-year-old punching bag, you know? That's where, that's where the real fucking money is. Uh, Jesus. Fucking Chino, dude. He raised his hand for that. Yeah, he waited. At least I don't uh, comment, favorite, or supporting Patreons or nothing. I just don't. I don't like doing that. It's I struggle enough as it is. I, I don't need. I can't afford to help people. That, I can barely help myself. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> but yeah, and then. You know, uh, Dusty, once again, this is your yeah, life coach here, buddy. Take notes. 
man. Yeah, I, I, str I struggle to do anything. I struggle to wipe my own ass, but let me tell you, Dusty, how you didn't live your life. This guy is, uh... You admit you're a fat, pathetic fucking piece of shit, and yet you're still gonna tell someone how to live their life. This, this guy's nickname should be Polly Morris. Polly Morris, dude. Polly Morris, dude. Polly Morris, dude. P-O-L-L-Y-M-O-R-R-I-S. Oh, yeah. Polly Morris. Love it. The video that Sublime. Uh, Brett paid, played the other day with TJ and all of that, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, and that's just so nasty, and I can't believe that these people are supposed to be, you know, outspoken members of the atheist community that are, you know, so popular and everything, and they're doing all that. That just makes me wonder what, what all the other more elite atheists are doing, so... Oh yeah. I mean every every religion or whatever. Uh, muck around uh, in big heard, pools they're of also shit, fucking you know? hot young bitches. Yeah. We muck around in pools of shit and worship Satan, don't you know? You gotta watch InfoWars. Infowars.com. To do it so publicly and brag about it like they do, I, I can't stand that. That's that's well, shameful. There is something God, you're so butthurt, dude. They're just rubbing the my face, man. God, Dusty's fucking all these bitches and I'm not doing shit. Rubbing it in my face. They can't do that. Like, <coughs> dude, you sound like such a butthurt little bitch. Like, you're literally saying, like, Dusty shouldn't do I can't believe he's doing <laughs> it. And I can only believe he's not doing it. <laughs> dude, this guy is so fucking stupid. Oh, <laughs> Morris, dude. And why is this webcam such shit quality? It's like he looks like a fucking potato. <laughs> <laughs> this is like fucking a potato cam, dude. He's like, uh, yeah, he's so blurry that his beard just looks like shading. <laughs> he's a fucking fat <laughs> potato. <laughs> I don't know, man. If his, if his camera was clearer, he'd still look like a fucking potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Never no mind about that. And you know what it's called? It's called YouTube New Terms of Service. If you want to monetize your channel, oh, you're, your you're channel has a to YouTube be uh, hero. advertiser friendly. And if they don't know how to do that, they can't stop cussing hey, at hey, like on camera. Hey, G Man, how, how, how much do you make on YouTube, buddy? You know, like, you're, you're following the community guidelines. It's really good. I'm sure when you make your 10 bucks a week, you know, or a month, it's really important, dude. It's really important to follow these guidelines. Oh, man. I love this. Or these rules here. To join, add me on Skype, Rhett Keen. Okay. Drama is not welcome, even though all we do is talk and shit about other people. Right. Must have camera and mic, even okay. though the tons of these people don't seem to have cameras. No mocking God. I'm sure he just kicks anyone who does that. Mute mic when not talking. All right. Number two is definitely the best. Drama is not welcome. But what, all we're going to do is talk is shit such, about other people the entire time. Why is the text such low quality? Because Brett Keen made it. I mean, but it's not even diff like I could I could do something better in like two minutes. I'm going to yeah, shave off my beard and just leave the chin part and see if I can impersonate Polly Morris in the next Brett Keen hangout. Do it. I'll blur up my webcam. Polly Morris. <laughs> I'll wear the same shirt for three or four days in a row so it's real authentic. <coughs> Just see what kind of crazy shit you can get Brett to agree to against us, you know? Yeah. I mean, that means basically drunken peasants ain't making no more money off monetization somewhere. That's what's ultimately going to happen soon. Because they can't do the things that they're doing and be advertiser friendly. But don't they already have <laughs> like six sponsors, though? Yes. They won't have them for long. It like doesn't matter how many sponsors uh, you, got, you have. You have to go through YouTube, and if YouTube doesn't allow the video, the oh my God. network gets disconnected from the Here, video. Here's a, here's a, a bunch of people talking. They don't, you don't understand what you're talking about, okay? No. Like, this irks me more than anything because I actually know how this shit works, and you guys are sitting here just saying, like, patently wrong shit after patently wrong shit, and it's frustrating to listen to because literally nothing you just said is true. Nothing. Because first of all, YouTube has done this shit so many times with the guidelines. And Brett, you should know this because you've been here fucking every day for your fucking... Pretty much since the inception of the site. So you should know this, that YouTube has tried to do this shit a bunch of times before. It's never fucking worked. It's not going to work this time either. Um, second of all, yeah, we have sponsors that don't go through YouTube. You know when we fucking... 
Did we, we, you know, you guys have seen it. We have advertisers and sponsors that are part of the show. That, that doesn't go through YouTube's fucking system. And second of all, are you guys forgetting our massive fucking Patreon? Which, by the way, if YouTube, if YouTube cut our fucking monetization rates, our fan base, would ju we'd just fucking get more money on Patreon. People would just be like, well, that's, fuck, that's bullshit what they did to drunken peasants on YouTube. So we're going to support them on Patreon. Yeah, we're, we're probably end up expertise. making more money. We're hearing, we're hearing expertise on sponsors from a person who, if he gave a free plug to McDonald's and they found out about it, they would ask him to take the fucking video down. <laughs> Nobody would put any product that they actually wanted to sell on anything that Brett Keen has ever done. For any of these people on here. Maybe Polly Morris, but yeah. nobody else. Polly Morris. He fucks underage girls. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, like, I, I wonder what, which, you know, they don't publish their, like, income or anything, but I wonder what percentage actually comes from YouTube, because I bet most of it is, like, their, all those, you know, 10 billion sponsors they have, and the, uh... Oh, Brett knows this answer. Brett knows yeah, this. How much money does this uh, No, he doesn't. Make? Yeah, he makes over $123,000 a year on his Amazing Atheist channel. Wow, TJ. He's roughly starting to work up towards that. There's not as many subscribers, but he gets views over there from this. Let's see. And then on the Patreon, he makes over $10,000 a month. So if anybody's interested in making that, all the TJ. Money, simply inject banana. TJ makes 150% of all of that income. Wow. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm yep. so rich. Yep. You can tell I mean, by the way I'm dressed. I'm if so, it's so if it's lavishly so easy wealthy. To make that type of money, Brett, why aren't you? Because What's he's stuck to back, his, prin his principles, uh, oh, uh, that's Paul. True. He's Brett willing. has principles. He's not willing to compromise his <laughs> his principles. Scotty, Sorry. Paul, and I are volunteers hoping that one of these days we'll get a piece of that pie, maybe. Yeah, yep. you know. And yeah, you know, you know, sometimes TJ would be putting his, you know, wads of money back in his pocket and a couple will fall onto the ground. And he won't even bother to pick them up. And then <sighs> we scramble to, to get to it. You know, then Ben yeah. and Scotty, they might even fucking get into a serious brawl over, Holy you know, shit. who gets the dollar, you know, <laughs> that's how it works. I don't have to share any money with anyone else. I don't have to fucking support anything uh, other than just, you know, lavishness. It's all great. When I was staying with you guys down in Ohio last time, I picked up a quarter off the ground in your living room, and Scotty wrote me a fucking tax uh, shit for it, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Scotty. You fuck, fucking, like, they, you don't, you know, <laughs> we're just, we're scrambling for the crumbs, man. That's all we got, man. That's all we got. Yeah, Paul, you, sorry you had to hitchhike out to Ohio. TJ would have spring <laughs> for it. I understand, so. dude. Yeah, I mean, he could have got you Greyhound, but, you know. He ain't made a money, Paul. Yeah. Even even Pimp Monk gets to ride the Greyhound, man. I got to fucking thumb my ride up there. Yeah. I you mean, just hide in one of Pimp Monk's folds. I mean, so what if you had to give BJ's to truckers? I mean, you made it. And you made it back to Texas. Pimp Monk is one of the few people that if he's traveling, he can actually smuggle other people. <laughs> You know, there's enough room to hide. You know. Oh, poor Pimp Monk. He's fine. Man, when we get our studio, we get Pimp Monk out here to get beaten by a dominatrix. Yeah, dude. Dude, it has to happen. <laughs> dominatrix gonna whip Pimp Monk. It's gonna happen. I don't think he's gonna do it, dude. Fuck it. He's gonna I, do it. I do it. like pain. <laughs> He's doing it. We, we haven't negotiated with him yet, Paul. We're going to, uh, since we get the studio, we're going to negotiate with no him. No one even watches videos until he agrees to do it. Oh, shit. Don't watch his videos. And if you, I mean, like, maybe just click on it to give it a thumbs down, you know? Oh, my God. Be like, fuck you, Pit Monk. Agree to the peasant's terms. <laughs> he needs to. But you're come here and get your balls whipped by a dominatrix with huge tits. <laughs> Don't actually do any of that, you guys. <laughs> Wink, wink. <laughs> what? what? On your balls and Something stuck in my eye, that's all. Oh, he's talking about bananas. Is there a female option for that? Or <laughs> that uh, a I'm, well, I would think Don't that there were more. Women have assholes and vaginas, so yeah, there's more options, yeah. Brett's right, for once. These are the most enlightened people. God, these, it's like, 
Do you just feel like you're you're watching like a special ed fucking high school yes. reunion or some shit? I mean, what is this? This is real sad. I mean, this is just agony to watch. These people are each just every everyone who talks is just slower and more dim witted than the person before. All right. Legal notification situation. This is Jesus with some lightning bolts. If you're an atheist, then you're a fucking dope. Be nice in the comments or we'll block you. Agree with Brett or we'll block you. Have a nice day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just enjoying some non-alcoholic root beer. I've hacked the DP channel today to alert you to yet another scam from TJ the Amazing Atheist and his dickless penises. This time, they're even calling it the ultimate scam situation. You see, what the peasants have done is stolen my content, as well as my friend Tommy Sotomayor's content, and made special episodes where they insult the piss out of me, my family, my water-headed children, as well as Tommy Sotomayor. Now, the drunken pissants have bundled both of these special episodes together for, get this, five dollars. That's both the Tommy Sotomayor Fatherless America episode and 23 Situations in Odyssey into Brett Keen for the outrageously high price of $5. That's two boxes of mac and cheese. That's five items on the Wendy's dollar menu. Do not fall for this scam. Remember that RV trip around America? Whatever you do, do not click on the link in the description and don't give these pissants your money. By the way, uh, help save my family's home by donating to my PayPal. Peace out, losers. Once upon a midnight situation, while I sat there weak and weary over many a quaint and curious lord forgotten mac and cheese, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of some particular individual gently rapping, rapping at my gaming channel, Games You Love. Tis some theist, I muttered, tapping at my gaming channel, Games You Love. Only this, and nothing more. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, distinctly I remember. It was I was a non-believer. And each separate dying individual brought its deck upon the floor. Eagerly I wished for a chili. Vainly had I sought to borrow from my books surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Don, for the rare and radiant individual whom the angels name Don, nameless here, forevermore. <sighs> and the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple situation thrilled me, filled me with particular terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my wife, I stood repeating, "'Tis some individual entreating entrance at my gaming channel, games you love." Some late individual entreating entrance at my gaming channel, games you love. This it is, and nothing more. Presently, my situation grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, individual said I, or oh, madam, situation. Truly, your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so particular you came tapping, tapping at my gaming channel, games you love, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here, I opened wide the chat room. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into this situation, peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, Doubting, dreaming dreams no individual ever dared to dream before. But the situation was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Don. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Don. Merely this, and nothing more. <sighs> no cheese. Back into my gaming channel, games you love. Turning all my mac and cheese within me burning, 
Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my Google Hangout. Let me see then what their ad is, and this situation explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this situation explore. Tis the God, and nothing more. Open here, I flung the Google Hangout. When, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately atheist individual of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or individual, perched above my website godtvradio.com, perched upon the bust of Pallas, just above my website godtvradio.com, perched and sat there, and nothing more. Then this individual, beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern situation of the countenance it wore, Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no atheist. Ghastly, grim, and ancient individual wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's situation. Sure. Quoth the individual. Amazing atheist. I mean, when can you like, think of a, can you think of a situation that you oh. wouldn't like, like that somebody would like you even if it was at like a family member's funeral somebody was like hey man want some weed i'd be like yes <laughs> like when when wouldn't you want weed when uh paul yeah are you are you aware that in that uh sentence just now you said, I said the word situation, situation. I yeah i, I couldn't you think of that? another word to put in there Did you, how about Scenario. Yeah. <laughs> How about that one now too? scenario? Is he using particular yeah, scenario? We gotta fucking take scenario away from. We gotta destroy Brett. That's how we finally get Brett. We gotta mm -hmm. fucking mock every word in his vocabulary until the point where he can no longer verbally communicate. And and and. <laughs> let's get let's get rid of some really like common words and or. Oh, Brett Keen's always going around using the words and, guys. And. I'm Nobody Brett Keen, an and my thing is and. I always say and, everybody. <laughs> okay, so now we actually have to do that to Brett. That's, Everyone, how, that's how stupid he is. Uh, I think, well, I mean, now that we've planted this in everyone's mind... Uh, it's it's already it's it's uh, done and. it's done we've we've literally just done it just now by just yeah. saying that and everybody how many ands in this video <laughs> we want a compilation of Brett Keen using the word and his sentences are so short he doesn't really usually get to and <laughs> uh, do you want to just go right into his segment since we're already talking about ahead. him yeah. all right. Pull the trigger on that bullshit. Check out that beautiful asshole. The individual Brett Keen segment situation. <clears throat> Good old Brettster. All right, so classic Keen. Yeah. Support me, or I quit you too. <laughs> Yeah, this was while you guys were gone, by the way. This was one of the two I'm quitting videos. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Connect with me on all my YouTube channels. Subscribe, comment, and rate. Today we're going to talk about something really important. This is literally the future of my YouTube channels. As I thought you said something you know, really important. Every single day that I... What the fuck is important about the future of Fred <laughs> Keen's YouTube channel? Uh, well, hmm. we got a whole segment riding on it, so... I guess that's, that's important, you know? <laughs> Although... Although the motherfucker has thousands, like, we could keep the individual Brett Keen situation segment going on for, like, six years just Even based on the shit Even if he died tomorrow. Made. Yep. Yeah. Even if he died tomorrow, okay, well, we guys, could do segment until the end of time. The fate of YouTube is on the line. If Brett's channel falls... If Brett's channel falls, then in a thousand years, when we run out of Brett Keen material, our channel will fall, and then YouTube will fall, ladies yep. and gentlemen. This is important stuff. Listen up. I wake up. I have to deal with some of the most heinous, disgusting 
no, no what, you don't. Your family? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> the mirror next to his bed. <laughs> Every time I, I wake told up, you not I to look. put that there, darn. <laughs> Dude, it, to the point he's actually he's, he's trying to make. Brett, he's like Mumra. His weakness know, is his own reflection. Come on, dude. You could at any time just say, oh, "I'm walking away from social media," and all this would go away. So I'm not gonna get any Mumra props for a Thundercat. Okay, thank you. All right, I was just wondering. Yeah. I mean, I get no props for a fucking Thundercats reference for yeah, fuck's dude, sake. I had completely okay. forgotten that Mumra couldn't look in the mirror, dude. That's you dug deep on that one, man. Yeah, thank you. The people that you could possibly so imagine. Needed. Just need some, some validation. Here, you think down. that, hey, Brad, you've got <sighs> like every day, popular YouTubers constantly. who are constantly talking about you, and it brings you views. What do you <laughs> possibly have to complain about? Well, the thing is, is that these people who steal my videos. So, uh, his, so his, his, the Patreon finally just did take. We we predicted this. I think that this yeah, was just going to take over the whole screen eventually, and now it <laughs> has. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there it is. Well, now he's whining that a bunch of people aren't giving him money on Patreon. It's like, Brett, why would anyone give you any money? You're, uh, a, you're a known fucking scammer. Brett, you know, uh, there was a guy that was giving you money on Patreon, and that was me. And then you fucking did something, you did some shit that was so scummy, even I'm just like, all right, fuck you then. Yeah, you weren't giving him enough money, remember? Oh, yeah, you said I wasn't giving you enough money on Patreon. Dude, probably gives me anything. So then I fucking pulled it back. $6.60. I was giving you $6.66 more than 99.9999999999 fucking percent of all people give you, you stupid fuck. You did it to mock him. Should have been nice, Brett. Did it to mock him. I mean, you didn't even have to be nice to me. Just don't fucking bitch about what I'm giving you. I was a fucking supporting you on Patreon for fuck's sake. I was, yeah, be, I was doing something nice for you. He, he's you giving, fucking spit it in my face. Brett, he was giving you free money. Like, why, why? who even cares? You were doing nothing to earn this. It was just something being given to you. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty good enemy to have. I'm giving my fucking enemies money, you know? And you fucking don't take advantage of that? You're, the, you're a stupid fuck, Brett. It's just another example of why you're stupid. And now you're here begging for more Patreon. I'll tell you what, Brett. If you get on your hands and knees and beg... I'll give you your six sixty six a month back. Wow. Wow. Good offer. A generous offer. DJ, that's quite the offer. I know, I right? Ki I'd kill to see that shit. Yeah. Please, such a white <laughs> amazing idea. Please, can I have my six sixty six back? Oh, dude, it'd be worth it. Over their channels and do what they do. They're literally making more money literally, on the internet. Literally. Than I am off my own content. Every time. What? Why would that be? Uh, because it's no longer his content. Yeah, uh, here's the thing your content is not popular at all. Our content is way popular. So, how can you say there's no difference between our content and your content when ours is super popular and yours isn't? Because it's not fair if, you're making money. If all things were equal and your shit was good or your shit was the draw here. Yeah. Then wouldn't you expect to be just as popular as the fucking drunken peasants? You're not. <coughs> well, I mean, it's just clear that Bray, uh, Bray, Brett fucking hates to be. Bray. He fucking hates just being the fucking object of ridicule. He thinks because we're fucking taking this content and you know and making something transformative in nature that he just can't he can't deal with it. He's like, why are they making money off this? Like we're making money off you, Brett. Your fucking terrible personality. That's what that that's the fucking draw. <laughs> that really is the draw. <laughs> you put yourself out here and you say, I'm a YouTuber and you've you're always trumpeting how important you are as a YouTuber, but then when someone um uses your work and critiques it then you say oh well i'm just a little guy and they just picking on me i mean so which is it brett are you this big important world shattering fucking figure or are you just a little guy who needs to be protected which is it you can't be both well he's, he's obviously a nobody and he knows that it's like you, if, you're, if if people really like your content You'll get Patreon support. I mean, like, look at any channel that's popular and that they're getting tons of money because people are like, oh, I really like that. I'll give $3 a month. Brett wouldn't have to re fucking resort to these threats. That, and who are they threats to? The random people that watch your shit? You're threatening them now. Oh, I'm going to be gone if you don't give me fucking money. It's like, Brett, you're just, you just look pathetic here, man. Uh, he didn't raise any money. No one cared. <laughs> of course. 
cares? Literally, no one cares, yeah. and no one, be- no one believed him for fuck's sake. No one believed. That's what I'm saying. There's no credibility whatsoever to the idea that Brett Keane is leaving YouTube of his own volition. Yeah, the little manatee that cried wolf, man. This is like the umpteenth time he's done this. So even if you're a fan of Brett Keane, you're like, I like Brett Keane's content. There's no way. <laughs> I said gonna- no one. I mean, but yeah, like, I, I, there's got to be somebody. I've, I've seen some little sycophants around him. There's always at least... I can't uh, imagine even his sycophants really like what he does. I think they just like being scummy with him. Yeah, Brett. You're oh, great, yeah. Brett. Yeah. I've modded all of you. I'm gonna... I've been thinking about how drama-filled everyone around Brett is. I mean, you, that's kind of people that he actually attracts and want to like buddy up to him. So you know they probably don't really genuinely like Brett. Bre- uh, <laughs> ben, I'm not hearing you through when you yeah, were talking. Yeah, Ben, your mic is fucked, bro. Hello. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good. Really? Can you hear me? No. Nope. You're, you're a nope. little low. Huh. You're low. Come on now. Oh shit. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> it's all. It's all over. It's all. That over. must be that Paul mic, dude. The Paul mic. Yeah. Which I think TJ damaged. <coughs> I didn't do nothing. All right. Yeah, you damaged the I fucking mic and the channel. fucking chair, TJ. Oh, he's fine now. It was the yeah. channel. Dude. Oh, it was the channel. Yeah. The channel. Oh, all right. Well, so whatever. We just need a new soundboard. You get a pass this time, dude. Um. Yeah, everyone's dead. That's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Show my videos. They make quadruple the amount of money that huh. I make whenever I do my stuff. Probably more than uh, that. Yeah, way more than quadruple. Way more. <laughs> when, like, if we made quadruple, that would just mean that each one of us is getting like roughly what you get, which, no, is dumb. Yeah. We each get a dollar. Yeah, yeah we'd each get a buck. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, well, this is worth our time. No. We're getting way more than quadruple <laughs> or shit. Dumb fuck. <laughs> Partner networks I go through, they don't pay me shit. I'm literally not making anything. Uh, no. Okay, so no. if you're making nothing, quadruple that is still nothing. Uh, Brett, it's not, that, mean, they, it's so not that they're paying you nothing, Brett. <laughs> it's that you're partnered through some fucking network and it'll probably be a, a terrible deal because you're a nobody. And then you fucking compound that with the fact that you, your, your content doesn't get any views. How can they pay you? The reason people make money on YouTube is because ads are run against their content. If no one's viewing your fucking content, dude, what what money is there to pay you? No ads are being shown on your content. You know, I I just don't understand how it's a matter of them fucking you. It's like, no, it's you suck and no one watches you. This has been Explaining Simple Concepts to Brett Keane, part 5,921. I'm not a rich person. No shit. Hey, my family needs a new car. Yep, you and everyone else. We need some support. And if people are not going to support, then why should I continue to do YouTube for? Now, some people <laughs> might say, well, Brett, Great logic. You know, is that really what it's about? No. I like social yes, it media. Is to you. I enjoy being able to talk to people and communicate and make friends. The problem <laughs> is... What was that? And <laughs> make friends? And make friends. And. Show and. us some of your friends, Brett. What's with this and shit? Fuck the friends thing, guy. And. He said and. You believe that? Uh, fucking and, dude. Everyone needs to fucking n- take note of Brett Keen using that word too much. And. Yet again. Is that with all the nasty shit constantly flying around, I have to deal with drama repeatedly. And I can tell that a lot of people who yeah, but you have no part in hang out with me, <laughs> even though they're nice for the moment, they almost instantly afterwards go make a video to attempt to get views by putting my name into their video. They'll pretend to be nice to me on the internet, but as soon as we're done talking... When have we ever pretended to be nice Okay, to me? Brett, you're the lowest common denominator to ever... On all of these fucking stories... You, you just happen to be the fucking party that, you know, someone just turned Dude, on you. Someone saw, just turned on you. I saw fucking someone approach Brett on uh, Skype and was just like, Brett was like, you are, but he didn't put a question mark at the end of it. So it was just, it just came across as like, you are. And the person's just like, you know, hey, Brett, I'm a fan. And he's like, I asked you who you are. It's like, oh, I'm just a fan of your shit on God TV radio. And Brett's like, fuck off, loser. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. 
So it's like, Brett, talk about, uh, like, I'm just this nice guy, and if you approach me, I'm friendly, but these people are all scum. So whatever. Yeah, if you approach him and basically just kiss his ass, which, I mean, uh, wh- why would you want to? Like, wh- what do you possibly gain from, I mean, besides maybe entertainment, wh- what are you going to gain from Brett, like, you know, being Brett's buddy? Like, nothing. Uh, if you're Brett's friend, it guarantees that at some future date he will make a video roasting you. That's about it. Yep. Everyone will get at least yeah, one. Yeah, Brett just, just always happens to get a lot of false friends in his life, you know, just... Even though he is, the, you know, the one common factor in the story, and you see it over and over again, all his life, you know, bullshit and drama, which he's constantly in with somebody. He happens to be the one involved, but it's everyone always turning on him. You know, it's fucking St. Brett yet again. Yeah, I don't think Brett has one unfractured, unfrayed relationship. He doesn't. You know. He doesn't. Fucking, and as soon as they've lied to me and pretended as though we're all cool... They'll go out, make a video, insult the living shit out of them, do whatever it takes in order to get an attempt to either get views to their channel or get put on the drunken peasants. It's extremely annoying, one. Number two, it's mentally exhausting to be around people like this all day. People who are just there because they're bored or because they're lonely. And they're looking for some kind of way to be able to take down the great Brett Keen. So Brett, the great Brett Keen. <laughs> Tell you're describing yourself by just you're really bored and lonely and depressed. It's like, hmm, who does this sound like? The great and Brett, Brett, Brett Keen. And Brett, who who forced you to be on YouTube? Like, I love that. He, why? I mean, I love that he thinks that he's like this figure that like. I'm going to make a name for myself by destroying the great Brett King. They call king, me the king of the yeah, manatee. King of the manatee. Like, what? <laughs> no. You know, where, where does this high opinion of Brett uh, for himself come from? Like, wh- if you look around his life, like, what is what about you it says, like, wow, Brett, Brett, you know? Like, what is, like, the wow factor in your life, dude? Like, there doesn't really appear to be any. I mean, it's certainly not your, your anything physical about you. It's like you're like prematurely aged. You're fucking. To- you have totally fucking white hair. You're fucking really fat. Uh, you just. You're hideous. I mean, just the list goes and, on and on. And he he obviously lives in his brother's shadow. Well, that come on. Yeah, I mean, Justin Keen is one of the say, kind. I do want to say that even though we are here attacking Brett Keen. And some of his family. There is one part of his family that we all here at the Drunk Peasants greatly admire, and that is the wonderful and talented Justin Keen. Yes. Yep. Who has the, the uh, grave it, it, misfortune of being related to Brett. Sorry, Paul, you go ahead. No, no, it's all right. I was just going to say his, his deadbeat of a father saved all his good sperm for Justin. That's true. That's very true. And I think that uh, the mo- their mother loved Justin best as well, right? Of course she did. How, I mean, look at him. I mean, yeah, how couldn't you? And Paul, uh, if you're, if the audience will remember, is a Brett Keen historian and, and expert. That's right. Hmm. I mean, we that, all that's vouch not, that's for not Paul's e- authority on this matter. That's not even kayfabe, matter. dude. That's not even kayfabe either. Like, if you oh, yeah. stood them side by side and Brett Keen's mother was still alive, which one, which one are you going to choose, man? I mean, obviously. I mean, everyone knows the choice they're going to make in that situation. You know, Brett, you need to get out situation. of Justin Shadow, man. Individual. You, you need to move out situation. of uh, Festus. Individual. Situation. Individual. Situation. You need to seek individual. out your fortune, dude. Individual, individual, individual. Sorry. What? Me and, me and Ben got into a little... You had like a situation. fucking... Se- uh, uh, a Brett Keen seizure. Uh, well, yeah, we're, 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 we're fucking dueling banjos over here, dude. Dueling Brett Keenisms. Uh, okay. So they can get views or be the next popular person on YouTube. I have been dealing with this for years. <laughs> Dude. I have one single goal here, people. Br- Brett just called himself basically like fucking Glass Joe. Like the first step on the, uh, on uh, the greatest is like just destroy Brett King and go to the top. I mean, like he's like a Goomba, dude. <laughs> you just fucking <laughs> stop, man, you know. Anyone can do it. Even your even someone who doesn't even know how the controller works could fucking ah boom I killed the Goomba. That's Brett, dude. Scotty really likes that. 
but it's so true. It's like Brett's like a goomba. I'm just imagine like a goomba like talking all this shit to you, and you're just like playing the game. And you're just like kill he's him. Not like, even a Koopa Troopa. No, no, he's, no, because no, they actually have he's some that, armor, you know. He's that first goomba in Mario One. <laughs> yes, too, one that's that, exactly like, the one. <laughs> If you die to it, it's the most humiliating thing that ever happened to you. And you're true. Like, oh shit! The first Goomba killed me. Like I'm retarded. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like Brett Keen beating you in an argument. It's like really did that just happen? I mean, it does happen occasionally. Sometimes Brett Keen will get the upper hand for a little bit. <laughs> it's it's so great, dude. There, there's been times TJ like me and TJ have been sitting there and he's just like. Man, like, you know what? Like, I really let Brett get the fucking better of me because he's all getting panicking, like, shit, I don't know what to do. And then, like, and then the next day, Brett will just, like, solve all of TJ's problems for him. <laughs> it's great. I so love that guy. He just, like, he fucking shit on him and shit on him. And then he finally gets, like, the upper hand in some way. Like, you said you'd pay him $1,000, TJ. You're a real scum fuck now that you're fucking reneging on your deal and all this. And then, you know, everyone's on Brett's side all of a sudden. We like Brett now. He's an all right guy. And it's like, and then Brett immediately just makes like several reprehensible videos in a row. And everyone's like, oh, never mind. Never mind. He's a piece of shit. Don't pay him. Because this is not fun for me. It's not interesting to sit here and deal with ignorance. All right, all then just day. quit. Brett, no, no one cares. You don't even have to quit. Just stop making this shit. Like, can't you just see that if, like, if you just, like, for once, just stop trying to fucking bank on, like, our name and shit, and just went off and did your own thing, eventually we'd lose interest in you, and you could just fucking do your own thing and no one would give a shit. But that's the problem. You don't want no one to give a shit. You want to be this fucking center of attention, and when you're the center of attention, there's always going to be negative fucking attention. And, you know, this is, like, the least little bit of pressure. Like, it, without this show, you're fucking zero. You're nothing. That's why when we left, your views, what few views you have, just went whoop. Because they instantly forgot about you after we were gone for a couple weeks. They're just like, Brett who? Oh, yeah, Brett Keen. Yeah, the drunken peasant's little bitch boy fodder thing. That's all you are. It's not cool to go through drama all the time. But I can tell you this. You don't have to. You don't fucking have to, Brett. Why don't you get about this? Don't you, don't you see, like, you don't have to do it. You don't have to fucking do it. None of this has to happen. Yeah, but what you else actually, does Brett have? You what? actually love it. Yeah, of okay. course he loves it. Don't fucking tell me you don't love it, because you fucking... Brett, does, okay, look, Brett doesn't have a job. Brett's not a student. Brett doesn't really do anything. What else does Brett have but to fucking sit around and play video games and to get into internet drama? Because you know he doesn't have any real fucking problems because he's obsessed with bullshit. He's obsessed with shit no one really cares about. That's what you don't get, Brett. Just like TJ said, that's why no one viewed your shit. It's because, like, your actual content is just, like, it's, it's, it's fucking garbage. It's just, like, some nonsense that doesn't even make any sense, or it's just you shit-talking people. And that doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, and you don't even allow yourself to have friends. Like, you can't even have, like, a buddy that's like, yeah, Brett, I'm with you, man, because you just, you can't fucking help but stab them in the back. Yeah, where's J-Dubs? Yeah, what happened to J Dubs, Brett? Where's the dubs? Yeah, Brett doesn't have shit. He can't even have fucking I, I, any butt buddies. I stumbled into a Brett Keen hangout today, and he was oh, like, "What?" Let's, yeah, he was like, "Let's see if we can get Nadia Chambers in here. She's a sweetheart." And I was like, "Cut to two months ago. Nadia Chambers is a man. Look at that Adam's apple. What a deviant homosexual atheist." It's like, fuck, man. What a guy, man. What a fucking guy. All right, let's move on. Let's have an individual on. situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. Damn the it. individual Brett Keen segment situation. Did you realize that intro kind of implies that Brett Keen comes big balls of fire? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a cool How do you know he power. doesn't? If he does, my estimation of him in the, is, is gone up, dude. You know, like, if, he, if he, I'd respect him. You know more. what that means, too. If fire shoot, there would be something special, dude. About if him. fire shoot out, is shooting out of Brett's dick, that means he's a sodomite, though. I'll tell you what, guys. I I didn't realize this, but Justin Keen used to be like Brett, but now he's he's made himself beyond that. That's like, true. Like I saw a video of Justin Keen back in the day. He looked like Brett. But now he looks nothing like him. Wow. 
Yeah. What an accomplishment, dude. Yeah. Look, that's that's Justin wow. King. All right. Do you feel like animals have a consciousness that they're aware of themselves? I don't think uh, animal behavior <laughs> goes beyond uh, instinctual behaviorism. Uh, learned behavior from whatever its surroundings are. Wow. All the time, if if you see any small animal, even a small child, human child, put in an alleyway with nothing to learn from and no environment. It yeah. Will. I mean, okay. Well, another insightful, poignant comment. Yeah, you Justin know what? Keen, you know? It does maybe kind of sound like he's not really saying anything at all, but I think it's brilliant. I know. You know, I was kind of like, you know, at first I was like, oh, is this just meandering bullshit that has nothing to do with anything but then I realized no no this is fucking awesome this is actually beyond anyone on this podcast even understand I mean, this yeah I mean uh, I wish that I was a smart enough man to really grasp what Justin Keene is saying here because I mean Truly. obviously on this podcast all of us love Justin Keene yep yeah. so much yeah Yep. He is and, the best. Uh, but what the greatest the fu- Keen. He, d- he looks totally different now though That's- right well this is uh, you know Another testament to the greatness of Justin Keene is, uh, you know, uh, having Brett Keene as a brother obviously dragged him down a bit earlier in life, but he found the willpower within to find I agree. a weight loss method. You know what? I just want to salute away. him. I mean, it, yeah. it wasn't meth, everybody. Good job, Despite what Justin people Keene. around Festus, Missouri might tell you, it was not meth. That is a filthy fucking lie about Justin no. Keene. We it was love sheer Justin force Keene. of will. We respect sheer Justin force Keene. Of will. He ate vegetables I can only, I can and salads and as- shit every day. I, I can only hope to aspire to the greatness of Justin Kane. I'll, I'll never reach it, of course. But yeah, I, I actually um, I bought a uh, you know I bought a what would what would Jesus do? Um, you know some some bracelets and shit and necklaces and stuff because you know I mean they're for Christians, but I I figure instead of Jesus, I'm just thinking Justin Kane. You know. Yep. What would Justin Keen I, do? I just feel like Brett now is just He's an like, inspirational figure. Brett, how can you live in your First brother's true, shadow yeah, like I, I this? I just feel like it's like a monolithic shadow at this point. Yeah. I mean, just like, look how far Justin <laughs> Keen has come in his life. I mean, he was... What if there's some sort of parasitic relationship where, all, where Justin is just like, you know, that's why he has the greatness of two people, you know, because mm. he sucks Brett's greatness away from him. He's uh, a greatness somehow. vampire? Yeah, maybe, but only only towards Brett, you know, and that's why he, you know, Brett has some inherent greatness, but it's all sucked up by Justin, you know. Maybe that's just that's just a theory. I don't know if that's true, but it no, would explain. I think I think Brett's uh, greatness was a uh, non-existent. You just think, you know, maybe it was just seeing having an example like Brett. Like, man, I yeah. so don't want to be I like think that. It's, you look at that. You, but that's a reverse role you, model where you look at my my brother's a total. Well, piece of shit. Dude, imagine, imagine this. You know, you're you fucking come over to see Brett. You're gonna hang out with Brett, and Brett's your brother, and you know you just come, and you see Dorn, and you just see Brett lying around, and Brett's probably in the same bullshit situation he's always been in. It's like you just honestly look at that, and you're like, man, maybe you love Brett because he's your brother, but you really just don't like Brett as a person. And I mean, like, if you even want friends to come over to your house, yeah, you deal with Brett. You have to be like twice. No, as Justin. Justin probably only goes and visits Brett. I don't, I don't think he ever comes to his house. I'm talking about when they were kids. Oh, when they were kids. When oh, were they kids. was really dragged down then. Yeah. All I right. mean, really, the only thing that Brett kept was that singing voice of an angel. I know you guys have all heard him singing typo negative before. I oh, mean, God. The destiny <laughs> that's in her eyes and between her thighs. Oh, God. <laughs> you did better. Yeah, that was actually better You're, than Brett did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually were not as able to be as bad. Anyway, uh, next one uh, is a fairly recent video from Brett. It's Brett Keen stops smoking in other major changes news. Wow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. The website can be found in the description. To easily click it, and you're there. Let me tell you a little bit about my Thank website. You. This is the Brett Keen Club. This means that you can join a Google group that I've created. These are all my YouTube channels. This is my brother. This is my daily motion page. This is my Twitch <laughs> channel. This is my Twitter. Okay. This is my PS4 handle. You know, man, this, I, is, my, this is my slander page. Be sure to spread those fucking 14 fans you got as thin as you possibly can, Brett. Yeah, yeah. Brett, why, and, do you, uh, why do you need... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, on top of that, like, what is he walking us through here? It's labeled. 
Like why? Know, right? <laughs> this is my channel, and this is my brother Justin. This is right here. This daily motion button. Yep, that's my daily motion. <laughs> but it's like the funny thing about Brett is like Brett. There's people who have like 10 million followers, and they don't have as much shit as you. Yeah, and like, I mean, think about this. Like you, you don't have one successful channel, and you have like 10 channels. What is the necessity of this website even existing? Like, man, the only reason I don't have a bunch of people follow me on social media and shit is because I don't have a, ch a website that <laughs> congregates it all in one place. Also, I, I, I've criticized them numerous times because basically, was his, before he did this, his site was just a fucking blogger page. Now he's added some bullshit to it, so it's like, look, it's a real website. Circa 1998. <coughs> well, if anyone wants to play, with I want to go to this website and click on Brett Keen Club. Though, what is that? What's going on? With that? <laughs> he said. It's, he said it's a Google group. Oh. We sh you should go join the Brett Keen Club. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm, I'm sure. is that is that like the Fox Kids Club? Dude, can we pull it up? The Brett Keen Club. What the fuck could it possibly be? What's in there? Who's a member of that? <laughs> I don't know. You probably have to be approved by Brett, I'm sure, so... I don't even want to fuck with it. In the it. future, from now on, all videos on. where I'm responding to trolls or dramatic bullshit or dealing with people who are doing the bullshit that they do on YouTube, this is where those videos will go. They will not be on YouTube anymore. Yes, they will. You can support, you can donate, and you can help the Keen family. Three different ways to do that if you feel like it. When you come to my There's site, three ways this is pretty much my brother's Brett. section over here. Right, you here's, can here, check out his here's stuff. a uh, here's a prediction this is because this is a recent video, right, Ben? Like this is like within the yeah. last couple of days or so. Yeah. In one week, there will be drama on Brett Keen's channel. One week, I give him one week from today. By by next Friday, there will be massive amounts of drama on Brett Keen's channels again, guaranteed. And why is that? Because no one's going to come to this site and watch those drama videos. Yeah, nobody, nobody's going to go to his shitty fucking 1992 website and watch drama videos. And he's not going to make any money doing like like his fucking horrible, like when he tries to do a non-drama video. I was thinking about how some people think that, that reality is a simulation, just <laughs> like the Matrix. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Much all my stuff. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Did you see it? Every link out there and ways to contact did me. Did you blah, see blah, the blah. Matrix? I did. Yeah, I did see it. Fred, no that, one that's needs. That's another recent video he did. No one needs all this shit to contact you. It's like, no one is trying to get in contact with you, Brett. Like, why do you have 50 fucking channels? You must have nothing better to do with your life than create fucking de channels that um, they're not defunct. Yeah, I they're, mean, like, they're just, no one's going to. We, no actually, we actually make a living off of YouTube. And <clears throat> TJ, he doesn't have that many channels. Uh -uh. He has, this is like a, a, a split channel for him. Yeah. And then he has like, what is it? TJ does life. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah. Besides Amazing Atheist. So, right. There's like three. You have like, three yeah. Three actually use, uh, ever use. I mean, I guess I might have made a few channels in the past that I only used for a little while, but. Yeah. You know, and I haven't even used TJ does life in quite a while either. Yeah. It's like there's always huge, like sporadic gaps in that in uploads of that shit. I mean, and if you look at this shit too, he posts like these these videos that he's made where he's rambling about shit, and then he just copy pastes a Wikipedia article down below. Like, just look at the first line of that of that story there, and tell me you can hear Brett Keen saying that. <laughs> like normal sensory neurons, <laughs> nociceptor neurons travel in peripheral sensory nerves. No way, dude. No way. It's totally him, dude. What are you talking about? <coughs> uh. Wow. This is my Twitter right here where you can actually see every new feed that goes up. And down below, these will be my posts and articles and so on. <coughs> watch. So on. Oh my god. We. Like, why are you. Just, like, I. Is this not self explanatory as you see it? Like, here, these things look like articles. Guess what they are? Articles. Holy yeah, shit. people are going to come. People these are going to come like, like videos yeah. that I made. Guess what they are? Guess, Scotty. What? 
Guess. What? What could it be? Guess, Scotty. What is this? Mm. What do you think this is, Scotty? I don't know. I just don't fucking know. The video, Scotty. Oh. It's a video made by Brett Keen. Videos and, and read stuff. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, make sure you check out this stuff because I've got different videos on Daily Motion and different stuff going on Twitch. Most of the Twitch videos will end up being exported over to Games You Love. So Games You Love. Brett, no one cares. Okay. No one cares about all this shit. This is a total waste you want of to time. Show, show some love and show some support. That's the way to do it. Also, for now on, whenever I do a Google Hangout, you'll get to watch it in real time while it's happening. Dude. How riveting. Instead of 31 flavors of ice cream like Baskin Robbins, Brett Keen just has like 31 flavors of dog shit. It can't just be, mm. it can't just be like, I'm Brett and I'm full of this shit. It's like, no, we got a <coughs> wide variety of shit. You can see me fucking doing horrible things all over the place. How do I the spread <coughs> my already pitiful views thinner? Let's make 28 channels. <coughs> I can't wait to join the Brett Keen Club, though. Dude, Brett's probably like divide and conquer. I'm Brett Keen's number one fan. Here you go, Ben. If you joined his group, you'd be one of like you know, like maybe ten people. So maybe you could claim that. You'd be like, look, Brett, I'm your number one fan. We should uh, we should all join the Brett Keen Club and make it all about how great I am. That would make me so happy. Nah. Who I was blocked on Twitter by Brett. Because I told him his video sucked or something. Why? Why would you tell Brett that? Why are you trying to hurt Brett's Whoa. feelings, dude? Crossing the line there, buddy. I, you know, I know we, we, we have fun Josh and Brett Keen on the show every once in a while, guys. But deep down, I think we all respect Brett. <laughs> you couldn't even say it. <laughs> it's like, the video. Uh, you tried to say it and just like... Oh, no, 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 no. The videos will be removed from YouTube yeah. and they will be put over on my Patreon channel. People want to watch it. They got to be at least a five dollar Patreon. Also, so if you want to be a channel. part of my hangouts in order to get the link, you're going to have to be a five dollar Patreon. Now, this means that you pay five dollars and you're going to be able to get into any hangouts Damn. I do during the month. But if you ever delete your Patreon, didn't or your he, pledge, didn't, what, didn't he like a never... week ago criticize us for doing this? Wasn't he like? You don't have to pay me any money. Like you, like the drunken peasants, they make you pay a Patreon thing for their hangouts. Yeah, but he you criticized us, and me. then he stole from us. You know, yep. that's how it usually works. Way to go, Brett. You know, uh, I want to move on to one more video, uh, so a little bit more of a classic Keen. There's a classic Keen channel out there that's pretty good, and we're going to watch one from there, unless you want to watch a little more of this one. I saw... Um, no, we can watch that one, but I, I saw through the chat... Within, like, a couple seconds of each other, there was a comment that was like, Let's fuck, TJ. And then there was another one that was like, Fuck you, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the chat in a nutshell. Yeah. Let's fuck, TJ. Fuck you, TJ. Thank you, chat. I'm glad you're full of such strong feelings about me. Indeed. Um, Love him or hate him, TJ. <laughs> Many people, many in this crowd say TJ shit. Many say he's terrific. Who knows? Even I'm not to. sure. All right, let's 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 do the next yeah, one. Yeah, let's play the next one. This one's uh, from, I think, a few months ago. Maybe like three or four months ago. No. It's, no? I don't know. Uh, the, um, the amazing atheist, I trusted you and you scammed us all. Fuck. <laughs> Great. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my name is Brett Dude, Keen look at him. TV Radio. Make sure you check out all my YouTube uh, channels. What the fuck is going on with your hair? Facebook and Twitter. Also, make sure that you check out my... Why is he giving off this creepy teenage girl vibe in this video? Yeah, he, dude, he fucking it looks is. like a He's fucking... laying in bed writing in his diary. Yeah, he just looks like... I mean, like, I remember this phase of his video making, too. And I always used to get this feeling when he, when he did this, like... Dear Diary, today the amazing atheist was a meanie. It's like, oh shit. Billy I mean, looked at me today and oh my god, I almost died. I love him so much. <laughs> XO, XO. 
brother's YouTube channel. He's a very talented guitarist. He is. Indeed. Wow. Yeah, he's yeah. man, Brett, it must be tough. Look, look at him. He's sad. Like yeah, look how sad he, he mentioned Brett, that. Dude, look, Brett is basically praying to Justin right now. Dear God, please make me as great as Justin. Please. Yeah. Never be Justin, Brett. Justin was the golden child. Brett, you know, I don't even know why your fucking parents even fed you, honestly, <laughs> when they had Justin. If I, I mean like honestly, if I was sitting there and I had two kids. And I'm looking, and one's Brett, and one's Justin. Mm. Would you even give any food to Brett? Like, why even bother? Why invest in that yeah, when just, you got that? Just throw them out of the house and be like, and just like, for yourself. yeah, you're good. The wolves will raise you. Either that or they'll eat you. Whatever. Yeah, Either way, you're not him. my problem. Yeah, wolves typically raise you. That's the benevolent nature. Dude, I've heard it, it, look, it's it, happened. It's the benevolent like nature Romulus of and Remus. Yeah, dude. It's happened before. So a lot of Drunken Peasants fans, you came over to my channel, you watched me take the challenge, I've literally got almost 3,000, uh, perhaps even more tonight, views on a video where I went ahead and took the challenge. You guys have heard twice, in two different videos, that TJ stated he was going to pay $1,100 for me eating a hamburger, as well as showing my teeth. Oh, it's during this well, I time. Did. And I'll admit to you, it was very difficult for me on the teeth part because it's something I've always been bothered about. I told Paul Ziegel that in Skype and told TJ whenever I talked to them long ago. You see, the teeth in all no. my old videos is fake. A long time ago, my father uh, no, they're not. knocked my teeth out of my throat. Unless you went through a period where you were wearing a pair of dentures that only had two front teeth. That's bullshit. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Your dad didn't just see you every time, like, time to knock another tooth out, Brett. Come Over the on. course of my adult life, my father removed, punched out my like teeth. Like, every six one months, one. It, his yeah. dad would just walk up and just sock Brett in the face. Yep. Like, you, you know, it was this time of the year, man. Well, it's what happened to knock is, out a molar, you know? Well, what would happen is my dad would contact me and he'd be like, Brett, I want to patch things up. Can we meet? And I'd say, <laughs> okay. And as soon as I got out of the car, he'd jump me and go, tink, 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 and chisel out another tooth, that I son mean, of like, a bitch. Do you have any idea how, how I mean, like, what kind of fucking punch <laughs> would knock out every <laughs> single tooth in your fucking head? <laughs> I mean, his father would have to have been, like, the, a fucking Brock Lesnar or some shit. And, like, you know, did he take a fucking... <laughs> Like baseball bat to his face and just, dude. Yeah. It would take it would a take multiple hammer. hits. <laughs> yeah, it would take multiple hits from a baseball bat to do that, dude. And you think he'd have way more like damage to his face if that were the case? Like <laughs> the amount of force it would take to knock out like his molars and shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, he would have like scarring on his face from that. His oh, father yeah. punched out every single <laughs> solitary. Tooth in his fucking head. <laughs> That's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it. Uh, Why would you question, uh, Brad? And dude, like, he, he'll just—he's just willing to lie. Like, uh, yeah, my father, he he fucking punched all my teeth out. It didn't happen, so he's just lying about his fucking dad. Like, yeah, my dad punched my teeth out of my fucking head. I distinctly care. remember too, and I'm, I know it's only a matter of time until this the whoever's running the classic Keen channel finds it. But I distinctly remember hangouts with Brett, where like he wouldn't show his face, and his voice would be all kind of muffled, <laughs> more than usual. And and then he would talk about how like oh, I got some dental problems, I have a I have a bad tooth, I have, I have a tooth taken out. So this story is just complete horseshit. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, no, Paul. Everyone was convinced by uh, Brett's uh, story. Everyone just believed him. Just like you know what? People were, dude. I, mean, I legitimately had people come to me and like, "You're a piece of shit for making fun of Brett not having any teeth, knowing that his dad is the one who punched." There's his no people way. believe anything. There's no. Man. How could you believe? There are that? people who are gullible dude, enough to believe. How the fuck did you believe shit. Brett about on anything? Scotty, you shouldn't even be surprised oh, yeah. that people will believe stupid bullshit like that. Man, there are some dumb motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah there you got to be. Dumb. Really fucking dumb, stupid. Dumb yeah, really like fucking guy. stupid people. People who have no ability to reason whatsoever. They just believe anything they hear.
that they want to believe. That, that, yeah, that, that would be the criteria. You just hear it and you're like, oh, Brett said it, it must be true. He got his teeth punched out by his dad. Oh, my God. I feel child. bad for him. So it's something that's always bothered me. Congratulations. A lot of people feel like not as a child. about their body that they're not happy with. But I had the courage to allow wait, thousands wait, wait, wait. and thousands wait. of people. He said, it, he said his teeth were knocked out as a child. But what, that'd have been, that would have been his first set of teeth. So... <laughs> Brett, oh, your, your no, shit doesn't make any sense, dude. Your shit. If you lo- if someone knocked out your baby teeth, at some point you would get your adult teeth, Brett. So I mean, n- not not even mentioning the fact that you spend ninety percent of your life flapping your empty gums in front of the internet. You act like it was such a fucking horrible thing to pull your lip up and show everybody what everybody already knew anyway. Well. To look upon a flaw of me in order to take a challenge that TJ put forth. I said I would. I did. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> you know, you make Brett cry in this video, I've literally TJ. had tons and tons Aww. of drunken peasants fans come in and out of my room since he said he was going to do this twice, stating, TJ is not a scammer. He will do what he says he's going to do. And he did. But he didn't. Tonight, he I did. listened to him actually liar, state Brett. after twice saying he would pay. And he and did. Go through with it. Yes, he did. Now this poses a problem for a lot of non-believers out there because the no problem, it's bullshit. Is considered probably the most popular atheist on YouTube. That millions of atheists out there endorse and subscribe to. And non-atheists and too. And the fact that you know that he scammed me and let him get away with that. After the only thing that I've really accused him of is being like his father, a scammer. Which he did scam the drunken peasants well, fans out that, there. All the people who's that given him plus money. Rape the- plus pedophilia. Um, but yeah, that, that that's about it. I'm pretty sure there's been more even than that. Oh, and uh, yeah. also personally masterminding engineering the downfall of his channels. Yeah, that's for years a good now. one. Every year, every day. Uh, and for stealing his video content constantly. <laughs> And uh, using it for my own profit, and uh, he's gonna sue me. And he's Frat ass. Gonna report me to the FBI, and uh, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have Paul arrested. I like when he called you a fat ass. Oh yeah. Frat ass. <laughs> this big bullfrog necked motherfucker calling anybody yeah. a fat ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is like? <laughs> it's so true. The way you would draw this, lay on his fucking so fat much. stomach too, man. Like, like, cause you imagine Brett's gut, dude. Come on. You basically just extend his face down, <laughs> and then just kind of curve it in as he's it's a like fucking a, blob. <laughs> it's like an underside of a turtle or something. I mean, nah, just, you just you just uh, draw his face like a normal human face in really wet ink, and then pour water on it and let it just <laughs> drip down. That's how you make a freaking face. That reminds me of a slug. I just kind of see it in his face. Like Java? Like, like in, this, Java. in this pause here, in this pause here, it looks like he's got like horrible tonsillitis or something. Like it looks <laughs> like his tonsils have just like grown to the size of softballs in his neck. Past. He never gave me <laughs> back what he said he was going to do. I seen him do that to people before, Ugh. and I didn't feel like it was Ooh. right. Jeez, the bottom of his fucking face is just making yeah. me uncomfortable now. I've I, I've seen TJ do bad things. Oh. So what? So what is your proof, Brett? Of course, there's there is no evidence. You know what's funny, Brett? If we just talked about any shit you've done, there's just a mountain of evidence against you. So it's, it's kind of just funny that even when you pull this shit, you don't just go and find shit TJ's actually done that's bad. I mean, besides the banana shit, like, there's a bunch of shit TJ said. So if you're going to attack TJ on something, at least attack him on something you can actually prove. Like, TJ said this mean thing to this person. Here you go. Like, you literally are just making shit up. You have no fucking proof, and you always have some nebulous fucking language where it's like, I've heard said that TJ, you know, touched a child, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was good for him to scam all those people, and I didn't think it was right for his father to scam countless children out of an education. (laughs) Children? Children. I thought it was a college. Wasn't it a college? (laughs) There's children now. He scammed children. (laughs) LaSalle Kindergartens. Millions of hopeful children signed up hoping to get a good education. 
I, I, I literally want Brett to say that like he saw someone pushing a stroller and a baby had a lollipop and our dad just came along and grabbed it. So he's taking candy from a baby. Uh, you know, come and on. And then he throws the stroller off a fucking uh, <laughs> off a bridge or something. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your education in hell. <laughs> he just licks the lollipop. The mom's like, no. That was my dad, <laughs> so everybody. Many, so many, chi- what a lovable so many children's lives were destroyed by LaSalle <laughs> University, let me tell you. I'm sorry that you perceive me as the enemy or some kind of villain. But um, <laughs> oh, I know sorry. that there's a I'm lot sorry. of uh, atheists who've contacted me on Skype, which I've uninstalled recently. I just simply don't want to talk to people anymore. That um, Yeah, you can- Guess what? You can just not sign in. A lot of you in. believed in him. A lot of you put your faith in the TJ keeping his word. And he and did. I'm sorry that you didn't get what you wanted. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> he did. And he did. And he did. And he did. I was really, really hoping to make that video where I say, hey, you TJ did. kept his word. You maybe did. I had the wrong idea. You did, but you deleted it. I, and then you bitched about I how he was giving you more money. After all these years. Yeah. So uh, He continued to give you money after he gave you the money he said he would. Yeah, just, <laughs> just uh, not even out of niceness or anything, just because it amused me you, to do so. TJ, you know what? I think Brett. I mean, look, it's been it's been a while, and there's no, there's still no interview. I think TJ, you have to go to Patreon on he's this. He's a scammer. Yeah, he's he's fucking scammed yep. you. He has publicly scammed you, TJ. Brett, you've been invited on this show several times. We're not talking about we, 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 the interview is not going to take place on your show, Brett. It's going to take place either on the Amazing Atheist or the Drunken Peasants or something. Right, TJ? Yeah. So, Brett, you need to come to TJ. I would I say no matter where it takes place, we'll let it just be TJ yeah. and Brett. Just TJ yep. and Brett. Yeah. That was, but, that was the agreement. No, none, none of the rest of us gave him 666 a month. But, TJ, I think, I, I think you got to give Brett a deadline here because otherwise I think you're just going to have to do a chargeback on him because he's not fucking delivering on this interview. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. So, yeah, you, 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 Brett, you should probably contact me privately, yeah, Brett. Contact yeah. me on Twitter or something, Brett, because... Yeah, you need to contact me on Twitter. Because something tells me that uh, that $1,000 isn't sitting in your bank ready for a chargeback, Brett. Something tells me that got spent long yeah. ago on you fucking You have not given us the perk. Shit. You promised. You promised TJ. Yeah. And anyone else who donated that amount of money to your Patreon, Brett. Yeah, you said you were going to give would me... You give certain perks. Have you featured TJ on your channel? I think there's a few things he said he would do. Brett, you have not lived up to the terms that you stated and your uh, Patreon uh, perks. So, I mean, like, we're, like, we're forced, Brett. And look, I'm sure, TJ, do you even want to do this, TJ? Yeah. Oh, you do want to do this? <laughs> do want to do it. Oh, he does want to do it, Brett. I guess, I guess <laughs> Brett, you burned that bridge with TJ personally, yeah. man. <laughs> Did you, you need to come up with a deadline, TJ, and fucking tweet it or something. No, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Me and Brett are going to do clock's, this interview. The clock's ticking, manatee. You know, uh, there is a possibility that uh, maybe we can arrange something with Brett. Maybe we can, maybe, maybe. We can, maybe we can arrange something mutually beneficial to both of us, Brett. We got to see Brett cry at the end. Maybe he'll tell the truth. Maybe. Look at him. No. I was really hoping to be wrong. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, drunken peasants fans, and I'm sure <laughs> some of you get over it. Some of you will be able to sleep at night knowing that you endorse someone... Who lies and hurts people for fun? You know what? Even the even the dumbasses that even the dumbasses that were like the the idea that anybody lost sleep over this, Brett, is the silliest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. No, no, there there were like 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 the fucking subreddit went retarded. No, I know, but even even those fucking retards, like nobody nobody was like. Laying awake in bed at night, going, "Man, I hope Brett gets a thousand dollars, man." I really believed in TJ. <laughs> thought you were different, TJ. I thought this would be the time that me and you just patched things up. And I don't think a month, you and Brett became buddies again. I don't think a month goes by without at least one really huffy fan being like, "You know, man, I used to respect you, <laughs> but now, 2014, man. Now that you said this doing. one thing that I don't like." Fuck you, TJ. Dude, in every time period, too, there's like, man, TJ, 2012, man, you were on point, 2012. I love 2012. 2013, shit. 2014, shit. 2015, shit. 
Everything ab- before that also shit, but I 2012. I think like 2010 is probably like my favorite era. No way, dude. No way, man. 2012. Everyone knows the best era was 2011, dude. 2011. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. When Amazing Atheist videos fucking met something. YouTube for a little bit. I'm not going to quit. But, uh, <laughs> oh, you're crocodile tears. You're not even all oh upset. Oh, God. Brett, just stop. Yeah. I know That's you guys Brett thought better emotion. of the Amazing Atheist. Oh, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not, not gonna, you know, I'm where, not where, where, whatever, you know. Hey, I'm oh. sad now. <laughs> there it goes. I hope that you all have a uh, a beautiful day. <laughs> and a Merry Christmas. <laughs> God, it's laid on so thick. God bless you yep. all. God, God bless you all. <laughs> Father God. <laughs> oh, man. oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I thought it was different. Trailized me. Oh, no, no. No. God, Brett, you're so oh, pathetic. God, it's <laughs> <laughs> you're sobbing. You're sobbing, <laughs> Brett. Come on. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to. He he he, dude, he's so clearly not upset. <laughs> you're a fucking moron. You can, you can see when he opened his eyes. Like, there was no tears. His eyes weren't red from crying. You could tell, if he was really upset, you'd fucking know he was upset. He literally so- tried to pull, like, the... <laughs> TJ, but it, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Do we need to play that? Do when you interview Brett, you need to play that. <laughs> you need to play how sad Brett was. Like Dude. Brett, I made you cry. Remember, remember the time I made you sob, Brett? Brett, it come honest- on. It honestly does fight. look yeah. like it might be like a little bit misty here, and I wouldn't put it past Brett to write off camera. He's got a fucking freshly cut onion, and he just like the reason he put his hands <laughs> in his face is so he could rub his eyes with some <laughs> onion juice. I'd believe it, dude. <laughs> Piece of shit, Brett. Nobody fucking buys this fucking act. This is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever seen on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> and we're the drunken peasants. God bless you all. God bless everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> fuck you, Brett. Oh, fuck you for being this funny, dude. Yeah. Oh, Brett. You're the master. You're the master of comedy, dude. You're the master of unintentional, I'm such a piece of shit, you laugh at me comedy. Oh. You're going to be considered one of the great comedic masters. Oh, God. Pioneering the star, uh, the, the pioneering the, the, the nascent fucking field of unintentional humor. My existence makes you laugh because it's so pathetic. Hello there, this is Brett Keen. Please make sure to check out my other channel, Evil Mysterious Demonic Child Eating Interdimensional Monsters You Love. And when you get an opportunity, visit my Patreon account and donate to my PayPal, please. Little individual, don't you want to join me down here? I'm in the process of setting up a life hangout situation. Everybody is welcome around here. That includes Christians, as well as Muslims, as well as pagans, as well as Jews. Spots in the hangout are limited, and so is my time. So don't just sit there, come warn and get in here. You want your paper manatee back? Well, here it is. Come warn and get it. That's right. Come closer so that I can pawn your ass. What the? Brett, we ran out of mac and cheese, Brett. Dorm, you fucking individual. I was just sitting there talking to the stunts of an atheist who was sitting there on the streets, trying to get him to sit there and donate to my Patreon. And you have to sit there and interrupt me. Uh, Brett, Brett, I'm sorry, Brett. Do you know? How fucking insultive this is. Get out of here. Oh, 
and take that stupid water-headed idiot with you. God believe a Christ. Uh, sorry that you had to witness that situation. Normally I'm a kind God believer in the vis- Huh? Darn it. I blew it again. Yeah. No, my ex-wing, uh, she really cares. So I'm I'm downloading a video really quick here. And this is a Brett Keen video. Yeah, sweet. Oh God. Uh, well, while you're doing that, I can talk about. I made a prediction last uh, Wednesday or last Friday, I think. Yeah. And I said by next Friday, Brett would have you know, attack videos back up because the video we watched then was like, no more attack videos, no more drama on this channel. Of, of and course. I think it's debatable whether he's already fucked that up. Um, you know, I guess, you know, the chat, and the, the fans will have to decide, but um, he's uploaded multiple videos to other websites. So like you now and shit. And it's the same old shit. TJ's a pedophile. His dad's a scam artist. <laughs> Paul's ego solicited nudes from an underage girl. Scotty lives in TJ's shadow, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but they're not on YouTube. But he has done multiple Hangouts, and a good at least 30, 40, 50% of those Hangouts is just saying the same shit. So does a Hangout count? Because if a Hangout counts, I'm already right. But if it needs to be like a direct video where it's just like, here's me breaking down the amazing atheist, then he hasn't done it yet. So I guess we'll see. It'll be fun. He'll, he'll do it. It won't be long. This is a Brett Keen feminism video. His, yeah, his yeah, it's perfect. Obsession, his total obsession. Dude. This is nice. All right, here it is. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. So uh, you don't need to know that much backstory about Brett Keen except for he's a piece of shit. Yeah. So that's all you need Got to it. know. Yeah. <laughs> Atheists have been known to subscribe to channels to talk about. Oh man, oh, it doesn't even give us enough time. Yeah, check out the all new GodTVRadio.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen oh, from God right TV Radio. Sure Make sure you yeah. check out my website, awesome. GodTVRadio.com. And if you'd on. like to be a part of my live broadcast, simply become a patreon or connect with me through my become website. <laughs> also, I've added a lot of new things to the patron, site. Make dude. sure you check patron. out um, the word. drama videos section uh, for oh, all Brett. the troublesome videos between me and YouTubers and other shit has okay. went. It's uh, left YouTube, and now that's where you'll find it if that's something you're into. Oh, you're Today I wanted to talk right. about the objectification of females. As many of you All know, right. Robert Which De Niro, one of my on favorite now? actors in the whole wide world, some of the best movies he's been in, gangster mafia films, and of course he's been in some more philosophical movies like Awakening with Robin Williams. Uh -huh. But one uh -huh. of his last <laughs> films that he made was horrible. <clears throat> it was a movie called Dirty Grandpa. It was the first time I got to see Robert De Niro jacking off in a chair to porn. It was the first time I'd ever heard him sit at a table in a restaurant and tell his young grandson that he would like it if Queen Latifah would be up in a hot air balloon and take a shit from that distance into his <laughs> mouth from below. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're selling me on this fucking movie, bro. <laughs> that sounds great. I mean, like, I thought it looked like uh, shit, but, man, I don't know. I mean, you're making me kind of reassess this. Yeah. Maybe I want to see this. This yeah, seems pretty same. crazy. And then this guy, the same guy who I adore as an actor, makes a video calling... <laughs> Donald Trump a slob, a pig, a horrible person for some of the shit that he said. Now, Donald Trump is a, a full-blooded American man who... <laughs> what does that mean, he's a full-blooded? Full -blooded. He mean, ain't one of these half-breeds, man. I he's mean, all 100%... His born with the flag up his ass, American man. I mean, his mom, his mom was born in Scotland, so... <laughs> 
I don't know. <coughs> How does Ball he? blooded. But I mean, like. Brett Keen is like he's made, Brett Keen's made a shit ton of pro feminist videos. Yeah, for because uh, he was buddies with Jenny McDermott for he's a little been, while. Yeah, and he's made a shit ton of videos about like Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews. Like, I, all are welcome here. Dude, but Brett misunderstands. But you support a candidate who's like pretty obviously anti-Muslim. So I don't I don't get it. You're very inconsistent, Brett, as usual. And I mean, an obvious to anybody with two eyes and the ability to watch a few videos pre this campaign, this man has has not been a Christian <laughs> for very long. It's 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 pretty clear that this whole Christian thing kind of like makes him uncomfortable, and he did it so that he could run for president. Like I don't I I don't remember ever seeing a clip of of Donald Trump. Maybe maybe he said it, but he certainly hasn't lived it. You know what I mean? Oh no way! Yeah, he's not an evangelical. Never was saying before. some goofy shit, not knowing that his mic was hot, that his mic was open. Mm -hmm. But Robert De Niro knew that he was going to be seen by thousands of people but he was playing a character publicly. A yeah, I mean, this is like you see how ob you see how quickly everyone just shouts that at you. That's because this is like no shit moment. How did you not say this and then immediately? Well, he was playing a character in a movie. Like, are you going to make that distinction? Let's see. Autism. And what you would refer to as acting. He uh -huh. read the lines of what he was going to say in a movie and decided right. he was going to do that. And it didn't matter if children and teenagers and young adults or even senior citizens were no, going to watch and be offended. Uh, that's uh, what the rating system yeah. is for. That's why I have a rating system on movies, dipshit. <laughs> you know, all the gonna... <laughs> yeah, you know, when I see a movie called Dirty Grandpa... I don't. I don't think anything of that. Doesn't mean anything to me. It's like, hmm. What, what could this? What could this movie be about? What could be in this movie? It's about a grandpa who fell in some mud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. Robert De Niro did it because he's an actor, and he thought that kind of shit was he got funny. Paid. Right. He got paid. Well, That's why he did it. there's a lot of men behind the scenes. Whenever they see a woman, they may look at a woman and say, "Damn, she's sexy. Damn, she's hot. I want to wow. do this and that and this and that." Oh, Brett, I really don't want to think about you doing anything like that. Yeah, Brett's that. saying that just like, ugh, ugh. You know, like there's a line that, you know, I don't even want you to cross, Brett. You're going to cross dude, that line. You're, you're going to spark some Brett Slam poetry, dude. They say because I'm a manatee, I'm not allowed to feel sexually. It's going on, dude. You're going you're gonna to bring it on. It doesn't mean that you devalue the woman. It just means that you're focused on a specific or particular quality of the female at the time. And that's usually the way it is whenever we get into relationships or meet people for the first time anyway, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. He's so wise. What the fuck do you know about any sort of relationship, dude? Like, it, it, it strikes me as Dorn is probably the most you've ever had. Maybe one or two other things. Where did he get the... I, maybe. The the pictures he chose are so interesting. Like the one of the girl like, yeah, licking the banana. To to get yeah, yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah, what did he type in to find this? Yeah. Do you remember we watched the video and like in Brett suggested uh, like the sidebar, like like recommended videos. It was like... Was it like cow enemas or something? <laughs> no, it yeah. was... Or what was no, it? No, it was prolapsed cow yeah. vaginas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I don't know what the fuck Brett watches, but uh, that's kind of a very strange video to be recommended just randomly. Yeah. Does he watch videos about prolapsed cow vaginas often? I can't say that he does, but, I mean, it, that just seems very strange. That does seem crazy. <laughs> We don't know their mind. We don't know the way their thoughts work. We usually see someone in our our natural instinct and our nature, our biology tells yeah. us, wow, this person is attractive. Yeah. This person has something I can identify with. This person is someone that I think that I could mate with or do this. <laughs> it's the same primal instinct that an animal has. Uh, show, show, show Blair what Brett Keen looks like. Like, she needs a... She needs I'm like nervous. Some, she needs like a frame of reference for what's being said here. I have like, an uh, image in my head. God, God, God and Adam, the Sistine Chapel, maybe. 
All right, you you tell me how close this comes. You just pull over the whole whole damn thing if you want. How about this one? Um, this one. Yeah, that's closer yeah. to how he looks now. Brett. I'd say give it give her that one. Beautiful Brett. Hold up. <laughs> I'm imagining bald, first of all. Nope. Nope. No. Oh. Yeah. Can you guys see that? No. It's brown. I have the white hair. I guess Beyond... the white hair. Yeah. Guess his well, age. Yeah. What's Brett's age? Uh, 39. Whoa. Wow. 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 Holy shit. Is it 39? Yeah. yeah. Wow. How the fuck did you know? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like every other, every other person Damn. that we've okay. asked that question that isn't familiar with Brett Keen goes like 58. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you can see he doesn't like take care of himself, but he doesn't look old. He looks kind of old, but no. Damn. Brett, you got Damn. a fan, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so quote, so quote, much. quote from Blair, quote, quote from Blair White, dude. Brett Keen oozes sexuality. She said it here know, on the show, folks. You heard it. We oh know God. Brett loves the trannies too. <laughs> you know, he said he's trans too. No, no, no. no, no he either. loves the trannies though. He loves it. This is his favorite. And thing. if we supposedly evolved from animals. Then this is not objectification, it is not sexualizing, it's simply our nature taking hold. The problem becomes if you begin physically assaulting someone. The problem begins if you can't shut your fucking mouth. If you said what you feel about a person, that they turn you on or they do something for turn you in that on. demeanor, and then it doesn't... I love how Brett's talking about other people being able to shut the fucking... shut their fucking mouths. <laughs> as if he's yeah. ever had that ability in his life. I mean, come on, Brett. I mean, I'm talking... from Brett just feels so wrong. And you, just, you just, like, like on a visceral level, you're just like, come on, dude, you're, you're trying to give someone advice. I mean, even, if it's, even just a general way, Brett, you have, you have no advice for anyone. But could you imagine listening to this and actually being like, "Fuck yeah, this is this is it." Love no, this. no, no one does like, that though. There's got to be some people. I'm sure there's some people. No, practically none. No. M maybe, maybe, maybe when he first started doing he's this, he's been he doing some... this for as long as me, and he, he literally has not had an audience for like eight years. He was popular oh. at one time, but he's just keeps he was popular going. nine years ago. Yeah. Did you point, guys nine ever years see, ago? Uh, nine years ago, we had. Did you guys ever see that one woman who was on YouTube for like years? She was a crazy, crazy Christian lady, but she was also like a seventy-year-old transsexual, and her name was Marjorie Brubaker. Did no. you ever see her? No. No. Oh, wow. no. That's crazy. It was fucking gold. She would make videos every day about how like she's summoning the white light on people and. How all these people are demons around her, and she'd be screaming into the camera, just going, being completely insane. But then she deleted all her videos and was never seen again. Sad. Sounds like Gail. Yeah, a little bit. I loved her videos. I loved watching them. Gail is really more matter of fact, though. Like, just kind of like, like when you, when you hear, like watch Gail, it's like she's basically just giving you like what's like re her reality is like like that's just it. There's like there's no question that, that this happened. Like if, whatever she says is just true. The, the the great thing about Brett, I think the thing that keeps people coming back to Brett, if only to make fun of him, is that he'll make a video one day saying, you know, atheists come to my channel and accuse me of all kinds of. Re I've been accused of being a pedophile. I've been accused of abusing my children. And then the next video will be the amazing atheist fucked a 12-year-old. Oh, my God. Paul's ego solicited nudes from an underage feminist on Skype. You know what I mean? So, like, he everything that he accuses other people of doing, he does on a routine basis. Yeah, but you, have to, remember, it, you have to remember how it happened, though, too, Paul. Uh, someone randomly called one of his eight-hour Google Hangouts to tell him this. It, yeah, he yeah. Say it directly. Yeah, he loves to do that too. Like he won't come right out with the accusation. Well, sometimes he does. Like with TJ, yeah, he'll just uh, yeah, straight sometimes. up be like, "Yep, here's the proof. TJ fucked a twelve-year-old." But like, <laughs> he also likes to do the like. 
he'll have these hangouts and then some mysterious person who he's never met before will come in and go, uh, yeah, uh, I'm from Louisiana and, uh, Crawling. TJ, uh, back when he was in, I went to high school with TJ, the amazing atheist and he, what the he, fuck? he raped a woman. He ra- and, and, and then Brett will go, what? what? Well, I want to say, I'm not saying this, but you're telling me that TJ raped a woman in high school? <laughs> like, he loves to try and, like, like that gives him, you know, plausible deniability that it wasn't him that said it. That's, like, a joke, but do you ever consider actually, like, going after this person? I feel like if people were making videos saying I was, like, a molester, I'd do something about it. Well... We, we, we do. Um, we just choose not to use legal channels. We just choose to cover him on the show and make him look like a retard over and over oh, again. I think that's the, that's the better so. way to handle Brett. It's more fun, I guess. Because oh, no, yeah. like nobody in the money. world is going to listen to yeah. Brett Keen and go, yeah, well, maybe and... Paul Zigo is a pedophile. <laughs> it's just ne- it's never going to happen. And if they you do, know fuck I mean? him, dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. Who cares? If you believe in Brett Keen, who gives a shit what you think? Dude, Brett's, Brett Kidd is really just, a, in his essence, a failed scam artist. And he's just, like, resentful to you, TJ, because he feels like you're a successful scam artist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm awesome. I think that's, I think that's what, his view. And then you go to touch them and mess with them, yeah. or they've asked you to I'm stop and you keep on fucking doing it. No means no. And I also believe that it is nature that if you are trying to make another um, human out there have an unpleasant experience or make them feel completely uncomfortable that you they they should be allowed to smack you in the fucking mouth or do whatever the hell it is to get you away from them if you can't control yourself let me take Uh, a drag of my vapor what a bold (laughs) stance if someone's trying to rape you you're allowed to slap him girls Uh, so wait a minute did Brett Keen (laughs) just give us all license to slap him in the face if we ever see him yeah, because yeah. he's made me he's made me uncomfortable and 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 put me in positions that I didn't want to be in multiple fucking times over the last ten years. I think he just gave me carte blanche to slap his jowly fucking face if I ever see him. Oh no, sweet, I you know, keep up with what he's saying. His voice is just so I can't listen. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what's wrong? What's that wrong, was Blair White? TJ, though. Don't tell me you're not sexually aroused by the hunk of man that is the manatee, the Brett Keen situation. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. All, 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 you know what, dude? All the ladies play coy with Brett Keen, but they all want it. They all want it. He is the stallion. He had a, he had a channel. Yeah. Now, you saw that picture of him, right? Yeah. He had a channel for a couple of years on YouTube where his handle was not Brett Keen. It was the stallion and he would open up yeah yeah he would open up every video with hey ladies and gentlemen it's the stallion can you think of a person (laughs) in the world that is least like a stallion than brad keen (laughs) it's like a like an obese donkey I was gonna say, TJ, do you remember that video where he said like uh, it was like one of the fight challenge, like during the fight challenge shit, where he's like he said, "Oh no, the interview mm-hmm. that he was gonna slap you." That's kind of same shit he was just saying right there. Is like <laughs> because you offended Brett, TJ, he should be able to just come up to you and assault you, dude. Cool. All the times you've talked shit about him, dude. Yeah, you should. Fucking manipulated it so his life has been a total fucking failure. How you manipulated that, you know? Because every night you go to bed just planning Brett's down. It's so hard. I just, I just have to fucking. What I do is I stand back and let him do it to himself. <laughs> it's a very difficult master plan. 